outputting to colouring and inking and loads of different things. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. Hi, I'm Emma. I work with Cricut to help you get the best out of your machines. Cricut is a range of tools, machines and accessories that allow you to work with hundreds of materials. You can customise and personalise your paper craft projects, your home decor, clothing. You can work with iron on vinyl, paper, card, wood, fabrics. The possibilities are endless. On the shows, I hope I can inspire you with ideas to help you become your creative best with Cricut. So make sure you don't miss the Cricut shows. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. Good morning to you on this lovely Tuesday morning. How are you doing? Uh, I've got a happy hour and my name is Fee, in case you're new to the craft store. <laughs> it's always nice to introduce yourself, isn't it? My name is Fee. Uh, I want to know what you're up to this summer. Are you crafting? What are you crafting? What project are you doing? Have you taken up crochet? Have you taken up knitting, like the lovely Tom Daly? Uh, have you tried something new? Let me know what you're up to. What crafting are you doing over the summer holidays? Or to while away those uh, that holiday break that you're having in your back garden? Or, um, you know, here in the UK, in your caravan? Or, I don't know, camper van? Let me know. What, what crafting are you up to this summer? Yeah, keep us company on the face cloth and email us to studio at thecraftstore.com. It would be lovely to hear from you. I'll give you a big shout out and uh, say hi. I feel less lonely then. I feel less like I'm just talking to myself. Um, here we have got happy hour deals, which basically means for this hour and this hour only, they will be down at a knockdown price. And uh, you can get them at that price during the hour, but then come eight o'clock, it will revert back to the original price. So we'll look at those savings and you can shop ahead on the web, of course. Have a little look in advance of all the gloriousness that I've got on the counter today. And uh, yeah, check ahead. Now, Love a bit of glitter. I thought there was a bag I saw the other day and it said, oh, what did, <laughs> great story, bro. Uh, what did it say? You, I think it was something along, you can never have too much glitter. And I thought, no, it's true. You can never have too much glitter. I quite like that on a tote bag. You can never have too much glitter. Um, because this is a beautiful glitter card. And quite frankly, I don't think you can never have too much glitter card. Is there such a thing as too much glitter? No is the answer. That's right, Maddie. Well done. No. No, there's no such thing as too much glitter. And this is non-shed. Of course, look at that name. It's Jelly Bean. So we know the quality straight away. So non-shed, as the name suggests, you beautiful crafters, means that it's not going to fall all over the counter. And uh, when you die cut it, 
you're going to get that lovely clean edge for your dies and uh, you don't get that um who was it myself and lovely nikki were talking about this the other day sometimes you know when you get that she, they shut out her looks foil card from heartfelt and you know when you get that sort of funny film that you just sort of see the edges of it's like a coating you don't get that because the glitter is literally embedded into it and it's super smooth so although you've got that incredible high sheen and that fabulous uh looking texture it's smooth to the touch which i think is very clever and i don't know how they do it but there is a man in later at eight o'clock mr john lockwood and i bet he understands the science of it because he likes to know these things and he asks the questions how uh, so we'll have to ask him but all i do know is that it's 9.99 it's 200 gsm 220 gsm i should say so a lovely sturdy card um you're getting 20 sheets and um white on the back obviously white to the core but uh, yeah beautiful lovely for your mat and layering like i said i mean if we're thinking of those um wedding cards anniversary cards i'm just thinking of occasions really just because of the, gl the glitter obviously the big christmas um or just because you like glitter like me because you would never have enough brilliant saving six pound saving three seven four four two four we're going to get the facebook page um Ticker tape at the bottom, <laughs> I'll say the word, ticker tape, um, so you can say hi, yeah, so email any questions, to stu and then I'll just pass them on to John Lockwood. Uh, email any questions to studio at thecraftstore.com, because he's a man who knows the answers. He's on at 8 o'clock, by the way. Is he on at 8 o'clock? He is, isn't he? I was very pleased to see him this morning, I haven't seen him for ages. Um, so yeah, more glitter card, but here we've got um, uh, shades, shades of colour, yes, absolutely. Uh, now, this is not depicted as your non-shade, so you've got your texture on this, which is, might be what you want to be going for, to, to be honest. So let's have a look at these lovely colours. So we've got, oh, you see, I like that. Can you see how it's like a holographic in the gold? That's an unusual colour, isn't it? It's like a vanilla. Macadamia, vanilla. It was sort of more yellowy in, in the studio, but it looks vanilla-y on the, on the screen. I don't want you to think at home. Then we've got gold. I mean, I think you're going to get 16 colours, two of each. Uh, that's like a beautiful granite, that grey, isn't it? That lovely. I love that holographic. I mean, to be honest, it's still very smooth. It's still very smooth. It's just not your, your archetypal non-shed. So there is a little bit on my fingers there. But do you know what? Matte and layering. Who's going to complain? Because you can never have enough glitter. It's not like there's shed loads of that stuff falling out the envelope. You know, that confetti stuff people put in the cards. It drives you around the twist. I mean, it's very pretty, but put it in a, put it in a shaky card. Far more, far more um, convenient. Doesn't go everywhere, yeah. That's like a silvery grey. Um, then we've got a lovely, that's a proper strawberry red. Lovely lilac. I think everybody's asleep. Nobody's talking to me yet on the Facebook page. I'm very lonely. Um, they're, all, they're all just waking up. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. There shouldn't be any conversing this time of the morning. That, that's like, do you know what that, um, like a mink colour. Do you know what I mean? Like a caramelly colour. Um, we've got a lighter grey there, like a dove grey. That's lovely. Did you see that lovely grey card yesterday I had on with Karen Keats? That was beautiful. Um, a darker grey, sort of a more... Although, it's odd, isn't it? Because the holographic um, glitter, is, it gives it a kind of a green sheen as well. So, beautiful. But you can see, lovely mass of colours there. That's a beautiful burgundy. You're getting 16 colours, two of each. That's a lovely line. So I've never seen such colours of glitter card, actually, and holographic as well. That's your white, obviously, lovely deep purple. That's a great, um, if you had sort of fairy, kind of those sort of stamps and dyes, that's a great sky, isn't it? Um, lovely ch chocolatey brown there. Again, that's our great. And then our black. Ooh, that's good for a midnight sky, isn't it? Very dramatic. Tell you what, that is a, I don't know what you think, but I think that is a fantastic fantastic choice of colours a real um, beautiful spread and that is a lot of glitter card I'm gonna leave that for Maddie because I'll only ruin everything um, that is that is great value isn't it 13.99 you're saving 35 pounds so you're getting 32 sheets for 14 pounds basically 265850 gorgeous lovely collection there adoring those colours now I'm intrigued I've got the adhesive collection. So basically, every adhesive known to man, you have got it and you're ready to go. I love these transparent ones as well, but I'll start. We've got micro dots, foam pads, sticky spots and more. 35 packs to be precise. Yeah, those little 3D foam pads there. We're going just through it all now. We'll have a little look in detail. Yeah, 
15 pounds 49 so let's start here so here ah double-sided is this our our oh oh i'm going to is that like the double-sided sheets you know when you do your yeah your double-sided what do you call it well, it's just double-sided, isn't it? You know, when you do your die cuts and stuff, you, you want to glitter it up as well for your backgrounds. Oh, Carol, you gorgeous lady. You Good morning. Thank you, darling. Oh, Heather. Oh, Heather, thank you. She says, I'm doing a great job. Bless your heart. Thank you. I've had a banana. And my cup of tea is hidden under here. There we go. It is very early, isn't it? So myself and John Lockwood waved at each other down the A1 this morning at about half past three, you know, as we got diverted off. Who's, who's, I mean, why is everybody up at that time in the morning? There's no reason for it apart from us two We're coming down the, the A1 to the, to, to, to Oundle. Anyway, so very good morning to you. Lovely. I'll just ask for a big shout out. Now, Heather and um, Carol, what crafting are you doing this summer? What, what project are, are you doing right now? Or are you, or have you, or have you got lined up? Let me know. Let me know. So we've got five of the um, double adhesive sheets. Then we're moving on to our uh, right. Okay. So these are your twin stick. So I don't know if you can see these sizes. If I do a bit of bending there, you can see in the light. Yeah, they're like a uh, domino shape. So you've got all of those pads there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty. Was he? Dawn says she enjoyed Scott polishing his. Honestly, I leave him alone for one evening. Why was he polishing his head, Dawn? He's always doing something strange. Why was he? Does anybody know? Does anybody care? <laughs> Dawn, Dawn, you can't leave us with a message like that. Why was he polishing his head? Didn't see him. We were shifts through the night. He was like, just get, probably getting out of the cars. I was getting in it. You know. One of those ones. Fred the cat, and that was it. Uh, so we got those. Dawn, I need to know why was he polishing his head? Who was he trying to impress? Hmm? Who was on the show last night? Hmm? Um, then we've got, oh, these are Diddy Dots, Micro Dots. Can you see those? They're tiny. Loads of those, the 3D foam pads there. And then as you can see, look, these, but these are a thicker, a much thicker. There we go, that's a great TV fee. Great. But you can see it's much thicker for a height. Which I quite like the foam pad. So that's essentially, sometimes it's just for the sticking, but there you've got, you've got a bit of heightage as well. And then we have got lots, lots more. Next size up, lots more individual foam pads there. We've got two liner tapes there as well. Hey. So Dawn has now told me Scott was polishing his head because he was demonstrating Crafty Devil's blending brushes. So he's basically just brushing his head. Lovely. Because they are so soft though, aren't they? They're so softy, they're gorgeous, you're just like, oh, they will pumble in your face. I kind of understand that. Yeah, these very strange habits. More, more lovely acid-free foam pads there as well. It's a right little smorgasbord bundle, this lot, isn't it? And what have we got here? Oh, we've got some glue dots, sticky spots, but these are square sticky spots. Yeah, don't know why if that makes any difference to your projects, but they're square. It's larger, I suppose it's a larger, larger size we're covering there. How many pieces have we got in there? So you've got three sheets and uh, they're 14 millimetres by 10 millimetres. So three sheets of those. Looks like there's five. One, two, three, four, five, six, 35 on each times three, 105, 210 dots altogether. There we go. 210 altogether. Then we've got stick tighter, double-sided adhesive tape. Simple and easy to use, clean removal, no residue, stick on a variety of stuff. So they're almost, they're similar, aren't they? Can you see the squares in there? Yeah, I like those. I wonder if they'd be good for um, photos and stuff. Uh, acrylic, you know, in terms of, but anyway. Uh, well, it says it's got the little pictures there, presents, cards. Oh, you know, it's sticking on windows, transparent things as well. That's good for the trans, yeah, brilliant for the transparent things. You know, when you've got a, oh, and got more of these, even bigger than those. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe ten sheets there as well. So basically a little hodgepodge of all sorts of uh, glue and adhesive stuff. Uh, 15 pounds, best way I can describe it, folks. That's all you're going to get out of me this morning. 15 pounds 49, approximately 35 packs. 384486. Oh. Oh, Heather. Of course, I'd love to interact with you. Oh, big thanks to you for watching and saying hi to me. Um, I said it's a bit lonely first thing in the morning. I mean, Mr. Lockwood's prepping for, for, for later, so he'll be later. If you've got any questions, I'm going to direct them to him. Um, Carol, good morning. Yeah, we said hello to Carol. 
She's having a cup of coffee at Carol Carol. Oh, and then she's going to do some watercolour in. Fab oh, what a lovely way to start the day. A cup of coffee, Carol, and then some watercolour. That sounds brilliant. I was asking, uh, what crafting are you doing at the moment? Have you got a project you're about to start? Or take up a new hobby in terms of your crafting or hobbies? Um, or what, what have you got going on to go, Carol, I love the start to your day. What a lovely thing to think. I'm going to wake up. <laughs> I'm going to have a coffee. I'm going to have a slurp at this while you look at this. And uh, I'm going to start a watercolour. Carol, that's just brilliant. That's what we should be doing, shouldn't we? Oh, that sounds like the most relaxing, beautiful thing. In fact, yeah, should we just, should I just go and find some lovely Matthew Palmer stuff? I'm just going to have a nice time in the corner of the studio over there. You can just watch me create. <laughs> well, create something. Uh, yeah. Oh, the craft, it's like the craft alongs. If you haven't got into those recently, please do, because we've got sewing ones, painting ones, crocheting ones. Hey, have we got watercolour tonight with Matthew Palmer? Oh, it's like I conjured him up. What time? Nine o'clock, so the craft along, even if you haven't got the, uh, the item, the, the, he'll probably tell you about another one that he's doing in the future. But you can watch it in real time. And the idea being people have bought the, the mini kit, as it were, to craft along in real time with Matthew as he does it. So we've had to do it as uh, presenters. Not that it's a chore, it's an abs it's absolutely, absolutely lovely way to spend an hour. So, um, ooh. Was it, was it Kether or Carol doing the, the painting? C Carol, let's just know what, what are you painting, Carol? That's what I want to know. Uh, let's look at something else. So these are my happy hour deals. And, um, oh, she's a bit scary. Uh, just going to have a little slurp of tea while you have a look at the scary lady. I'm not sure scary is the right word. Haunting. Haunting, I think. I tell you what, look at that fierce tiger. Oof. These are fabulous, these Japanese images, aren't they? Oh, she's like a sea nymph. Gorgeous. So we, we, oh, I don't know where to begin with this. We've got backing cards, toppers, vela, mirror cards, stamps, 45 piece. It's like a little, um, you know, when you get it, you get the box home and just thinking, what am I going to get? Um, it's, it's just like a little um, mystery box. Yeah, is that what you just said, Charlotte? A goodie box. Yeah, absolutely. So let's have a little look-see. Let's start with, oh, I love this, the proper old-fashioned wooden, which people still love stamping with. Uh, and that's got that... Uh, Who's the lovely lady brings us all the Japanese? Jill, Festival of Japan. Yeah, lovely Jill. Isn't that fab? And you've got the writing there as well. Is she in this weekend as well? Oh, my, see it then. Lovely. And you've got the block there as well, so you're ready to stamp. Um, that's, that would make a beautiful background. You should probably tell me what that is. It looks like blossom to me, but I know Jill's big on the, the flowers and the certain seasons and what have you. And then this looks like a dragon. Oh, there we go. Do you know what, Fee? The clue is on the black, back of the block. There we go. So some lovely blossoms. So that's your, the print that you're going to get. And this is fab. Oh, look at the dragon. Isn't he fantastic? Ooh. A bit scarier than uh, Maya the dragon, isn't it? Fab, isn't it? So there, we've, got, we've got two brilliant stamps there. Then we've got our little cutout toppers is now that's the card there got another sheet here as well that we can fussy cut out um i know jill brought us those circular they were like they weren't like acrylic they were domed weren't they don't know if you've got any of those but these were there she's again she's very haunting isn't she these make beautiful bookmarks wouldn't they love these you don't have a scooby-doo what it means but it just looks gorgeous doesn't it and then or maybe you do maybe you speak Japanese. Yeah, that's that's the that isn't that beautiful? I love that. And I love the size of them as well, so you can just create those little windows. They would look lovely if you've got any of Joe Channon's little twinchies, inchies and um dominoes. Yes, I was thinking the dominoes, wouldn't they? Wouldn't they be beautiful? Then we've got some uh lovely mirror card, all sorts of colours. That's a their lovely thickness as well, lovely quality. And we've got some patterned mi um mirror card as well. Ooh, it's like a damask. Let's have a little look. So we've got all sorts, there's so much on the counter here. Um, <clears throat> Maddie doesn't stack it all up for me, not because she's naughty, just because she knows I'll knock it all down. Uh, oh, look, we've got these in the strips. So they're cut strips. Yeah? That is very cool, isn't it? So borders of uh, mirror card, foil card already cut. You can make a paper chain out of those. You'll have a much better idea than that. Let's have a look at some of these lovely, lovely... Um, foils. So it, it really is a mixed bag, a mixed bag. So lovely lilacs, got butterflies there, um, some beautiful flowers. 
Because there's going to be all sorts of colours in these as well. Oh, they go oh, I like that one. The gold with the purple background. That's very rich. This is this is your mirror card. They're all in separate. Uh, so these should be one pound twenty-five each. Oh, you got some more borders there. Lots of borders there. And there's some more. Oh yeah. Really, uh, it's a thick quality as well. If you think they should be one twenty-five each, um, you're making a big saving, aren't you? I think that's where they where they arrived at the fifty-seven thirty. You see, and then oh, hello, hello, what's going on here? Hello there. These were good on the little MDF circles, weren't they? Super tiny hero. Oh, they're, big, they're, they're good badges for kids, aren't they? Well done. Of your games or anything. Super birthday there. We've got this one as well. So, yeah, I know. I wasn't expecting it either. Super tiny hero. Kabing! Super tiny cat to the rescue. Super tiny elephant to the rescue. Super tiny elephant in... Tons of fun, tons of super fun. Have a super time, super tiny hero. There we go, that was fun for the kids, fun for the kids. Good morning everybody, yes, you are watching the craft store and some very strange foil craft toppers there. Carol, good morning. Karen, good morning, I already said hello to Carol and our Heather. Uh, good morning, Karen. Oh, Ka oh Karen. Karen is crafting and doing a wedding memory book. Oh, that's so lovely. Karen, is it, is it your own wedding? Is it somebody else's wedding? Uh, maybe they've asked you to do it for them. What a lovely thing to do. And good morning to Dawn. <clears throat> Excuse me. I wasn't attractive, sorry. Oh, Dave and Brig, thank you so much for that banana bread, those oatmeal cookies the other day. Saved the day. I was a bit low in energy. I had one of those, but we're all delving in the oatmeals and the, the banana. Thank you. you. Honestly, you keep us alive here, Dave and Brig. Um, Alison, good morning, Alison. Oh, Sylvia, good morning, my darling. Have I, oh, no, I haven't got the tablet. No, it's, um, I don't know. I don't know where that thing's gone. Uh, but my lovely, my lovely Charlotte, my, my producer, that they, they give me the names in the ear. So uh, thank you, thank you very much. We'll get those on, on the ticket tape, as it were. Uh, really good morning to you. I was asking everybody, what are they crafting at the moment? So we have that lovely interaction, so I feel less alone as I walk down the counter talking to myself. Um, the wedding book, watercolour, yeah. What else are you up to? Let me know, let me know. I've got a, I've got a lovely Happy Planner memory book to start. Um, you know, with the little photo, I've stolen Leonie's idea of creating your little photo printer thing and then putting it in, so I haven't, opened it. I haven't had a chance to open it up yet. So I'm very excited about that. I, I, love, I love all the happy planners and memory books and stuff. Because otherwise, you, you have them on your phone, but you don't... Yeah, it's like, it's like when you go, I want to go to my sister's house, because I've got loads of photos everywhere, and you see them, and they just remind you of happy memories. You go, oh, and you just think of a good time, don't you? But when it's on your phone, yeah, sometimes, there's only my daughter who scrolls through them, but you don't tend to go back and look at them, do you? So I'm old-fashioned, you see. I like a hard copy. I like a hard copy. Um, Oh, it's for a daughter's wedding in October. Oh, Karen, that's going to be so exciting. Your daughter's getting married. Oh, how lovely. She's doing a memory book for her already. So she can put all those fabulous memories in there. She goes along. Oh, that's so lovely. Oh, that's so gorgeous. A wedding in October. Ah, oh, that's gorgeous. I've got all wistful now. Uh, we were supposed to have a christening in October. It's not happening now. Can't talk about it. Things gone. I was looking. I was getting excited about that as well. I thought, oh, it'd be lovely to see everybody. It's not happening now. So I'll get my outfit, get the mothballs off it, put it on. Never mind. You've got a lovely wedding to go to. Gorgeous. Now, animal template sets. Now, these are Maddie's favourite. She's my floor manager. Because out of these, now, now listen, what I like to play is, can you tell what it is yet? There we go. Uh, there we go, you can now. Yay, it's a Datsund. Yes, it's a Datsund. Um, we've got all sorts. So you've got the templates, but what it does is, when you take them out, it's almost like, it's almost like you've got the, 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 the stencil, but when you fold them out in your paper, they, they have like a foldy head. Can you see that fold there? So that is the bit that you fold down for the head and stuff. Um, and they create almost like a, a 3D effect on your project. So here, for instance, we have got the cat. Yes. 
Oh, I feel I've got templates here, so I don't have to play. Uh, can, can you work out what it is? Uh, let me put that over there. We've got a cat. Yeah, so, so that's our cat. Ah, so when you use the templates, this is how they, the, 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 the 3D and the mouse. Let's call that sugar mouse at the bottom there. Do you, can you still get those little sugar mouses? Can you? Have you never seen one, Maddie? Oh, <gasps> you've never had a sugar mouse. Oh, if you haven't lived. Pink or white used to be, and they're just basically pure. Like, have you ever had a Kendall mint cake? No. <laughs> oh my word! I can't. I can't describe the texture to you then, because that's what it's like, but without the mint. It's just an iced sugar block of sugar, sugar. It's gorgeous. Yeah, but it's harder than icing, isn't it? Enough for you to be able to gnaw through it. I can't think of the consistency now. What could just compare it to other than the Kendall mint cake? Anyway, moving on. Uh, we need to sort that out for her. And then we've got Puddy Cat. You see how they, they, they got the bendy head a bit, the noddy head bit? Yeah. But they lay flat then if you're, if you're posting or... Is that another mouse? Yeah, another sugar mouse there. Oh, Teddy Bear and the doggy. Unusual. Unusual. Oh, they've actually stuck clocks on for the eyes and the nose. It was, it was foxy me there. Um, scrapbooking, you can use it for. You can use it for your mixed media, your journaling, card making, your kids' projects. Ah, it's the, it's the, it's the puddy cat. It's the puddy cat rolling on her back. There's a little paws. There's a ball of wool. That, that, I think that's not helping us, is it? Because it just looks like... Maybe, maybe they thought of it as a bowl. I thought it was a bowl, ball of wool. So that's the puddy cat. Puddy cat having a lovely play there. Ah, oh, the poodle. We love the poodle. That's a good one with the poodle, isn't it? Uh, there's the dog, you see. Now can you see it with the, with the bendy head, yeah. And then you just sort of, you can see where the folds are there as well. So once you've got the template and then that folds forward to create the, 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 the doggy and he's got his bonio. Bonio, bonio. The, da the Datsund. And... The Scotty dog, there we go. The Scotty dog, there he is. Yeah, Scotty dog with a lovely bow. And then last but not least, Puddy Cat with a fish in a bowl. Yeah, there we go, everybody. Ah, don't say I don't treat you. 1199 786 Sylvia's got two projects on the go. Sylvia's a very busy lady. Oh, beaded tassel and a storybook. Oh, Sylvia, you're, 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 oh, you're, what's the word? I can't think of the word. Um, prolific. It, prolific, Sylvia. That's amazing. Um, I'm just asking everybody what you're up to. Who else have we got uh, crafting out there? Jade, good morning. James, Dave. I need to wash my ears out, don't I? Dave, James, <laughs> Dave and Briggs, sorry. Dave. Dave is casting resin coasters oh, and building a pyramid box. Oh, my God. I can see that's going to be amazing because uh, Dave and Brig make amazing things, don't they? Um, they made lots for our snowy. Gosh, that's amazing. That's going to be brilliant. A pyramid box. Oof. Heather's asking about snowy. He's actually in the gallery with the girls, with Holly and my producer, Charlotte. So uh, he's alive and well. Well, he's not alive, he's a teddy, isn't he? But he's, uh, he's well, and he, he likes... To... He's moved on, he's been promoted, you see. So he's not on the studio floor anymore. He's in the higher echelons of behind the scenes. He watches over us now in the gallery, so... He's left us, you know, plebeians behind. He's moved on to greater things. I'm sorry about that, but he's very well. Thank you for asking. Uh, shall we move on to another one? It's so lovely to have the interaction this time of the morning. Thank you so much. You are wonderful. Makes me feel less lonely. Um, not that I'm alone. I'm with all the girls, but um, you know, you know what I mean. I like to have a chat. I like to, I like to feel like I'm having a chat with you at home. And uh, I wanted to know what you were up to in terms of your, your crafting projects, where you're at, what you're doing. Being nosy, basically, aren't I? Oh, Shubs. Shaz. I've got a friend called Shubs. Sorry, Shaz. Shaz is making Christmas cards. You see, there's a lot of you crafters, people... People think, oh, Christmas already. Think, yeah, but I know what you're like. You're, you're, you're months ahead of the game, seasons ahead. So, um, yeah, Sharon, Christmas cards. Well done, you. I mean, for me, I'm always thinking about Christmas, aren't we? Because I'm always thinking about Panto. So, um, hoping to go see a dragon next week. Not a person, not someone on Dragon's Den either. I mean, as in, arr, arr. 
What do you think of that impression, Maddie? You can tell I'm an actor, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Right, moving on. Uh, well, let's have the decoupage background paper and embellishment collection. Yes, so we've got a real mix here. Basically, decoupage papers and um, some, some lovely... Um, so what these, these are six by six. There's loads of these. So as you can see, here's a little smorgasbord of what you've got going on here. So loads of lovely different papers. Let's just give you a flavour of some of the... So these are just great for your card making, your background making, your layering. Lots of different, I would say as well, lots of different textures. Like that, that's a more matte uh, feel. That's a gloss. That feels like it's got a coat. Well, it's not gloss, but it's got a coating on it. Does that make sense? Because I know in terms of your stamping. Um, you see, you're ready to go with some card making there. Sometimes it's just finding that perfect little piece of paper as well. So that's beautiful, isn't it? I love that. I can just stamp something simple on that. They're white, all white on the, on the background. That's beautiful backgrounds, aren't they? So you, you're just going to get... A ton load of these basically um, and some others just trying to show you a few of the rocks I've got a big pile behind me here they're like um, you know when you get the little um, charm squares in material oh I love that it's very art deco isn't it oh so is that one beautiful aren't they oh yeah very much so aren't they yeah, they're screaming art deco aren't they um, so they're like they're, they're like a little charm well larger than charms obviously but uh, yeah look look there's loads here loads tons so there's these i've just shown you basically because on in each pack there's how many 10 so for instance that one you're going to get 10 of the flower pot you're going to get 10 of the background one you get 10 of i mean that's where they get the two to six ten of those ten of those 266 pieces Ten of the flowers ten of the art so th there's a lot there that's why we didn't get them all out there's 10 in each then we move up there's 12 of the um 12, I should say, 12 pieces in the 8 by 8 So, again, these are just great to build up your stash. Or if you've got the kids staying and they want to do some crafting, but you don't want them using your, your real high-end papers. But some of these are really pretty. So it's not like uh, they're having to slum it or anything. Look at the bees. Aren't they beautiful? Um, yeah, gorgeous. So we've got those. And then we've got some toppers as well. So, not well, toppers, take a page toppers. So on these sheets, they're very easy to follow. Um, because you've literally got the building up with your flowers, so you, you can do your, your... That reminds me of the wallpaper from the 1970s, doesn't it? Um, you've got eight pots, basically, 3D cutting, so it, it builds up the image. So you've got flowers there, mixture of flowers there, so cut it, that, that'll keep the kids busy for free, as won't it, fussy cutting these. Yeah, 3D, so you've got uh, loads of acid-free... Pots. Oh, hello. Got some doggies there in the kennel. Well, outside in the box. So that's more of a background paper, that one, isn't it? But just little bits you could fussy cut out. That would keep them occupied for hours, wouldn't it? Putty cat. Putty in a basket. A little seafaring. Uh, it's a real mix. Of papers there, keep everybody happy, keep everybody at the farmyard there, the chicken and the hens. Go back to some more lovely hounds. Butterflies, lots to fussy cut there, haven't we? Really, really pretty. And then there's got some beautiful roses. So you can see there's a, there's a real mix, which is why it's uh, it's just called a collection there. I mean, 266 pieces, there's just tons here. On the, on the, on the, I've even got some little, um, some little flower embellishments as well, so who knows... Who knows what you're going to get in there? Just a, a, a lovely mix. So, you know, if you're just looking to build up your stash, you want a, a, a lovely bargain. A um, few more of those. Sometimes you just find that individual piece in that mix, and you just in that place, you say, oh, that's perfect. And uh, you're just making a big saving there. 11.99. There's the number. 951-803. Mmm. Loads on there, as you can see. Oh, hello, Sue Jackson. Oh, I do love you all. You're so lovely. Morning, Fee. Just to let you know that I watch every morning at this time. I love you first thing in the morning because you're so cheerful. You start my day off right. Oh, bless you. Sketching at the moment. Oh, Sue. Sketching sketching me? He says sketching you at the moment. You're sketching me? Oh, I don't. Oh, need a picture of that then, Sue. Why would you want to sketch me, darling? But oh, I'm going to go with it. 
my best side, Sue. I don't know which is my best side. Probably this one. <laughs> Uh, lovely. Oh, Sue, fabulous. I'm loving the fact that you're all doing your lovely crafting. Cause that, that, you know, what a great way to start the day. Just doing some watercolour or making a pyramid box, as I'm hearing. Or um, what else did we have this morning? Who else was doing everything? Christmas card making. That's the way we should be starting the day, isn't it? Doing a lovely bit of crafting. Yeah, I just love that idea. Well, lovely to hear from you still. I was asking everybody, what are you doing so you can keep your company in this first hour? It is a happy hour. We are, we are selling things, of course. Um, but uh, it's just lovely to hear from you. I feel less lonely walking down the counter. So let me know what you're up to on the, on the Facebook or indeed email us to studio at thecraftstore.com. It would be lovely to hear from you. And of course, later on, after this hour, you've got the lovely John Lockwood. Is, he, um, is it the one day special? What's he got? What's he got going on in this one day special? I missed it. Oh, it's the monthly mega deal. That's right. Yeah, it's the monthly mega deal of the machine. Oh, is it? Is it? It's not the Clydo. Is it something else? Oh. oh, here we go. Here we go. It's it's the Couture Creations Go Power and embossed die cutting machine. Oh, look at that price. That looks good, doesn't it? And then you've got all the plates there. He'll tell you all about this um, at eight o'clock. Um, so yeah, don't miss out. Oh, that'll be that'll be a real treat, won't it? Oh yeah, I'm excited about that. Fabulous, and he's got some lovely dies as well. John next door, great. Oh, don't miss that at eight o'clock as well. What have we got now? We've got some stamps now. Christmas card making. Who was the lovely Who was the lovely person making the Christmas card making? I've got a brain like a sieve this morning. Karen. Karen was making. Was it Karen? Shaz, yes, because I called her Shubs. Shaz is making, Shaz is making the, the Christmas cards. I thought of you simply because I've got some little Christmas stamps um, and, and various other things as well. This is the acrylic stamp and paper collection. Assorted designs. Very good morning to you all. Oh, who's that? Joan's already done a Christmas card for this year. Oh, Joan, I wish I was that organised. That's amazing. Oh. That's so organised. You know, when you try to be organised and get ahead of yourself and still time runs away. Joan, that is amazing. I'd love to approach Christmas with it all sort of done. Oh, what a lovely feeling that would be. I mean, I've still got time, haven't I? That'd be a lovely feeling. Mm, Joan, well done. Yeah, I'm very envious of that. Um, so, but we can get started as well with our Joan because I've got some Christmas stamps. Yeah. So I've got a little mixture here. I've got this is my Christmas stamps. Um, that is very cute. I love that little doodle border. And you've got the little doodly trees. You've got some holly there, little star Christmas sock, little Santa there, quirky Santa there, the Christmas wreath. So that's a lovely little set of stamps on that one, one, one stamp set there. And then totally different, totally different direction. Lovely tea. Yeah, isn't that gorgeous? Look at the cakes. <gasps> birthday wishes, if you want to make it a birthday card. Could be any kind of card, isn't it, with that lovely afternoon tea set on there love those so you've got those stamps as well moving down we've got some more christmas themed stamps we've got the snowman haven't we there we go snow fun little distress there you've got snowflake some musical notes wishing you a merry christmas with a lovely sweeping filigree there rather jolly snowman there he's very happy with himself and i love the i love the font of the of the merry christmas that's lovely isn't it yeah so some more christmas themes so we could be like our joan and our, our shaz get ahead and then i'm going to put a bit of paper behind these stamps because it's very hard to see i've seen these pink stamps before and they're just hard to, to 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 comprehend so there's a lot of stamps on there if i put a bit of, i don't know which way is easy is that better to get a bit of distance yeah that's a bit easier isn't it so you've got a lot of flowers there individual buds and flowers and rose heads little floral uh, conception there this piece this card as well if you're admiring that you are getting that that lovely lined card isn't that beautiful i tell you what that's a good a good waft that's um yeah it's got a good gsm that's beautiful i'm just going to show you some more sort of big bloom of roses there let's turn it that way around you've got some frames as well some framed flowers very ornate the very i love that one down down the bottom that's really pretty isn't it as well sort of large daisies there very ornate and then let's get this last one out for you there we go oh, that one's already got its cards it's um card behind it there we go let's lift that up for you so again these are the debbie moore acrylic stamps 
So uh, you remove each stamp, it says, from the backing sheet, place in position on your acrylic block and apply the ink and then stamp as desired, yeah. Keep the safety sheet there. So you've got some more large flash, you've got some corners there as well. Um, so yeah, lovely mix there of, of, of three sets of acrylic stamps. And then, can you see this massive, yeah, I'm still going. Can you see this massive wadge of acrylic, of, of card stock? This is beautiful, it's very elegant. Is that a three and, what GSM is that? Look how thick that is. It, do you know what it feels like to me? And I'm giving you my best guesstimate here. That feels like a 300. And it's, yeah, it is thick. You, well, you could see it, couldn't you, then, when I held it up. But I love that very distinct, well, elegant sort of linen, well, a line, isn't it? It's like a, a beautiful linen line or something that you get, like, on an Egyptian cotton. It's gorgeous. It's got a very faint, um, what colour would you call that? It's not cream, off-white. I'm trying to describe it to you. Um, very, very pale mink. I'm not sure if it's coming across on camera, but that's the best way I can describe. Yeah, it's definitely not white. This is white, because you get this white card. Now, this is lovely and smooth. So if I contrast that with your white. Yeah. So what's the, um, that's more of a, I sort of, between your paper and your card, that. I put that as about 200. So we're getting that as well. So you're getting a big wadge. Look at that wadge. And, oh, look, another little cheeky flower stamp there as well. And that uh, little fairy-themed, is it a bride with a posy? Let's move our flower out of the way there. She's got posies. Fairy tale. Princess, sorry, yeah. She's looking in the mirror. Ooh. Uh, she's almost, uh, she looks like Rapunzel, doesn't she? She's coming out the window. Look, she's coming out the window. Oh, taut. Shaz Sha says taut. That's a great description. What a brilliant word. Yes. Yes, it is. Shaz, it is. It's a taut colour. That's a taut, yeah. Taut colour. T-A-U-P-E, isn't it? That, that's what Shaz means, isn't it? Taut. That's a brilliant, that's a brilliant, oh, I haven't used that word in a long time. Taut. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Brilliant. It's beautiful. Got to say, it's beautiful. I'd be, I'd be doing that just for the cardstock alone. Um, and then our lovely Rapunzel. I, I think that's Rapunzel myself. Oh, we can see it on the colour picture there now, can't we? Um, 1999-212-368. So lovely to have your company this morning. I do appreciate all your lovely posts on the Facebook and emailing us in. We, we do love to hear from you. Feel, us, feel, us, feel like we're starting the day with you then and um, involved in your crafting. I'm, I'm, I'm dying to know what else everybody's doing in the crafting. It's, it's amazing you're all up so early. Well, I suppose it's, it's 20 to 8. I don't know if I'd be surfacing now myself. If I'm honest, I'm being very honest now. The be the past, you know, the kids are at their age now. They know not to not to disturb me. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm lying in my crypt, you know. <laughs> now they can go off and occupy themselves and get their own breakfast, can't they? For you could just just that little extra half an hour. It's lovely, isn't it? It's lovely. Anyway, what have we got here? Uh, we've got the Peerless Designs Junk Journal Scraps and Stencil Bundle. Ooh, ooh, lovely. So, let's have a little uh, look-see, because I had a little look-see earlier, but didn't quite realise just how much we've got on. So, we've got some grey board in two different sizes, yeah? Got some grey board in there. Always useful, always useful. We've got some vintage papers. Um, oh, we've got some lovely vintage paper. Ali, Ali Reeve would love this, wouldn't she? Oh, I love, I love old music. I don't know if I could bear to tear it up. But um, at least you're putting it to another use, isn't it? So, sort of half pages of the music, so it's really got that, you can see it around the edges, that sort of genuine weathered feel. I know you can do it with your stamping and what have you, but it is, it is, it's the texture of it, isn't it? So you're getting some lovely, lovely, uh, genuine old music. We've got some book inserts there as well, some indexes there. Oh, this is fab. Love looking at it. So a little, what else we've got going on here? So we've got that, some pages there. Oh, what's this? The the mighty spectacle which met the gaze of Balboa. Hecky thought you could get lost in that with your cup of tea, didn't you? Exhausted travellers drifted in helpless down the Amazon. Oh, that's brilliant. Read in that. By 1550, in the short space of about 20 years, the vast continent of South America was appropriated by a handful of soldiers for the Spanish and Portuguese monarchs. Mm. There we go. Read on, folks. Read on. Uh, but there we go. There, look at that. It's got a fab picture on the back. 
Central and South America. The story of the peoples of all nations and their homelands. So, yeah, some lovely... Ooh! Badges of Girl Guides and Rangers. That's fantastic, isn't it? Who knows what you're going to get? I love it. I've just been excited just looking through that pile of papers. So we've got some lovely, lovely vintage papers there as well. And um, there's loads more behind here, by the way. I'm just ruining the display that Maddie's made for me. Um, what else have we got? We have got... So this is great for your journaling, isn't it? There's a real mix here. So you've got some card, some super smooth card, A5 size. We said about our, our lovely music. We have got... Ooh, it's like a, it's like a parchment paper. It's not rice paper. It's like, but sort of that parchment feel, but printed. And then, oh, again, some lovely textured paper here as well. Look at that. I think I've got the right bit. Whichever side you look at it, there's, there's definitely a print on that. You see that? Probably see it. Do you see it on the darker side more, maybe? Again, that's a bit of a taupe colour, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, that looks like a leathery, doesn't it, that side, doesn't it? Ooh, look at this sort of texture effect. Oh, good morning, Helen. Helen is saying good morning to me now as well. Lovely to have your company, Helen. Yeah, we've got some lovely textured papers there. Uh, Helen, what are you up to? What crafting are you doing at the moment? What project are you doing? We've got some um, acetate. And we've got some, some white card, A5 size. So we've got lots of, lo lots of lovely, uh, some brown... Well, I prefer the underside of that, funny enough. Oh, look at this blue powder. That's some proper thick card, that is. That's again a 300 GSM. Some large grey board there as well. Um, then we've got some stencils. Some masking. You've got the masking and the stencils there. That's pretty, isn't it? Very ornate. Um, yeah, so loads of the, the lovely Super Smooth. That's kind of got a film on it. Loads of this brilliant acetate. Loads of sheets of that, and uh, some really thick whiteboard as well. So yeah, uh, there's a real, it's a real honeypot of a, of a mix of stuff here, isn't it? There's loads here, loads there, as you can see. Um, yeah, so it's basically it's it's journal scraps and uh, some stencils in there. Nine ninety nine, four six nine nine by four. Helen's crafting with Groovy. Oh, which collection are you using, Helen? Oh, that's that's relaxing, isn't it? You see, the thing is that worries. Do you know what I think about Groovy? Because uh, I love it. But if you go, you, you'd never get anything else done, would you? You would never get anything else done. It's just, there's just not enough hours in the day. It's amazing. I love, I love watching Paula Barbara doing it. She's what? She's broken her ankle. Oh. Helen, I'm so sorry, darling. We're sending lots of love and get well soon. She can only wait till the cast comes off. She broke her ankle. She's incapacitated well you might as well get groovy with it yeah she's uh, she's yeah she's crafting with groovy and clarity oh Helen bless you I'm so sorry for you darling I hope you're all right now you're managing on the crutches it's up and down the stairs on your bottom or do you live in a bungalow I've done that before I've done that before several times uh, so yes I feel your pain my darling I hope you're not in pain by the way um, yes, we got. I forgot. I forgot. I'm just having such a lovely time. Forgot what I'm supposed to be doing. Showing your happy hour deals, aren't I? Um, we've got some more and some stills. So we've got the sweet Dixie Woodland Wonders Animal Stamp Bundle. Um, ten stamps. So what have we got? What can you work out from that? I can see a squirrel. Mm -hmm. An owl, a bunny. Um, looks like a. Is it a hummingbird? Would you say? I think so. Got long beak. And a foxy loxy fox, yeah. So we've got the background and then obviously all the detail as well to overlay it. Oh, they're fun, aren't they? 10 stamps, 1849. Happy hour deal, 137045. Don't forget all the deals stop at 8 o'clock. Ooh, another set of sweet Dixie three stamp sets. Heartfelt up, up and away, and shooting star. Oh, I like that because you've got the, the really plain outline. And then if you want to fill it with the detail, and can you see on the detail, each of those shapes is made up of words. It's like those word posters, isn't it? That's really nice. I like those. I know they're very simple, but sometimes that's, that's the way to go. And you've got the little top there as well. Almost looks like a hot air balloon. Oh, I've got some cardstock for you now. Um, ooh, assorted colours, 150. 
55 sheets. I dare say that's an assortment as well of uh, GSMs. But still, I mean, if you're looking again, just to build up the stash, the kids have come around, they've, they've raided your lovely stash over the summer holidays, or you're just thinking, wow, you know, they're, they're, when you just need to reach for that color, and you don't want loads of the one color, but that's a great thing just to have in your stash, isn't it? And you're saving 16 pounds, 24.99, Shall we show some wrapping papers? Pattern papers. Um, 100 sheets. And I think, yeah, they're 12, they're big. So please, the picture belies the size. I know it says 12 by 12, but I thought for a minute, are they like the six by sixes? But no, they're all 12 by 12. And I dare say in each pack, it's saying there's 20 or sort of designs. Yeah, so you get five in each pack, 100 sheets in total. That's a good one, isn't it? For, for your matte layering, and your background papers and stuff. 11.99, even, even if there was some that you didn't like, you can swap with a mate or, I'm not sure that's possible, is it, to have some you don't like, because for somebody else, they'll like it or it will go with your matte layering, it will go with something. I love it when um, some of the crafters, they die cut pattern paper, because I think that was makes it look really pretty as well. It's the simple things for me. 132850. Sewing sheets now. Foam sheets. Uh, you are speaking English, Charlotte, I promise you. It's just, I just have the inability to listen today. I'm so sorry, darling. She's saying perfect English words down my ear, and I can't seem to comprehend. I'm so sorry. Foam sheets. I was quite excited by sewing sheets, weren't you? I wish they were sewing. <laughs> I thought, oh, I don't know what a sewing sheet is. Uh, these are your foam sheets, yes, for making your lovely foam flowers, your lovely heartfelt creations and what have you. Um, 9 99 I know Mr Lockwood likes a foam flower as well. Uh, oh, lovely Anthony. I haven't seen Anthony for ages. He loves a foam flower, doesn't he? 041342. More coming in 11 minutes left. The clock is ticking, you lovely, lovely crafters. Now this is pre-scored card and the wooden stamp collection. So I can see there we've got a teddy bear, uh, we've got a lovely um, ink pad ready to go, we've got the pen. Um, oh, that's great because someone could just sit down with that little collection and get started, couldn't they? So lovely, all sorted colours and designs, but you're, you're good to go because you get your ink pad as well. Twenty-four ninety-nine, saving fifty pounds. Wow, there must be a lot in that one. And my final, ha final happy hour deal that we just couldn't fit on the counter. Oh, there's those stamps. Uh, oh yes, Fiskars, the soft grip fingertip swivel knife. There we go. Uh, with the, the knife blades. To, we had a Fiskars show on um, the other day, didn't we? Uh, five six one. They had all the tools. Seven six four eleven ninety nine. Two refill blades. Should we? Should we remind ourselves of some um, seven day savers? I was just just found those lovely stamps over there that I like. I'll close look at those in a moment. Um, let's have a look at seven day savers. Of course, eight o'clock on Sunday morning. They change so you these will have only just arrived this sunday so these these are new for this week oh do you know what they're lovely they are up up and away in the shooting star and things i like those a lot uh, they're in the happy hour deal folks sorry i digress uh, but you will like them have a look at those now christmas card making shaz and um was it joan yes joan's ahead of herself she's already done it um can i tempt you though to some jelly bean paper crafting kit the christmas collection so you've got all sorts there for embellishments, haven't you? Uh, stamps, embellishments, reindeers, stars, trees. They're, they're lovely to decorate presents, baubles. We've got the uh, Trimmits Christmas Sewing Bundle, the Advent Calendar Kit. Oh, that looks great. So you can cross-stitch your cards, cross-stitch kit and felt decoration. That's a brilliant set and an Advent Calendar as well. Oh, I like that a lot. That's really um, piqued my interest. £16.44. We've got some knitting, but we were talking about knitting earlier and the lovely Tom Daly, weren't we? We've got some Sweet Dixie Anne Marie stamps. Well, I've already got some uh, Sweet Dixie on the show. We've got some more Fiskars. We've got scissors sharpener. Oh, you, you know what? You could do with that sometimes because sometimes your scissors do go but blunt, don't they? And dull bladed. And uh, metal straight cutter sizes. Oh, Walfer Strong, the foam tape. That's a necessity. Look at that price point. Yeah, £9 off. We've got the uh, chipboard shape collection, always good, always good. Oh, and pink frog. Now, if you're into your pink frog, later on, I've got a happy hour. Again, I'm on my own. I hope you'll talk to me at one o'clock as well. Um, and we could chat to each other again. And you can tell me how the watercolor's going, the pyramid box is going, the painting, the card making. I'll tell you what, there's more than usual, isn't there? Sometimes you only get about six. We've got self-adhesive white sheets. Nine, look at that. 100 for 9.99. I know. Look at that. Get a load of that. We're, oh, 
Oh, that's so lovely. The decorative craft button collection. 30 of them. Should we have a closer look at those? Oh, they're good, aren't they? They're cute as. Because I like them on cards and uh, mixed media, not just, you know, a cardigan. Um, that's a brilliant price point, isn't it? Fourteen pounds twenty. You could just gift some of those, you know, in a secret Santa. And then, oh, fabric pasty. That's always good. There's always some old bit of t-shirt you can you can zhuzh up with a bit of dyeing. Now, Maddie called it right. This is her favourite. And you're loving these. The A4 assorted animal template sets. You are loving these. So these, we've decided, brilliant for your scrapbooking, your mixed media, your journaling, your card making, kids projects. So basically, you get your, um, if I show you the template again, so this was my little Datsund. There he is, sausage dog. He's got his bonio. And you can see where it's scored, so his head will flap down. You'll see all will become... Have I got my little sausage dog here? Where, where's my little sausage dog? He was towards the end, wasn't he? There he is. So that's your template, which pops out. And then I suppose you could use it as a kind of stencil. But there he is in all his glory. So where, where, where you see the folds, you know better than I do, folks. Where you see the folds... I don't know what's happened to his bonio there, do you? I think that's a slipper, a shoe, yeah. Um, you can just... Well, in this case, they've decided... There is a fold there as well, so you can fold the body... This, you, can, you can, there's no reason why you can't, it's stuck at the moment, but there's no reason why you couldn't have him just, you know, walking along. But the idea is to fold it 3D so it just pops out and gives it that little bit of lift and interest as well. But isn't that lovely in the papers? That's just gorgeous. So that's your little Datsund and you, you get 12, 12 of these different uh, animals in there. So there's our Datsund. And then you saw my kitty catty. Yeah, little mousy mousy, sugar mousy that we have to get our Maddie and a bit of Kendall mint cake. She never experienced it. Uh, another little kitty caddy. Yes, it folds out, but um, he's gorgeous. Yeah, lovely templates. Then you've got the do now. This is foxing me every time I see the clock nose, but this is just what the papers are. Yes, yeah, so you've got the little head there that folds up and in. So you can just glue that down or or just fold it up. Go, oh, you're leaving me now. Are you going off to do your crafting? Well, goodbye. I love you. Don't go anywhere though, because I've got the lovely. Um, Jock Lockwood coming up, the kitty cat on her belly there, on her back, sorry, playing with a ball of wool. We've got the posh poodle. That's a very posh poodle, isn't it? The teddy bear. We have got, uh, well, he could be anything. He could be a greyhound. He could be a Doberman. He could be a... Yes, he's got a rounded face, isn't he? I don't know. He's quite long, too, too sort of thin for a Labrador. But anyway, it doesn't matter. He's a doggy and he's got a bone. And then what else have we got? We have got our little Scotty dog. They've made the Bonio uh, a bow. Isn't that brilliant? Little Scotty dog. Very happy with himself, he is. And leather cat and a fish. Yeah, brilliant. So lovely. They're the templates that fold and give you 3D effect to, like we said, your scrapbooking, your card making, uh, your kids' projects. Um, yeah, so much you can do there. There, Lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. So, yeah, lovely. Thank you for all of your... Um, interest thank you for watching thank you from charlotte and the craft team here and the crew our lovely maddie and holly um thank you so much for all the lovely it was so lovely to to hear from you and find out what you're doing with your crafting what a lovely way to start the day i'm i'm, I'm, I'm i'd love to be doing the same quite frankly but i have the the pleasure of uh, of showing you all the crafting world uh oh dave and brig have a lovely time in tenerife oh, i'm quite slightly jealous isn't it is that on the green list amber list i don't know i just don't know anymore uh things crossed everything's all right that sounds lovely have a lovely lovely holiday and uh, oh you'll come out gorgeous and sun-kissed and oh we're all jealous now but that's okay we'll go crafting in the garden instead uh have a lovely lovely time and uh yeah i don't want you to go anywhere though because we've got lots of loveliness coming up we can have a little look uh what's coming up uh, later on so i you know i've got my pink frog one day special at uh well, not one day special. I'm, I've created something for myself there. Pink Frog's cap, happy hour at one o'clock. And then we've got Dark Room Door with Yanis Morgan. Oh, I'm growing, I've grown Buddha. Got some succulents there at nine. Uh, we've got the one day special Go Power and Emboss with John Lockwood. Uh, Marant Crafts. Ooh, I had no idea. Vintage Paper with Leone. Oh, Spice Kitchen. Oh, my God. Gosh, our taste buds, we're all going to be hungry at five o'clock, aren't we? And then the lovely Dolly Dimples with Paola. 
and uh, dreamies at oh what a lovely day what a lovely day and of course the craft along with matthew palmer at nine so we can all start our own watercolors tomorrow uh, have a lovely morning Well, we hope you'll stay with us and continue to have a lovely morning because we've got the one day special with John Lockwood, Go Power and Emboss, one day special. Then we're going to grow Buddha and then we've got the dark room door with Yanis. Hi, I'm Abs from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. everybody and a warm welcome i am really looking forward to doing this show so it's our first look at the one day special today we are talking a machine that i mean as machines go is exceptional and we're going to get to this in one moment but i just want to introduce you to my partner in crime it is the legend that is john lockwood how you doing i'm good how are you very very well um this is a i, I wish we had a camera for our, our production meeting because John was talking so passionately about this machine. It is a very, very good machine. I realize a lot of viewers might have die cutting machines. Yep. And there are a lot of die cutting machines on the market. Firstly, can I just say, John would not stand here, and I know John, I've worked with John for a number of years, you absolutely would not stand here and endorse a die cutting machine unless you loved it. Yeah, I have never endorsed a die cutting machine. And the, the important things I always say on this one is, this is not a John Next Door machine. This okay. is not a Crafts 2 machine. Yep. I'm not doing this because it's part of my contract mm -hmm. or anything else. I'm doing this machine because I've had these and I've used this yep. for over two and a half years as my main machine. Well, that's I a big statement it. in the set because you could, you could have used any machine. Yeah, and I've got hundreds of them because yep. I have to test dies in lots of them. Okay. This is the machine that I will use. And if you've watched me on shows, you'll have watched me for at least two years use this actual very machine because I insisted on using mine, not the posh brand new one over mm -hmm. there okay. that we've got. So I wanted to use mine. 
I bought this. Yeah. I have a second one at you can home. You see it's well travelled. Yes, it's got it some is. Scuff. This goes everywhere. Yeah. I have a second one at home, yeah. which is exactly the same, mm -hmm. which is the one I use as my main machine alongside my Kaleido. Yeah. And I bought this with my money, no trade account, no deals, yeah. and I paid more for this, as we were saying this morning, than it's on here at. It's a great price. It was price. two years ago. We've got the flexi payments as well. Yeah. Which I had to pay, I literally had to go into a shop and hand out money straight away. Yeah. And I actually, we were saying this morning, you reminded me, I got mine on a Black Friday deal. Oh, wow. And we've got it less on the and show. And you've got it less on the show. So I okay. actually got something off it then. Uh, you know, I'm doing this show for the craft store mm. because they knew I was using this machine. They sourced it and said, would you present this machine? So this is, this and the Kaleido are the only yeah. two machines that I have ever endorsed or recommended. Wow. And... I, I, you know me, I won't do that. No, you really Unless won't. Unless yeah. it works. And I promise you, it absolutely does work. We're going to get into that in just a moment. Can I just say, here at the Craft Store, we're proud to say, we have got an exclusive as well. Take a look at this. So this is your beautiful pink edition. Go power and, embra and emboss. So uh, I've got to tell you, a third of the stock has gone. Can we just talk about... Um, because I'm really conscious of the fact you might have a die cutting machine at home. So let's speak about that because you might have a manual machine and thinking of going for an electric. The beauty with this machine, and this is, the, this is a really important point, is you're not just restricted to a certain size of die. It will take your deep steel wool dies, so your bigs, but it will also, well actually, John, you were telling me it takes You've tested this, and it takes any die. It takes every die yeah. that has come out. There was only one exclusion, which was that Sizzix did some 12 by 12 dies yeah. years ago, um, which are like hen's teeth, uh -huh. you can't get them. Obviously, they're not going to fit through, but every other die, I want to grab here, every other die that you have got will work in this. So if you've got dies at home, like me, like the, you know, these big ones that I haven't mm -hmm. used in years. Dies like this, that I bought, this is, this is, it's, it's even still got the price on it. Okay. It was very expensive. Okay. This has never been cut. Flash me the price though. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, you know, this has never been out of the packaging or used. Right. And the simple reason is I didn't have a die cutting machine that could use it. Ah. So I'm I'm taking let's I know how much this was so let's think, let's take one fifty five there is nearly eighty pounds worth of dies that never been used that I've not been able that one's never ever even been out of the packet that I've not been able to use because I can't get them through but this which you probably will never have seen yeah I this is the original die. Oh. This is one of the very first. Oh, John, that's going to be worth some money in time. This is 19 years old and belongs to Paula. Okay. So, um, but it will even cut this. Wow. So basically, along with all your beautiful, and I'm going to go mine, mm -hmm. but your fine detail John Next Door dies. Mm -hmm. You know, I have mine made finer than anyone. Yeah. You, that, that's one of the dies you get the set. So your thin dies, your mid dies, your keep turning around sorry but things like you remember the quick cuts dies of years ago yeah your original dies that went in the red machines these are Haley's mocha block dies oh yeah the, the deep dish thick fabric dies your thin dies yeah your big dies even up to this is some of my favorites I spent a lot of money on these and couldn't yeah. use them things like this, this is a Tim Holtz alphabet yeah guy. That's, a big, that's big yeah um, full size A4 big dies for cutting fabric and making patchwork. Wow, go through. Every single die. This is a Anna Griffin die from about seven or eight years yeah. ago. Again, thicker than normal. I mean, this is really important the fact that it takes every die, whether it is a big, thick die or a thin die, it will take it. John, just for this is what I'd be thinking as a crafter. Things, and it's a small point, but I want to go through this. Now, this is your machine. I yeah. think it's worth showing everybody your plates because yes. I've seen electric <laughs> machines in the past and some electric machines, I won't mention brands or names or anything like that, but some electric machines, they tend to warp the plate. So how long have you had those plates These for? plates I've had for two years at least. Two years? This is the set that I've had with this machine. You can see here. You've had those plates for two, two years? years. Yeah. How are they so straight? Because I use them correctly, but also because ah. they don't bend. 
they're not designed to. I've seen something like that. Yeah, really when we, um, for putting this show together, which yeah. was like months, because it's taken three months to get them, for them to chug across the yeah. ocean, I think, um, we asked about getting hold of more of the sea plates and more uh -huh. of the spare plates, and they could only let, I know, buying have a few. Okay. Because they don't particularly stock them. Because they don't need it. Because they don't need to. You say, so they're not years. looking to try and make money out of buying, selling you extra plates yeah. every three to six months. What? But, I mean, so you've got the, the metal the shim there. Is, John, you've got the metal shim. Yeah. Just run your hand over it. Okay. I love doing this. Don't do this at home, please. Okay. Now that's it's really important. for edges. Do you know we had, so these again as crafters you would have heard the stories. We had a guest on, I was working with her, I won't mention her name, uh, using a certain brand of machine and she actually live on the show sliced her finger because the the metal shim was sharp. Was sharp. So yeah. look, it's a small point, I'm not saying you're going to buy the machine just because of that, but it shows the, the quality that you're getting with the machine. The fact that the plates don't bend, the fact that you're not going to be cutting yourself on the metal. Now we are busy for this machine, I'm really pleased we are because what this machine will do, and I want to speak to you, and the difference between an electric machine, I'm not knocking handle crank machines, because no. we've all got them and you know, there is a place for them. But with electric machines, they do take the work out of it, but also those dies, because of the pressure you're getting here, effectively this is going to future-proof you. And I'll tell you why. John as a designer, and I think I'm right in saying this, John, you're never going to get any more detailed dies than the dies you design, no. that you hand draw. I, I, I've, I've said this on many shows and I think people think, yeah. you know, you say it for effect. Yeah. But there is, um, I was talking to Paula last night, mm. there's an instruction you get from the manufacturers of dies yeah. telling you how close lines can be together, how close dots can be. Yeah. And basically two lines can't be closer than three mil together. Okay. I have dies now that are a millimetre apart. Wow. You've seen some of the detailed dies I've done for this Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Um, certainly, and again, if you, say if you tune in on Friday, uh -huh. I've got a, a new limited edition Christmas launching. Nice. But some of the lines on that are actually a millimetre. They are wow. super fine wow. in one of the frames. Um, and I can't do that, and I can't design to that level and push the manufacturers to make it if I haven't got a machine that's going to cut it. And, and we, that is the difference. So I don't, I have the full confidence. So as I said earlier, yeah. I can go to... This is impressive. You can sort of, you, you can see, probably see this better on the overhead, to be honest. That is mount board. Yeah. Yeah. It's not grey board. No. This is mount board that okay. you mount pictures with, yeah? Yeah. So it's cut that, okay? Right. It's then cut, this is one of the bicycle dies you get free with it. Uh -huh. This is 300 oh, GSM coated craft card. Yeah. Cut Look like at the detail, and I cut the, all of these were cut live last like night, so they've not been prepped. Yeah. That is one of my snowflakes from the Advent pot box, cut in vellum. So we've got, what else? Okay. So that's vellum cut again, vellum traditionally and very hard to cut. Yeah, literally, that's so thin. So to have that ability yeah. in one machine is absolutely amazing to me, and it means that I can use every die yeah because I, I never like to pretend we buy from everywhere mm -hmm. you know i'm a terrible hoarder yeah. i have two hobbies crafting and hoarding craft supplies yeah. um but i can able to go through and use dies i've had for years yeah. that i've not been able to use because they don't match with that machine because mm -hmm. i need to move to an electronic and they don't fit in everything works and i can happily stand right here on air That's and it. legally i can't say that if it's not true. Well, no, it's so <laughs> true. It, it, that's a really good point. Legally, he can't. And um, look, it's a machine that John has. He bought it himself. He bought four for his workshops, when he does workshops. Um, all I will say to you, it's a machine, now we don't have to switch. So you don't have to use one machine. Oh, it's got my, uh, a large, big die. Uh, now, thin lit die, I'm going to change, mix media. All, I mean, for me, the real crux of this is if you are sat at home, if you have a machine that you've had for years, and obviously technology, if you imagine, if you have a machine for 10, 15 years, maybe a hand crank machine, saying, well, oh, it does the job, it's how easy is it to do that job? And do you have any dies that you've stopped using? And we've been, I've seen, I've seen it working here, where it's a die that is very intricate, and dies are only going to get more and more and more intricate, seeing what John's bringing out. So you've got those dies that you've used once, and you're like, oh, I don't want to do it. So you're running it through time and time again, and you've kind of given up. The power you get with this machine, suddenly all those dies you struggled with, you're going to start using. It is 
um, and I'm really conscious of the fact, I know we're shopping TV, and I, obviously you're going to think we're enthusiastic about this, but there are points where, you forget our enthusiasm, it's just the, the facts speak for themselves. The quality of the machine, the plates that they're not bending, um, you can see that all the different mediums that we're cutting, and I think the best way we are going to do that, I'll just very quickly get rid of some housekeeping, the difference with the craft store. This is your monthly mega deal. We have got an exclusive machine here because you will not be able to get the pink in any other distributor, any other company. This is the only place you will ever be able to get this uh, option. So if you do want, you're right now rather, uh, if you do want to get hold of this, you've got three flexi payments of 46.66, interest free. So today. 46 pounds and 66 pence. We not only send you the phenomenal Go Power and Emboss, but we're also going to give you all the plates that you need as well. You're going to get all the dies. I think it's 33 dies. Uh, 30, apologies. 30 dies, and you're going to get two embossing folders. So all of that comes as a bundle, which means effectively the minute you get this home, you're going to start playing. Was it you, John? I'm, I'm really tentative to sell this story. I'm pretty sure it was you. Was it you that you? Got a die cutting machine as a present, but then you had nothing to cut. Yes. I'm so glad that was you. That would be really awkward. Like, <laughs> yes. Actually, that's not and me. And I was in Spain at the time. I got yeah. my first one. Um, and basically, I had the machine, I had an embossing folder. Uh, my friend had bought me cards to go with it, but I hadn't thought to buy me any dies. Uh. So I spent all of Christmas Day turning the handle. <laughs> but the, the funny lead on from that story is that was my first die cutting machine, and I went mad on dies. Yeah. Within six months, I'd upgraded to an A4 machine. Oh, really? I, I got hold of it and loved it that much and realised I wanted to be able to cut more. Yeah. I wanted to be able to cut bigger dies. I wanted to be able to make some of the bigger projects rather than yeah. putting pieces together. So, yes, that started me off, but within six months, and I almost felt mm -hmm. like it was a bit of a false economy starting with a smaller machine. Well, you look, the thing is, with a larger machine, you can always do smaller dies, yeah. but if you've got a smaller machine, you are restricted. And I want to point out, and this is such an important point that John was saying, barring the 12 by 12s, do, when were they really? Were oh, company? it's years ago, okay. and it was for a massive 12 by 12 machine, which, of course, okay. I had. I mean, yeah. I can honestly say this. Yeah. I have had or have tested... Yeah every machine on the market. Oh, I am a okay. die cutter and I am yeah. also very, very dull and very, very boring. But you like the you like the I love the, the whole mechanics. process, yeah, I love the it. mechanics, I have to know why. So it was the size of this table. What? Okay. It was a twelve by twelve machine with a yeah. deep dish. Yeah. I had it shipped over to me in Spain. It cost me over four hundred euros Oof. for the twelve by twelve. But I have had that yeah. and I mean the people are the only person I know who's actually got any of those big dies anymore is Paola. Okay, that's it. She's, She's got a collection of them just yeah. in case she ever decides to do it again. I don't know. Um, but but I have saying... had every machine yeah. on the market, or I've tested every machine. So I've either bought it or I've been in a store and I've demoed it for a day to test every single one. Well, we're gonna... And that's the one I put my money on. And that's such a bit look from John. That is a massive statement, and he, John would only say that if he 100% felt it. Um, just the point, and we're going to start playing with it now, but the point I want to make, any die that you have right now will fit in this, because uh, barring those 12 by 12s, it takes any dies. So your thin dies, your deep dish dies, it will take it. Um, I think it's about time we see it in action. Yeah. Oh, I've got to stress, by the way, this is going to be a monthly mega deal. Uh, a third of our stock's gone, and once it's gone, that is it, because we've had a certain amount made and shipped to us. Uh, if you want to get hold of the pink edition, and this is the only place where you can get hold of this machine, is the craft store. Once it's gone, it has gone. Uh, just to give you a very quick update on the gold option as well, we're approaching 30% of the stock for the gold option. So the only difference, exact same machine, it's really the, just the design, the livery uh, of this band, so either the gold or the uh, pink. But, I mean, I say it's only that. It's a nice aesthetic. So if it you is. want it to fit it, it, craft well, it room. fits in, your, in yeah. your craft room. I mean, you know, I certainly won't. I've got gold ones. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to get a pink one. Uh, but if they did a blue one, I probably would. Okay. But then that's me and blue, okay. basically. Now, we've had a question in. Yeah. So what plates are included? Right. So you get your plates. Yeah. You get, first of all, you can see, if I, when this was available last time, I was able to get a new one. Okay. Because basically, I dropped my one at home and it had separated a bit underneath. Oh, okay. Um, so, but I didn't use the new plates. I kept using my old plates from my original two year old one. Right, okay. So, these are actually the new plates that I 
got with it, but I, I'm not going to use them. I'll save yeah. these for best. Yeah, yeah. So a plate, yeah. which is your thick base plate. So this effectively almost replaces what your big die would be. Yeah. Yeah. And this is what means that it's got this wide opening, which means, don't forget, you can also get all your foiling machines through this. So if you have got yeah. any of the foiling machine you know the old style foiling yeah, machines yeah. not the, the new kaleido style yeah they will fit through nice so everything goes through so you get your a plate yeah. you get a b plate right you get a c plate you get the metal shim the safe metal shim mm -hmm. and you get the thick embossing mat so everything you need okay hey. now uh lorraine has asked which uh which plates would she need to use for the sizzix right style. so for a big style let's grab one shall we should we cut something out let's cut something yeah should we cut we'll cut something detailed we'll cut okay. one of my old favorites right okay so here we go now i'm going to use i'm not going to use some mount board on this i can do i'm going to use this is 350 gsm card okay i didn't want to make this easy for myself because i know when i watch and they'll go you know to I mean oh yeah and i'm using normal card and i'm thinking yeah you, you double that up so, so it's 700. I've, I've doubled this up so this is 700. yeah yeah okay so here i've got the c plate now right. to cut a big sty you need a second c plate okay so but i don't know if we've got those or if they're not available but i'm going to show you an option instead so all you do is literally put it into there mm -hmm. till it engages or until it can't go any further and you press run. Yeah, and that's it. There's no sensors. Yeah. Run just runs. And you know, it's good, no sensors to go wrong. So you don't to have to engage wrong. it to anything. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to get little things that hang down. Yeah. One of the machines I tested had little hooks that hang down and you had to basically hit those. So there is, so I needed a little bit more pressure on this. Yeah, so I'll yeah. show you on the second time how I do it yeah. to get that second one through. So there's my clock. Right. Okay, cut through. Is my little hands and everything else. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Right. So you need two C's. But if you don't have a second C, yeah. you can use a three mil plate mm -hmm. from anything. Oh, okay. So if you've got, say, the raspberry plate from um, the Grand Calibre yeah. or from the um, Tonic Tangerine, mm -hmm. you can use that. If you have a three mil plate that comes with some of the other machines, yeah. um, they come on some of the Sizzix ones and things like mm -hmm. that, you can use that. But also, if you've got the two machines I use all the time, are my Go Power and Emboss and my Kaleido. Yeah. My Kaleido is my desktop one, used all the time. And the Kaleido plates go through there? The Kaleido plates fit through, yeah. because it's a standard sizing. So okay. this is a three mil Kaleido plate, but can you see the difference? I've not covered all that space. Yeah. With a normal, electric die cutting machine mm -hmm. you have to cover all of the a4 space or i would have to go that way to hit the sensors yeah this doesn't have them so i can go like that okay so look so yeah. to cut a big sty all you need to do is use your three mil plate you get with it and then another three mil plate yeah so you can use your kaleido plates if you've got the kaleido but actually, in fact, can you see that's cut better? Because it's had higher pressure for a lower, smaller plate. And it cuts, and look, that's 700 GSM. That's 700 GSM. But what you've got is, if I wanted to increase the quantity of this, this is why everything's included. If I want it to cut better, or I need to cut more, add my metal shim in, yeah. put that in again. We'll get another piece of my 350. Mm -hmm. Do that, yeah. I'm going to put that one on top. Right. Same again, but I don't have to worry about that being loose. Yeah. You don't have to make sure that's all in the sandwich because it's not sharp. Because I've cut myself. And I was talking to um, Haley last night. You've got craft yourself silly. She's cut herself. Well, say we had a guest live on air. Yeah. Sliced her finger badly. Yeah. Um, I mean, it was a real thing. There was talk we would have to finish the show early. See that? Look. So the first two didn't yeah. cut both of them. Right. Adding the metal shim in is the perfect width to cut both of them and nice. both of the little bits. So that's the flexibility. Yeah. yeah. But the cleverest thing to me is mm -hmm. if you've got the Kaleido, and, you know, I'm going to stand here and recommend that, you know, that is my dream yeah. A5 machine because of the foiling and all the techniques it does. 
but what you can actually do is you can use so let's grab 350 card again uh-huh well, this to me, if you think about as a crafter, your setup, you might have the collider right now, but adding the machine into your, so the go power and emboss into your arsenal, all of a sudden now, you can tackle anything. And that I really mean anything. Barring, uh, we were saying, those 12 by 12 dies that were released back in the day. I mean, you might not have even been aware that was the case, because obviously it's Nafor machines that will take the larger dies. I've never personally done a show here uh, where we've had die sets larger than A4. So any die that you have in your stash, barring the 12 by 12, any die this will take. It doesn't matter if they're deep dish or if they're thin dies, it will take them. So you're not having to change. So this could be your work host, of course. You've got your Kaleido as well that you can take on the go. You can do your foiling. That to me, John, ultimate setup. It is. I, uh, that's the setup that I have. Yeah. And the fantastic thing is, and I discovered this when I was playing at the weekend. Mm. Okay. So here's my Kaleido plates. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I want this to be speedy. But I don't feel I've got, I can, you know, it's one of those dies that I, I really, because there's a lot of detail in both of these, you really have to crank. Yeah, and then come back and, and do yeah. it again. But yeah. what I can do is take my Kaleido plates, and again, with any other machine, they'd have to be as wide as this, look. To get the sensors. To get the sensors. These don't, I can go there, or I can go there like that, and halve the time it takes to cut those because my Kaleido plates fit through. Yeah, perfect. So I'm not having to go, oh yeah, make sure, because it's standard. Mm -hmm. Instead of designing a machine, and I, I probably sound like I'm sort of pontificating, but it's just because how much I like it. Mm. Instead of designing a machine to sell plates, or to sell their dies, or to be unique to them, they built a machine that works for everything and everyone. And as a crafter, that's what I want. Sure, I never even thought about it that. I've kind of had like that eureka moment. I never thought of it that way. So machines designed as a tool to sell the dies or sell the plates. So this machine is it's designed just, to be used. It's a die cutting machine. It's a die cutting machine designed to meet all the dies you've got at home. There's no point any. I've never understood it. I don't pretend. Mm. It's like when the angels make samples for me. They don't have a rule about only using John next to all crafts two products. Yeah. yeah. They use everything, yeah. because we do as crafters. Of course we do. And yeah. that's what I like about this. So, see here, uh -huh. that one's cut through perfectly. Yeah. yeah. This one, it's 350 GSM. Right. Okay, so, and you get this quite a bit, it hasn't. Right. Because I've not made it easy. So, I can slot the die back on, mm -hmm. make sure I get it in the right place. You do it by feel. Yeah. Okay. So, this is, I did promise I'd give some basic tips. So, all I have to do... And this is what I love about, because it's got the wider mouth, mm. you can really shim it. Yeah. So I'm shimming that piece of card there. Nice. I've put it right in the corner because, again, um, no matter who sold you your machine and yeah. demoed it, if they tell you it's got as much tension in the middle and always will have yeah. as the sides, it's not right. right. The laws of physics say that's not possible. Yeah. You've got two rollers two rollers that are held at either side mm. yeah and as you put things through is it going to stay tighter where it's held or in the middle where it can move slightly of course they don't held, yeah so you've got to know your machine and that's why i think so there i've shimmed that and now that will come out but it hasn't harmed i didn't put it exactly in the right place so i'll do it fresh okay but it hasn't harmed the machine at all. Perfect. Because of the width and the way they work through. Okay. Uh, I had a question, just while we do that one again then. Uh, I had a question from Sheila. Thank you, Sheila, for getting in touch, by the way. So uh, Sheila was saying if she wanted to cut her A4 Sizzix dies, how would she use the machine? Right, so what you would do for that, Sheila, I've got an A4 Sizzix die, so I can mm -hmm. show you. Perfect. Um, I brought basically, I'd love to say I brought my complete collection. Mm -hmm. I didn't. Yeah. I brought a small selection from what is a very big collection. Fair enough. Again, I've got a demonstrator friend yeah. that I've worked with for a long time who, when she switched to the Grand Calibre, got rid of all of her big styes because she couldn't see that she was going to be able to use them again yeah. in the future. And basically, what happened was then these started to come out. She's now intending to buy herself one of these. 
Nice. That's good um, to hear. But she's already got rid of all of her bigger dies. Ah, OK. So it's a case of she's going to have to buy them again. Oh, see, that's a shame. That, mm, so. That's a... But you might have been in that position. That's oh, that's a real shame for her. She got rid of the larger dice because yeah. she just weren't able there to use can. them. But just to um, show you, yeah, that cuts. Don't. And I shimmed that, and I used mm. tiny little plates. Yeah. I would just use the metal shim. So, so we can go from got, that size to our A4. Yeah. If you've got an A4 one, mm -hmm. Do you know what? Shall I really challenge it? I'm going to use the double-sided glitter card. Okay. One of the reasons I put the double-sided glitter card on the show mm -hmm. is because this is one of the hardest materials to die cut. Yeah. You have to have it the right way. Okay. And it basically, with a normal die, it has to cut onto a metal shim. So I'll show that yeah. a little bit later. But all I need to do is to take my C plate right. for the bottom. Yeah. And then my C plate for the top and if you haven't or can't get another C plate you're saying just to make sure it's a three yeah, mil plate what I would actually do is I would ask the lovely Maddie yeah if she could have a look in the, they, there's a box of um, spare plates okay. around the side yeah that's how I might run off in a minute if no one's looking right. and I'll see if I can find the purple the sort of raspberry plate yeah okay in there and I'll show you because you can use and I'd hate to say what I don't like is when the people turn around and go, you've got to have this plate mm. from this company. Mm. You know, if you can't get the C plate, and they aren't available at the moment, I don't think, but can you see there, that's double-sided glitter card. And that's cast, yeah, look at that. John, that yeah. is it, that's I, I think, really I, impressive. I think you should just bring me the entire box, really, Maddie. <laughs> yeah. Come on in, I'll Maddie, just pass come on. It in. There we go, bless you. So we're just going to hand you on that box. Um, Thank you. It, I'm going to have a really, look through this, but machine, you will have something at home. Yeah. Okay. Let's put it on the back. <laughs> See, I'll just break every rule going, well, me. I'll let John have a rifle through. But um, look, just while we do that, it gives us an opportunity, because we are very busy for this machine. Things I want to point out, we cannot get hold of any more, so when this sells out, and it looks like it will at some point be selling out uh, before the end of the month, because it is the monthly mega deal. And think about that as a monthly mega deal. We thought we had an awful lot of stock. Uh, we did have an awful lot of stock, but obviously it's uh, going. Uh, over a third of the stock has gone, and this is exclusive to the craft store. So this colorway in the pink, exclusive. You cannot get hold of this anywhere else. But as a machine, have you, have you maybe thought about, you might have a traditional hand crank machine, die cut machine, which you love, but it's, it's maybe seen better days. Are you starting to struggle with dies? Uh, can it only tackle maybe uh, a certain type of die? Is it a smaller machine? So with this, A4 means that it will tackle pretty much any die you have in your stash. We're just covering ourselves by saying there's only one die it won't take is a 12 by 12, but uh, very few people have that die set. I've certainly never seen that size here at the craft store. So, Size-wise, it tackles everything, but not only just the actual physical size, but the depth too, and this is really important. Look at that wide mouth, which means that we're not here with an electric machine saying you can only put thin dies through this. You can put any dies. So you can put your uh, Sizzix dies, you can put those big dies, uh, Shell Sizzix, uh, you can put your thinlets through there. Any die will go through this machine. It's giving you that pressure, but it's the small points. And the, thing, the first thing I said when doing the show to John, and apologies, just sound like I'm repeating myself, but it's the attention to detail. And I would not genuinely, and I, I had to ask John this because I really wouldn't have felt comfortable presenting this show and offering a machine uh, with a metal shim that cut people. And only saying that, I did a show recently with a guest who had another machine and she really did slice her hand quite badly with the metal shim. And I've heard this from a lot of people, not this, can I say not this machine, it was a different brand, but uh, with your metal shim, and I'm just running my hand there, it will not cut you. So that metal shim would not cut you. You're getting all your plates in the, in the mix as well, your embossing mat, you're getting 30 dies and your embossing folders. You're saving £10, and not only that, you've got three flexi payments of 46.66. So today, £46.66, we send everything out to you, and you can spread the cost over three months. But ultimately, it's a machine that will last. Oh, I'm going to say, just going back to the plates, John's had his machine for 
two, two and a half years? Yeah, we, we actually found out. If I bought it in March of two years ago. Oh, okay. So it's about two years, five months. I was Fair able enough. to talk to somebody yesterday. I went, when did so-and-so happen? He went, March. I said, right, that's when I bought it then, because yeah. I know what triggered me to buy one and try Show it. everyone again just your plates. Your oh, my, plates. It's, it's I was amazed my plate. how so, straight there they is my are. base plate. Can you see there's no longer an A written on it? Okay. Basically, because I've used it that so much, much, it's wiped off. Enough. There's my C. Yeah. Let's find it. There's my B. Um, there is my metal shim. And there is my embossing mat, because I so rarely use that. It's yeah. virtually brand new, because I don't find... I don't emboss dies in the machine, because I don't need to. I get that level. Yeah. But this is basically... Let's put that how I would do it. That is my sandwich, and that has been used... And I don't bring a spare. Yeah. As you, I've... I bring this with me in yeah. my case, which is there. Uh -huh. It's put in on its side. It lives like that because yeah. it won't fit in lengthways. And that has come with me down the A1 on yeah. every trip for the last two years. And I've used it on every single show. I mean, you don't, you don't uh, treat it with kid gloves, your machine. You can see that no, it's been well loved. It <laughs> but it shows, and that, that's a good point. It's a tool. Amount, but the amount you use that machine, yeah. and the fact that those plates, and I know it's such a small point, but the fact that the plates haven't bent, it shows, to me, yeah. that shows well, the quality that you're getting here, because it's that attention to detail. If the plates are made to that kind of level, then it shows everything is designed to work it and is. last. I mean, if I put this on a colour, can you see here where it's actually cracked yeah. on the sides? There's actually gaps. I can get my nail in yeah. to these on the side, yeah? This is how much use this plate has had, but look at that. There's, There's hardly any warping. Yeah. I haven't had to replace it. It's impressive. Okay, so what else are we going to do then? Right, right, so what I'm going to do now is, I will show you a simple die in a minute, but I did want to sort of properly and fairly answer the lady's question. So I've got two layers of fabric here, because mm -hmm. fabric's perfect on the big dies. This is the raspberry plate from Spellbinders, mm -hmm. you know. So I don't have a C, so I'm going to use the raspberry plate. Okay. And if it's not right, the machine will reject it. Uh, okay. All the lights will flash and it will reverse back out. Oh, perfect. Now, I'm not saying this never happens, but I have never had it in any of my machines, so that includes all the ones that get hammered in workshops, yeah. which haven't been for the last 18 months or so. But That's true, yeah. I have never had a, a plate get stuck. It's that always rejected and reversed back. Excellent. So that's using the platinum. Um, well, so again, you can use like that a dream. one. Yeah. Here I've got... This is slightly thicker, so this mm. might reject. This is um, from the tangerine. Okay. So let's just grab a okay. piece of... I mean, John, it's a big statement, the fact that not only did you buy your machine, so John just bought it himself, he wasn't gifted it or anything like that, but also then you went on to buy, what was it, four or five machines for your workshops yep. as well? I actually have. So that, look, that's two... Let's see, watch. Oh, just so comes just... straight out. Yeah. Perfect. So that's too thick. Here is a random three mil plate from the box. Yeah. Yeah. So this is from behind me. There is a lovely, attractive my buddy box. Yeah. yeah. Full of random plates that are kept behind the scenes here in case okay. anyone breaks any. So that's just a random plate three yeah. mil. Could be any make. It Could literally through. be any make. And what I wanted to show you is that yeah. just, you don't have to have, if you've got the big stars, if you can't get a C plate, don't think you've got to get a C plate. Yeah. You need a three mil plate. Yeah. That's all you Perfect. need. So there, random plate from the thing, done. And you oh. watched when that one, the tangerine one, was too thick. Perfect, so it yeah. refused it. John, anyone watching right now, maybe sitting on the fence, what was it for you that made you take the leap going from maybe a hand crank to uh, an electric machine and to choose this machine in particular? Because you did, cho you chose I this chose machine. This Even machine. before you were here yes. selling. Yeah. Yeah, I chose this machine. Um, I personally, my view on die cutting, you need to have, to be honest, what works for me is two machines. Mm. And I have 
a manual A5 machine, which I use the Kaleido for. Mm -hmm. I can use that for the foiling, the techniques, and also to be quick. Yeah. Yeah? I didn't realise that I could get my Kaleido plates to go through this, which is going to mean that I can actually get two going at the same time. Mm -hmm. For the bigger dies, I love to design bigger dies. I'm going to take a simple one. And this is one of the things, and most people, I'm going to be honest, when you actually... When you watch people doing demos on TV of the die cutting machines, yeah. one of the things they'll do, and one of the first things that they'll actually do is, they will take a really detailed, intricate die, and they will stick it in the middle and cut it through and show you how lovely it cuts. Yeah? Mm. Um, and to me, that's almost a bit of a, of a misnomer. Because with a brand new machine, mm -hmm. you know, it's going to cut that lovely detail in the middle. Yeah. This was the test for me. This is one of my dies. This is the Advent Pop Box. Right. I've done this quite a bit, but what I need in a machine is not only for it to cut and cut beautifully, mm. I need it to react against all the different things on the die. So I'm going to cut this and I'll explain to you because dies these days don't just cut. No. Dies these days, they cut, they emboss, they perforate, yeah, yeah. they deboss, they add pattern. The technology has moved. So the pressure on the machine has got to be right to make sure that with the right die, it cuts. Okay, so, again, 350 GSM card. Can you see that's cut beautifully cleanly, but you would expect it to because yeah. it's a basic shape, but you've seen me cut detailed. But if you look at this now, without embossing or anything, just cutting it there is every emboss and fold line Look at the perforations. So this has cut, perforated, and embossed so that I can do, without using a bone folder, this. Fold. This is 350 card, by the uh -huh. way, again, because I don't believe in making it easy. So, well, to do that... this, can you imagine? Now, normally, in a process yeah. of if you were to buy these pre-done, yeah. yeah, they would go through three processes because one machine would cut them uh -huh. with a big massive die commercially mm. and then they would have to run through a second machine to do the perforating and to do the embossing for the fold lines. So if you notice on this, I haven't used a single tool. I've not had to use a bone folder or anything. And we have got, by the way, this die that John's using is at the bottom of your screen. It is a John Next Door uh, Advent pop box and the Advent numbers. 26 dies in total. You're getting two sets. Boom, John. Yeah. But oh. that, to me, is the test. OK. Yeah? I mean, I did it last night, and I can do it again where I'll take a detailed die. I'll take... And this is a good sign, actually. Where did I put it? Honestly. Just while we're doing this, can I ask a question? You this can. is from. And thank you for all the messages coming in. I'll try and get through these. So uh, Kelly is asking, "Good morning, all. Please, could you tell me if this machine would cut mylar to make stencils?" That's a good question. It's a really good question. I hadn't thought of that. So, would it cut mylar to cut stencils? Right, mylar cutting. It, one of the misnomers mm. on um, die cutting. Yeah. is that it's the strength of the machine that cuts. Yeah. It isn't. It's how the die's designed and the material that you're using. Well, OK, wait, you're blowing my mind a little bit. Because, you know, you hear machines and they say this is the most powerful machine. Blah, blah, blah. So it's not the strength of the machine. It's not the strength. The machine has to have a level of strength. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Um, I had an electronic die cutting machine yeah. that I bought at the NEC ooh, five years ago, maybe. Mm. Um, and I'm, I'm going to be perfectly honest here. I, I can't even claim it got recycled. I got that annoyed with it. It went in the bin. Ooh. Because it didn't you must be, have you must be the pressure with it. I was. And oh, it had God. so many different plates and combinations and shims that you had to get right. Yeah. It was so complex to use. You know, the pressure on this machine is great. I've got a piece of mylar here, so we'll try it. Okay. This is very thick mylar that I nicked out of Sam's... Um, so I was going to wake Box. up this morning. Where's my mylar? Oh, well, you might not notice, but hopefully he won't watch the show. And I've got a really simple thing die. OK. OK, so. Just before we put that through, John, do you mind if I just hold yes. up this die? Because we're really busy for these as well. So this was the die you just saw John make that box. Uh, so this is the Advent Pop Box and your Advent Numbers. 29 is your price there. Come on. 
Look at what, this is amazing. What you can do is Christmas and just works perfectly with our fantastic Couture's Creation uh, die cutting machine. But look, at the, you kidding me? $26.98 as a Freedom member. $26.98 for what? For both of those? No way. You're Show actually, me the full price you're again. You're talking an A4 and an A5 sheet of That's metal for that. That's ridiculous. Uh, let's just have a look. I'm going to show you the box die by itself. That's at the bottom of your screen. That should be $29.99 just by itself. $26.98, so you're paying less than you would for that, and you get no wonder that's flying. Yeah. I can't believe that price. For an A4 die. It actually dime. completely sold out as well when we launched it. This is a reorder. Okay, so that, we've got these as a back as a reorder to go on a 3D Christmas bargain. show later in the year. Treat yourself, and also if you do add this into your order with your machine, then obviously you can uh, split the price via Flexi as well. Okay, John. So I've got here simple, simplest shape. One of mine. From this is in the Advent pop box. Uh -huh. So this is actually included. This little stag. You get one going. Let's do both. Come on. You get one going left, one going right. Because yeah. you know it annoys me when things only go in one direction. Of course it does. Yeah. Um, this is just onto 300 GSM mixed media card with one of the dies that comes in the set. And this is quite an important point. Mm. If you look at the dies that come with the machine, they aren't random dies that Couture Creation have got left in the warehouse to clear yeah. and bundled in. These were made to go with this machine. Well, that's good. But also, if you look at them, look at the level of detail on them. If they were not confident in this machine, would they've included the first dies you're going to try? If you've never die cut before, <laughs> so you buy this machine and the yeah. first dies you're going to cut are those. Okay. And I know my die cutting. I mean, look at that. Look at that you would that not put those in if you were not 100% confident on the machine. John, you're speaking like a designer because that, that's well, so it's true. true. I mean, I know yeah, it. Absolutely you know, true. So here we go. Can you see here? Right. I've tried to cut a mixed media card. Yeah. Okay. And I haven't got. My metal shimmy. Right. Because so you need my metal shim for the mixed older. media, yeah. So I'm just going to put my metal shim in, yeah. put it back on, and then I'm going to show you. Because I'd rather say what happens. There's my mylar, look. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not gone through. Right. And why is it not gone through? It's because this is too thick and isn't fibrous. Right. So what I'm going to do in a second is I'm going to show you how we can. Cut that. Cut that, okay. or how we can get close to cutting it. So, yeah. let's just put this one through, and this is the bit I love. So, don't reverse too early. Yeah. Your rollers are here. Mm. If you put your hand in, you won't feel your rollers. Oh, okay. You can't get to the rollers because they're actually here. Ah, that's interesting. The highest body part yeah, of the machine yeah. where the most pressure is. They're not here in the middle or here. It's literally. Very well, it's very you well You cannot designed. feel. I can't. Yeah. I can't get anywhere near the rollers. So I've added the metal shim in, which has increased the amount of pressure in the machine. There you go. Perfect. But if I want to cut mylar, mylar yeah. is a difficult stencil. It's a difficult product to cut. Because when we talk about die cutting, yeah. we're actually getting it slightly wrong. It's we're not cutting, it it's compressing. Wrong. It's not cutting. This is a, a die, again, one of mine, so mm -hmm. watch. Don't do this at home. Yeah. If dies were sharp, I would be bleeding. Yeah. I'm not. Right. Dies have got a fine line, and the pressure in the machine forces the paper, and basically over the machine it forces the fibres to separate. Mm. So it compresses and makes them separate. There are no fibres in mylar, though. There's no fibres in mylar. Yeah. So how do we make those separate? Yeah. Well, what we do is we cut them onto a metal shim. Uh, OK. Now, let's get the right... Where's my B-plate? Now, these are probably far so too fine to do through it. this sandwich you have there. So I've now in? got base plate, yeah. C-plate, metal shim, mylar and dies, Okay. B plate on top, yeah? Done, yeah. So we run that through. Okay. If that doesn't cut, and to be honest, I'm asking this to do something very, very difficult. Yeah. And I genuinely am. It works just because this I'm asking it to cut mylar when it's not sharp. Yeah. Um, you know, basic shapes will cut. I could cut that circle out really easily. Yeah. That's not a problem. These are very difficult. But can you see here now? It's starting to go through. So, what do you think I would do to try and get that to go right? And is no to shame. basically 
Add a shim. Add the pressure. Add a yeah. shim. And this is the yeah. other thing I love. Because of the wide mouth of the machine, yeah. you're not limited to... You know when they're quite a tight... You can't get much through. Yeah. So actually, I find it quite, used to find it quite hard to shim it. Yeah. Because, and obviously the plates would banana a little bit sometimes, mm -hmm. with the amount in there, because of the wide mouth, it means that if that doesn't work, I could add another shim. Of course, yeah. And the machine itself, because it doesn't work on sensors here, uh -huh. the sensors are on the roller. So a lot of the time you'll put it through and it'll start to go through and it'll get stuck. Yeah. Because the sensors have said yes, the sensors here are on the roller, so if it finds it's been pushed too far, it will say no and push it back out. Mm. And that means that it's so hard to break it. So there we go. So this is about as close as I'm going to get. I wish I'd got the thinner, I'd got thinner mylar, but Sam yeah. doesn't go cheap mylar. Huh. But can you see here? And we have, I do want to point out, and we were just saying this, that mylar, if you give it a flick, Look. that is very, very thick mylar. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's quite tough. But what I can do is a basic shape. So if you want to make stencils out of mylar and you want to use a decent one, yeah. use a basic shape rather right. than a detail. Mm -hmm. I'm going to shim it because I know it will need that. I'm going to cut it onto the metal plate mm -hmm. because I know there are no fibres to separate. And I'm going to run it through. So we know that detailed dies like that are too much. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we tried it, rather than someone Well, I knew this own. would be the outcome. Yeah. But I'd rather, because it's no good me saying to you, what I could do to you, to answer your question, to be honest, and I'm sorry, I've forgotten the lady's name. Oh, that was Kelly. Kelly. What I could do is this, Kelly, and go, look, there, yes, of course, you can make a stencil out of mylar. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and answer your question. You get it home, and you take something like that, and you go... But, John, you said to me that I could make a stencil out of mm. mylar. Yeah. Yeah? A basic, simple shape on a thick mylar like this, yeah. shimmed onto the metal, not a problem. A really detailed shape where it's less than a millimetre. So slightly thinner mylar, maybe. You're not going to have a hope, even yeah. on a thinner mylar, to yeah. be honest. OK. You know, because there's no fibres in there. But I'd rather show you that and go, think that. Mm -hmm. So remember and think, yes, first time. Not even with shims on a third time. Uh, I've got a couple more emails. I'm going to get to these in just a moment, but uh, just to get rid of some housekeeping. We are busy for a monthly mega deal, and we really should be. Uh, the pink option, uh, once it's gone, it's gone. Monthly mega deal, and we are approaching 40% of our stock. We have a huge amount, well, had a huge amount of stock, but it is starting to dwindle monthly mega deal. It's meant to last the full month. So this is your Go Power and Emboss as a die cutting machine. Let's just talk through some of the specifics. Now, firstly, you can see this design way, this beautiful pink, is exclusive to the craft store. You will not be able to find this anywhere else. You can only get it with us right now. So if you want to get a hold of this, details are on your screen. You will be getting 30 dies two embossing folders and all the plates, so all the plates here that you need, your base plate, your A, your B, uh, you're also getting your metal shim in there too, and your embossing mat. But for me, because die cutting machines, as a crafter, I get excited, like I think so many crafters at home, we get excited about a die cutting machine because it's, if you are a paper crafter and you love your dies, it's something that you use day in, day out. If you are starting to struggle, if you have a machine, and I'm not knocking hand crank machines because obviously I love the Kaleido, uh, but there are some machines, and I, I personally worked with a few larger machines, and in the on past I had to... manual, they tend to lose tension somehow. And I find, you know what you do? so it, hard on some of the really dice, they're so hard to go I go over. to the gym, I, was, I remember a while ago, so we used to do, especially when I first started here, we used to... I don't do as many demos now, but we used to do a lot of demos. So I remember working one machine. I'm thinking, I train in the gym and I'm struggling. Yeah. So um, with this machine, it will make your life easier. Not knocking, there is a place for your hand crank machines. But where this machine excels, it is a catch-all. It doesn't matter what die you're going to put through because it will take it. You know, some machines, electric machine will say, well, this is a great machine, but you can only use thin dies with this. Or this machine is only A5. Being an A4 machine, it doesn't matter the size, so anywhere from A4 downwards, it will take all dies. 
we and it's a point I'm just got to cover ourselves because John was saying there was a time where there was a run of um, a manufacturers making 12 by 12 dies I've never seen them here at the craft store you probably haven't seen them either or you might have them in stash this won't take a 12 by 12 but apart from those 12 by 12 any other die this will take so this is a machine you do not need to switch between your machines you're running it through it is an absolute workhorse but I want to put the stress on work this really will work and it's something that John would not and John's got a lot of integrity he will not stand in front of you and actually the biggest sell I could I could say to you right now on this for me the reason why if I was sat at home I would believe in this machine is because I believe in John I've worked with John for a number of years he would not stand here and endorse a machine if he didn't believe in it this is the only die cutting machine John has ever endorsed the only one uh, and he's tried all of them and John really has tried all of the machines uh, with this little points and just for me feeling more comfortable as a presenter and the first thing and I, I know I've said this a couple of times this hour but um, really quickly the fact that the plates they didn't bend within I know I've talked to people and other uh, die cutting machines on the market really warping and bending the plates very quickly so you're having to buy constantly buying new plates or people telling you how to straighten up plates don't have that with this also with the metal and this is the last thing I'll leave you on this that metal's not going to cut you and the only reason I'm pushing that so much is it was quite shocking I was I was presenting a show about three weeks ago with a guest and she really did cut her hand quite badly to the point that we thought at one point we're gonna have to cut the hour short no way should a machine be brought to market where you're cutting yourself like that it's just I, I, I baffled why that would happen anyway you do not get that with this machine so uh, we are approaching 40 percent of the stock you are saving 10 pounds uh, 4666 is your price but it is a machine that will tackle any die and that is the real key to this so you're not having to switch between the two we do have another option this is your gold uh, so gold option over 30 percent of the uh, stock for your gold and I'll just lean that forward and show you that is a gold so the only difference is this beautiful sort of aesthetic design whether you want to go for the gold or the pink um, now uh, just very very quickly a die set that's proved extremely popular is uh, this combination so this is designed by John it is your John next door advent pop box and your advent numbers and I will whip that around and show you this is what you can be making but check this out for your freedom member look at the pro when you see the price as a freedom member 26 pounds and some change 26.98 um, normally just this one alone and that is an A4 die would be 29.99 so you're paying less than you would for one die and you're getting the numbers in there as well. I've got to be really quick and get back to John because I know time's running out. John, we've got a couple of emails. Cool. Let's see. Um, okay, now there's one email from Carol. Carol, I will try and get this to you because we've got another show at 12. So we'll try and uh, answer that at 12 because we're not going to have time now. So I apologize, Carol. But if you tune back at 12, I promise to read out your email and we'll try and go through that. Uh, Sue's asking, can you ask John if he can cut through the new Tim Holt cut and emboss uh, boss lits uh, stencils please uh, so Sizzix please yes okay yeah basically and I'll, I'll like I'll explain why very very quickly yeah okay right okay if you have got one of the Sizzix machines mm -hmm. okay Sizzix machine has a base plate and two clear plates yeah they're the same size oh perfect it's an industry standard yeah there are only a few of the other machines that stuck away from that industry standard mm. that's why the kaleido plates fit through mm. so anything that you can do in in those machines you can do in this one perfect because it's exactly the same so yeah it would be it, i mean i haven't got them and i haven't seen them mm -hmm. but i'm 100 percent confident to say yes because i know if it'll go through a big shot and go through that Perfect. Because it's the same, and all you do is alter your plate combination. Nice. Uh, in fact, the, as a machine, you've had yours for two and a half years. Yeah. Two and a half years, and I tell you what, John uses you use yours day in day out. So I wouldn't know. I wouldn't imagine many other people would use their die cutting machines more than you. Um, I don't think so, to be perfectly yeah. honest. I, I genuinely don't. Um, I literally hammer my machine. What I'm just running through now is the pop box again. Uh -huh. But I'm doing this in the double-sided glitter card because, as I said, I didn't want this show to be easy. Yeah. Okay. So this is it cut in a normal one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. This is it cut 
down onto the metal shim, and this is the difference. Yeah. The metal shim is safe to use. Yeah. The metal shim will take all of this cutting, but when you cut the double-sided glitter card, which was designed for electronic machines, mm. this wasn't designed for die cutting at all. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Basically there. Oh wow. And we have got the glitter Look, card on the show. The pressure way. on the machine. Can John, you see? That is cut like a dream. It has embossed every line and all those. If I wanted to. Because they're perforations, see? Even oh. those perforations on double-sided wow. glitter card. John, that, to me, is the difference. You're an absolute star. I've really enjoyed it, and you've won me over. I mean, it's such a good, it good is. machine. Carol, I'm so sorry we didn't get to read your email out, but I promise, I give you my word, at 12 o'clock, we will be reading your email, and we'll go through that and uh, what you are. So I promise, Carol, you have my word. Um, thank you so much for joining us. If you're on the fence, if you're thinking about treating yourself, maybe upgrading, or you're new to crafting, and this is your first foray into a die-cut machine, you can't go wrong here, John, because this is a machine that you won't outgrow. It is a machine you won't outgrow, and it's not been inflated with loads of extra things added in. You get what you need. And it does it well. And it does the job and does it well. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you, Thank you for your company. John will be back at 12. We're going to be putting it through its paces and some more. We've got Grow Buddha up next, a fantastic hour, really looking forward to that. Afterwards, Dark Room Door will be here, uh, and then we've got Sewing with Merment Craft. So, uh, Merment Craft, sorry. Uh, lots to enjoy here at the Craft Store. Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples and I've been crafting since I was a little girl and I have a massive passion for anything crafty related. Dolly Dimples is a fictional character in Dolly Dimples Town. There's uh, whimsical characters, fantasy characters, mythical characters. There's so much going on, so much happening in Dolly Town and it's a fun place to be in. We have decoupage, backing papers, we have templates for 3D objects, stencils in the mix, we have dyes and lots of other things are coming to you soon. Make sure you tune in for the Dollar Gym Pulse shows and have some fun. Did you know you can watch the craft store 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player on Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Craft Store channel, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how you do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select set up connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Craft Store app. Simply press your home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the Channel Store. At the top of the Channel Store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter the Craft Store into the search bar and this will take you to the Craft Store app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the added channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Scroll down to the Craft Store app and press the star button on your remote. You can use the arrow buttons to move the Craft Store to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your favourite TV whenever you feel crafty. Hello, a very good morning to you. Now we've got a show with a difference for you. I've not had the pleasure, but this is the third time AJ has been on air with us with the wonderful Grow Butter Company. Good morning, AJ. Hey, how are so, you? So, I'm very well. How are you, my darling? I'm good, thank you. All the way from London? Yes. And uh, the first time you were on air with us, was it about March time? We were on March with Derek, yeah. With Derek, Derek right, yeah. lovely. And then you've been with us again since. So is this your third time? This is my us? third show, yes. 
Fabulous. So I'm going to ask the viewers straight up, AJ, before we get into a lovely introduction. Yeah. If you have bought the, the Grow Butter back in March or when AJ was with us again in that interim period between now and uh, August, um, would you send me a photo of your plant, lovely. whether it's your bonsai, whether it's your herbs, whether it's the succulent or the lotus? Um, just if you would be so kind as to share that on email via studio at thecraftstore.com or on Facebook, that would be brilliant because we've only got this hour today with AJ. But the first question I'm going to ask, how did this company all come about, AJ? The whole idea behind Grow Buddha is to make gardening simple for everyone. So uh, when you go to a garden centre, you end up buying seeds, pots, soil, and you come out with a bill for £30. <laughs> yes, yeah, true. Uh, so the whole idea was to make everything simple, all in one small kit. Once you open it, you'll have the seeds, pots, and everything you need to grow your own plants. That's the whole idea behind the company, and that's what we've been trying to do, making gardening simple. Wow, and what a brilliant way of doing it, because the packaging, I mean, it's beautiful. Thank you. And when we delve inside, so let's do that first of all with your first sure. one, one of your most popular sellers, yeah. actually, the Bonsai. Um, what are we getting in the kit then, AJ, if you wouldn't mind talking me through sure. it? Sure. So in this kit, you get four varieties of bonsais. So you get the red maple, Judas, wisteria tree um, and Japanese black pine and along with that you'll get four peat pots like these um, you'll also get four of these cocoa soil discs that expand when when they touch water when they get in contact with water yeah. you'll also get four varieties of seeds bonsai seeds and yeah. instruction manual some name tags and um, some clippers Fabulous. And I believe, because um, your instructions happen to be absolutely fabulous, I'm just picking up the, the herb one for now, um, because myself and my producer were very visual. So we love a picture, AJ. <laughs> right. And right across here, we can't be bothered reading, because <laughs> I will get straight to the action straight away, uh, we've got our pictures there. This is the herb one I'm showing you right now. And then obviously there is the written word. It's there in German as well. Are you over in Germany as well, AJ? We are. We, we do. That's one of the biggest markets for us as well. Fantastic. Yes. And there's also, am I right in thinking there's a video we can watch as well? Exactly. Some of the kids come with video tutorials showing the entire process from planting your seeds to germination until harvest. So the herb kits and bonsai, you'll see the whole process in videos. Fantastic. So I've got everything you just told me there, AJ. I've got my four different varieties of bonsai seeds there. These, these are magic, and I know you're going to show us this. These we uh, literally add water to. So these are, if you like, the, the soil. The these nutrients. are the soil, yeah, dehydrated yeah, cocoa coir, yeah. And this is made from cocoa? 100% coconuts. Coconut. Husks. Yeah. Isn't that fantastic? I, I, I love I love the eco footprint. It's absolutely fantastic. We've got our little snippers, which I know from, from my own bonsai tree that I had many, many years ago. And we've got our little label tags. You've got the larger pot, so this is for transference, is it, AJ? Yeah, maybe one, two years down the line when the plant gets a bit bigger. Yeah, because bonsai transplant. is about longevity, it isn't is, it? It is, that's right. Yeah, that it takes one. a bit of time. And our four biodegradable little uh, peat pots there. And, oh, there's some instructions. I was being a right dullard. Sorry, AJ. <laughs> uh, the bonsai instructions are right here. So you've got a full uh, comprehensive page for each of the four bonsai. So it's a labor of love, isn't it? Because we know this isn't just gonna happen in a few weeks and overnight. This is That's something right. we're gonna invest our time with, lovingly watch it grow, aren't we? Exactly, and bonsai trees are some of the oldest trees that are living. If you go to Japan, you'll see trees which are hundreds of years old. So it's a, tree, it's a plant that you'll grow when you pass down generation to generation. Or yes. if you're gifting this for a family member for a birthday or something, it's something that they'll think about every time they see the tree. 10, 20, 30 years down the line. So, Absolutely. Yeah. It's like a living heirloom, exactly. isn't it? Exactly. I mean, that's exactly what's sprung to mind, first of all. Sometimes, you know, when children are born, because I know you've got the Christmas tree on here as well, um, I, I was thinking, you know, that you, you think about give, giving them that, and then they, that could grow as they grow. It's almost like sometimes when people buy a vintage bottle of wine, that's and right. then it, as it ages, you know, it exactly. increases value or beauty. Um, and, and then, yeah, I just, I just think it's amazing. And the fact that you get four... And it's, 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 very, it's, well, growing things, it's very calming and meditative, isn't it? And exactly. Yeah. It's meant to be, yeah, it's meant to be, the whole name behind Grow Buddha is meant to give you that Zen feeling, you know, right. as you do gardening. It's meant to be calming. It's meant to be one of those things that you get away and do when, out of, like, everyone have work stress and so much things going on in their life. Just take time out, do a bit of gardening, you know. It makes you just get into something that's a bit more calming and makes yeah. your life a bit of fun. 
Absolutely. And that, that how many times have we been told, uh, you know, during all the last year and a half that we've had, you know, go for a walk. Exactly. It's about being in with nature. And, and, and people find that when they're in the garden, don't you? That just that exactly. has that calming, soothing effect, doesn't it? Exactly. And this is lovely because you don't necessarily, so a lot of people don't have a garden, don't they? Exactly. Um, so this is something that we can do inside with the children on our own. Uh, whatever the age, there is no generation age, is there, to this. Not at all. Um, and, and it's such a portable, lovely hobby that you've created. Exactly. Yeah. And some of, the, some of the seeds that you mentioned, uh, some of the seeds in this kit, the bonsai kit specifically, they can be grown indoors. Some of them can be grown outdoors. It's, you're flexible. If, like you said, if you really? don't have space and if you're living in an urban area like London or in one of those cities in the UK, you, you don't have much space, you don't have yes. gardening space. So this is something that you can grow indoors as windowsill. well. Yeah, on your windowsill. Fantastic. Isn't that brilliant? And all for a phenomenal $16.99. I, I think the whole idea of this as a gift is just absolutely gorgeous. Now, this is one of our best sellers. Remember, we've only got this hour. So perhaps if you've got one of these kits, please email us in. We'd love to see your photos or uh, share, you know, a shout out or an email. Uh, approaching 10% already, $16.99 to grow four beautiful bonsai trees, 600383. I'll show you a couple more and then we're going to get AJ uh, showing us how we literally, once we've opened the kit, go about the actual planting of the seed and what have you. I know it sounds obvious, but Sometimes it's nice to see, isn't it? Now, this is one my producer has. Yes, yeah, so here I've got a lovely, very bushy basil here. Um, so this is the hurt and the smell of the basil. I mean, how much do we spend on those basil plants every time we go to the supermarket or even the cut basil? I mean, even the... You go for the dried basil when you're desperate, don't you? But it's something nicer on fresh pasta and all sorts of cooking. To have the fresh basil, isn't no, exactly. it? Exactly. I, so I, like, I like a good mint tea in the morning Ooh, or in the evening. Yes. And I used to buy, before all of this, I used to go to the supermarket and buy mint. And the plants just die within a week and they go wilt. They wilt. And as soon as I planted my own mint, now it's this massive bush of mint that I can just <laughs> harvest on and on, you know. Have you got a lovely herb garden in the, in, in, in the back? Exactly. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. fragrant. <laughs> Oh, brilliant. Yeah. And my producer was just saying, she said this was so easy and accessible for her because she hasn't got a green finger to a to bone, <laughs> bless her. Um, uh, but the chives, they're off the scale, she says oh, now. Really? The chives have gone mad. So what are we getting in this one then, AJ? So in this kit, you get eight different varieties of herbs. So you get mint, basil, chives, sage, coriander, thyme, fennel and parsley. Wow. And again, our instruction booklet. We've got the trimmers there. Exactly. Um, we've got the eight compressor, what do they call it? The, the soil discs, the name tags, and the peat pots. So this is great value. Eight plants in okay. here in one box. And every single seed packet has hundreds of seeds in it, so you can grow enough herb for a village. Oh, <laughs> I love that. Spread the love. Spread the lovely herbs. Isn't that fantastic? And of course, I suppose then once you've started growing them, you can transfer them maybe into the garden if, you know, obviously whatever exactly. they like, find an appropriate little place. Exactly. Or a windowsill will do the job if you don't have space. Yeah. Yeah, they'll easily grow on a windowsill. Yeah, lots of people have little herb gardens yeah. just in the kitchen window, don't yeah. they? You just pluck it when you, when you want to cook. Oh, yeah. yeah. Isn't that fun? I mean, honestly, you think about it, I think they're about two pounds, aren't they, sometimes when you buy the fresh herbs? You've got eight in here and ready to grow. So there's, there's 16 already, uh, uh, but we've got loads of seeds, AJ said. There's loads in here, so you could have enough seeds in there for a whole village. Um, all, again, all ready to go. And again, AJ's going to give us a demonstration. You do get eight of the little peat pots. You do get eight of the discs. Um, that's a very, very popular one because everybody likes the idea of growing their own herbs rather than keep buying from the supermarket in the plastic packaging. Um, yeah, it's just... It's just a lovelier way of uh, creating your own uh, food source there as well. 1999-484-962. What a brilliant gift as well. I, I love this. Now, a very popular one. These, this has taken on a real um, sort of en vogue nature, as it were, in terms of gardening. Lots of people are having lots of little succulents and little pots in their garden or, again, on the windowsills. That's, that's what's so beautiful about this, isn't it? It's, it's not, you're not restricted by your surroundings. And, again, you don't need to be an expert gardener to grow yeah. succulents. It's one of the simplest things to grow. And, yeah, like you said, it's become a trend almost to have yeah. succulents in your home. Yeah, so, it really has, yeah. hasn't it? Decorative pots. Exactly. So why not grow hundreds of your own at home? Absolutely. And, and they're just so beautiful. Let me just show you this one. So, I mean, I don't know. I, I've never grown one from scratch, AJ. I mean, 
would you happen to know off the top of your head approximately how long something would reach this kind of fruition? So the seeds germinate within two to three weeks. They're very quick. Yeah. Once they germinate, it takes about a year, year and a half to reach a small... I think there is one in front of you. There is a small succulent there. That size would probably take about a year and a half. Isn't that fantastic? Yeah. And how beautiful is that? To nurture it and see... You don't really have to do much, do you, when no. it comes to the, the succulents? No, Just is. sunlight and a bit of water. Exactly. They're pretty yeah. hardy, aren't they? I mean, yeah. if you can kill off a cacti, you... you, you well, well done you, because they're, they're, <laughs> it's not an easy thing to do, AJ, is it? Yeah. They, they really are. So if you really think, my goodness, you know, Auntie Marge, she, 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 you know, she could kill anything, um, then I th I'm thinking this is the way forward. But they're very decorative, aren't they? They are. And even if you do forget to water them, <laughs> the leaves are full of water. Yes. They will last a while they're, before they do give up. Yeah, they're built to last yeah. like that, aren't yeah. they? And they're just so beautiful. But it has become such a big trend, hasn't it? Um, little pots of succulents, maybe in your rockery or your windowsill or, you know, decorative pots. And we do a lot of um, uh, lovely sort of upcycling pots and stuff here at the craft yeah. show. So, right. yeah, that's, that's very popular great. amongst our gorgeous viewers. So in here, are we getting different types of succulents then, AJ? You do get 25 varieties of succulents. What? But they are all packed together in a one seed, single seed packet. So 25? Yeah, 25 different varieties. The, the so when it grows, is, is it like a surprise for me? I won't know what Yeah, I'm... so you... Have you seen one of those um, pictures where there's succulents with different colours? Yes. So you'll get one of those. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's amazing. So here are some of the names of, of the types we'll get. And, and it's yeah, they are quite hard to pronounce. I'm not going to go there, AJ. <laughs> I warn you. You pronounce them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm horrible, aren't I? I'm not going there. You can just read them at home. I mean, that, I mean, get like, what? That's like a tongue twister this hour of the morning. It's only ten past nine. Um, Oh, yeah. Now, I'm not even going to go there. Uh, they're just succulents. So, uh, 25 varieties, did you say? That's right. Wow, that's amazing. But again, we get the four peat pots. That's right. You do get four peat pots and enough soil to just grow much as you want. Yeah. yeah. Or you can save some of the seeds for later. And you, you How many it, yeah. seeds would I put in a little pot? They are very small. If you, have, if you look at a seed packet in front of you, they are very, oh, wow. very tiny. They are tiny My seeds. My new shy, aren't they? Looks yeah. like dust, AJ. They are like dust, yeah. So How you did you be... harvest those? We get them from America, shipped from our supplier wow. who grows them in America, so Crikey. it comes already packed. I've actually never seen a succulent seed. Yeah, they are tiny. It looks like dust, doesn't it? But I promise you, there's 25 different ones in there. Can you see them at home? That's, am that's phenomenal. Honestly, it's got some sort of eyes like a so They like are packed eagle. by hand as well, so imagine the labour that goes into packing. <laughs> oh, my giddy. That is a very patient person supplying yeah. <laughs> you with these succulent seeds. Um, all the different varieties there. Isn't that amazing? So you can just, yeah, grow to your heart's content. Um, just phenomenal. Sixteen ninety nine, um, Absolutely. So, you know, within a year, year and a half, AJ said, you know, you're going to see, you reap those rewards um, like this. Four, one, five, four, five, eight. Three pounds saving there. Um, just want to give you an update on the bonsai. My first one I started with. Oh, quarter of the stock, approaching quarter of the stock now, approaching quarter of the stock now gone, so please don't miss out. I think these are the perfect gift idea. Well, the other day we were struggling for a christening uh, gift, and I just think this is so rich. You know, for, for someone who's kind of got, they've kind of got everything. Do you know what I mean? They're, 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 they're not um, and they're under any hardship or anything necessarily, and um, um, I mean that in the nicest possible way, but you're just struggling. You just like, they want to give something original. They don't need this, they don't need that. I think something like this is just perfect, AJ. Just really, the bonsai, the, the, the Christmas tree, which we're going to come to. Um, lovely gift idea for, for that person who just find really hard to buy for. Um, so that's the bonsai starter kit. They've all got different numbers. Please shop ahead on the web, 600383. Slightly different now. And we are going to see AJ in action any minute now, I promise you. Um, uh, the lotus now. Tell me about the lotus flower kit, AJ. So this is, again, um, one of those popular ones. Especially Americans seem to love the lotus quite really? a lot. Yeah, they do. Yeah. So this, is a, this one's, a, again, a very, very simple one to grow. So the seeds will start to germinate literally within three to four days. So you don't have to wait too long on this one. As soon as you put the seeds in water, they'll start to sprout. So the seeds that you have in front of you, the one that are big and round. Yeah, like yeah, coffee those beans. Ones, they, they are the lotus seeds. And as soon as, you, as soon as you put them in water, within three, four days, they'll start to sprout and germinate. And then you let them grow in the small vase in front of you. Yes. So once you keep them in there and the leaves are getting larger and the plants getting larger, you'll transplant them into a big bucket of water or in a, in a small pond if you have a small pond. And then let them grow. And within a year, year and a half, you'll have your own lotus. Wow. 
How beautiful is that? And what are these other ones for then, AJ? They're just the sunflower seeds. They're just, a, just some gift from oh. our company. What flower? Just a lovely flower? Yeah, just a sunflower. Just, sunflower? Yeah, sunflowers. Oh, that's lovely. So you get some lovely sunflower seeds in there as well. And another little pot and your trimmer. And then some... This is the soil These are that's aquatic uh, compost. So for the small... When you do... When the seeds germinate, you can put them in your small vase with this aquatic compost inside it. Aquatic compost. There we go. Wow. And again, lovely instructions. So again, you're going to see results quite quickly in terms of the, the, them growing. Yes. Yeah. They do need a bit of sunlight. They need about six to eight hours of good sun. Uh, but they are quite hardy. People have... Uh, grown them in the UK successfully so they don't die as long as you keep them away from you know the coldest of winter and to protect them from the frost they will come back year, year after year. Wow so that's amazing they'll come back year after year I love I love those kind of plants uh, frost free isn't that good it talks about that's exactly what AJ's just explained in terms of then transferring to a larger pot you've got it written down there as well um, keep them away from the frost, but there, is, is this one got a video to accompany it, AJ? Or? This one, unfortunately, does not, no. Okay, but we can, we can, let's face it, there's enough search engines out there to do your research, isn't there? But everything you need to know to get you started is in there. Um, my producer, she was, she's growing her lotus. Um, she, she's not had to do any further research. So you've got all of the uh, sort of mistakenly referred to as the water lily. Oh, there's actually the lotus. Yes, I've heard that. So, um, very easy to plant. Um, Starter kit contains all the tools you need. Fabulous. How to grow. You've got the one to eight steps and then long term. If it gets large, move it to a larger bowl and your plant should flower on the second year and then continuously each year. Fantastic. Um, how beautiful is that? That is fantastic, isn't it? I love that. 996-952 for the Lotus Flower Kit. The Venus Flytrap. Now this sounds exotic, AJ. This is again one of our top sellers. And I promise you, you will not find one Venus flytrap kit anywhere that has actual Venus seeds inside it. So the, the, seeds, the seeds that are Venus flytrap seeds, they're one of the rarest seeds to get. Um, and weight for weight, they are more expensive than gold. So <laughs> they are very precious seeds. And they produce the most, ex most beautiful plants that are, you know, that are loved, loved by many of people around the world. And they are, they are very interesting plants. So they, they'll trap insects as soon as they land on their, their traps. <laughs> we can't really call them leaves, we call them traps. Um, sometimes people mistakenly put their finger inside it. I'll advise not to do that because they will kill the plants because they use up energy to close the traps. Um, so they are only for insects. Yeah. So again, another easy kit. Within about two, three months, you'll have your own mini baby Venus fly traps. And again, very easy, you don't need to do much. They'll just, they'll survive on their own. So you don't need to go hunting for insects to feed your Venus flytrap. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll promise you that. Mind you, I tell you what, you the doors open in the kitchen, that the flies buzzing about, they drive me around the twist. I need one of these. <laughs> yeah. Definitely do, they drive me around the twist. Um, so this is fantastic. So how many can we grow with your, this, those? Uh, you can grow about 10, 12 Venus flytraps, yeah. Wow. And they, they do expand quite large. So you don't need, you, you'll only need probably two or three plants Gosh. to fill up a pot but there, there is enough to grow 10, 12 plants. That is amazing. And then we've got this little, is this to, to water spray bottle? So the seeds, are, as you can see, the seeds are very tiny yes, and microscopic tiny almost. Again. So once you put them on soil, the seeds will, you know, move about as you water. So we use a misting spray to water the soil to keep them oh, moist. Yeah. Rather than drown the poor things because they're yeah. so tiny. And then what's this other wee pot of? Is this some... So this is again a gift from our company. This is a mimosa plant. So this is the plant that shuts leaf when they when they get people's fingers going across them, they call sensitive plants. I don't know if you heard of them. No. So sensitive plants, they 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 they, they close the leaves basically close oh, wow. shut um, if you touch it. Oh wow! Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, and then they open up again later. Fantastic! So an extra bonus uh, set of seeds there for you as well. So you've got one that opens up to swallow the insects and one that'll close if you touch. Uh, absolutely fabulous! What a brilliant, brilliant gift. I love this and super, super rare, as AJ was just explaining to us there. Um, you've got everything in your kit there, the plant pot, the two peats pots, but it, it, you've got loads of seeds there, rarer than gold dust. That's amazing, isn't it? They're so tiny. I mean, I can see, well, not just rare, impossible to find. Uh, three plant markers, your instruction booklet, your plant spray bottle, the soil discs as well, $19.99. What a, there's not many people, I don't know anyone with this plant. So they are very rare, aren't they? I mean, even to just... Even in the garden centre, I don't think I've ever seen one. 
Derek, when I was here, Derek had one. He he did, did mention he really? yeah he did have one. So I don't know what happened to it, but he did oh. say he had one. Did he get one of these kits, or did he actually? Yeah, he have did. A... He wanted to try it as well. I think yes. Oh wow! We need Derek to. I dare say he's probably not. He's probably away. He's not in today. Uh, Derek, if you're watching, you need, I need to see a photo of your Venus flytrap plant uh, or any of your photos because AJ's only with us for this hour. And of course, the first time AJ with us was in March and there's been another show since then. So April. So there's quite a gap. So I'm hoping in that time we should have some nice butter kits growing. Yeah, especially the herbs. They're very quick. So Yes, yeah. they're voracious, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Um, Kirsty's Chives are doing very well. Uh, 1999 for the Venus flytrap. I love all your information, AJ. It's fascinating. 498958. Now, I, I really love this idea because there's a company here in England as well that um, they'll loan out the tree for you to have and then you take it back again and they just stick it back in the soil again. Do you know what right. I mean? People, because they don't like the trees being chopped. Yeah. So it's almost like rent a, rent a Christmas tree. Yeah. But I love this idea of, say if a baby was born nearer this time, you give them, and planting it in the garden and watching it nurtured and then that's something they can have and use and, and replant and put back. I know, I know there's other things you have to do in terms of the roots and be careful, but yeah, there's people making a business out of the live trees. Just They, they are expensive Christmas yes. trees. They're not cheap. No, They're I mean, you cheap. can pay 80, 90 pounds exactly. for a nice six foot. Exactly. And then the poor things, yeah, unless you can take them down to the zoo for the animals <laughs> yeah. that like a good old Christmas tree, yeah. but it's done, you know, like the polar bears and what have you. Um, it just feels wasteful, doesn't it? Exactly. And it's so beautiful. And in this kit, you get four different varieties of Christmas trees. You do. Yeah, Let's so. talk about those, because I saw the, the, the spruce there, the Norway spruce, which is a great one for not dropping its pine needles. You've got the blue spruce, the Norway spruce, lovely bushy ones they are, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, the Scots pine. And then we've got the Korean fir as well. So four different types. Four different types. <gasps> And the blue spruce is one of the popular ones. They, 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 they look almost blue colour. They do. They, do you know what? Yeah. I was in a friend's garden yesterday, AJ, right. and she had a really beautiful, tall blue spruce. They I do went, stand oh, out. Yeah. That's gorgeous. I mean, gosh, it must be quite old, but uh, I was looking at it. So not even necessarily for Christmas. It's a beautiful decorative tree exactly, yeah. to have in your garden, isn't it? Exactly. And they, they are easy to grow again. These, these plants, they germinate within one to two months. And after that, they, they take care of themselves. You can plant them outdoors as well if you wish, in your garden or in your front front lawn or something. And they, they'll look after themselves. You don't really need to care too much once they've reached, you know, one or two years old. Fantastic. So you've got the four different varieties there. I think that's such a lovely gift. Or to start to grow on someone's behalf and then present it, you know, there's your tree. Or in, in someone's memory. I know a lot of people sometimes yeah. like in someone's uh, loving memory, you like to... Um, plant a tree or exactly. something living to remind you of you know of them which is lovely i, lo I just think this is so gorgeous such and a lovely there idea there are plenty of seeds if you look at the seed packets each packet Isn't contains there? easily 10 15 seeds minimum so you, you have again plenty of seeds to grow many as you like gosh have you got some in your garden aj yes i do they are quite tiny right now hopefully oh. in about five six seven years how, to, how big would they be after five, six, seven years? Um, I think Christmas trees generally take about six, seven, six to eight years to mature, I think. So um, if you want to have a grown-up tree, you know, uh, probably I'd say about eight years. Yeah. Eight years, yeah. Eight well, to I ten years. I mean, that's years. quite yeah. short, really, if yeah, you're thinking like a child's too. life. Yeah. That's when they're starting to really appreciate it, isn't yeah. it? I know when they're little, they do. But, you know, in terms of understanding it, that's fantastic. Oh, I love that idea. So loads of seeds there, AJ said. And then plant them outside or... Oh, I suppose you can keep it. Like some people have lovely conservatories. My mum's conservatory, um, her plants thrive. They love it. It's like, it's, like, um, it's like the Lost Kingdom in there. There's just like there's plants everywhere. Um, but they love it, the sunshine and that slight warmth. Yeah. It's, uh, it's fantastic. Sixteen ninety nine. Oh, I think this is what a lovely gift than all, than all the obvious ones at Christmas as well. Um, in fact, AJ, while we're on the subject, if I got this today, would that keep until... December time or is there a shelf life to these kits? No, the seeds, especially tree seeds, they live for hundreds of years, so they, they preserve for hundreds of years, so until you plant them they'll stay fine. Oh right. Um, but things like herb seeds, they do have a shelf life of 12 months to 14 months, Oh. so you, you'd want to plant them quite soon. But bonsai trees, uh, Christmas kit, uh, Venus flytrap, some of those you can, you can keep for a very long time. 
Well, I was just thinking as gifts for Christmas. So we're, we're good to go on all of these, aren't yeah, we, by yeah. December? A couple <laughs> of Christmases. That's, that's within the next six months. Yeah. But uh, yes, so even even the herbs, 12, you said over just 12 months, yeah. maybe, and didn't get planted. But everything else, um, wow, that's amazing. Well, we would be leaving it for hundreds of years. We'll get planted in these. Um, 1699 Sorry. Oh, and the last one, yeah, is the Easy Cactus Starter Kit. So... How does, oh, so there we go. That's the traditional cactus we know, isn't it? Yeah. Again, this one, very easy. I, I do have some baby cactus in front of me, if you can have a look. Oh, yes, Look please. how tiny they are. These are about, I think I would say about four months old. Four and months they, old. They and they took about a month to germinate. And they are, I do have a smaller one to show you for a close-up. So you can have a look. Oh, my Aren't goodness. tiny? So is that the stage then that you would transfer this is them? This, this is the stage you'll transplant them and let them grow. And again, these, these are one of the low maintenance ones, so you, you just need to water them once every few weeks yeah. and they'll just grow on their own. Wow. That is just amazing, isn't it? So you've got quite a lot in that pot of yours there. Yeah. So, so this is from one seed packet. Look so at this, everybody. You, you will grow hundreds. Hundreds. Yeah, oh hundreds. my god. So you can, you can use half the seed packet and then grow the other half or give it away yeah. to someone, you know? And you'll have plenty of cactuses. You could start a whole new business with your cacti yeah. growing, couldn't you? That's amazing. Uh, wow, that's fantastic. The, what a great thing as well to get the kids involved with as well and the family in this. Because I know one of the popular ones is growing your sunflower seeds. Yeah. Uh, which we get as an accompaniment in which kits that um, they do come with most of the kits yeah yeah oh fantastic um 16.99 that is absolutely brilliant look you could have hundreds of cacti that's just brilliant i love that um obviously again you get your spray you get your pots you get your soil you get your markers um just a brilliant what a fantastic gift i just to bring that joy to nurture to grow for whatever age brilliant gift ideas you can get them now, store them away for December, because um, AJ's told us that it will last plenty. But, you know, they're, they're dry, they're, they're ready to go until you plant them. 687326. Isn't that brilliant? Let's have a look at the website. You'll we'll find all the five-star reviews on there. How long have you been going, AJ, the company? Uh, we're about three and a half years old three now. Three and a half years yeah. old. That's fantastic. Uh, you've got all the kits there. They're, they're absolutely stunning. I think... Um, and, and, and lightweight as well. If you were to post that to somebody as a gift, um, nice and lightweight, so I wouldn't imagine the postage would be too much. Um, and then you've got all these seven day savers as well, which we talked about this morning at seven o'clock. So. so I'm going to come back to my lovely bonsai. I love them all. I'm besotted with the Venus flytrap. Um, love the bonsai. I want to get stuck into a Christmas tree straight away. Um, AJ, what are you going to show us, my darling? I can show you how you would probably end up starting. Yes, so that's the whole perfect. Let's process. start at the beginning. So you will get, like I said, you'll get four of these pots. So I'm just showing you two here, but you'll get four of these biodegradable pots. These are 100% biodegradable and last you for 6 to 12 months. So you can grow plants in them for 6 to 12 months. Okay. Um, you'll get cocoa discs, four of them for four different types of seeds that you get in the kit. You get four different varieties of seed packets. And you get a big ball like this to transplant one day once they're grown up. And you also get instruction manuals, um, name tags, and a clipper. Um, so what I'll do is I'll show you how to plant wisteria, one of our top sellers. Yeah. Everyone likes a good wisteria. They are quite fragrant and nice. So you can see here, this is about one centimeter. They're compressed. So as soon as I put them in water, you will see. I'll pop in a two more. <laughs> so we've we've had a we've had a picture in as well of Dave and Briggs. They started growing a bonsai. Right. What one were they growing? Um, oh, look at what's happened though. Before we look at that, oh, it's totally it's, expanded, isn't it? Exactly. I'll do it sideways. Inside. There you go. Fantastic. And uh, shall we have a quick? Well, before you go on to your next stage, shall we show you Dave and Briggs? They're, they're sure, lovely yeah, customers. Sure. Yeah, we'd love to see some. Oh, photos. not ready yet. Right. We'll come back to that. So, so you can see the, these have expanded. Yes. If you let them in water a bit longer, they'll expand a bit e even more. You can also push them out a little bit if you want. Oh wow! They'll expand, and they will snugly fit inside this pot. Yeah. You transfer. Do you, you just leave that wrapping on it? Do yeah. You? These are biodegradable, and the the roots will come shoot through these. They are they are these mesh do have 
small microscopic holes in it. Yeah. So they do come through. So I'll just move this across. Okay. Like I said, so you then can you just, just expand a little bit more to make some space if you want. Uh -huh. Some people, what they prefer to do, they don't. If they don't like the mesh, they just pour the soil into it. Oh, okay. But you can keep it you if can you just wish. Just straight yeah. in there. And then just get one of these seed packets open. You can plant one, two, three, how much as you like. But once they do germinate, it's recommended you transplant each individually so they don't they don't compete with yeah. each other for nutrients and space. Yeah. So I'm just putting one wisteria seed in there and just just pushing it in. So you haven't even gone that deep, just think of that. Yeah, about yeah. one centimeter. Yeah. Less. And then you'll have your name and then you'll just <laughs> leave that on a sunny windowsill uh, away from direct sunlight. And within about 10 to 14 days, you'll have a small wisteria plant popping up. <laughs> That's amazing. And then just watch it lovingly grow. Yeah, you just let that grow and keep, keep an eye on it. Give it some nutrients and feed throughout the year. Mm -hmm. um, and after about a year and a half, you'll have a plant which is about 30 centimeters long. And at that point, you'll transplant it into a larger pot. And then you can start doing the small, smaller bonsai processes like wiring, shaping. Oh, wow. You can start doing your early stage bonsai start training. Your journey. Yeah. We've got some customers who've done exactly that, AJ. Oh, really? So okay. they would have maybe in J J um, March or April. This is Dave and Brig. So they've got. So these, these are the bonsais, are these they? Are, this looks like Japanese black pine by the look of it. Well, oh, thank goodness you know that. So that is one of the varieties you get. There's four there on the go. That's uh, Dave and Brig. So what was that? Six? How many months did you, did they say? Well, April, yeah. So yeah. April, May, June, July. Oh, so four to five months yeah. worth there. Yeah, four to five months, and it looks quite healthy by the looks of it. So they've doing done a, a really good. good they've done a really good job, and they transplanted it as well into individual pots. So well done. Yes, yeah. well done. But yeah, Dave, regular customers here at the craft store. <laughs> Lovely job there. Uh, the black pine, because you get four different varieties. That's uh, the Japanese black pine. You were just planting the wisteria. We've got the, the gorgeous Judas tree and the red, oh, red maple. Yeah. Seen a few of those in the garden. The one you have in front of you, the smaller one, yeah. that, that, is a, that is a red maple plant. It's changed color to green because summertime, they, they do change color to green. Yeah. And during spring, they are fully red. So, yeah, they're beautiful yeah, colour, they are. aren't they? Yeah, I love the colour of a red maple. That's gorgeous. So this is already in its pot. And would you do any pruning to this? Um? So this one's it's nearing the end of this growing season, so it's, it's lost its vigour right now. So they're going into dormancy. Uh, um, so now you wouldn't do anything. You'll early spring, you'll start doing the trimming. So the next uh, growth, they'll grow vigorous and they'll so produce just leave nice foliage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's in the dormant. Oh, wow, that's amazing. How interesting. That's, that's brilliant, isn't it? Fantastic. So this one's uh, out going to go in for a bit of hibernation and snooze and then a bit of trimming in the spring. That's right. has next growth. Isn't that fantastic? That's the maple there. Beautiful. Uh, 16 99 you can grow four. Well, I mean, there's, there's, there's loads of seeds in so there. So there's four, four different, four seeds that come with the kit, but yeah. we also give two varieties free. Uh, two other bonsai seeds. Oh my gosh! So there is a flame tree and a silk mimosa that we give for free as well in the kit. So you, in total, you have six six varieties of bonsai seeds. Gosh, and there's so many seeds there, though. So it's not just yeah, and then two extra bonus ones. Wow, there's loads there, isn't there? Yeah, exactly. Oh, you have a bonsai garden, aren't yeah. you? Amazing. You get yeah. good value for money in this kit. You really sure. do. Yeah. And then if one perhaps, well, not saying it would, but. If you had a mishap and it didn't live to sell the tail, you can't go a few others on the go as well. Exactly. And you've got plenty of each variety, you get plenty of seeds to try again if they do yes. fail the first time. Yes, yeah. exactly. Um, hopefully that won't happen. Clearly it's not happened to Brig and, and Dave. Uh, approaching 40% of the bonsai. And we've got uh, some footage of, of said kit so, and the bonsai. So let's have a little look at this. time-lapse one there from AJ. Uh, the maple, I've been told, well, you can start to recognise it by its, its leaves. I love the wiring 
Is that a difficult process to manipulate the shape? You don't, yeah, it's, it is a delicate process because you don't want to damage the trees. No, you don't want to yeah, break Especially it. at the early stages when they're young. Yeah. So you won't do it too tight, but just enough to keep them in shape and bend, so you can bend the tree to the shape that you want. Yeah. Wow. Isn't that fantastic? And of course, you've got so many seeds. Yeah, you can, uh, yeah, you will perfect it. Uh, the bonsai is proving one of the best sellers there, $16.99. As we said, a brilliant gift idea. You've got everything step by step to take you through the process. Um, there's, there's, there's obviously um, instructions for certain uh, trees. There are uh, videos as well. Um, have, you, have you got a w website, uh, AJ, if we were stuck and needed some help? Yes, or? The instruction manual has a link printed on it, which takes you to a specific page with all the instructions for each specific kit that you buy. Right. That same page will have all the video tutorials that are linked to the same kit. So Brilliant. if you're stuck, everything will be in the same page for you. You don't have to go looking for something. Fantastic. So you're bound to find the frequently asked questions there. Everything will be there, yeah. Fabulous. And can we follow you on any social media? Or yeah, you... we are on Instagram and Facebook, yes. Yeah. At, yeah, at the what? Grow Buddha. Grow Buddha. Yeah. There we go, everybody. Let's get following AJ. Uh, yeah, and keep, it, keep in touch with what's going on. Um, this is fantastic, isn't it? If you're stuck for that gift, what to get them. And these seeds will keep again, uh, well, you were talking thousands of years, weren't you? Because really? they're dried for the trees. Um, so don't worry about buying them now if you want to stash that away for, a, for, for an autumn gift for a birthday or Christmas or that awkward person you never know what to get them or that, that beautiful gift idea to start them on a new journey in terms of a hobby. Um, we are approaching half the stock of the bonsai. It is very popular. We knew it was. That's why we started with this one because it was one of the best sellers when AJ was with us before. And if you've got any questions, this is the only hour we've got with AJ, please just let us know on the Facebook or email us in. And if you've got any other pictures, I love Dave and Briggs, um, uh, the black pine trees that they That's were growing, right. the bonsais there. That was so good to see, because uh, they bought those in April, I think, in March, April. So, uh, yeah, great to see those results, 600383. Something else you're loving, rarer than gold dust, is the Venus flytrap. I mean, you're loving it all, but I'm just going through some of the absolute um, best sellers. Why do you think it is, um, is it, do you think it's the exoticness of it, AJ? It is, it's that, it's that factor where you see the, we, we see the traps close I've only and ever seen it, it on yeah. like a David Attenborough. <laughs> but do you know what I mean? When yes, they speed it up yes. and poof. Yes. It's and, and the fact that a plant can eat an insect. I know. And disintegrate really, yeah. it. Yeah. It's just that that people love. It is. Makes, makes, well, that's not quite the same, is it? Audrey out of Little Shop of Horror. That's just, <laughs> <laughs> Audrey at people. It's not quite the same, Fiona. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's quite a phenomenon, isn't it? To actually witness that. It's yeah. bonkers, isn't it? Yeah. Is that the only plant that eats the flies like that? There are a few that eat insect carnivorous plants. Um, Venus flytrap shuts it. Some of them, they, they have a liquid inside which dissolves the insect alive. Ooh. Some can dissolve um, small rats even. What well, that's some, what my, yeah. my director just yeah, said. Yeah, some can dissolve rodents rats. And, yeah, exactly. and the Amazon. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Fortunately, we're not selling those. No. Um, just the good old flies, which, <laughs> no offense to them, but sometimes they do get in your nerves buzzing around the kitchen. Um, what a brilliant, brilliant gift. And also, so you were explaining, if you, if you wouldn't mind again, AJ, that um, these seeds are just rarer than gold dust. Yeah, Venus flytrap seeds are quite rare. As you can imagine, they are, they are already a hard plant to find. Yeah. Imagine this flower, them to flower and to harvest the seeds. They are very rare. Um, so weight for weight, they are more expensive than gold. Wow. Yeah. I mean, and just even fight after, you, after you've gone through all of that, and then you've got to find them eyes like a I don't know what being able to see that I mean that is that is dedication and you are how many seeds are we getting to you get about 10 to 12 seeds 10 to 12 yeah seeds. <gasps> so we could grow ostensibly 10 to 12 plants yeah, yeah exactly wow how brilliant is that you could grow and gift then to your friends um, or just you know set them off on the journey and then what did you say these lovely little with the um... so these are called the sensitive plant oh that's right the sensitive that's right plant. yeah the, just like their name suggests they are very sensitive as soon as you touch them or go near them they they, they close their leaves shut oh, I love that. yeah i love that they've got the two polar opposite plants there yeah. the same kit yeah. haven't you isn't that fantastic uh proving very popular i mean it's a gorgeous kit and again you've got your two pots you two, as you've just seen AJ expand that, the, the, the coconut soil there, and then to transfer it into a large pot, and you've got the spray there. I mean, that would be, uh, how long did you say probably to see it get those leaves, those snappy leaves? So as soon as they germinate, you'll see baby Venus flytrap, which oh, are cute. It's too cute. Uh, but after about, from that stage, you're looking at about six, to one, six months to one year before they've matured enough. I mean, 
that's that's yeah. really speedy, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, brilliant! You could, yeah, this time next year you'll be catching all the flies in the summer, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. And how long? That's that's a good question. How long do they? I mean, sorry, if, I, yeah. I was expecting you to know all this, uh, AJ. <laughs> how long do they live? Um, they they're one of those plants that come year after year. Right. So they are they have a small tuber, a very small tuber in the base. Yeah. And from that they shoot up new traps every year. Wow. So they could just be with you for years. Yeah. So if you if you do have own a Venus flytrap and you see the leaves are wilting, they're looking a bit poorly, yeah. just keep them watered and keep them look after them. They will shoot up new traps. Right. They just they because the leaves the traps don't live for a long time. They right. do they do they do die yes. and disintegrate. So and don't then, think your plant's No, don't think your plant is dead. They are still alive and they right. will shoot back up. Brilliant. Yeah. Oh, I love talking to AJ. We could just do a whole day with you here. It's fantastic. Uh, 1999 498 958 for the Venus flytrap. Stock update to the bonsai trees, plural. What was that, Tully? Oh, two thirds of the stock, 60% gone. Yes, yeah, 60%. Quick, quick, quick. I know there's only 20 minutes left on the show. So please don't miss out 600383. And if you've got any photos, or pictures of what you've been growing in terms of the Grow Butter kits since March or April. We would love to see, I know AJ would love to see them as well. Uh, so please let, let us know. Uh, the succulents, what fun. Uh, this little baby here, um, we said it was he about a year. Uh, how old's this little one again? So this one's about a year and a half. Year and a half, two. yeah. Yeah. Year and a half, and you're going to get, and they're very much in vogue, aren't they? And you have got loads of different uh, seeds in there. Uh, 25 seeds in there of all the different uh, varieties. So please don't think that's just a bit of dust or dirt. They are the seeds. Um, it's just brilliant. Uh, look at all those beautiful little succulents. So that's just going to be really exciting because you just don't know what you're going to get in terms of the colours. And, exactly. Yeah. And they do produce a great display. And like I said, very one of the easiest kits to germinate within within a month. You'll have plenty of succulents. Gosh. And again, very low maintenance. You don't need to worry about feeding them, watering. Mm. You do have to water them, of course, once oh, yeah. in a while, but not not as much not as a as herb or something. Not as regularly as the other plants. Yeah. 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 Little bit of window space or somewhere yeah. not too. I don't know what do cacti like. Do they like the avert sun or a bit of sun and shade? What they they don't sun? they don't like direct sunlight. Right. So as long as they do get sunlight, because yeah. they are they are a sunny. They do come from sunny sunny countries. Yes. You know? So as long as you give them sunlight and enough water, they'll thrive and just look after themselves. Yeah. yeah. So maybe not in the direct sunlight, just a little bit away. But it's all there in the instructions. I'm just asking AJ because he's here. Uh, we've got uh, a little bit of footage actually of the succulents. So uh, let's have a little watch. How pretty are those? Yeah, grow your own. 
grow your own. You've got them all there. And I was just saying to AJ, how big would you wait for those little seedlings before you, so about a centimetre, AJ said, before you transplant them into their own pots. So uh, gorgeous. But let's talk about the lotus. That sounds so exotic, AJ. Um, it sounds like, oh, it's a little bit beyond me, a lotus flower. Where would I begin? So is it, is it as simple as it sounds? It is very simple. Within about a week, you'll have your own germinated lotus plants. And from there, it's just an easy journey until you have your own lotus flower. And another interesting thing about lotus is grown in Asia, and the whole plant is used from the roots to the flowers. Everything is used from from cooking to you know rituals and prayers, whatever. And it's meant to um, in Asia is considered as a lucky plant. So uh, you gift lotus uh, lotus flowers um, and lotus uh, plants to families just to bring them luck. So it's, it's yeah, it's one of those oh, plants that are considered lucky and sacred. Oh, that's such a lovely gift idea to attach that meaning to the, to the lovely uh, lotus flower. And uh, just take me through what we get in the kit again. So I know when my producer, Kirsty, she's got four that sprouted um, beautifully. So we're getting, they look like coffee beans, don't they? Yeah, Large coffee they beans are. at that. Yeah, and, and like I said earlier, the lotus seed is one of the seeds that can live for hundreds of years. I think one of the, uh, seeds that are known to germinate was about 500 or 600 years old. So Gosh. don't worry about planting them as soon as possible. They'll last for a very long time. Wow. Um, so to go to the kit, you'll get in the kit a small vase to start off. Is that um, this one or this one? The, the, small, the a small glass vase is where you'll transplant yeah. them later. Yeah. You'll also get a small plastic pot. Um, in that pot is where you'll start the germination process. You'll put I some water in there. That, and starter, then transfer yeah. over to our glass. Yeah. Um, and then you also have some aquatic compost there in front yes. of you. You'll pour that into the glass vase yeah. and put your germinated plants in there. You also have some clippers just to cut off any leaves that are looking a bit unhealthy or they start to die, just to keep it clean. Mm -hmm. um, you also get some Sunflower. seeds as a gift. Sunflower seeds and the instruction manual to go oh, with Oh, fantastic. And don't forget that it's got linked to all the information pages you will need if there isn't enough there already for you and you want to find out more. $19.99. What a lovely gift for, to bring luck and hope to the family. 996-952. Stock update on the, lo on the bonsai. Approaching 70% now. Please don't miss out. Approaching 70. Don't miss out. So we've had succulents. We've had the Venus flytrap. We've got the bonsais. We've just gone through the lotus. Let's go to the herbs. We've got the Christmas tree and we've got the cactus. The easy grow as well. So our herbs, my goodness me, remind me again, eight different herbs. Is that right, AJ? Basil, chives, sage, coriander, thyme, fennel and parsley, along with all the uh, pots and soil and name tags to go with it. I mean, divide by eight. How much is that working out per, per plant? Uh, well, it's not even per plant, isn't it? Because there's so many seeds in there. How many seeds would you need to put in for some basil? So basil, you probably plant two, three. Wow. <laughs> two, three, I and mean, you get hundreds I, in there. Anybody can see this. I mean, this is... Now, there's definitely more than two or three seeds in there. There's about 100 plus, yeah. I mean, oh, my goodness. Of each one? Yeah. Of eight plants. That is a lot of herbs for you. I mean, you can be gifting your mates and uh, you can have a whole garden full of herbs. That... And again, we don't have to. We can just grow them, keep some seeds back, can we, AJ? Yes, you can, yes. Yeah. As long as they're kept in, a, in, in those uh, breathable bags yeah. instead of a plastic bag because they, they won't last too long. Yeah. Or you can just take them out and put them in a small envelope and they'll, they'll last okay. for a long time, yeah. Great. And this is probably the one with the, I don't even really want to say shorter shelf life in terms of the herbs because you said it was probably about 12 months, did you? 12 months is just a guidance. They'll yeah. easily last for two, three years. But 12 months, if you want good, healthy plants, that germinates yeah. very fast, yeah. Brilliant. And the smell of this lovely basil. I mean, um, Kirsty's chives are going, are going like you wouldn't believe. But look at this. Rather than keep buying the plants, how much you pay for those plants? You can grow hundreds of your own. Um, all those beautiful herbs and then transfer them, you know, once you've got your ones into the garden or keep them on your kitchen windowsill. 1999 484 962. And I've got another bit of footage of time lapse of which herb is it? These all are all of, them. The, all of them. All of them? Yeah. Let's have a little look. <laughs>
is just explain I'll put so many seeds in there you don't need that much <laughs> <laughs> well, you can see there's just loads sprouting out. So there's about 100 in each bag. So that's absolutely brilliant. That'll keep you going in your herb garden. Let's uh, go straight over to AJ and have a little look. So I'll quickly demo you how to grow a small basil, basil bush. <laughs> so I'll yeah, put, basil bush. <laughs> I'll put in a small cocoa disc here, dehydrated one, just as I did earlier, and let that soak in. Yeah. Uh, but as you can see here, the difference in, difference in height, you see. Yes, the expansion. It's, I mean, it's, it's three times yeah. the size, isn't it? And, yeah. that, and plus... Yeah. So I'll just move this aside and bring in one of the biodegradable pots. Why the coconut soil as uh, coconut kind of? So coconut, work. so these soil, they don't have any insects. They are de de they don't have any nutrients either. Coconuts, they they just a pure medium. They they okay. are they, they don't have any bacteria even. They they no. they cleaned and they heat heat treated. So it's purely coconuts that you have in here. Yeah. So that when you do plant the seeds, they don't get infected. You don't have any unnecessary pests. None was, of those. I was watching on a program yesterday about um, cleaning equipment. That's not with all the chemicals. And they were showing us the coconut sponges for that exact same reason, yeah. for cleaning and scouring. Oh, coconut is one of the wonder plants, yeah. They are a wonder plant, yeah. So the, these are by, byproducts. So you, you get coconuts and what you're left with is a massive husk. Yeah. So those husks go to waste. So what they do is they, they ch they'll grind those husks into small particles like these. And that's, that's basically the medium that I have in front of me. Fantastic. It's amazing, isn't it? So a lot of upcycling going on here. Yeah. So there we go. So when you would, so they're just getting the nutrients from the water and the sunlight? Yeah, you can, you, I, I would recommend fertilizing them with some nutrients later down the line once they germinate. Yeah. But for the early stages until they germinate, you don't need to. Great. So the soil is now in. I've got here some basil seeds. So I'll just rip them open. Should update you, eight, nearly 80% of the bonsai, nearly 80% of so, the bonsai tree. So as you can see here, in one packet, you get this much Look at seeds. this, yes, hundreds. You get this much, there are tons of seeds. You don't need that much, I'll just take a small pinch. And this is for the herbs uh, AJ's growing now. This is the basils that I have. So I'll pop this rest of the seeds safely. And then I've got some soil left over, I'll just pop that on top. Wow. There we have it. And then you'll just write your name and just leave it on a sunny windowsill, and they'll germinate within a week, two wow. weeks. Yeah. Great. And then transfer them. To yeah, you trans you don't need, yeah, you can keep them here if you want. If you're growing one or two plants, but if you do want to grow them large, you can put them in a plastic pot. These pots will last about six to twelve months. Oh. Um, yeah, and then within about two months, three months, you'll all have your own fresh basil to cook your own pastas. Fantastic. Is that better than buying the shop bought in the plastic packaging and, you know, pre-cut and the cost of fortune? You could grow hundreds of plants here uh, for six, for nineteen ninety nine. Eight different herbs there and then translate it into a beautiful herb garden or a herb wheel. Uh, 484962. Lovely gift for those uh, that are green fingered. Or oh, not. It's my lovely Kirsty. She doesn't uh, pertain to being a, a slightly green fingered in, in the slightest. Uh, quite the opposite. But she even managed to grow the tribes, God love her. So she's, she's persevering with that, which is really lovely to hear. Uh, 484962. We're coming to the close of our lovely show, and the bonsai has been one of the best sellers. Um, why do you think that is then, AJ? It's one of those novelty factors, and maybe um, it's one of those trees that will last a long time. It's a yeah. hobby as well. It's just, um, it's not tree that you grow is an art form bonsai. It's an art form, yeah. You get to sculpture your own trees to the shapes that you like. You get four different varieties plus the two, so six varieties. It's one of our top sellers, yeah. Yeah, you get six in there. Four that we uh, labelled on the box, if I just turn that round for you. And uh, another two. Oh, but the other two, are they just um, surprise? They, they are flame tree and mimosa. Again, they, are, they, are, they are flame tree produces one of the beautiful displays of foliage again and nice flowers. Um, and silk mimosa is again another nice tree with some sponge-like flowers. So again, they they look they do look really nice. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And uh, you've got all the seeds there. And again, those uh, the discs there that AJ was just expanding in the water. Your pots, ample ample seeds there as well. Um, just yeah, to to grow with those two extra. Um, bonsais that AJ we just saw we saw Brig and Dave's picture as well please check out your baskets because this is the only hour we've got with AJ and uh, nearly 80% stocks already gone on that fantastic bonsai starter kit what a great gift for everybody 600383 um, there's been lots on the show we've had the lovely herbs we've had succulents we've had the lotus let's look on the website 
the basils and the herbs there, the, the spruces, the Christmas trees, the gorgeous easy cacti there as well. The Venus flytrap, yes. Oh, we love them. I'm dying to grow one of those. Remember, the seeds are rarer than gold, more expensive than gold. And you, you've got how many, oh, sorry, I keep asking the same question. How many seeds do we get? Maybe 12, was it? Yeah, 10 to 12. 10 to 12. Fact, yeah. Oh, someone's gone to a lot of trouble to get those. Uh, yeah, so please, uh, what a lovely exotic plant to, to witness. Yeah, it's doing you a favor, all those pesky flies that come in the house in the summer. Around the cat food and whatever you... Uh, so there it is, 19 and 99 the entire kit to get you started, 498958. Well, AJ, I've got to say a massive thank you for this morning. It's thank been you. so good to see you. Uh, yeah. Thank you for all your lovely knowledge that you bring with you as well. It's, it's amazing to talk to you. Do you know when you're back with us again, perhaps? Um, hopefully, yeah, soon. Uh, your viewers seem to love our kits, so we we'll do. be back soon enough, yes. We thanks do. for having us. No, it's been absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Thank you so much for Thank bringing you. all these lovely kits. Are you working on any new kits? Or? We are. We will be launching some tomatoes, sunflowers, oh. ready for spring. Oh, yeah. lovely. Well, I hope you will come back to us again and bring those with you because they are absolutely fabulous. Thank you. Really gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much to AJ. Thank you to you for watching. Um, stock update on the bonsai, the bestseller. Yeah, 80% definitely gone now. So please check out those baskets. We'd hate you to miss that because you obviously love it. I can't wait when AJ comes back again to see your photos of what you've been growing from today's show. Uh, enjoy. What a lovely show. Let's see what else is coming up today on the craft store. Oh, we've got some fabulous stamps and goodies with Darkroom Door and Yanis. Then we've got sewing with Merrant Crafts and the lovely Sasha. And then we've got Go Power and the Boss, the one day special with John Lockwood. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Kathy. And I'm Mel, and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. On our shows, we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. In the foothills of Alnul, a lawless event unfolds. The craft store's sixth birthday, an exciting time beholds. Phil Martin and Indigo Blue, Heartfelt Creations, Zuri, and Crafts 2. With six pounds of credit, there'll be plenty to buy. With great one-day specials, the aces are high. With discounts and deals, with prices to amaze, join us for a hoedown for a wild seven days. From fabric to paper to glitter and pencils, pens and stamps, inks and stencils. Join us in August, a craft extravaganza. Happy sixth birthday, the Craft Store's Bonanza. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie, and this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own pollen stamps. We decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is going to take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie, hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. Well, good morning everybody and a warm welcome. So we have got a great hour ahead. Uh, it's the perfect combination. We've got the dark room door 
And we've also got the lovely Pooja. Hello. Hello. Hola. Hola. How were you on your travels? Oh, we had a lovely time. I'm still yes. slightly on a boat, I'm not going to lie. We only went on a canal boat, but I'm still a little bit rocky. So, you so in my head, I am doing that. How many days were you on the boat for? Three. Three days. So, yeah, got it Friday. Um, yeah. Got off yesterday. Yesterday and then drove home. So it was like sailing and then driving three hours. Everyone really friendly on the river? Oh, yeah, it was great. Yeah, so yeah everyone was People so nice. Say hello. Yeah, they were so nice, so helpful. And it's good because you won't think they'd be that helpful when you, your boat's actually heading towards them. But no one panicked. <laughs> it's a good time to be helpful. <laughs> we're going to get into everything, but last question. Yes. So, you know, when it gets dark, do all the other boats? Do you chat to other boats? What's it like? I was wondering we what's didn't. it like on the canal. We didn't, night. but it depends where you're moored. Because obviously, if you're moored sort of a lot of boats together, then yeah, yeah people do get off and chat, and know. you know, they obviously some people knew each other. It? Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's this, but it's pitch black. Well, is so it, cool. Is it like a dark room? Oh yeah. Uh, thank you. Nice yep. uh, okay, so we have got some fantastic st uh, stamps. Darkroom door. Let me explain really quickly. Australian company got such a follow, uh, a loyal following, uh, because obviously it's coming from abroad. There is extended delivery on this. Everything is going to be dispatched on the 26th of August. So nine days. Worth the wait. We are talking red rubber, foam mounted, pre-cut. So all the stamps they're are pre-cut. Pre they're not pre-cut. Okay, apologies. Red rubber. Foam mounted, it's because there's some who's working Yeah, a minor pre cut. Um, <laughs> foam mounted, and they are beautiful quality. You get that photorealism in there as well. $18.99 is your price. We will start here. 10 images, these are your paint splats. Phenomenal for mixed media. I mean, I, we all love a good splat. Yes, and they're fabulous because they add texture, they add interest. They're absolutely fabulous. Really, really cool. Yeah. Lovely. Okay, so that's your first offering, 302-938, your item number. I'm going to be quick because there are a lot of options to show and ultimately you want to see Pujol. You don't want to see me waffling on about stamps, so I promise I will be super quick. Next, we have here our brush strokes. These are lovely. If I just turn this around, actually, you get a sense now, Leone has been using some of these, so I apologize. Yours will arrive pristine, but I want to show you when we talk about red rubber. Let me just open this up and pick that up. This is the quality that you're going to be getting with these beautiful quality, all foam mounted for you. Red rubber, just really nice. And the, I think the reputation that Dark Room Door have in the industry um, solidifies the fact that the quality you're going to get. $18.99 is your price, 530-619, your item number there. Uh, then we have over here, this is your water washers. So putting that up, uh, there we go, your watery washers, I should say. So if, oh, now color, color, color. How good would that look? I think backgrounds would be amazing. But equally, if you want to use these to decorate maybe a construction box, there's so much we can do with these stamps. $18.99 your price, 382-531 your item number there. Next, we have our grunge marks. So just going to show you this. So grunge marks, uh, $18.99 your price. You're getting 10 images in total. Now this is cool. Let me just show you. Yeah, so should we open this up? So this gives you... No, now, again, I've got to apologize because uh, these are uh, ones Leonie has used. But you can see here depth of the quality of rubber that you're getting to work with. And we love some grunge. This is instant, instant grunge. $18.99 your price, 468916 your item number. I, do you know, it's a silly little thing, but even the boxes they come in, I think, are cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, they, and when you turn to the side, you can see the actual stamps on the side, which is cool. Oh, good, yeah. isn't it? Now, that so is good. Dead easy to find them on so the shelf. Having a library of mm. these on your shelf, and they are very collectible. And the way I did the counter, all the first ones were all your backgrounds. Yeah. So there are all your different marks, your different textures, all your different backgrounds. Um, that's your last of the backgrounds, and then you've got your scribbles. So it's nice because you've kind of got sets of stamps, so they all go together beautifully. Well thought through. Here is the global postmarks. Very cool. Love these. I mean, think about it for your scrapbooking, for your journaling, for your card making. Even even to create backgrounds, 545097, your item number there. Uh, okay, now we've got um, our flowers for you. Ah, okay, actually, no, do you know what? There's just one, I'm going to just hold this up because I think I put this in a, a different position. 
So let me just, I apologize, the details will be wrong here. So I'm just going to hold this up because I've seen, I'll tell you why, Leona, I'll be honest. Maddie, if I, if I grab that set, because I think that set's going to be here. There we go. $18.99 is your price. Uh, you've got your lots of labels. We love our labels. So there we go. Those are your lots of labels. 412-848, your item number there. Before the start of the show, Leone gave me this and said, put, put this on the counter. And I saw a space free. <laughs> it's, it's where you had your scribbles. Yeah, so there we go. That's, my scribbles don't I nicked you. Out. I nabbed your scribbles. Out, so there we go. <laughs> uh, OK, now we're going to go on to the scribbles. Let's have a little look. These are really nice. 15 images uh, you're getting here. This is your uh, lots of, no, not lots of labels. Sorry, wrong details. I was going to say, it didn't look like 15 images. Uh, I've become like Ron Burgundy. Anything I see on the screen, I read. Uh, five images, that makes more sense because let me turn that around. Ba -ba, there you go. But when you start, and again, this is why I'm rushing down the counter because you need to see these stamp out to appreciate how beautiful they are. But I love that sketchy kind of design here, and it just screams for color. $18.99 your price, 275 148 your item number. Sticking with the same vein, uh, and speaking of vein, we got our leaves. Uh, so here, $18.99 your price, seven images, 545-021 your item number. Beautiful sketchy leaves that work so well in conjunction with the flowers. So you can see that whole sort of feel work beautifully together. Then we have more flowers for you. So just going to take a look at this. This is volume two. So volume two, expanding on the collection of these beautiful fine flowers. $18.99 your price, 1056 Five three, your item number there. <laughs> then we have, that was a lovely sweeping shot there, Holly. I love that. Uh, now here, we've got our next uh, our collection. This is uh, 11 images. You've got your fine butterflies. Love these. Beautiful. Uh, they've got a really uh, free-flowing nature to them. $18.99 your price. 11 images, 756, 432, your item number there. Now bottles. What I like about the bottles, we can use the bottles to ground and house and uh, present the flowers. Eighteen ninety nine your price, or just use them as bottles, maybe uh, like an apoc apothecary. Eighteen ninety nine is your price there, and you've got some really cool bottles. I'll turn those around, you can see good sized bottles. Do those four one five six six eight your item number there. Then we have some bees, buzzing bees. Going through, so the buzzing bees, that's cool. like that one. That's really nice. Uh, but then you've got a lovely flower. We've got sentiments in here. You've got bees. That's a great set. There is so much going on there. That's a really nice set. $18.99 your price. 14 images. 453-910, your item number there. And then finally, we've got our spring inspirations. If I don't, string, sorry, inspirations. We go, is that right way up? Yeah. So you've got in here... There's your dream, your forever, uh, imagine, enjoy, love. And I think if I turn those around, there's two that were that way. Memories and inspire. That's why I couldn't read those. <laughs> I was really struggling to read those that way. I think, is it my eyes? But no, they're upside down. So uh, you've got all of those. Obviously, they're on a string. Uh, lovely way to add some sentiment into a project. $18.99 your price. 13 images, 096925, your item number. So Darkroom Door, Mer uh, American, Australian company. Uh, nice story behind these as well, how they came about. So passionate about photography, and they've kind of poured that passion into their stamps. Because it's in an Australian company, it will have nine days extended delivery on there as well. So uh, it's going to be dispatched on the 26th. 26th of August. What we're going to do to show you something else, we've got some stencils for you as well. Uh, so some beautiful stencils. Let's have a look at these. Uh, $16.49 is your price for your stencils. And you are getting in here the lavender, the grunge borders, the cascading hearts, and the cascading stars. Uh, $16.49 your price, 488-808 your item number. And then finally, we've got some more butterflies for you. Oh, I love that strip, that sort of film strip there. Uh, $18.99 is your price if you want to get a hold of these beautiful film strip butterflies. And it's just another consideration. Anyway, enough of me. Like I say, the only way to appreciate how good these stamps are is to have a play with them. And there's no one better to have a play than our pooch. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm really sorry I didn't realise the um, 
the stencils and the butterflies are on, otherwise I would have dug those out as well. Uh, but anyway, right, so what I'm going to do is start with the wonderful um, scribble backgrounds, uh, the splats. The splats are amazing. Now, what's really important with the stamps, the packaging, they are bigger than they look on the packaging. So with every stamp that you've seen, they are a lot bigger. I mean, when you look at that stamp compared to that, they're way bigger than they show on the packaging. Obviously, mine are used because, um, because they are. Um, but um, you will get them, they'll all be together, so you'll have to cut the stamps, but it's dead easy. What I do suggest is taking a photo of that, because it's almost like a jigsaw trying to get them back in again. Um, so you will need to, to you know, to, to take that so you're right, you've got a reminder of how to actually get them back in the box. Now, this is such a cool stamp, and it's been so popular. We've had this on a few times, actually. Um, but it's one of those that it's been so popular because it's such a handy stamp. I'm literally I'm going to do and try and do as many quick backgrounds and quick um, quick cards as I can really just to try and get as many um, different demos in. Oh, it looks like it's not sticking to my block at the moment, so I'll do it that way instead. If it doesn't stick to the block, give it a wash. Just let it dry. Look at that splatter! How fabulous! Let it dry and it'll um, it'll stick again. I haven't done that because of time but that's okay so I'm just doing a couple of splats on there and I love this stamp because it's one of those that you can it, it's so random do you know what I mean it looks really random but it isn't you know exactly what you're doing with it I mean how many times have you done splatters and it's been so random, it's just been a mess. Uh, whereas this, it looks cool because you've got that beautiful design going on there. It's, it's such a good stamp set as this one. Highly, highly recommend this. Now, because that's kind of got a green to it, I am going to get my greens out to go with this one. So my next one and just building up those wonderful splatters so taking the the bigger splatter on now can you tell leonie's bought herself some new ink pads it's like oh new ink pads i love this and i love light layering these up they look so cool um so obviously creating that beautiful background getting different colors in with your splatters because that looks really good as well and they are really good quality stamps um please look up rachel rachel greg who um who is uh, one of the owners of Dark Room Door, and she's so good. I mean, she's so talented, not only in creating beautiful, beautiful stamps, but also in her artwork. Her artwork is just fantastic, what she actually creates with the stamps. So please do have a look, because um, she's on Instagram, and she's got loads and loads of ideas. Right, now, just building up, and you can see the different splatters. This is a lovely thing with this one. I mean, you could use all these independently. They absolutely work, but I do love them together i'm just going for this i'm not really kind of planning where they're gonna hit and um, where i'm going with it i just wanted to play really so just put in some more of those little splashes aren't they fabulous what a brilliant background straight away you've got a really really strong background good quality stamp set that one that's your paints paint splats now one of my other super favourites, and um, we've had this, we might have only had this on once, maybe twice, but this is an absolute favourite. I love this stamp set because um, even if you just stamp it in white, it looks sensational. But there's a few ways you can use it. So you can either i'll just move that to one side for a second get a piece of a uh, white card so it's going to look good just stamped in black on white card and cut out okay so literally because it's really crisp really clear so they look good oh don't do that but it looks good just like that okay now if you do something like that where you mess up rather than waste your card just do this so that one I'll cut out later. So that one's beautiful. They really, honestly, you'll use this a lot. However, however, one of other ways I love using this, get a background, okay? So this has been done with a stencil. It's an all and create one is this one. But get a background like this. Take your, um, take your block. I tell you what, I, I'm not joking about still being on board. It's... <laughs> Honestly, I'm rocking away. I'm not rocking, but I really feel like I am. It's going to be a long day today. <laughs> uh, I hope I make it through to the end of the day. Oh, uh, yeah, I do feel like that. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, I don't think sitting down would help. I think I'd just fall off my chair. Um, so with this one, look, I'm only going to cut it out roughly. You'd spend more time cutting it out proper, but just to show you how good it looks. And I adore this because it's framing that cardstock. So if you've got a background that you don't like, do this. Because seriously, it frames it. Look at that, how good that looks. See, boom, just like that. Does it look good? Looks really, really good. Um, so use them for that. And then the other thing you should be using them for... <laughs> <laughs> they're all missed that glad. Uh, oh, now there are cues on the phones. Um, if there is anything you want, you know what to do. Check your baskets out. Uh, the other thing that I, am, I really like using them with, the sentiment stamps. Now, I really like these sentiment stamps. They're absolutely beautiful. Um, they are the, uh, the ribbon sentiments. And with these ones, again, there's so many ways you can use them. They're absolutely exquisite. So... Um, let me just find that. There we go. So if I just take one of my gorgeous sentiment ones, um, these are lovely. So you have got, so you've got love, you've got enjoy, you've got imagine, don't spin it, Leona. You've got hope, inspire, memories, dream, and then forever. Um, and it's that font. It's a beautiful font. So if I stamp this on my card, for instance... <laughs> We've just put the icon on, and the icon actually now sounds like I'm on the boat as well as me feeling like it. <laughs> He's like, oh my word, is that is that the engine? <laughs> oh gosh, almighty! Oh it's funny. I, I I do actually want to live on a boat, and uh, the reason we did it was because I had never been on a boat before. I had it in me I wanted to live on one. But we'd never been on one before, so me and girls were like, right, let's go on one and see. And I do want to live on one, but I feel that I'll never be able to get off it. Because as soon as I get off it, I'll be a mess. So I'm going to have to live on a boat and stay on it for the rest of my life, which will be interesting. So then, take one of your stamps... And then, and I'm only, I mean, I'm using black mainly because they just look so, um, so impressive. And then just go over that one. And again, whee, when you cut this out, it looks really, really effective. Just ignore all the mucky marks from me, my fingers and the dirty ink pad. That's my, because I've been treating myself to new ink pads are all really, really inky. But look how good this looks. And I, it, they're really easy to cut out as well, which I, I like. Even the round ones. I mean, you might have punches that ugly uh, make it easier to cut out. You might have dies. But even if you cut them out and it's not 100%, look at that. Doesn't that look cool? They're really, really good stamps. So all I'm going to do with this one is... So I've already got my, my background. OK. I'm going to stick that on a piece of black card. So I have got it cut down slightly, just a little bit of glue there. Bob that down on my bit of black card, like so. And then just slice that bit off. So we've got a cheeky old mat and layer. And then I've already cut a couple of these out. So with these ones, this is what I love doing. I love just layering them up. And just, can you see how cool they look? <laughs> Cards like this, I just think, look fabulous because you can layer them in so many different ways. You know, line them up, twist your card round, see how they look. Um, these will be beautiful for your, your journals, if you've got your art journals. They're going to look amazing on your art journals. They're the kind of images as well that um, you'll use. You know, if you've got your memory book, see, I love that. That's how I'm going. So what I'll do is the bottom one is going to get glued down flat like so. This one is going to be slightly raised with a glue dot with a little bit of foam padage, but that needs slicing down a bit. I don't even feel like I should use scissors today, I don't really feel sensible. <laughs> um, you have to tune in, have I already said this? I'm, um, I'm cooking at five o'clock. <laughs> Uh, we've got the Spice Kitchen at five o'clock. And I, um, um, oh, I can't remember who asked me. Who asked me? One at Lovely Buyers asked me. I can't remember who it was. No, that's terrible. But anyway, we, yeah, it was all Christy. Of course, it was all lovely Christy. And Christy was like, oh, do you want to cook along? I'm like, oh, yeah, that would be brilliant. I'm really excited about that. 
Now I don't even feel like I should pick up a pair of scissors. I'm re I am very excited. About I'm very excited about it. And it's perfect timing because I'll be starving by five o'clock. So I'm absolutely, I'm really looking forward to that. But you have to watch that one because that'll be hilarious. Uh, it will be brilliant. And I'm really looking forward to it because, um, because I'm really hungry thinking about it. So please make sure you tune into that. I'm leaving that like that because I really like that. Have a look at that. It's crisp. It's clean. It gives you those beautiful lines. But that background you can change every single time and create something completely different every single time. Now, I actually have to get my stamps in order to carry on a demo because the stamps are all over there. I don't have second samples. Um, if you do want anything, please, please, please check out your baskets um obviously um it's all available on the website um that is um the craft uh, but yeah i'll let yannis talk while i try and get all my, my next lot of stamps over to you yannis thank you so having a look at the website i mean there is so much to enjoy and this is a good opportunity by the way, we keep mentioning the website, but I tend to use, I don't use the website anymore, I use the app. Actually, I'll be honest, I haven't gone to our website in probably, well, since we launched the app, I don't know, a year and a half, two years, I haven't used the, uh, we uh, the website. So the app, all the features on the website, you can find on our app. So if you have a smartphone or if you have a tablet, just type in, search for our app, and you'll be able to rewind. So if you want to watch any previous shows, uh, we got the uh, bank of the last 60 days. So what you can do, type in the date, the time, and you'll be able to revisit any show over the last 60 days. You can shop on the app as well. So it's just something to consider. Uh, right now, we are looking at Dark Room Door. Beautiful stamps, Australian-made, uh, red rubber, foam-mounted, superb quality. Uh, we'll start here. So that's your brush strokes. Oh, actually, I've got splats here. Sorry, let's start with splats. I've got the splats. There we go. I've got the splats. So there's your splats. And again, they are red rubber and foam mat. I apologize because this is set that Leonie's using, but yours will arrive pristine. Uh, Leonie has cut hers out, so uh, yours will not be cut. You can cut those out. That's your splats. $18.99 your price. 302938. Then we have our brush strokes. I have to say, splats and brush strokes, really strong sets here. So lovely way uh, to add some artistic flair. I mean, they, look at that as an example. Isn't that nice? So just lovely sweeping brush strokes. Uh, they're $18.99, your price, eight images, 530-619, your item number. Then we have our watery washes for you. Just taking a look here for your watery washes. $18.99 your price, 382531 your item number there. The only was saying that with the first half of the counter, what she wanted to do is give you backgrounds and then with the flowers you've got obviously the elements to go over and more of your features. Uh, coming up, we've got our grunge mark, really nice. This is this is a little bit of Leone, you can imagine, because she loves to get a little bit down and dirty, grungy. $18.99 your price there, uh, 468916 your item number. And then we have got our postmarks for you. Um, no, we don't. We've got our labels. The postmarks are here, but I think Leone's going to be using them. She's going to be demonstrating them in just a moment. So these are the labels, uh, uh, lots of labels, $18.99 your price there, 545097. Now, we did say about postmarks, and we're going to be playing with them in just a moment. By the way, if you do have any questions, we've got the lovely Leone here, and we really do enjoy having uh, questions from you. And the odds are, when you message us, you think of something that we hadn't thought of to say. So we really do love it when you get in touch. Studio at thecraftstore.com. $18.99, your price, if you do want to get hold of the lots of labels. Uh, we've got some flowers as well, just taking a little look here. So uh, we've got some lovely flowers for you. These are your fine, uh, oh, we've got the leaves as well. Leaves are coming up. Here are the flowers. So you're getting five images with your flowers. $18.99, your price there, 275148. They are beautiful. And they've got some leaves as well. So this is going to have a look at your leaves. Your fine leaves in here too. Uh, $18.99, your price there, 545021, your item number there. Then we have got some more flowers, volume two, with regard to flowers, $18.99 your price there, six images, uh, and this is, I say, fine flowers, volume two, 105.653. 
Then we have our bottles, which is, works very well. If you think about backgrounds, put the bottles, add some flowers, you've got a really nice piece there. $18.99 your price, 415668. And finally, we have our Busy Bees. And details on the screen there for your Busy Bees. <laughs> they're coming, they're coming. $18.99 your price, 453910, uh, item number there. Who's who's it was the Artful Dodger? Artful Dodger. They only look like the Artful Dodger. They're just going around the counter. I'm going to hand over. I hand over to Leonie, and we'll continue having some fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, right. I'm mixing it up. I've got a few stamps. Yeah, I do apologise. Um, the stamps that we've got are mine, so it does mean I have to pinch them off the counter in order to to get ready for a demonstration. Um, okay, so what I've got here, and I love the postmarks, they're amazing, because we've got so many, uh, again, backgrounds, backgrounds, backgrounds. So, I'm going to use the postmarks, first of all, and I'm going to take um, my clear embossing powder um, and just do a couple of these. So, I wanted to do a few, and I'm going to put them on here a little bit random, because what I wanted to do is, um, rather than having to, to keep just stamping, stamping, I thought if I put a few on here straight away, it'll give me a nice background. So pop them on, do my, um, my perfect medium, and obviously I will be putting these stamps back where I got them from, <laughs> when I've used them, because they were all in order. <laughs> okay. And then... Just going to, oh, I'm sick of getting dirty card. So I've got my, uh, my stamps and then just stamping those here like so. And then just going to take exactly the same stamps, but just twist them round, have some falling off the card so it's not too perfect. Never have it too perfect. And there we go. So. That's a few stamped images. I'm not going for loads, just a few stamped images, okay? Because I'm just building up a background. Let me just get a bit of paper. And then I'm going to put clear embossing powder over here, first of all. So first, you're not going to see this. You're going to see the dirty marks that I've got my embossing powder. But you won't really see what um, the imagery initially. So got a little bit of clear embossing powder on that one. What I'm aiming for is to build up these layers. And that's where we're going with this. So that's my first one. And then let's heat emboss. Um, with this one, cool. I like, um, I like postage marks because they're brilliant for, you know, again, obviously all your travel journals, stuff like that. But they're just really good for backgrounds. And all of these, that's why I like... Um, I like that we've got so many backgrounds because I think Dark Room Door, they do, they give us so many different stamps and it's a, it's a really good collaboration. Um, graphic designer and of course photographer and they started with beautiful uh, photoreal images. They've still got a lot of photoreal images within the collection but obviously expanded it to, to um, bring us other designs as well but yeah, beautiful designs. So got those and I like it as well because it's dark room door from Australia so you're not going to see them absolutely everywhere and we do that a lot here um, at the craft store we do bring you a really good selection of, of stuff that you don't see absolutely yeah international flavor so you don't see them everywhere and we like that it's exciting um, so what I'm gonna do is mm, I might do rather than go in with the ink I might actually do um, a little bit of blending oh it's okay, my sponges are right next to me. I know, right? I were overlooking, I were, I were thinking I'd probably hid them away from myself. No, right next to me. So let's just bring in a little bit of, of inky goodness, first of all. Like so. So with this one, I'm not going completely, um, I'm not doing the whole thing, because again, it's just about building up that background first. So, bringing this in, the brown, and then I'll bring in, again, keeping the brown on there, but let's just over stamp a little bit. In fact, no, do your inking first, Leonie, before you start stamping. 
let's do that and then having a play with ink again like i said i've gone and bought myself all my new inks so this is also me just playing with ink i love old paper though it's a beautiful ink um, color is this and again for this kind of look it absolutely works i mean it blends in beautifully doesn't that just look gorgeous but also um with the this kind of background that we're doing it just works and i love the white embossing powder first because that gives you that lovely resist so it looks really effective when you're doing this you should really get a bit of scrap card because otherwise when you're doing your blending you end up picking up the ink so you'll get ink all over your fingers but also you will put your fingerprints in your work and that can mess it up a little bit so doing that little blend first of all and then let's have a little look where we are so um, we've got, in fact, in fact, our lovely Maddie, you know these flowers that I've pulled them out of? Can you pick me that one, please? I'm going to swap it with Butterfly. I'll do it Butterfly next time. But it's that one, and I can't remember what that flower is called, but it's right beautiful. Um, but thank you, our lovely Maddie, because I'm going to use them. I was going to use my, my butterflies, but I thought, no, the flowers will work really well with this. Now, using the same two ink pads, so building up that background. So building up my sticking with my walnut stain and um, the, the paper one. And I'm going to take a couple more of these fantastic little postmarks. So get your postmarks first and it's just building up your background and i really like that i just think that is such a nice stamp they're gorgeous they're absolutely gorgeous taking your your little travelly wavy lines i'm sure there's a proper word for your wavy lines but i don't know it there we are and doing i'm gonna work in both things so i'm working in the the um the walnut stain but i'm also working in the antique linen um yeah i thought it roll paper antique linen uh, because that way at least uh, i get that beautiful combination of colors there we go so bring in this one in as well oh we have to have an australian one don't we It'd be rude not to there we go and then one more with these and then we're going to bring in some of those backgrounds as well so bring in that in and they don't it's funny really because they don't it's you know they shouldn't really be um all straight can you see how i seem to be going vertical and horizontal and keeping it quite straight they shouldn't i mean it's postmarks so really should be all over the place however I do, I'm a little bit like that. Believe it or not, I know I'm haphazard normally, but I do like them either vertical or horizontal. I'm a little bit weird like that. I'm not very good at, at actually stamping really, really random. Um, now, this is another one of my absolute favorites again you can see there's so many cool stamps in here absolutely love these and these are just the kind of stamps you'll go for again and again and again and again you know your grunge marks are essential really really cool so um just trying to find my pad that i've put somewhere special uh so taking this one and i'm actually going to take now i've got a gray in there so i'm going to take a gray first of all and build up the background again so it's still working on those backgrounds still working on those layers and uh, these stamps you see are so good for your layers because you can just tiny little bits make such a difference change your ink mix your inks up as well because that will give you a different effect and it'll give you a different look so I'm increasing the intensity of the ink as I work along. So now I'm actually going to go in with the black. Because you know me, I always have to have some black ink somewhere. Because, I mean, look at that. That looks super cool, doesn't it? And I love it because these aren't solid circles. You know, it's, it's just so well designed. They're absolutely fabulous. Really good stamps of those. Really, I'm only, I'm only using a couple of them. But strong. You need them in your life. Um then bringing in my air mail ones again because in this one i want the actual air mail stamp so bringing this one in and i'm bringing this one in black because let's see i'm thinking where i want to stick my flowers 
So I'll pop that there like that. And I could actually colour that in red then. That would look cool. On it. There, and having it falling off the paper. Let things fall off the paper because they look good. There we are. So I've finished with my air mile. So that one's that one. Okay, I've finished with that, which I'm going to scooch over there because I haven't put them back properly <laughs> before they go back on the counter. Um, and then I'm going to take the beautiful flowers. So before I do that, let's just clean this mat up because I've got some nice black ink on there. And you just know I'll pick that up and put it all over my work. So that's where we're going with that, which looks fabulous. Now, these are lovely. They're really, really nice stamps. Um, your scribble stamp set, so you've got your stamps, you've got your flowers, you've got your leaves. Um, they all mix and match beautifully. You've got the butterflies, which again, everything goes together perfectly. They, they really complement each other. It's a lovely stamp set, is this. And just to show you, I mean, I've already cut a couple of these out, but just to show you how good they look when you actually stamp them. So if I I just get, I mean, again, just on a random background. Now, I'm not going to cut this one out, but just to show you the really beautiful stamps. The fact that these are all mounted, I really like mounted stamps. That cushioning makes it dead easy. But look, aren't they pretty stamps? They're just so, so gorgeous. And something like that, it doesn't, um, like if you're over stamping, because they've got that lovely sort of scribble nature, if you over stamp and over layer, it doesn't really matter. Do you know what I mean? It, it looks good. And these, I mean, I can make a really cool background within seconds with these. Because look, look how good that looks just as a background. They make a really strong background, but that's the thing. They make a cracking background, but they're also a really good focal image. So what I've done with this one, that's my main image. And I've already cut a couple of these out which I want to go on like that one. Before I do that, just to build up my background again, bring in the flowers, and I'll just pop in. Oh, I tell you what I could do. Oh, lovely Maddie. Please could you pass me the leaves that go with the scribble? It, poor Maddie. It's like, hmm, now then. <laughs> so there's some leaves. Yay! Perfect! Um, so what I'm going to do is um, bob a couple of leaves on here because, look, they work perfectly together. And these, again, absolutely beautiful. Of course, you can create just backgrounds with these. You know, they work and they look. They've got that really nice open look to them. So, for instance, if you were, again, just creating a background with these, so say you wanted a really nice, and I know I'm going a bit off piste and doing a few things at once, but say you were going to take one of these. I like a few things at once. So spritz on that card just lightly and then take your um your stamp let's get a let's get a i'll just go in i wanted a darker green but i'm going to just go bundled sage just because i'm not faffing but look because that cardstock is slightly wet but then when you start going in hmm, i could get a bit wetter on that because i like that movement that you do can you see there's a bit of movement there so just stamping that leaf and I, I just love backgrounds like this I love them because they're, they're quite they've got that beautiful flow they're dead easy it doesn't matter if you overlap um, the colour it looks really really effective and look how quick it is as well see how quick is that to create a really pretty background but it's the stamps because the stamps are just really beautiful sort of flowy stamps see doesn't that look pretty what a lovely lovely background and then something like that off she goes on a merry little tangent something like that so it wouldn't be it wouldn't be me if i weren't tangenting would it um so you take that now but then take say the butterfly sorry i am really all over at shop Anna. i'm put testing our poor katie today and then <laughs> she's like you've used 50 stamps on one demo but look how cool that would look now and you could just color that in 
and that looked beautiful on that background beautiful and it's because it all matches it goes together wonderful obviously that isn't the demo <laughs> but that's something else you can do bring this little beauty back so I want um, one of my leaves in here I'm gonna go in with the leaves in uh, black so I'll take one of the leaves. These are lovely. I like them because you've got just your, like the big leaves, the big single leaves. But then, what have I got on there? But then I do love this kind of branch that we've got going on. That looks gorgeous. Because then when I put my, step, my flowers on there, look how effective that looks. See, that is so pretty. It's such a good stamp. Um, but what I do want as well, so I've got that one, but I'm actually going to stamp just a little bit on that side as well. So I'm going to take the bigger one, but I'm not going to ink the full thing and just give me a little bit of there. And that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. Now, what I would do, I'm not going to spend time colouring this in, but I absolutely would. Um, just a bit of colour on this, so I would colour in those flowers. I'm not going to do because of time, because we've only got 20 minutes left. But if those were coloured in, they would look absolutely beautiful. And what I would obviously do is give it a blast with a bit of water, so you've got more texture going on. We have got those beautiful stencils on the show. I know I haven't got those. I didn't realise they were on. I do apologise, otherwise I would have dug them out. But um, they would look absolutely amazing on this color these in just what I'll do I'll put a little 3d foam pad on there like this and then a little bit of 3d foam pad there like this of course your card needs to dry before it'll stick proper but then boom beautiful that once it's colored in is going to look absolutely gorgeous but it's all down to the stamps remember you've got your background stamps you've got the air mile stamps which look fantastic for layering up but then all the scribble designs are absolutely gorgeous now i will tidy up yet again pass over to yanis and see what i've left on counter we will see <laughs> i hope you're enjoying it uh leone actually couldn't have said it any better the stamps really do give you everything that you're kind of looking for. So if you want a beautiful background, you've got it at your fingertips, but then you've got more of your sort of feature stamps in there as well to build up those layers of interest. And that's the key. Uh, we're going to start with our... Uh, oh, can I show you stencils on the still, actually? Because the stencils here... Now, look, you're getting an awful lot because we're getting four stencils in total. There's the lavender, the grunge borders, uh, cascading hearts, and your cascading stars. Lovely stencils, have some fun with those, use your sprays, get your crackle, put them on your gel press. Uh, so lots to enjoy. $16.49 your price, 488808, your item number there. Okay, now we're going to talk paint splats. Love a good paint splat. And here, I'll tell you what, I'm not going to tell you, I'm going to show you. How beautiful is that? I mean, just showing those two side by side, stunning. And actually, Leonie's used the sentiments, the string sentiments or words that we have as well that we showed. Oh, lovely. $18.99 is your price. Just that is a dramatic splat. And it's something that you, know, you try and recreate, and of course we can do. But here you've got that consistency and that perfect splat time after time. $18.99 is your price there, 302-938, your item number. Then we have our brush strokes. So a brush stroke, another prime example of Darkroom Door giving you the most beautiful backgrounds effortlessly, and it really is. So whether you just start a crafting or you're an experienced crafter, how good does that look? You can see that in situ. Lovely, lovely colors and designs. So imagine that creating, uh, stamping out, and using your sort of natural tones coming through to give that wonderful brush stroke feel. Uh, 18 99 your price, 530 uh, 619 your item number. Then we have our grunge mark. So now we're getting gritty, we're getting grungy. $18.99 your price, you're getting 10 images in total. The, if I had to pick any set, that I, th I mean, a lot of these I can see Leonie loving, but the grunge, uh, I think, is a prime example of a set that Leone would really sink her teeth into and do so much with. And my goodness, are we getting a lot? Actually, I know Leone likes this set. Do you want, do you want proof of how much Leone loves this? You can, oh, is it on the next one? There we go. No, you can say, oh, sorry, let me, I won't do that then. Uh, do you know what I was going to do? Let me show you. 
<laughs> I was looking at the back of the wrong one, and I saw I saw how inky it was, but that's not the set we got details for. I apologise. Uh, we will show you those details. Um, 1890, that's slightly awkward. Uh, 1899, your price there. Six images in total for your watery mark. And do you want proof of how much Leonie loves this? <laughs> ba ba ba. <laughs> But okay, Leonie, get me out of hot water. You do love the grunge, though. I can imagine I those. Absolutely you love those. Love that. Yeah, that's one of my favourites. Yeah. I, I adore, yeah, adore it. It's ace. It's ace. Look well, how many you stamps yeah, you've got you in there. Those. They are nice. Uh, okay, so uh, enough from me. We're going to head back to Leonie and continue having a play. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I must admit, though, um, the ones that are the muckiest are the scribble, uh, the splats. The splats are filthy. Um, okay, so um, next, let's have a little play. So I'm going to take, um, again, the uh, beautiful um, scribble uh, flowers. These are absolutely gorgeous. And actually, what I will do, and I forgot while you're looking at them, I will take um, my... <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Because it, we've just got this one stamp. This one... Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's Ray, in it. It's right. Let's use these because we haven't used these yet either. Um, and these, again, absolutely fabulous. It's backgrounds. It just, it's just so many different things, isn't it? You can do so much with it. I will move on to a bigger piece of card just in case because I don't know where I'm going with this one. <laughs> but I know exactly where I'm going with everything else. Um, so bringing these in yeah really really cool and yeah these are mucky as well if truth be known i think that's it all my stamps are a bit mucky but it doesn't matter you know they still provide fantastic stamp results so sorry i'm starting playing it organizing my ink pads um now let's just get my there we go um so what i'm going to do here just take my background so i'm going to do a nice splattery kind of background i don't want it too heavy though but i'm going to go in with um my salvaged patina i adore this color now can you see that's a pretty solid stamp if you just go along it you'll see marks in it so just be careful how you apply the ink if i put it like that you can see then i've got a really nice um it's like a nice sweep of the ink pad rather than, you know, solid marks, if you will. I've managed to get black all over this card yet again. So just squidging that down. And I love the movement of that. It's a really, really nice stamp, is this? They're all, they're all really nice. Now, I've got a lot of ink on there, so I'm just going to take it away, give it a bit of a spritz, get that ink moving again because it is a, a distress oxide at the end of the day. So you'll get a really good movement. And that in its own right looks good, especially with these ones, because it is a splatter. It's, it's got that look anyway, you know, so it's going to look really effective. So pop that down like this. See, that one's... A, you'll find this. It'll be like, oh, that one's the best, you know. And it does look really good. Yeah, your sentiments will be perfect in there. In fact, in fact, look, like these ones that I've already done, if I just take this again, let's see what ink I've got left on there. And I'll give that a really good... And I love this. Can you see, because it's a solid stamp, can you see all the ink moving on it? It looks really cool. Look, look, look. Oh, that ink is just moving around on it which does look really, really good. And it's dead inky and messy. So if I now go over one of those words, so you could either stamp over the top of this or do that. So you get that wonderful sort of splatter on it, which does look really, really good. Abs I love things like that, because it's got a lot of movement to it. So it just looks like a paint splash. You know, it's, it's doing what it's meant to do. Actually, while I'm on that, that train of thought, let me just show you something else as well, because I really, really, really like this as well. So, again, this is because they're solid stamps. So, we So, because they're a solid stamp, if you've got... So, I might use the... Um, let's have a think about colours... I'll use a little bit of my, um, my flamingo, so a cheeky bit of flamingo there, and let's mix it up with a little bit of, um, let's go the candied apple, there we go, like so, so, oh, don't pack anything up yet just in case it goes. I thought you were packing it up and it's like, well, I might come over and rob it yet. <laughs> but, uh, 
So, again, and I like this because it's a solid stamp. Get that. Now, look, look. Can you see? Can you see that movement already? I love this because you're getting movement on the actual stamp. Allow it to really, really do its thing. And because it's a solid stamp, it'll allow you to do that. It'll really allow you to play. So then when you come, da uh, come to actually stamping, it's giving you that really interesting surface. See, look at that. I love that. Doesn't that look cool? Really, really cool. Um, and it, But you keep that shape. So you keep the shape. But obviously, you'll get another one out of this as well. But obviously, you've got, it's, it's kind of, um, it's wishy-washy. It looks like a paint splash, if you will, or a paint streak. But... It's keeping it within that shape. And both of those I love, absolutely love. Really, really strong. The second generation is beautiful, isn't it? Easy to clean off as well. You've got, and when you look at how many stamps you've got in here, and because they're all solid, you'll be able to do that with all of those, and even the little one. And then that's brilliant for going over the top. So really cool set of stamps. So I prefer these now that I've done rather than the other one that I did. So I've only got six minutes as well. So let's stick to this one. Now, normally you can, you know, dry it off, etc., etc. We're going to do a really quick dry just to um, speed it up a little bit and take off some of that ink. I adore that. I just think that looks super, super effective. So, what I'm going to do is take one of the, um, the beautiful bottles. Now, these are cool as well. And again, if you look at the size, and this is why we're going to work on the bigger piece of card and then forgot obviously uh, but these are gorgeous because with something like this um, you can use them with so many different flower stamps that you've got to create lovely vases they look really cool when you're stamping acetate as well so stamp them onto acetate um, I'm gonna take one of the um, maybe slightly smaller ones I do like yeah that one will do the job I'm sure so just taking this one and then that's wet through five minutes you always think you've got tons of time and then five minutes feels like ages it really isn't <laughs> it's like oh that goes rather quick okay inking that up see these are proper handy you use these a lot so boom mad in it time goes really bizarre in in a live studio so that one's there like so and then taking one of my beautiful flowers i love these that one's my favorite favorite in the scribble flowers i think that is just gorgeous but look how big these are i mean i'm thinking that that is going to be way too big for that little um one that that's probably going to be more like it isn't it i want to use that one but because i've only used a small piece of card if i'd use a big piece of card like i intending I could have used my huge flower I might stamp that anyway just because I want to show you what it looks like look and then this one so you are best when you're doing this really you are best popping your flower down and then going over the top with that but look how pretty that looks isn't that effective and then what I would do with this one I haven't straighten that proper what i do is cut it cut the card down so it's properly straight uh, color that in obviously but then your little um your little doodah what's it yeah there. <laughs> then you just color that in like so you take more time you wouldn't rush but how cute is that chop all the mucky mucky stuff off that you've got there right quick before i run out of time because i have to show you this one because it's absolutely beautiful so if i bring this one in and just oh i love that daisy so bring in my gorgeous gorgeous daisy in okay so with this one stamp it first in let's go in with a bright bright yellow because we can have i picked up proper yes i've picked up cheerful so proper yellow this time so stamping proper yellow because that's just delightful boom now i might as well i've still got a bit of time on that two and a half minutes i'm going to now actually because i want the yellow to move obviously um 
your first fine clear it's all based it isn't going to move whereas your distress is absolutely going to move so if i pop that there now and pop a little bit of water on it i'm not bothered about it um it um, merging so get a little bit of movement on that and i kind of like the backgrounds moving a little bit as well i don't want it to go too far because i've only got two minutes so scoop that back up again and then take my stamp and then go in with black obviously because there we go and again i'd color it in and do all those lovely things with it so just taking that like so and stamping it over here see oh i've missed the top off a little bit that's annoying now isn't it now what you wouldn't do is what i'm doing yeah she's doing that thing she's on a boat and but it worked boom nailed it ba -ba -ba. i love that i absolutely adore that that is one of my favorite favorite stamps and again imagine that when it's cut out how pretty is that gonna look and i tell you your finishing um doodah for that one is my lovely sentiments which i'd already pinched hadn't i don't know so my beautiful beautiful sentiments so taking one of those there are, i love these because not only are they really cool but remember you've got that little line so you can actually have it wobbling if you want i'm not going to have it wobbling because we're nearly out of time so just bringing that over like this yep i am stamping it the right way around and there see isn't that cool so you chop that down so it's just like that absolutely beautiful uh, please check your baskets out don't miss out on these uh, dark room door is such good quality i want to carry on playing now because that other circle stamp now if i fill that in in a darker color that'll look well cool um yeah please check your baskets out i'll be seeing you uh, later on today of course because i am presenting and i'll be cooking at five o'clock in the spice kitchen uh, thank you yannis thank you all See you later. Check your baskets out. Goodbye. What a lovely hour. And coming up next, we have sewing with Morant Crafts. After that, the phenomenal Go Power and Emboss machine will be back as our uh, one-day special. Then Pink Frog Crafts will be here with a happy hour. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the Craft Store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Catherine and I'm the guest presenter for Zuri Designs. Zuri Designs are based in America and they bring to us their exceptional quality silicon moulds. Zuri Design moulds are used in all areas of crafting, not just for your clays and your resins, but also their food grade silicon as well, so used for your cake decorating designs.
Zuri excel on the detail in their moulds and the designs range from animals through to fantasy and much further beyond. If you watch the Zuri shows, I will share with you lots of hints and tips. I will show you how to use different mediums ranging from your clays and your resins through to things like even your hot glue. So make sure you don't miss the Zuri shows. I'm just checking it's still morning I'm not sure if it's afternoon or morning good morning uh, I am here with the, the, the lovely lady who is the expert the UK expert on balsa Bo Bo balsa Bo bosom Bo bosal bosal there we go I can't even say it I, I'm, not, I don't sure, I'm not sure I even understand it because we've got that much bosal on the table uh, good morning Sasha you will understand it I by will the by the end of this, of this hour you will. I will, darling, won't I? So we've got this hour with you, and we've got, what time? Two o'clock. Two o'clock. Two o'clock. So, basically, any questions about your bosal or anything else that we've got on the counter, please email us in to studio at thecraftstore.com or let us know on the face cloth, because this is the hour to ask all those questions you've been meaning to ask when it comes to your sewing projects. Sasha's here to help. But two things I want to flag up straight away, because once it's gone, it's gone. It's not coming back at this price. Every time it's on, it sells out because you're getting 33 meters on each roll. You are getting five rolls of the Marant Crafts Lucky Dip Bias. So you could get any number of these beautiful colors, but you'll get five of them. I know that. It's just the colors. I know Sasha's got some beautiful colors on her table as well. Um, so you can just, yeah, you will get five. I was just showing you another color. And there's loads of colors. Oh, there's, there is loads of colors. It's a Lucky Dip, yeah. this one. And the thing is, every time we bring this to you, it it's sells gone. out. And today, I know it's going to go again. But this is the last time it's going to be at this amazing price. It's already folded into the bias, isn't it? It's already oh, ready. It's, ironed and folded like and that. And you're getting 33 metres on each Gosh. roll. You're getting so much. And if you go to a shop, you buy five... 10 meters it's never enough for what you're doing at home yeah and so this way you're getting a pick and mix of colors don't let that put you off because the colors are phenomenal but you really really do need to stock up because we will not be bringing it to you at this price again which is why we're starting the show with it to yeah. maximize your hour i'm just showing you here can you see how it's already so it's about centimeter wide once it's already folded um but that is already pressed down can you see ready to go over your project fold over and there's your beautiful binding and as um sasha's yes table mats your bags your quilts your um pot holders your any any numerous projects where you need your bias binding basically 33 meters so 165 meters in is that right yeah 165 meters in total that's Sorry, phenomenal. mic problem. I, you know, You're I right. this yesterday. You had a mic problem yesterday. It kept dropping oh, down no, somewhere. I know. It's me, I think. <laughs> it's me. Um, it's underneath all these layers of fat suit that I've got underneath. Give that over. <laughs> She's gorgeous. <laughs> Get married um, in 17 days. She'll be single lady over another 17 days. <laughs> but yeah, so this is great for like um, binding your tablecloths, those circular items, because it's bias. Wonderful for your dressmaking because yeah. it's narrow. So many different things you can be doing with this. Amazing quality, all joined together. You know, you've got 33 metres on each roll. Yeah. And um, it's What's a cracker. Not to love? It's a cracker. What's not to love? 10% already gone. 14.99. It's going to be the last time you get it at this price. Mix of colours, all beautiful colours. There's going to be one, you know, you're going to be using them, basically, is what uh, Sasha said. 14.99, 129863. We are going to a UK exclusive now. Last two times it was on. Flew out, sold out. It's back in stock. I won't tell you what Sasha said with her excitement on receiving this, uh, <laughs> but it was along the lines of she needed to go to the toilet. Uh, this is Bosal Polyfirm Fleece, and you are getting two meters. We've also got the one meter. We'll show you that in a moment. I was asking Sasha because I was like, look at this. It's like Spaceman. Um, great, I said, it? is this to keep things cool? Is this thing to, 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 to protective for, uh, against heat? She says, both. Tell me about this. So th this, it was really important to get this back on, um, especially for Christmas projects, that sort of thing. Yeah. But we sold out so quickly last time because 
we at Marrant Craft try to bring you the best possible prices on these items. And again, this is a cracking. This will go again. So you need to stock up on this one this morning. Um, you're getting two meters for this price. So you are looking at the polytherm and with this, you would do your lunch bags, tote, yeah. you know, tote insulated bags. So it would keep everything cool, cool. everything yeah. or anything hot, but also your Christmas or normal placemats, table mm. runners, this protects your table. Protects your table from the heat. So, you know, you've yeah. got Granny's thousand year old table. Yeah. You know, it protects beautifully. Hopefully she's still not sitting at it. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully not. Um, or you I try and she's a thousand years old, not because you don't love Grandma. Oh, don't my Nan's table. I did my first lot of cutting out on it when I was eight with a rotary cutter. Oh, did it get scored? She was so proud of me, bless her. No. <laughs> not when she's on the table. <laughs> um, but no, so this protects your table, this protects your countertops, that sort of thing. And it's heat protection as well. Yeah. So, um, you know, things in the kitchen, your pot stands, that sort of thing. But also things like slippers and clothing Ooh, I was saying to you about. Yes. So if you're somebody that goes skiing or does a lot of hiking, walking, you can use this for gilets, jackets, trousers. Um, or if you're somebody that's a carer and you take somebody out that's in a wheelchair and they feel the cold a little bit, this is great as a smaller lap quilt. Um, obviously, you do not sleep under this um, because this is very warm, keeps you very toasty. Yes, the and idea is to keep you warm bodies. Yes, yeah. um, ice, um, insulated. But if you're just going out for a few hours and they just yeah. need a little bit of the extra knees and the legs, they always get cold if you're just sitting yeah, still, Yeah, and it's they? to do with the circulation, yeah. isn't yeah, it? absolutely. Um, so you can make smaller um, quilt, lap quilts, that sort of thing. But it's the most amazing product. It really is. And 20% is already gone because everybody knows. And it's it's, it's going to fly. Hour. And yeah. last time we sold out. But this is the time now, you know, we are coming up to the end of August. Yeah. We are all going to start thinking about our Christmas makes. And this is one of those necessities for the Christmas table, yeah. because hopefully this year we're going to have everyone back around the table again. And so even for things like garden furniture, just protecting the glass mm, on the top of the yes, garden tables, yeah. things like that. And so this is the item that you need. Fantastic. Over 20 percent gone. We've got this is the two meters. So uh, 62 by 2 metres there. Um, the Bosal Polytherm Fleece, £20.40. Fiona, could you show how wide I will, darling, is? yes. Because, you know, Absolutely. 62 inches, you're, you're getting a really nice chunk. You really are. Um, yeah. It's really nice and wide. And... Um, you see the bottom? It's one of those that we should always have in our stash anyway. And... Um, so even if you're not thinking of Christmas makes, but just updating your dining room table um, as a runner or protective mats, yeah. this is what you want inside. Yeah, I love that. The, the ice bags, the picnic bags, the, yeah, just the, that, that beach bag, you know, when you want to keep your water cold. And it's uh, so hard to get hold of it. Yes. Once you start coming into September, people no. are Christmas Gold crafting. Dust. You won't, be able, you won't be able to get it at this price anymore. You won't. No, you me. said you can't even get it at this price. I can't get it at this price. You it's can't crazy. even get it at this price. And I'm on air. Yes. And I can't get it because I'm on air and it's going to sell out. Yeah, exactly. She, <laughs> and she'd have to leave and go and talk to the call centre and I won't let her do that. She's strapped into that chair. Uh, I could have to go to the toilet. Yeah. Oh, the toilet. <laughs> Gotta go to the toilet. <laughs> or Lily in the green room. Place an order. <laughs> Who's watching that can place an order for you? <laughs> yeah, James. James, Lily. James, Lily. Get on it. She needs some of this in her life. Uh, now, this is the one metre now, just to distinguish the numbers. So that's the two metres at the bottom of the screen, 0167887, £20.40. If you just want a metre, you're going to yeah. want more than that, aren't you? But anyway, just in case, 583934, 20% of that's already gone, £10.20. So serving all the needs there in terms of both price point and in terms of how much of the lovely polytherm fleece you need. Fabulous. Any questions, email us in. Uh, I keep forgetting that second show is at, so sorry, darling. Two o'clock. Two o'clock. Two o'clock. Two o'clock. Um, so if we don't answer them now, we'll certainly get round to it in the two o'clock. But uh, email us in, let us know, because this is the lady who is the, the Bosal ambassador. Right, I'm going to move on to another type of Bosal. Yes, the chef's mitt Bosal. I have been lovingly squashing this like a marshmallow <laughs> and stroking it. Tell me about this Bosal then. So this is an exclusive. This is brand new to us today. Um, it's 
amazing, basically. So this is made out of the same, um, I won't say wadding, but it's not what you would think of a wadding when no. you feel it. That is actually, because obviously Bozal's made in Maine, um, in the USA, and firefighters in America actually wear this wadding inside their uniforms. uniforms. Yes, well done. Their <laughs> un <laughs> it's a long story, folks, long story. It's a long story. Um, they wear this inside their uniforms, and this protects them up to 450 degrees, Faren degrees Fahrenheit. Yep, it it's is there degrees on the front there, 400 yeah, 50 I always, degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. And so it, it, it really is an amazing um, product. And it is quite dense yes. in the feel. Yeah. So when you're actually feeling it, it's almost like um, a memory foam, I yes, want to say. Was, that's what I was thinking as I was moulding the shape, squishing it, you, it. Yeah. yeah. And it, but it sews beautifully, um, which we're going to do a demo with this in a bit just to show you how easy it um, sews through. And you get this awesome mitt. Full now, protection. Full protection, so top and bottom. Yeah, so if you burn in the wrist, yeah, top of the hand. So I would probably, if I was at home, ask for order two packs, yeah. so I could have one on each, oh. and then maybe do that joining thing. Oh yes, around the neck, um, yeah. But they, it, it is the most amazing product and I have used this at home and you really can't feel anything you wow. really can't feel anything and it really is protective and it is so warm inside yeah, yeah. you said you had to take your hand there. <laughs> feel for the firemen I really do because it must be so so, yes. so you know great for so, the winter but not when they're fighting fire well no. obviously it is good because it protects them but uh, it protects the them heat. but my the yeah. heat must be terrible yeah um, and again you can quilt this if you wanted to quilt it but I'm going to give you a really quick and easy how to make mm -hmm. this mitt. And so, yeah, it's a great product. Great, you can great product. do it in your favourite fabric to uh, go with your oh, with the colour in the kitchen or whatever. Uh, and the good news is, I mean, you've got the mitt shape cut already. Uh, Natasha, uh, Sasha's going to show us how to uh, create the mitt. We haven't got the pattern. It doesn't come with the pattern, but I believe that's going to come uh, at some point uh, further down the line. But for today's purposes, you can just watch it's the demonstration. So, it's so, so simple. simple. There's your shape. So simple. Can, yeah, she's going to show us that. £17.95. If you want to get a second set, um, because that'll just make one mitt, so if you think in both hands. Uh, and again, think you think about getting that turkey out, those roasties. It's always when the accent that's happened, isn't it? Yeah. It's always, always and please the don't think, the because you're getting two in there, yeah. that you can split them. No, you can't split you it. Because you need that protection on both backy. sides. So this will just yeah. make... Your One hand needs to be sandwiched. Yes. Yeah. So, and the and everything else. At uh, seventeen pounds ninety five one nine six nine six eight. Update update on the bias binding. Half the stock has gone, and we've had it confirmed as well. I don't know why you didn't believe me, Charlotte. There is no more once it's gone. Fourteen ninety nine. Gone is gone. Once it's gone, it's gone. It's gone. We can't have it at that price anymore. Gone. Gone. Uh, it hasn't yet though. Once no. it's gone, it's gone. One two nine eight six three. A smorgasbord of colours. We don't know what colour you're going to get, but you can get thirty three metres on each for that price point. Amazing. Now, also amazing. Same material, but these are the potholders, and we get two, don't we? So you get two for this price. And um, again, it's the same wadding, yeah. so it's this amazing, oh. thick, wonderful it wadding. It comes in a 10-inch piece, so you get one piece in each pack. The wonderful thing about this is we are going to be bringing to you the book. Oh, yes. So this is the book that um, I've obviously been sent to play around different patterns. And basically, it's like lessons. So it's 52 weeks. So you've got 52 different pot holders that you could be making. I mean, you don't have to make them into pot holders. You can make them into quilt a quilt blocks. if you yeah, wanted. They're, they're, they're into a quilt block. Yeah, they're lovely, aren't um, they? Which we've got that covered in a bit. Have you, wouldn't? darling? Do you um, know, I'm just going to pause it there. Sasha has 600 quilting books. <laughs> she collects them. It's her thing. Sorry, yeah, I told I, the world now. I can't believe it when you told because me. Because it's there is something about the books, you know. I mean, I've got some really older ones up in the loft. I've got them in the storage unit. 
and then I have my ones that are in the, the sewing studio. There is nothing like an actual book. Yeah. And I think the with hand, yeah. quilting books and various craft books as well that I've got, it's all about the information that's in there. And I love a physical book. Yeah, physical I'm no book. good on your screens for reading anything. No, it has to but be the I do book. like the really, really old, like the like I was saying earlier, yes. the equivalent of a Fanny Kravick recipe, recipe book. Yeah. Recipe book. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But really, really old yeah. quilting books, you know, like going back to like um, the um, WI books oh, yes. when they used to bring yeah. those out years and years ago. But anyway, I digress. So, so there's one of those coming soon. Yes. So this is... Um, for example, one of the patterns that's in the book. But you would make it, um, obviously, because you would follow the pattern and the pattern matches the sizes. And then you would just make your pot holders. So you would put your saucepans, yeah. your hot plates, yes. anything like that. Yeah. They, you can pop a little tag on them so you can hang them up. Place so settings. you've got different colours, all things like that. But again, it's that wonderful um, insight. This is all about the essentials. Yes. This is about what goes in the middle of your project to give you the best out yeah. of what you're actually making. So this is another one of those greats. Fantastic. And it's 9 99 So if you are thinking about making the place settings as well, um, get get a few of those in there. And this last, uh, it's fabulous stuff. It's so soft. And as, as, as Sasha, I know she's not Natasha. Sasha says, it's... Uh, it's I answer to most things. It's so fun. beautifully. Thank you, darling. <laughs> 890782 over 10% has gone. 999 the Bosel pot holder so yeah it is about the education it is about showing you all the extra ingredients you might need and if you've got any questions about them i don't i didn't understand bosal i've heard the word bandied about i didn't know there were so many different types what's the difference between that one and this one why would i need that what's the difference between that wadding and this now's the time to ask our sasha because she'll be able to help you talking about bosal we've got the woven felt tote kit now again this, it, this doesn't come with a pattern as such, but um, Sasha is going to demonstrate what you can do with the woven felt tote kit. Tell me more about this kit then, Sasha. You really don't need the pattern for this kit. This is completely pre-cut for you. So you just lay out your pieces. You've got your base, you've got your sides, and you just start weaving. It's amazing. You can turn it into a bag if you yeah. want to. I liked it as a storage box. Mm. And so, for example, I mean, I've got all these wonderful trims that I would be tempted to sort of put around the tops of these. You can put a binding around there if you want to, but I quite like the finish of, I've got all sorts in here. I've got, I'll just get me pom-poms out. Oh, I love a bit of pompage. So, you know, you can put your, um, you can have your pom-poms on there Lovely. as well. It just gives such a great effect. Or I've got a bit of leather in there. Oh. Leather. I've got a bit, oh, of leather. a bit of leather fringe. You know, and we've all got, we all buy these trims. And then where do you do with them? You know, and these can just be hand stitched on, machine, machine stitched on. But it's really stove, sturdy woven felt, isn't it? It uh, really is. So we've bought you the felt before in yeah, a pack without right. it being cut. Yeah. And this is it pre-cut. This is it weaved. I've just tacked all the way around by hand. Mm -hmm just to um, secure it because yeah. have, this is that much of an exclusive that we've only just it's just landed literally yeah. so you can see my awful tacking stitches don't look too close don't show them like the bad bits <laughs> um, we've tacked all the way around and just to keep it in place yeah. till I decide what I'm going, going to, to actually put top. around the top yeah. but then just as easily this is the size it is when it's done so you could then bind it and then you could then put your handles on it mm. and you've got a really Beautiful. good, sturdy bag yeah. for a laptop or a work bag. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it doesn't have to be a bag. I just... I Storage. absolutely love this. Yeah, the, the texture of it's what's so beautiful, isn't it? And there is the some texture. It is that texture yeah. and there's something about weaving as well. Yeah. I love the whole weaving of it. Um, so yeah, all you need is some pins some hand sewing thread and you've got an amazing basket or bag and it does go through the sewing machine yeah um, for if you wanted to put handles on there so it does go through the machine it's just a great I, I just love it it's a storage 
I just think it's absolutely awesome. It's, it's a fab. It's amazing how it keeps its structure because of that woven tight knit of, of the felt itself. Um, fabulous. And, and again, Sasha's going to show us how to do that at some point. £24.95, 668095 for the Bozal Woven Felt Tote Kit, which could be a bag for storage. Now, I'm quite taken, I'm quite taken with this next Bozal <laughs> item. Um, these are your pre-cut uh, wadding squares, your 10-inch pre-cut wadding, 12-inch, sorry, 10 of them, sorry, 12-inch, 12 by 12. So immediately... We're thinking gorgeous cool Such box. a great idea. Oh, it's brilliant. Talk to me more Such about these. Such a great idea. So I've been on about, this is another complete exclusive, completely new into um, the UK. And it's that thing that I found that if I'm doing quilting and I'm doing, I don't know, 8 by 8, 10 by 10, 12 by 12 squares, if I'm doing blocks and I'm, say, doing blocks and I'm doing a plique or I'm doing a piecing, and then I like to put them together so I've got my top, my wadding and my bottom, my backing, sorry. And I'm at a club or I'm at one of my craft groups or I'm at a friend. I'm having to take a huge, great piece of wadding with me. Yeah. These, are, these come in an actual little Ziploc bag as well. And these are pre-cut to your 12 by 12. It's Bozal Katardin wadding. So you can make your block. You're not having to cut anything. No. It's all there. And then you can just keep piling these up until your quilt is ready. Yeah. And then this is the perfect item to be doing quilt as you go yeah. with. Now, if you don't know what quilt as you go is, over the next couple of months, I'm going to be bringing in um, a couple of quilts that I'm working on quilt as you go. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be giving you a whole lesson on the quilt as you go sashing because so many people don't know how to do it correctly. And, that, and the sashing is just to make it really obvious to everyone. So a... your sashing is what would join this block to, another to block. the next block. But the problem that you have, it's a bit like a jigsaw puzzle, so everything's got to fit. Mm. So by using these squares, you're not worrying about having to put wadding in that sashing in between. Yeah. And so you would join your front sashing and your back sashing to your block at the same time right. which makes it quite confusing for people oh. but because this is pre-cut to the correct size it makes life so much easier i think it's brilliant and i think you know you to take on this individual box you take this to a craft yeah. club or you know your friend's house wherever you do your sewing bees um and you're not having to worry about a huge great big roll of wadding or it's or even if you're doing precisely. a bit of free motion and you have to try to get the whole quilt in going through your machine, and you know, you can do that's the other thing. Block block. So that's what I'm working on at the moment with one of my groups is we're actually doing a sewing machine book. How do we find you? So we, um, I'm on Sasha Sews one two three on Instagram. So find me on there. Um, this is the great size to use these to work out and play with all the stitches on your mm. sewing machine. So we are doing applique yeah. we are doing decorative stitches we are doing lines of stitches and then we are going to turn all of these into a little booklet so then you can just flick through them at home Great you've got idea. all your stitches yeah. all your needle sizes everything you need mm. to know but again it's Brilliant. perfect size and perfect, perfect. For, for like you know if you're doing some quilting on the front of your cushion or cushions anything. to match your quilt yeah anything you know, beautiful some people find it very difficult to cut wadding down to yeah, size because yeah. it is so bulky. Yeah. If you've got dexterity problems or... Maybe you just haven't got the space. Yeah, the you space. Know, sometimes, actually, you just haven't got the space no, to lay it all out. No, and sometimes people and... don't like to use rotary cutters. No. And it's really difficult to get those straight lines with wadding. So this has all been done. But I think it's genius. I absolutely love it. That's the bosal. And that's your wadding there. You get 10 of the squares. They're 12 by 12. The organic cotton. And it says... It says on the thing as well, no need to pre-wash. Let me just... No. Just, yeah, is that a read It's pre-shrunk. No pre-shrinking required. No, you don't Brilliant. need to worry about anything like that. And this, you just build up your blocks. So if, maybe you're doing an applique once a month. Um, yeah. Well, we do it with Mark and stuff like that. They do, you know, they, they break it down into blocks month by month and exactly. stuff. Exactly. Yeah. And then you've got... Nowhere to store yeah. big pieces of wadding for this, yeah. but it's all here. It's all done. And then you can just make yourself a little folder or keep them all in the bag. It's all nice and secure, and you can just keep them on the shelf and just Brilliant. pull out the blocks as you need them. just seems more manageable and less daunting oh. block by block, doesn't it? Well, bit we're by not bit. all so lucky to have 
um, a sewing room or something like yeah. that. You might just have a space in your kitchen that or your you dining room or bedroom. Get it together. And, and so this is perfect. Yeah. And it's a great price. Great, great Fantastic price. Fantastic price. Uh, for all those reasons, Sasha's just said, £15.75, And remember, if you've got any questions, let us know, because uh, Sasha's here to help. I think some are already coming through, and she's got the 2 o'clock show as well. Now, I looked at this, and I think, I don't understand this. I don't understand what this bozel is. I mean, did you know there were this many bozels? I know. Um, this is, this is double-sided, fusible Craftex bozel. What's that all about, so Sasha? <laughs> I'm not going to start singing. They're all going home. Saying the same at home. Please don't do any more, Fiona. So this is what you make from this. So this is your scalloped basket. You can make two, or you can make one with it being a lot firmer. Oh. So this has just got one piece in. Yes. So it's great as a flexible. It's very stiff on the bottom, yeah. as you can see. You have its shape holds its shape, mm. but the sides are a bit more softer. A bit more flex, yeah. Um, I like to maximise the most out of my bosel, mm -hmm. and you're getting two in here. So why use the two for one project yeah. if you can get two baskets out? Lovely for storing all sorts of bobs in, isn't it? Oh, definitely. Yeah, the rigidity there. You can see how super strong that would be if you had the two together because, yeah, the, the flex is lesser so. But I'm, I'm, I'm in Sasha's corner. <laughs> Let's get thrifty. Let's get as much out of it as we can. £17.50, 664664. Oh, yes, I surprised myself there. Or you could go for a bolt. Yes, look at this, a whole bolt of the, of the stuff. So you can cut that to size. Do whatever you want with that then, can't we? Yeah, so if you're somebody that has used Craftex before and you just want to stock back up again, or somebody that's never used it, so this is Craftex in its raw. Um, this is how it comes, and you can cut it to any shape. It is great for bag bases or a bit of stability in your bags. There's no fusible stuff on this, is there? Yes, oh, that there is. one is. Um, can I just have a feel of have your a other feel. end? Yeah, I wasn't sure it's the front, sure. but not the, the inside. Yeah, no, fully fusible, both sides. Both sides, both okay. sides, fully fusible. So this um, is cross sew them to join them back together Ooh, which and it keeps it nice and firm sir, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and also if you're somebody that makes um like the um etui sewing boxes so this Jesus. is our acadia oh, wadding from lovely. need yeah that makes the pretties look good yeah it it's is the usable. essentials it's quality product so again it's your cotton blend so you've got um cotton and polyester mm -hmm. so you have got that wonderful pre-shrunk needle punched together hasn't got as you can see you've got the needle punch lines there which shows you how the wadding has actually been put together oh. so when the wadding is actually fused together instead of using a scrim which is a spray, and then you get those bits. Um, that fluff up. Yeah, well, you get sort of bits of brown markings in them, but what happens with this is Bob's quite um, carbon footprint and, um, you know, the whole looking after ourselves, yes, looking after yeah. the future. Um, so this is needle punch, which means it has a minimum scrim, oh. and the needles go down in lines, and it just keeps all of that wadding together instead of it having to be glued together oh. so it's beautiful beautifully oh, soft super toasty what would we use this wadding for i'm going to ask the obvious question so 
obviously your quilts. Yeah. Um, it has a really nice stable handle to it. Mm. And what I mean by handle is the way that when you actually hold it, yeah. it creases beautifully, mm. but stays. Yeah. So you've got that wonderful handle to it, which means it's great for things like wall hangings to mm. go on the wall because yeah. it will lay beautifully flat. Um, sometimes with quilting, it depends what your preference is. If you're somebody that likes to quilt and have a A fine weave it needs a little bit of stability oh. so we would iron this on um, to the back of those fabrics and it stays there oh so, so it clings to it, does it, it it just stays there you're fusing it onto your fabric oh. and so for dressmaking dressmakers always have this in their stock it's a yes. bit like I think I've seen it in certain clothing yeah so, it's a like bit like us as quilters or... with wadding yeah dressmakers have always got thread interfacings mm. you know so for things like collars, cuffs. Yes, that's where I think um, I've seen it. Down where the buttons go, sometimes you need yeah, a bit of interfacing. Strip, yeah. And we've got lots of different colours as well. Um, so if it's just, again, it's an essential. We I all know need... the ladies from Daisy Chain, they used it on the back of some lovely cotton when they were doing some red work. Some yes, exactly. Red work stitching. So red work yeah. for embroidery. I always use interfacing with embroidery um, because we don't, necessarily want to be putting um, a second piece of fabric on the back no and so this just gives it a little bit of enough stability yeah but if anyone was watching um, last night um, when I was on it I think it was five o'clock um, the storage pot that we did we used interfacing on oh. there so again there are so many different uses for it mm. and sometimes it's one of those things that you'll look at a pattern and you'll think, yeah, 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 yeah. I've got all of that. Ah, interfacing. Ah. I haven't got any interfacing. Right. It, it's one of those. Yeah. You so will it's always handy to have. And always you get three meters. So I'm going to ask the next obvious question because there's different item codes for the different colors. So I've got the white here, 126259, 17.99. Is it just as obvious as... You need different colours for different things you're doing with the material? Really, yes. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be putting, like, the black, for example, behind um, a white lighter fabric yeah. or a jersey or a chiffon, for example. Yeah. Um, so it really is as simple as the colours. I would, if I could only get one... I think I would go for the white mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. I, it can go across the board. Yeah. Doesn't matter so much with the black. Whereas if the black one you were to put on white, it shows yes, more. Yes, you come across. Um, yeah. But across the board, they are absolute essentials. If you're somebody that does work an awful lot with darker fabrics, mm. then the grey or the black definitely. And the grey is so rare. I know, I've never so seen it, rare. I didn't know it existed, I'll be honest so, with you. So, so rare. I, you know, if you're somebody that has never used the charcoal before, then I would definitely give that a go, because I've never seen it. I've never seen charcoal. God say, me neither, ever. That's the charcoal there, 361928, They're all the same price, you're getting three metres. Different code then for the black at the bottom of the screen, 421056. And again, um, why is the black 1799? And the charcoal's fourteen ninety. Is it a different oh. light weight? I think the light charcoal is lightweight. Ah, What's it's the, the sizing. Black? Yeah, we've got three meters by ninety for the charcoal, charcoal. and this is three meters by one fifty. Yeah, so the charcoal yeah. is reasonably new in for us. Right. So as I was saying, we haven't used yeah. the charcoal. So depending on supplier, depends on the width of what we're getting. So yeah, we're getting under a meter on that one wide, whereas the other one is one and a half meters wide. Gorgeous. And then you've got the white. Three choices there, three different order numbers. Uh, we've got the threads. Yes, my lovely threads here, always an essential. And I'm sure uh, Sasha's going to, you know, extol the virtues of why you need a good polyester thread when you're using your sewing machine and you're doing your sewing. I mean, this is Coates Moon, so this is a great collection of colours as well, isn't it? It's a great. So each time that I've um, come here for Marin, we've bought you a different colour collection. So in the beginning, we bought you the monochromes, which was your black, white, and greys, which is 
the essentials for quilters because we use an awful lot of grey to piece and quilt with. Um, and then obviously your black and your white. And then we have got your pastels, which mm -hmm. are stunning. Then we've got the blues and then we've got the earthen. So each time we came, we put a collection of colours together. And now we are bundling the whole lot together. 40 spools, yeah. 40,000 metres of thread. I was you're just getting. about to ask how much is on each. Uh, 40,000 metres wow. of thread. Wow. Wow. It sounds bizarre, doesn't it, when you say it like that? So you're 1,000 a... metres on each spool. Yeah. 40 spools, 40,000 metres. If you just want a collection on its own, they're at the bottom of the screen, 1099, the mono collection, the black and white one, and the greys. But as um, Sasha has explained, two flexi by pence for £21.98 pence for 40,000 metres. But try meters. and buy 1,000 metres of good quality, quality thread. thread. Yeah. For 10 <laughs> The um, people that be with a calculator, how much is that working out at per spool for the 40 spools? She's 40 spools, £1.09. Pence. You go into your local craft shop, haberdashery, and say, <laughs> Do you get a thousand metres? I'd like a thousand metres of polyester thread, please. Very good quality thread, and I'm only going to pay £1.9. <laughs> and they go, What era have you come out of? Yeah, what time <laughs> travelling have you been doing on your bike? Uh, 714466. Quick few updates before I go back to Sasha. The buyer's finding. 60% um, has gone. You're going to get five different colours, 33 metres on each. Once this is gone, it's gone. It's not coming back at this price of 14.99. Uh, all the colours are gorgeous. It's just a lucky dip which ones you get. They're already, it's about one centimetre wide, but they're already, I'll show you there on the orange, you can see, already folded and pressed as it were. 129.863. And the poly, the half the stock's gone. Uh, yeah, this is proven very popular to keep it cool, to keep things hot, warm, uh, to protect surfaces 20 pounds 40 pence for two meters we've got that in the uh, meter as well um hi good oh how much is gone uh, half, half the stock yeah yeah well this is why we said right at the start didn't that, we yeah because it we, was sold out twice before i just you didn't want people to, to miss in. out i i feel yeah. sorry for the people at two o'clock there won't be any left at two o'clock i well, I'm predict I, now yeah you've you've got to stock it up you've got to get this one it's um yeah, I've had some. I've had. I've had some questions. Ooh. Good morning. Does the firm fleece keep things cold, such as wine coolers? Also, would the tote fit over the sewing machine, Karen? So the um, polytherm, yes, yes, for keeping things cool. Mm -hmm. um, so for anything like that, picnic basket linings, anything like that, um, I chuck ice packs Bottle in my wine coolers. You know, when you got yeah, your water for your bottles. Wine. Wine. Oh, and your wine. Of course you're wine. Of course you're wine. Well, wine. It was before the watershed at 12, so I thought, well, you know, I'll go with water. But anyway, she's already on the wine. I think me and you have gone very well. Definitely. It would keep things really nice and cool. It's wonderful. And I was just... Will the tote go over there? I mean, that's a I, bonny idea, Karen. I, I like that idea. I don't actually... She's going to have a look. Mm, Not depends. yours. Smaller ones. It would, do you know smaller it was, machine. It would have gone over Lewis's Viking the other day. Yeah, I mean, if you've machine. got a baby machine, yes. But then you could be quite clever and weave this part. That's what I was just thinking. Different leave sides. the side, cut the sides away. Yeah. And then you'd have a flap. So then you could just tie it at the sides. Mm. Um, but yeah. It would be great as so I'll just chuck me trims back in my basket. <laughs> no um, it would be it would that's a really, really good idea actually. Yeah. And um maybe well, that's maybe we'll one get... we could go back to Bob and say, could we do a bigger one yeah. for Sharon? If you're get... watching. Um I hope you are. Um we need a bigger one as well for sewing yeah. machine Perhaps cover. we'll get a see if Ben can supply us with a measuring table and we can give you dimensions then and you'll know. Oh by that's your a good own idea, yeah. If we've machine. got a, Ben, can you get your measuring stick Oh, we've got out, a finished please? tote size, have you? Um, six by ten, 14, 14 in the width. Yeah. Then. Six by ten by 14. Um, we've also had Debbie, Debbie Waddington in Manchester. Hi, Fee, Sasha, and the Fab crew. Noted. Thank you very Aww. much. They say hi. I'm not much of a sewer, yet she dabbles. I have an embroidery machine, so just wondered if your fusible interfacing is okay to use on it. There we go. Absolutely perfect. So like with any fusing of any um, of your essentials, you would fuse and make sure that cools down. 
Right. So I wouldn't recommend putting anything that you've just fused onto cotton while it's still warm under your machine because of your needle. So fuse it, let it cool. Let it cool and then, then embroider sew with it. Yeah. Well, it's that's a, bit, a good point. I would never have thought of that. Yeah, it's a bit different on here because I have to work so quickly. Yeah. And I'm very, very good at cleaning out my sewing machines. Um, but I do regularly change my needles and I do keep reminding myself I shouldn't go directly from heat straight under my sewing machine right um, that is one thing to be aware but as for embroidery machines absolutely perfect and the other one that we've got on the craft store website under um, Marant crafts is the stable bat um, if you haven't used that before from Bozal stable bat um, they'll oh, have a look, look and mm. see if they can find it is a um, it's a wadding and interfacing together, which oh. is amazing for embroidery machines as well. So we will see if we've still got that in stock and um, sure have a look. She's still searching. I've got she's a part two. Yeah, she's still searching. I've so got we'll... part two to the question though. Oh, okay. She says, I've also bought two bias binding sets. Will I get any repeats? Um, Hard to know. I don't think at this price. We said once it's gone, it's gone. Yeah, I mean. Oh, I see. Oh, I see what the question. Sorry. Will you get repeats, repeats of, colors? of the colour? Ah. If you go onto Marant Crafts on Instagram, and please, if you're out there, we've set up a new Instagram page. Marant Crafts, find us on Instagram. Um, I'm looking after the page at the moment, so come and say hi. Um, ah. If you let me know your colours, and you do order please let me know and i will see what i can do i will mm. i will see if i can sort something oh, thank you sasha yeah brilliant so 70 percent has gone so debbie let's get on to that sharpish so get your order in and then uh, get in touch with our sasha and follow her on the instagram um yes so uh, i think that's answered all of that i didn't think we didn't find any stable bat on the website no, so i mean we've i think ah, i've stock. got a feeling we've sold, sold out, out last yeah. time we were on but keep an eye on it. Um, message me on Marant Crafts and I'll see if I've got some samples and I can send you a little bit just to have a go with. Thank you. But over to you, my darling. We've got oh. probably about 10 minutes. This I is know. About. Well, about the this, is, this is the thing you see with the Bozal shows. It's all about your information and your education of the products. So it's a little bit different. Um, so I'm just quickly sewing up my lining for my mitt. And um, let me finish there for a sec while we discuss the mitt. So, we have got our mitt shape. And you're going to take your mitt shape and you're going to place two of your fabrics or your outside of your fabrics before you cut them out. You're going to place them right sides together. And this is so you just get the correct way as well. If you're using a directional print or something like that, that needs to be going up the right way because of the size of the fingers. Can I go back a step? Okay. So my material, how much bigger than my mitt would I cut? I'm just going to show you that one. Oh, I see. Sorry. No, 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 you're fine. Now, what I would do is... <laughs> I put my hand up like a child. I've got a question. I've got a question. You're very good. So when you are cutting out, you lay your um, mitt on top of your fabric. It's going to be far easier to do it this way so you can actually see. And you want to play around. You want to try and have maybe a quarter of an inch um, all the way round. You want it slightly bigger, definitely. Yeah. And the other thing you want to do as well, where you've got the, um, the, the finger part, the thumb part, you want to sort of open that and pin that as well um, so that you know that you're not missing a thumb, the, the actual slit. Now, the reason why you cut it bigger is because, for example, if you wanted to do some quilting on there before you actually sew these two together, this is a very um, dense product. So when you are quilting, it's going to shrink in a little bit and it will pull up. And you, the last thing you want is if you cut this precisely to size, what you will then find 
is you'll have a bit of fabric missing. Right. Okay. And so it is really, really important that you just get it just so it's slightly bigger. It's really, really important. So not by much, as you can see, a generous quarter of an inch is fine. Absolutely fine. So you're going to cut two pieces and you need to make sure that obviously they are slightly bigger and we're going to place it's all to do with the placement of the thumb part okay so can you see this thumb part yes it's all to do with the placement of that and then what I'm going to do is just pop a couple of pins in the thumb and just in this part as well because the last thing we want is when we're stitching around it is just to miss now at this stage before you're joining your two pieces together this is when you would quilt it okay so if you wanted to have a quilted look to your you don't have to personal preference but if you wanted to have a quilted look to it then obviously you would do this while they're while while they are separate. separate yeah okay now what you have to be aware of is that once you start quilting this you are perforating the wadding which means that you are then breaking that 450 degree fahrenheit heat protection doesn't dampen it by much but obviously you just have to be aware because you're putting holes in it as you're stitching and they are so small it would only be a tiny little bit but we just have to make you aware so this is where i wanted to show you the other side as well to show you that you don't actually need to quilt it to give it its maximum protection so you've only quilted one side i've only quilted one oh, side okay. so it's really just a sample to show you that you can quilt it. it you're yeah. still going to get protection yeah no problem yeah and if I were you, I would put the quilted side onto the top of your hand. Yes, because it's the underside well. that is it's essentially going to bear the weight and the heat. Yeah. Oh, that's good to know. I wouldn't have known that. And then you would do exactly the same to this side, like we've done with pinning. And I would be very, very tempted to sew all the way around if you're not quilting it very very close to the edge just to keep that fabric really nice and flat mm -hmm, mm -hmm. before you're actually joining them together yeah and i'm just going to show you now how easy this is to sew through and as i say all i am doing for this i'm taking my stitch right up on the sewing machine so you're not doing a special thick slow stitch or width of stitch no, or because all i am all i'm trying to do is just tack my fabrics to, to this the, so yeah. that when I'm actually stitching my top and my bottom together it's not the fabrics not going to move I'm not going to miss a bit or it's not going to get caught or anything like that it's just gliding through that stuff isn't it, it honestly it, it's amazing it is absolutely amazing and I thought you know it's so much thicker that maybe that I'd have a bit of a problem and to be quite honest, I could actually take that a little bit more to the edge, really. Well, that's why I asked the question, you see, about the, the, the stitches themselves or the, the foot or... The, it's just gliding through it. it. It does. It really, really does. So I'm just coming around the thumb. Now, 80% of the bias binding has gone. I know, uh, who's the lovely lady? Our uh, Debbie, don't forget to get in touch with Sasha. She's already bought two sets. Uh, previously so um, yeah, I do think it's going to go this hour and, and also the um, therma doodah um, th uh, you know what I mean um, so please yeah f f the, what's it the therma the polytherm yeah the polytherm three fleece so yeah that's 14.99 won't come back at that price and you're getting a, a mix of five different colors there um, 33 meters on each so 165 meters I love the way it's already pressed and folded and ready to go oh Brilliant. So, all I've done is tacked all the way around this one, just so you can see 
I've just tacked it a little bit. Yeah. With this one, we're going to pop these together. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take these pins out because I want to make sure that I am beautifully lined up. We've got four minutes, Sasha. Oh, wow, is that all we've got? I know, but the good news is she's back at two, everybody. I'm back at two o'clock. Yeah. This is what I mean. It's such a busy show. Well, there's so, so, much, so many different bozals and there different is. properties. And... So with this one now, what we're going to do is we're going to sew all the way around, okay? Yeah. To join your two pieces together. You are then going to pull them through so they are the same way. Are you sewing through the bozal together? Or the Very close to the edge, yes. So you are coming, probably you can either, I can just quickly show you. So if I quickly show you. Or are you sewing through the material? So what I would do, lift your presser foot right the way up, because it does go slightly higher. Yeah. And I am lining that wadding, that bosal, I am lining the foot of that. Let me just lift this a minute. So you can see further up. Yeah. So can you see I've got the edge of my wadding yeah. and I am lining it up to the edge of my presser foot gotcha. and I am just helping gliding it through yeah. and as you can see it goes through without any problem. I know, doesn't it? Just... It really does because even though it's condensed it's still fine and the stitches just absolutely disappear in there and it makes a really nice rigid, rigid edge. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you can see here, it goes through beautifully. It does, yeah. Now when that part is done, you're going to turn it through to the correct way, lift that presser foot, cut that thread, and this is what I can show you, look. Mm. So you can see on here, where we wow. took the thread, I mean take no notice of this bit, because that's our tacking stitch, but this is really, really nice and secure. Yeah. You know, this seam is beautiful. Um, you know, I mean, it really is. It sews beautifully well. So you would then go all the way around, mm -hmm. turn it through the correct way, and then make your lining. And you are going to cut your lining out when you cut your other pieces exactly the same size. You are going to sew all the way, all the way around. And then you are going to open out your lining, keep it inside out, and you're going to stuff that inside of your glove. glove and then you're going to make a bias binding so you could use your bias absolutely One to go right rolls. the way around the top so they are really that easy to make Fantastic. they really really are but we'll i will get this one made round and then you can see Back the next part at two o'clock fabulous oh it flew. Now, the bias binding that Sasha referred to there is approaching limited, 14.99. Please check out your baskets. Do not rely on that being there at 2 o'clock, because once it's gone, it's gone for this price, I'm afraid. Uh, 129.863. Also, the, the, the permatherm, poly, polytherm, poly, permatherm, I've got perms on the brain, polytherm. 60% uh, is gone of the 2 metres. We've got that in the metre as well. £10.40 for the metre, £20.40 for the 2 metres there, 016.887. And the big roll of wadding, it's your baby. Uh, it's just, oh, it's fantastic. I just love listening to Sasha talking about that. Um, two metres, two metres. She can't even get it for that price. 24.99, 348.516, has gone. So, yeah, please don't miss out. Uh, thank you so much. We'll see you at two o'clock, Sasha. See you at two o'clock. Oh, brilliant. And keep your questions coming for that show at two. Go Power and Boss One Day Special with a lovely John Lockwood is up next. Then we've got Pink Frog Crafts Happy Hour with me, good self. And then we'll be back with Sasha for so and Marrant Crafts at two. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly, and I'm really excited to be working with you guys here at the Craft Store. 
We've been here since the very beginning and hopefully we'll continue to bring you lots of new and exciting soft craft projects. We've got everything from things like our Fabazine, which contains 12 different projects that you can do either in one go or split them up separately. Um, and that's a journey through all types of different soft crafting. And then we've got things that are really specific like our stitchery, which is a journey through all kinds of embroidery as well. So make sure you join me and craft yourself silly here at the craft store. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. It's monthly mega deal time and one day special time as well. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to uh, the craft store. So uh, it is our monthly mega deal, but we've got it in an hour where typically you'd be seeing the one day special. So if you have tuned in for that, we've got a deal that's meant to last a month, but we've been very busy for this. Look, it's a die cutting machine. And I have to say, though, it is a very, very good die cutting machine. And I'm going to talk about this because it's really important. I know there are die cutting machines on the market. You might have a die cutting machine at home and thinking, okay, why do I need this machine in my life? Just got to point out very quickly before I introduce the legend that is John Lockwood, uh, we have got an exclusive. This is the pink option for your fantastic Go Power and Emboss. You cannot get this anywhere else. We chose this color. It was made for the craft store. You will not be able to buy this anywhere else. And once it's gone, it's gone. Uh, I did give you a little tease, so let me introduce you to the legend himself, John. How are you doing, buddy? I'm all right, thank you. How are you? Good. John, I'm going to break the rules and kind of move away from how we were going to start the show, because yeah. we're having a really interesting conversation. Don't want to put you on the yeah. spot, but I think it's interesting. Can we? Do you yeah, mind if I, I tell mean, people? You know, at the end of the day, it is. It is what it is. Are you so sure? That's all right. Yeah, it's absolutely. Because I should have really. I, did, <laughs> I just thought as I was introducing, that would be a really good conversation for no, everyone you, at home. You, you're right because it does actually reflect yeah. on the whole thing. I'll explain, and this is why I was tentative, and I really did put John on the spot. So obviously, I've worked with John for a number of years, and you've got so many fans out there because, and I, I really understand this sounds like silly telly, but I'm not. It's not meant to be. Your reputation is important to you. It is. So you stand yes. there and people believe in what you're saying. And that's, that's pivotal, really. I, I'm a crafter. I came into this yeah. as a crafter. I, got, I was very lucky to get into the industry. I got into the industry through my blog, yeah. through just crafting, uh -huh. not through applying and trying or designing yeah. or anything like that. I'm very lucky to me to keep my reputation as a crafter. Yeah. Because it's what I am. I mean, this morning as I'm tidying up, I'm looking at these bits going, oh, I want to go home and do uh -huh. something with that. And 
And doesn't that, you know, I can't stop you myself. I want to keep that. I don't want to be seen as, oh, you know, he'll sort of go on and flog anything yeah. type. And you know, you thing. absolutely want No, and, yeah. you know, I, I don't, wouldn't want that. I want to be and stay as a crafter. Now, the reason why I'm saying that is this is the first die cutting machine that John has endorsed. And I, the reason we're going for this in the conversation that uh, John and I were having, because I know John spent months. Um, testing out another machine, totally different brand. This was, what, a year or two ago? Year, yeah, year I ago? think it's probably a year, 18 months yeah. ago, I think, that, we, about that. We, we, we sort of finished with it. But and the whole process is about three years. So you wait, you, it was, oh, sorry, I said a few yeah, months ago. Yeah, I, I actually designed the case for it and everything. Okay. So I actually designed so three the case three years, to go with it. and yeah. I saw you, you brought the machine in a few times, you, and then you actually walked away from that machine. Yeah. Now, this is what John and I were discussing. This is what I was like, oh, can we say something now? But uh, we're not going to mention any brands or anything like that. But, um... Why did you walk away from the machine? To be honest, the, the two main things that we wanted, I was yeah. testing it and I long-term test things. The first thing was we wanted them to make it wider. Yeah. We wanted it to be able to have every die ever gone. That is a really important thing to me. I've invested an awful lot of money in some yeah. of the bigger dies and some of the older dies and things like that. Dies that I absolutely love, you know. Yeah. I would never do, I'd love to be able to d d design a die like this, but why would I when I've got it and it exists? Yeah, of course. It's a vanity. So I wanted to have the machine to go into that and they couldn't make that change for okay. us. And it just wasn't up to standard. It wasn't good enough. There were a few it had the little bits. Sensors the sensors were, were the there that hung down. Yeah. And I didn't like that. Okay. And we don't um, have to worry about sensors. No, with this and basically machine. everything on this yeah. solved it. And in the end, the conclusion we came to, because I was working with this one, was we'd be reinventing the wheel. We couldn't get that machine to work how we wanted yeah. to. So we stopped doing it because I said the machine that does everything we're doing is out yeah. in the market. And it isn't ours. Okay. This isn't Crafts 2. It doesn't yeah. come through Crafts 2. It doesn't come through me. You know what I mean? Yeah. If, if people buy 10 or people buy 100 or 1,000, you know, I don't see anything yeah. of that. Do you know what I mean? It's not on that one. This is, I'm doing this show for you guys, and because this is the machine that I physically use. And yeah. we made the choice that basically we would concentrate on our Kaleido, which to me yeah. is the best machine going with everything it does. Yeah. And when it came to electronic die cutting machines, we won't make our own now. No. The one we're testing wasn't good enough. This is, Backing that. This is good. And we'll that, use this. And as I said, we don't even sell it. <laughs> and that's a combination. If you want further endorsement, John bought his own, then he bought four for his own workshops as well. That is how good this machine is. And trust me, John would not be buying a machine and standing here endorsing a machine if it didn't live it up to it. And he's got all, the, he's tried all the machines. So let's see what we're actually getting here uh, at the bundle. So this is an exclusive uh, to the craft store in the pink. This is exclusive color made for us. You will not find this anywhere else. Had a massive amount of stock, but it's meant to last the month. Uh, we're over 40%. So not only are you getting phenomenal cut power, uh, sorry, go power and emboss, but you're also going to be getting the plates, and I'm going to talk about these in a little bit of detail in a moment. You're going to get 30 dies, and you're getting your embossing uh, folders too. And I'm just conscious of the fact that standing here as crafters, I know that it's a really important decision picking the right die cutting machine for you. So at home, and I'm going to speak to you right now, if you've got a die cutting machine and you're struggling with it. So whether it's, and I'm absolutely not knocking hand cranked machines, but I found personally, and you might be in the same situation, hand cranked machines, especially A4, when you're trying to get those plates through, sometimes they can be stubborn. I go to the gym and I, I don't feel like I'm a slouch and I struggle there. So, you know, I think a lot of people can struggle uh, with hand crank machines. But equally, this is a machine where if you, again, if you've got dies, if you've got your, an old machine that you've had for years and technology has uh, come a long way since when dies were first formed, very simple shapes. But now if you see the kind of dies and the intricacy that John designs and John actually pushes it. If you watched earlier on, John was explaining to us that when he designs, so You'll say this better than I will, John, but you're saying the, the manufacturers give a guidance of allowance, they right? They do. They give you allowances of where different holes can be, how far apart they've yeah. got to be. In fact, I've probably got a classic example here. Okay. This is an older die. Yeah. But if you can see here, I mean, this is a very thick older die. Mm -hmm. You can see how, how the lines are sort of there, really hard to show, and how, how much space you've got yeah. between all of these. Yeah. Okay. The manufacturer says you can't have two lines like this coming any closer yeah. than three millimetres. Oh, OK. Yeah. Whereas if I pull one of these, one of mine, hopefully you can see there, you've got about a millimetre there. 
Wow. Okay. So I actually push it push because it, it used to be, and I've said this so many times, but it's because it's genuinely. Yeah. They used to. I'd send the designs over, and then they would send me back saying, "Hello, John. I think we've probably not sent you before the guidelines for dies." And they'd send me the same image with the same instructions around it, with little arrows pointing, no more than three mil. These yeah. holes have got to be here because I just completely ignored them. Yeah. Um, got them to sample them and found that, you know, it will work. Yeah. And as long as you've got the right machine and you design your dies well, yeah. you know, it's not just arbitrary where the closer lines and things are, they will work. Yeah. And it really will. So my point to you is if you've got dies that you struggle with right now and you're having to move around and in, in the end what happens is move around trying to find maybe the pressure point in your specific machine, we stop using them. And we've all been there. We can all relate to this. The power you're getting with the Go Power and Embarrass, you're not going to have that issue. It's going to future proof you for all those dies coming up in the future that are beautifully intricate and really pushing the limits. But also, and this is the biggest point I can ever say this is a machine, it's a catch all. You're not going to have to switch from machine to machine. An electronic machine with a wide mouth that will take your bigs, but then it will also take your slim, uh, smaller um, dies as well. So it doesn't matter. This machine will take any die out there, any die in your stash, barring there is only one exception, and John was explaining to us again earlier on, but we were chatting to it in our meeting, yeah. there were 12 by 12s released by there a brand. Some, one company, Sizzix released some 12 yeah. by 12 dies. How big was the machine? To to, how the machine was, was this table size, because when I say Huge. I've bought virtually every machine, I had that one as well, I yeah. had the Pro. And it was lit, it probably wasn't lit, but it was lit, it had 12 by 12, 12 by 12, and the big thing in the middle with 12 yeah. inch rollers. That was the, they did dies for it, big, deep dies. Yeah. Um, I think they did one range, there's probably about 20 of them. And they're like hen's teeth, for fine. Oh, they, they are like hen's teeth. Apparently, Paola has a collection of them. Oh. Um, I actually gave oh, my, well. big, my big machine away, yeah. and I gave the dies away with it to okay. a fellow demonstrator. I don't think she actually uses it at all anymore. It's so big and cumbersome. Because uh, it was big and cumbersome. Yeah. Those are the only dies that don't go through here. All right, so that is, that's massive. The only dies that won't go here are 12 by 12s. But you will, and this is how we were talking about combination. In my view, the perfect setup for your craft room. Kaleido uh, is fantastic as your quick go-to A5 machine, but there'll be other occasions where you want to use your workhorse, and that is when your couture creation comes in. Uh, now, I've got to tell you that we had an email in from Anne. <laughs> wow. and this, Anne's a serious crafter, so she bought, previously bought the gold, she's yeah. now bought the pink to accompany it so she can increase her output. And we've got so many good reviews, and she's saying, what's next coming up? And she's saying, "Real, it is a great bargain. Well, actually, from a friend of mine, Anne, that I, I've known for a number of years, I don't know if it's the same Anne, she messaged me between shows mm -hmm. and told me there is an A4 manual machine, which is one I used to use a lot, yeah. and that is currently available. Its retail price is 239.99. Wow. It's a hundred pound more and it's manual and it has the same plate combination. Yeah So the so that I just don't get it. I really no. don't get it But again, I don't know how I paid a lot more than you're charging for mine. Yeah, well you did we were saying yeah. that uh, Go on to our website now. We'll be reading out the reviews. Um, we've got 84 five-star reviews 84 and this is what, and we had a lot of people actually emailing as well throughout the course of the one day special too. But reviews like excellent, this is just one of the reviews, excellent pressure, cuts, embosses beautifully, glides well, does uh, what you hope for um, over all sizes of dies and performs beautifully. Another review saying a really useful machine at a good price, it takes deep dies, A4, thin dies, no need to turn the handle, just push a button. Say going back to, my dad always taught me like when you're looking at something, um, smaller details, I think, give you an understanding of, as a company, the intention. Yes. And when, by that, I mean, and stick with me on this, so the first thing I said to John, because John's brought in his machine that he's had for two and a half years, so he had the option, I know we had a brand new machine that you could have used, but you're yeah. like, no, I want to use the one I've been using for two and a half years. And the first thing I asked you when I came in this morning, it was early, show me your plates. Yeah. Now, this is the thing, because I've seen electric machines, and after a few months, the plates are warped. I mean, it's warped to the point they're actually bowing. It's like a bowl. These, these are my plates for this yeah. machine that's used on every show and every demo. Uh -huh. They have never been cleaned. They have never been dumped in hot water. Yeah. They've only ever had my little vacuum over them to take the little bits out of it. Uh -huh. But these are, as I say, look, 
There's just no warping or anything. Jump as back. long as you use them the right way, and what yeah. you need to do is, if you've got the C plate, yeah. okay, and if you use the C plate on the top of the sandwich, right. yeah, because it's three mil, it warps. Yeah. You always use the C plate, if possible, inside there. Okay. If it does, and there are, if you're using, say, the magnetic platform, yeah, you do use the C plate, well, yeah. we will get onto that, yeah. then what you would do is you will keep rotating it every time. Perfect. So the only time you tend to bend that, and I've yeah. done it, because mm -hmm. I've tested every way going and I try and break, I don't try and break them, I just treat things badly at times. Well, I, I, I do. No, you don't handle um, it with but kid, If that's kid on gloves, top, that's it right. will bend. Yeah. But I've kept this one constantly to the bottom of the sandwich, be the thicker one on top, and this, these yeah. are literally my two-year-old plates. Yeah. I've got new plates that I got with the machine, and I'm saving them for best. I don't know what right. for. Well, at least you've got them. Yeah. But look, that's, I mean, that's important. Uh, another thing I asked John, and apologies if you did watch the earlier show, the metal shim. And the reason why I was so keen to stress this, I would have genuinely felt uncomfortable as a uh, presenter here at the craft store if we were selling anything that could hurt you. One of our guests, and there's John showing you, so it's not sharp. And the reason why we're doing that, a guest, I was doing a show a few weeks ago, she was using a different machine, so different machine we're, we don't have here, and she actually cut herself on the metal shim badly. I mean, no, no joke, we were talking about having to stop the show. She really did give herself yeah, a nasty I actually minute. saw that show, to be honest. I can, but, you I, know, why Yeah, would, I won't mention the lady's name, bless but her. But why would a company have a metal shim that could cut you? But it's, again, boils down to the attention to detail that you get with the uh, couture creation. So, the plates won't warp. The metal shim's not going to cut you. Um, and also, we had a question from Pete, just asking how heavy the plates are. To be honest, they're no heavier than any other A4 set of plates with this yeah. thing. I would say the base plate is That's possibly sturdy. a little bit heady, heavier and sturdier yeah. than perhaps I've had with, say, the, the machines I know that do this sort of thick base plate are things like the Cut and Boss, the mm. Platinum, the Spellbinders Platinum, yeah. the um, Sizzix Big Shot Plus. Um, I would say it's about the same. If anything, maybe a little heavier, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I'd rather say that than actually say, oh, it's lighter or anything. Yeah. But it's seriously, seriously sturdy. I mean, you, you need can it see to be. how you need dirty it, it is. But I don't know, in terms of... I don't know about a kilo. OK. If, do you mind if I... I don't know. I think what I might have to do is I might have to pass my set of plates over to the uh, lovely Molly and she might weigh them for okay. me. Okay. Because she's clever like that. Well, we'll get a weight on those. Now, uh, Carol, I hope you're still watching because Carol sent in a message. Um, it was in the earlier show and I promised we would uh, deal with it this hour because we ran out of time in a previous hour. So I'll read this out from Carol. So Carol's saying, hello, could uh, John please demonstrate the magnetic plate? Uh, saying that she's bought one and would like to see how it works. Again, Again, uh, like John, she has several die-cutting machines over the last 20 plus years. I think all crafters can relate uh, to that. Uh, and so she's interested in the magnetic base. Um, she said she's found it to be very good and would like to know the sandwich. Many thanks. And that's from Carol. She's also talking about a quick, I don't know how to pronounce this, UTZ? Utes? Quick, quick cuts. Oh, do you know what? The C's missing. <laughs> Carol, I'm not, the C's missing. You missed the C. I thought, is this a make? I don't know. No, it's, it's with cuts. a K. Okay. It's quick cuts All with right. a K. Oh, it is. K U T Z. Oh, so it is spelt right. It is spelt right. Again, yeah. Carol, I apologise, saying that you missed the C. Okay. <laughs> So, quick so, cuts. I'm not, I right. wasn't familiar yeah. well, with quick Well, cuts. I'll go through the platform and then I'll go yeah. through the quick cut style for okay. you as well. So, what you've got here is this is your magnetic shim mm -hmm. or your magnetic base. And effectively, it replaces your B. Mm. Yeah? So, what you've got is I've got some of the numbers here. And again, I'm, I'm terrible for doing this. I haven't actually cleaned them out. So, these are the advent numbers, but they've got little bits in there. Well, we've got these on the show. Um, with so, your I should, box, yeah. technically, I should clean them out. Okay. Um, but I'm not going to because I don't do it at home. So, at least it gives you a better feel yeah. for, for sort of what it is. So, all you do is that means that they're stuck now. Okay. Okay. They're in place. They can't move. So, I don't have to take them down. Mm -hmm. So, this is particularly useful if you're using something like this, which is the Craft Artist Satin card. Mm -hmm. Because when you tape a die down to a satin or a mirror card, yeah. sometimes it will actually leave an impression. And so, if you're wanting the aperture. It will, won't it? Yeah, yeah, right, or it yeah. will leave too much adhesive. Yeah. Normal card, I don't fuss, but I noticed recently I've been making some a lot with these, and I've actually found that what's happening is that um, it's leaving a tape mark mm -hmm. that I can't get off. Okay. So what it says is you put your C plate on top. Mm -hmm. 
So you're going to cut up. Now, this is where your C plate sometimes will warp. Right. Because you normally you say you like to have you it in the Because you normally have it lower in the sandwich. So okay. what you can do is you can do it like this, and this is how the instructions are. You run it through just like this. So you've basically got base plate, magnetic plate, uh, your dies, your card, and your C plate. Yeah. So you can see there... Oh, that's cut like a tree. So I get absolutely no marks or anything on there. Perfect. So that's what it's useful for. And you can, here you can see, we just pop these bits out. Mm -hmm. But you see I've got the perfect die cut. Oh, Every yeah. bit cut. Look at that. But can you see how beautifully chamfered it is? Yeah. It's finished on there, so that's what I love about dies. If you are really concerned about your C-plate or you start to find it, you can always do this. So I was just going to say the same thing. There's and nothing would... to stop you doing that and turning yeah. it over and running it. I'm not going to run that through simply because I haven't cleaned them out of those dies. Yeah. Okay. So I haven't cleaned all the bits yeah, out, that's right. but that's what you could do. Perfect. Keep the questions coming in, studio at thecraftstore.com. We have a lot of uh, messages, actually. We're going to try and get through these. Thank you, Molly. I'll just grab that. Thanks. So, uh, see, these are messages. <laughs> it's just in the first 15 minutes. Shall, shall I read some of these out? So I've got some of these. This is one from Sam. Thanks for all the messages, by the way. Sam's saying, I bought this die-cutting machine the last time you had it on. I absolutely love it. Uh, my plates are still straight. Well done, Sam. Uh, and it has cut every die. I, uh, I have e um, even detailed dies first time. See, this is the thing. And these are reviews, feedback coming from crafters just as yourself. Sam's saying she's used detailed dies, still cut through first time. Uh, but can you please tell me what sandwich I need for 3D embossing folders? Right. Oh, good question, Sam, and I can not even think of it. This is why I love getting questions from viewers at home. I haven't even thought about 3D embossing folder. No, so, 3D embossing folder, I'll show you actually, because I was just going to go through with a quick cuts die. Mm -hmm. So this is a similar to a quick cuts die. Okay. So you, stand, you, you would expect your sandwich to be, you see plate, your card, and you can't use your B, yeah. because obviously it makes it too thick. Right. So what you actually do is you would swap that for either an extra C, mm -hmm. and this is the same as when you're using sort of big dies. And you were saying an extra C plate, it's just a three mil plate. It's a so three mil plate, so you can use your Kaleido plate, yeah. you can use your A4 plate from things like the Spellbinders Platinum, you can use the adapter plate, which is the Raspberry from Spellbinders, yeah. or the Raspberry from the um, Tangerine. Okay. You can use your three mil plates from sort of other manufacturers. Well, Jill's asking here. It's actually, quite easy to get hold of a three mil plate because I know we couldn't get any C plates. Jill's saying, can I use the plates from my Cuttle Bug, uh, bug machine with yes. my new machine? Okay. Okay. So you see here, okay, so it's, it's not fully cut through. Right. Okay. So what I want to do is obviously I can't go up, so all I do is add the metal shim in. Yeah. This is what's so clever to me about the way this machine was designed. You've not got the option of either having a 5mm and a 3mm plate or two 3mm plates and that's it. Yeah. With the addition of the metal shim, you're adding another mill in there. And you're saying so this sandwich yeah. at the moment is 6 With the addition of the metal plate, it's now a 7-inch sandwich. Yeah, yeah. And that's the beauty, like you're saying, uh, John was just explaining if anyone missed it, having the wider machine as opposed to electric machines that are thinner, you don't, you struggle really to get shims in there. Uh, now, got um, more questions coming through, so just as we're releasing that, John, I uh, got one from Davina who said, I would like to say well done, uh, John, regarding the Go Power and Emboss machine. I bought the machine that had the sensors hanging down, and now it was sent back because it was not up to standard. So yes, I was thinking about buying this machine. I have one question, though. Are the plates heavy as I have dexterity problems? Uh, we had actually, we had uh, another email asking the weights of the plates. We've put all the plates, I'll just pick these up, all of these, if you were to stack, and that's so your um, your base plate, your A, B, uh, your A, your base plate was your A, your B, your C, your metal shim, and your embossing mat. All of those stacked together is 1.5, just over 1.5 kilograms, and that's what comes with the machine. So if I just, because I know it's not the easiest to see on camera, but there, you've got all your plates that you need. 
So uh, I hope that uh, works for you there, Davina. Uh, 1.5 if you're using them all, but you're going to, um, obviously, you're not going to use everything uh, all together well, there. Th there's actually quite a good sort of little bit in here, because I want to, I'm going to show you on the 3D embossing folder. Okay. Um, because I want to be, I brought everything I possibly could so I could answer every question going. Yeah. One important thing to do is cut your card to size. Do you want to just show what we way... pulled out by there, by the way? Oh, sorry, yeah. yes. There you go. I mean, that's intricate. That is an intricate die, and this is the same as the quick cuts dies. Mm -hmm. They are basically slightly thicker dies yeah. with a foam in them, but they're not a big die and they're not a thin die. Yeah. They're actually a kind of hybrid. So that's the, the design. Yeah. That's the side. They're a hybrid. So that's what you would do is to use your C and another C or another three mil plate. And you're using a quite a thick. Oh, I'm using, I'm using 300 GSM hour craft. Uh, artist uh, yeah. gloss card. So that's again. That's cards. Gonna... I'm not using none of these demos. Am I using Easy Card? No. Um, and because the reason is, to me, it seems a cheat. Oh, well, see. people go, you know, okay, so this is going to cut like a dream. Well, yeah, if you use like 240 to 260 GSM card, mm. I think it's important to show you just stretching it a little of course, bit. Yeah. So 3D embossing folder. We know they're a little bit thicker. Mm -hmm. Every single folder from every single manufacturer, and I say this when I've got, when I'm doing shows with them and everything, are different. Yeah. And every design usually has a different thing, but this is what I actually really like about this. So, mm -hmm. the way that you emboss in the Go Power is slightly different. Right. Because what you would normally do is you would normally put it between two plates. Yeah. What you do is you use sort of the, the rubber mat, the chewing okay. gum mat. Yeah, the embossing mat. Yeah, so I've got the embossing mat on top. Now, this is 3D. Yeah. So I'm going to use my C plate, yep. which is my 3 mil plate. But this was the thing about you saying about the weight. If you watch this, look. Yeah. At no point do you need to be holding it, if that makes sense. Yeah. Because the rollers are that far back in there, I can't touch them. Yeah. As long as you can do that, you can even build up a little platform there. So it's not as, you know with some of the plates, when they're yeah. heavy and you're trying to, you're not at having home, you, you've got the plates and you're trying to. They're kind of self-supporting. No, look, I'm using one hand. Yeah. So Perfect. I can take the whole sandwich. So if you've got dexterity, you can take both hands, but look the space. Nice. So it's, and that's propped on. That's not even engaged. Just before we put that through, John. Yeah. Now, this is an important point, because something else, actually, Davina mentioned. So, she bought a previous machine that she sent back, and she said that machine had the sensors hanging down, and she was finding an issue. Yes. Now, you were saying the machine you were testing, I don't know if it's the same one or not, but the machine you were testing, one of the reasons you didn't go ahead with it... Because it had the sensors the hanging sensors. down. And with this machine, because the sensors don't hang down, they're actually in the roller, yeah. we don't have to find it, fiddle around. You can use your Kaleido plates in there, which are a lot smaller, and you're not having to hit sensors you're to make not. it work. Well, it shows you perfectly on this folder. So there, in satin card, is your 3D. I mean, embossing perfect. folder, okay? And the thing is, we've got different sizes of embossing yeah. folders. So I've got here a, um, yeah, an a A4 one. one. A4, we've yeah. all got these A4 yeah, ones, yeah. but of course this is not as thick. Mm -hmm. So for this, it's the same thing, but I, I, the reason I want to show you this bit is, okay. you watch this mat, it will, and it worries some people, it will look like it's turning into chewing gum. Right. Okay? So I know that this is not as thick, so I'm going to use my B plate, right. which is the 5 mil plate. So you need to get a bit thick and more thick. Yeah, so it's the same idea, but look. Okay, run. Yeah. Uh, we had a question, oh, was it Ishmael? Look. No, it won't take it. It's yeah. too big. And it tells you. It tells me. So yeah. I'm thinking, well, this isn't as thick as that one, so right. I'm going to put the C on yeah. and try that. There we go, Perfect. running through. But if you watch, watch the chewing gum board. Yeah. Oh, we kind of it's being pressed that out. That takes the extra pressure and yeah. stops you breaking your embossing folder. Yeah. Nice. That was my yeah. plate by yeah, the way. Yeah, sorry, yeah. But can you see at the end when this comes, look, it's like you've lost all the thingy out of your sandwich. Perfect. You see, I used the C, Yeah. okay, on the top and so it started 
to bend a little bit. So yeah. next time I'd use it down that way. Nice. Uh, we actually had a message in from Ishbel um, saying, does the machine accept the plates easily? It absolutely does, but because there's no sensors, and that's a bonus to this, it's actually a design aspect, specifically designed. With the drop-down sensors in some machines, you have to kind of hit those sensors to trigger it. So with this, you put it in, Oh, no. Yeah. Um, Ishbel well, saying she hurt her hand, actually, by trying to oh, jam bless. it in. Oh, I, I, I know, bless. I know the pain, if that makes sense, because mm -hmm. I've done it myself. This is the clever thing, and this, this is the best way I can show you this. just want to show you this. So this is using exactly the same sandwich. Mm -hmm. That is a normal embossing folder. Yeah. That is a 3D, because this is so thick, it took into account nice. the different weights. But if I want to do a... Um, where have I put those? Should we show it as well, John? Tidy. Should we show, I know you were saying, like, the C-plate, if you don't have, you know, we're talking about sometimes you need to use two C-plates. Should we use another one of the plates to show that as long as you've got yeah. a three mil plate, it doesn't you can, you can enter it. So we'll, we'll do that. Um, also, very quickly, I just want to answer Pete's, Peter's question as well. We, I promise this hour we're going to get through all your questions, so keep those coming in. So Peter was asking about, and it's a good question. We did uh, kind of branch on this a little earlier on, but we'll answer it again. Uh, I'm thinking about getting this machine. Just wanted to double check something. I have another electronic uh, cutting machine. I think I know the one. But the plates tend to warp on it uh, to such a degree in a short time. They're, um, that's the thing. They warp really quickly and they're not cheap to replace. I was wondering if you could tell me how long your plates last. What My plates say? have been two years. In fact, to be honest, yeah. I've got a feeling now that with what I've been doing today, yeah. I've finally cracked through. I would still use, can you see, there's a line come across it all the way. Okay. Yeah, so, okay, now this is with my use. Yeah. Every show, demos, outing, sure. thing, filming, everything. Yeah. So this has been two years, five months. This was yeah. March 20, would it be March 2019? Okay. 20, yeah. Yeah. March 2019, right. so I would say that I would probably at the point of perhaps thinking about replacing this, because I'm right. tight, yeah, okay. I do have a spare though, um, yeah. two years, five and months. But I have replaced my machine at home because yeah. I dropped my machine. Okay. I've replaced my machine, but I've kept the old plates for it. Yeah. So the new set of plates I have here yeah. are for my new machine that I've had six months I haven't opened them because these are for best. Well, there you go. So that's how good it is. I mean, the, the one thing I would say to you, Peter, on the plates is Couture Creations mm -hmm. don't keep loads of plates in stock yeah. because it's rare that they have to actually replace them. Well, you were telling me... Because we tried to... I know Buying tried to order some for this show yeah. and didn't get any. Because there's not the need. Because there wasn't the need. Yeah. So they don't have a warehouse full of plates. That's a so good we sign. couldn't get any C plates okay. for this show because they didn't have a stock of them. Because, because people they're don't so ask for them. They're so there's unnecessary. No that, John, that's a really good point because you were saying that some die-cutting machines... Uh, you phrased it so well earlier on. Th this machine wasn't built to sell more plates it wasn't built to sell plates yeah. or dies yeah it wasn't built it was built to be a workhorse machine that cut for crafters cropping, yeah. that cuts the embossers that takes them i mean they also made sure it takes their own foiling machine uh, so if you've got the older style yeah. foiling machine it will take that it was designed to take everything and be a workhorse not um not a money maker. Well, that's thing. That you, don't want to, you don't want to buy a machine and within yeah, not a few... cash cow, as, well, as I've just been reminded the word Within of. a few months, you're having to replace the plates. Yeah. That would irritate me. So, Peter, I hope I answered your question Can there. Can I just explain on this Yeah, one? please so do. The, the lady was saying about the sensors yeah. and the, the difficulty in plates. These are the Kaleido plates, yeah. okay? The way this works is you've got a really long, flat bed mm -hmm. before you get... I cannot touch the rollers. Yeah. I wouldn't suggest you do this at home, and no. certainly not when it's plugged in. But if you put your hand in, if you can touch your rollers... You've got very long fingers. You've, you've got a very... Well, of, of a different machine, it's because you've got a, a very short bed. Mm. This has got a really wide bed, so I'll show you. That is the engaged. Oh, well. Wow. But okay. this... These are my Kaleido plates. I press run, goes through, and it goes through because there's no sensors. The sensor is actually on the back, yeah, and it switches the machine off when the back door closes. 
and it has got a sensor in there so if there was a point where you're trying to feed too much into the machine what will happen the machine will then with that sensor will kick in it will know it and then it will just feed it out because you were saying even in all your classes the two and a half years you've had your machine you've never had a jam where it's just got no, stuck i've never had a jam where it gets stuck yeah. but that was in the middle on satin card that was cut, a simple die, in the middle of the machine Beautiful. on the Kaleido plate. See, yeah, that, to nice. me, is the thing. And as I say, when you, when you put them in, yeah. you that is how big the... So you've not got that issue. But with the drop... And, just and to, it's the same with the larger explain. one. Sorry, look. Yeah. But, John, the reason why we're saying that, if a machine has a sensor that drops down, then the only way that will run is if your plates hit that sensor. So if you put, your, say, your collider uh, plates in the middle and they don't hit the sensor, then it wouldn't run. You don't have that issue with this machine. No, so. if I want to cut, um, let's be really difficult. I'll tell you what, let's cut this one. Okay, now, this we'll is tell powerless. the backstory with this. This, this is, is a wooden die. This is one of the first dies ever made. And this is how they were. So if, you've, if you're not old like me and you don't remember them, yeah. this is, there were these and there were some called originals, which were mm -hmm. sort of half-sized plastic of this. But these wooden ones were the very first made. Right. Okay? Wow. And they've got sharp blades in there and yeah. they've got piece. And they used to run through a machine where you would pull a handle down. Oh, okay. You'd put it in, pull a handle, move it along, pull a handle again to get the wow. pressure. So that is the very first die that we ever collect did. That's a collector's piece. It is. Paula wants it back. I am not sure allowed she, to keep it. Sure she does. So here I've got a piece of mount board. Okay. Not grey board. Wow. So this is actual mount board. I can show you... I did have a piece earlier. I had everything all okay. arranged. I did have a piece of mount board. Here we go. That's grey board. That's what you're used to buying. This is one yeah. available here. Yeah. So this is grey board. Yeah. You can and we know it. what that is, how thick it is. This is mount board. Yeah. So that's yeah. not going to bend anywhere near... As much. As much. Yeah. Yeah? So it's really thick, but that's the point. Okay. Let's get a piece like this. Nice. Just as we're doing this, uh, Sue has asked, how do you stop the cuts on the plate uh, damaging the cardstock? So once they get a little bit worn, how do you stop them um, damaging the cardstock? Basically, the only way to do that is to put a piece of thin card or paper like over shim, the top. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and basically, over the piece that you're cutting. Again, I can show you. Okay. But yeah, I think I really have broken my C in this show. But but that is one of the original dies ever done. Oh. And it went straight through in the middle with a smaller plate. Well, now that's yeah. special. So, so that you, went through, I'll show you. So dies that we've had for years and years and years that you've stopped yeah. using, you yeah. might not have the machine anymore. All of a sudden, we're able to use those again. That's if you've special. got a machine with a sensor, this will not work. Yeah. I promise you, this will not work. Uh, uh, we because just... that, the sensors are there, so it's not hitting it. So as long as the sandwich is right at some point in yeah. there, it'll go through. John, it's a good machine. It is a good machine. You know, the more I see it, the more I love it. And the, that's the point. And we've got to stress this, because I understand that die-cutting machines are a very personal choice. But what you're getting here is a machine that John has used for two and a half years. So you know that with those questions we're having, John's used this machine for two and a half years. He hasn't encountered any issues, no jamming. The plates have lasted two and a half years. He's not had to replace the plates. This machine, with the wide mouth, will cope with any die you have in the stash. John's just used a die that is a um, great line from Marcus, our uh, director there. I won't repeat, but very funny. So, um, though he's talking about the, you could use the very first die, if you, and that was a special machine to do it. All of a sudden, John's been able to do it. Any die. Any die you have in your stash will run through this machine, barring the 12 inch dies that were made by Sizzix, and very few people have them. And the only way to do those, it was with a massive machine. It's a good, I promise you, it's a good machine. And when you think about this for an electronic machine, because I've seen electronic machines of this quality, this caliber, you know, you get the same effects, and they're 100 pounds more plus. You know, it's, you see the kind of getting into the sort of 250 pound uh, plus price range here. This machine will do it. But not only that, you're not restricted to 
thin dies. You can do your bigs, you can do your thick dies, your thin dies, anything in there. Uh, this is also exclusive to the craft store, a monthly mega deal. Uh, this is a color we chose, so it's made for us. You will not see this color anywhere else. Uh, you can go for the original gold as well if you want. Both are really busy options, but uh, pink is approaching half, half our stock for the monthly mega deal. A lot of stock, and you've got gold as well. But all I will say, and gold is approaching 40%. Uh, Look, as a crafter, and I, we all craft here, I craft die cutting machine, it's, it's a really important decision. I understand that is a considered purchase. With us at the craft store, you've got your three flexi payments, which is great. So we can spread the cost. 4666 today, we send out the machine. As a bundle, you get all your plates. You don't have to worry about that. You've got your base plate in there. You've got your B plate, your C plate, and you've also got your embossing mat and your metal shim. You're going to get 30 dies as well, which are beautiful dies. And something you touched on, John, this is a huge, huge endorsement and the confidence that Couture Creations have in this machine. These aren't like simple shaped dies. These are really tight, intricate dies. These were designed to go with this machine. These aren't available in their range. Yeah. These aren't oddments they've got left in the warehouse thrown together to make a bundle. Yeah, yeah. You know, this is how the machine comes. These are made for this machine. Mm. So these are sort of think about it. If this is your first die cutting machine, mm. these are the first dies you will ever cut. To make the first dies you will ever cut in a new machine that intricate, you have got to have confidence in the some machine. confidence. I was going to yeah. say something else there, yeah. <laughs> but you have got to have some confidence yeah. in the machine to know that you are going to give somebody a die that will cut a die cut this intricate, oh. literally, yeah, That's on your nice. first go. Can you imagine? Look how fine that is. Yeah. So they're including that in the machine. So it's almost a case of they're giving you basics you will need. Yeah. But they're actually saying, this is how good and how confident we are in the machine. We'll give you a very difficult, normally to cut die yeah. in with it because we know it cuts. That takes a lot of confidence. It really does. So 30 dies and you're getting two embossing folders in the bundle as well. And you're also saving 10 pounds and don't forget those flexi payments. Uh, we did actually have an email in, uh, in response to Davina. Who was that from? It was Anne. Anne, thank you so much for this. Because Davina was asking about dexterity issues and with the plates. So Anne wanted to let her know that she's got restricted use of her left arm and she can honestly say that these plates are the best for anyone with dexterity issues. So she said no problems there. And that means a lot. Thank you so much. Because I always find, understand if you're channel hopping and you're listening to John and I, you're thinking, well, look, these guys, they're on a channel, they're trying to sell a machine. Of course, they're going to be raving about the machine. It's important when you've got crafters, if you go to our website, this is what I would be doing, go onto our website. There are 84 reviews from crafters such as yourself who left it. And the best part of our website is all those reviews are honest, genuine reviews. Because you know, sometimes you go onto sites and you're like, I, I you sometimes can't leave doubt. A, you can't I leave a review unless you've actually bought yeah. the product because it's sent, it's emailed to you because I yeah. buy a lot of okay. products. But you know um, that they're honest reviews. Yeah, they are. And I tend to ignore, you've got, as you said earlier, you've got to actually be genuinely impressed. To read because a I get a couple, you know, I get two or three a week asking me to review products I've bought from here. Mm. And it's very rare I do because I can't be bothered. Well, I'm really sorry. I'll you're get busy shouted guy. at. No, yeah, busy I, I, I am busy. So to take that effort to me means yeah. something else. Uh, we'll go back to, I just want to make sure I get through all these questions. Uh, T emailed in as well saying, uh, having had a big shot plus for uh, years and loving it, loving it, arthritis made me buy the Go Power and Emboss. Well, that's another thing, because yeah, especially with arthritis, it make a difference. It's had, this is, a, thank you so much for this, saying it's hands down the best machine going for all dies, bigs and thinlets, it doesn't matter. I haven't found a die it doesn't cut on first pass or for intricate dies on the reverse. So, I mean, that is another honest review. And it's a and genuine, and it's a person who is, uh, yeah, because it, it matches with my experience. Yeah. And that's what makes me so pleased, because I know that it matches, it, it matches my experience. It's exactly how I've done it. Yeah. And it's quite an interesting one, because you were saying about manual machines and dexterity yeah. and thing. What I want to show you, these are, these are Haley's Mocker Block dies. Mm -hmm. Now, really, I should have passed some of this fabric over to... Um, so to um, Sasha yeah. to ask what it is because I've given you a little I gave you a I little slip of it I don't know where it's gone let me have the whole pile okay. this is like a really thick like canvas like a it is a canvas. It's a canvas I don't know where yeah. I bought this from okay 
It's a canvas fabric. It's a canvas, it's canvas yeah. So normally you would use five or six layers. Okay. But I mean, that is heavy. That's a yeah, heavyweight. It is yeah. heavyweight. Heavy I, I must ask Sasha for the end show as to what weight it is and what okay. she'll know more about it than I do. So to cut fabric, can now normally in a manual machine, I would be advising you to put that that way yeah. to get the sleeping policeman. Yeah. yeah, I've heard you say it to before, go, yeah. Basically, because what happens is, and this is where so many of us struggle, mm -hmm. yeah? So many of us struggle because with a manual machine, you've got a sleeping policeman. I mean, I think they're called speed bumps now, but when mm. I was a kid, they were sleeping policemen. <laughs> yeah. You drive up to it, you know you're going to bump over yeah, it. Yeah. This is where people with arthritis or dexterity issues will struggle. With to a, get it through uh, with a yeah. manual machine. You say that I've struggled genuinely. I've, I've used. Well, I know, but I'm being polite because I yeah. struggle as well. I think to everybody be honest. struggles. Yeah. Um, but if you can see, it, if it's not right, it'll reject it. Yeah. So you don't have to think. Oh, am I breaking the machine because I'm pushing too much? It mm. will honestly. The machine will tell you. If it it's will tell too much. you if yeah. it's wrong. And all I have to do to cut fabric, and this is a say very thick fabric, is first of all use fabric dyes. Yeah. These are different dyes. This is a paper craft dye. Look at how thin. Yeah. This is a fabric dye. They're different, yeah. Yeah, there's about three times the metal. Because it's like a mixed media dye. Yeah, you're gonna it get is. Thicker. Yeah. But there, you see? That was straight across. So this is only two layers, but this is two layers. I mean, this is a, a good thing to Haley's dyes because they are cracking. Yeah. But those are your pieces of your patchwork done. Let's pull that one off so you can see. But look, no threading, In a no canvas. bits left over. Now, I know that you would struggle at home with a manual machine to get all of those through, certainly in a canvas. Mm -hmm. And all you have to do to cut fabric is use a fabric die and cut it onto a metal shim. It's and the metal shim is included. It's, you and you can see how much I hammer mine. <laughs> yeah. You get it all, and it's so nice to have that A4 machine, because that means that you can cut anything, any dye, and we've had viewers endorsing that as well. Did we have another email that I was going to read out? Another question? Or have I made that up in my head? Um, oh, so we just had an email about fabric, so hopefully we've answered that. Uh, Diana wanted to ask, could this take uh, the dyes for the Big Shot Plus? So if you have Big Shot Plus, will it take the dyes uh, for the yes. Big Shot Plus? Perfect. Big Shot Plus is an A4 machine. Yeah. The dies it doesn't take are for the Big Shot Pro, yeah. which is the 12x12 12 12 machine. Which very few people will yeah, have. Yeah, you will know if you've got one of those because you'll have paid three or four hundred pounds yeah. for it. And, and it will take up most of your craft And it will room. take up most of your craft yeah. room. Okay. Yeah. And that's, I've just got to stress, the only dies this will take, won't take, rather, are the 12x12s 12 12 made by Sizzik, which were, it was a thin, it was a small run. Uh, I think you were saying like a range of like 20 dies. It was something like that. I know that, like I'm sure. Teeth that um, Paula said she's got 19 of them at home. Okay. And I know that Paula's like me is a collector, so she, she probably, okay. and she worked for the company yeah. that made them, so she probably will have yes. them all. Fair enough. Did we have uh, any other questions? Helen has suggested, uh, oh, now she, what she does, this is a good, good shout, I've seen this before actually, she uses like cello bags on the plates and it stops the plates getting marked and yeah. uh, cut. Yeah, I mean, again, it's a, it's a it's a way to do it. I wouldn't personally cut into, I wouldn't personally cut into a plate that has a cello bag wrapped round it. Okay. Because you're cutting into plastic. Yeah. And that can actually stop your cut. Okay. But you may know. I mean, I, the thing is, you may know better, Helen. I've not yeah. tried it, but I would imagine it that way. I've seen it. But and it, for it's marking a good way your card for cards. the top, yeah. it's a brilliant idea. Yeah, yeah. So if this for this plate to go on here, that would be brilliant because it means none of this card would be marked. Yeah. What I tend to do is I'm quite lazy. I have a little pile next to me there because yeah. at home my card lives here. Okay. My machine lives here at the side. It's on yeah. a little. It's only on a little unit. Yeah. Uh, things there. Yeah. I grab a piece of um, photocopy paper and throw okay. it over the top. Fair enough. I did say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here we go. This is this is your raspberry plate. Yeah. So you know you can tell I don't officially work for Couture. Can't, I don't <laughs> work for Couture in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> so I certainly wouldn't be using other manufacturers' yeah. plates. But yeah. it works. So if you're wanting to do like a big style, this is a big alphabet and I'm using grey board. Uh-huh. So um, you use your C and your C. I'm using a C on the bottom, of course there doesn't come a second C, so I've replaced that with this time a raspberry plate from Spellbinders. Well, it can be any three mil plate. Any three mil plate. Yeah. You've basically just got to get the three mil plate. Mm -hmm. um, but this will go through nice and long and see how the, the die is actually that little bit longer. Yeah. 
doesn't matter. So if you've got some of the really long mm -hmm. dies, big dies, it means you've got the plates for it. Yeah. They will go through here. Ah, uh, yeah. So don't what? think you've got to buy. So there we go, look. A, B, C, D. No, I won't sing them all, I promise. But you see, all of them cut through, and I used this time a, um, a, a Spellbinders plate that I picked up here, yeah. that I've borrowed from you guys, so make sure, I'm sure Molly will make sure I don't take it home with me. Huh. Um, well, that's but, cut. John, you know, that, you think you've just bought a bag full of die cuts. You would, and I've never been able to use this die that's in a long, amazing. long time, and certainly not electronically. Can you imagine winding... I'm not being funny, but can you imagine winding that through? There are three letters um, Each one. in a row, and then it goes all the way back. That's one pass. I've got more questions uh, coming through, so thank you so much for this. Uh, Suzanne has asked, I previously had a well-known machine that got fed up of buying new plates. It's a question we hear a lot of. I just think it's madness. We make a machine and you're chewing through plates like every uh, few months. So uh, every few months, due to buckling and marks from the plates showing on cards, I was cutting. Bought my Go Power uh, and embossed 20 months ago and not changed the plates. Also, has eliminated all the marking embedding into my card. 10 out of 10, excellent machine. Card, uh, kind of regards, Suzanne. Suzanne, Suzanne thank you. And I, uh, hearing these honest reviews, yeah. that is a really good review. Thank you so much, Suzanne. Uh, this is a good question from Darren. So, Darren was saying, I'm thinking of replacing my conventional wide mouth electric cutting machine. Uh, I wanted to check, you, I know you've mentioned the name, I won't mention the name on air, but um, you can just see. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I and tried wanted, that one. Yeah, and wanted to check <laughs> if the Go Power can be used with the flower moulds from Heartfelt Creations. Such a good question, because whenever we do Heartfelt Creations, the one thing we always have to stress with the moulds, you need a wide mouth machine. So would it work? Yes, it will work. Um, the machine you've got, Darren, yeah. is the one that I bought from the NEC and Bind and was telling you about earlier. Yeah. Keep the thinner plates. Yeah. Yeah? Because for the heartfelt moulds, all you need is two C plates. I'm so glad you said that. So you will need for the a plates. C yeah. plate, yeah. the mould with your paper in, yeah. and then you will need another C plate on top, which we haven't got any of, but yeah. the machine you've got has a three mil plate in it. Yeah. So keep, keep your plates. Keep your three mil plates. So, you would, so imagine this is the one of, that, that goes with your machine. Yeah. So it would be your C plate, your heartfelt mould, some paper, and, I think, and then your other three mil plate on top. If I got a heartfelt mould here, I'd try it. But okay. I've never tried Just one. But I know that it works because I've spoken to yeah. Nikki about it. Brilliant. Two C plates there, Darren, and it is a great machine. Funny enough, Darren, the, the machine you just mentioned there, because I showed John, and we were talking about this in an earlier hour. I can't believe you did this. So you bought the machine. Just mm. tell everyone the story. I bought, I bought a machine. I've tried nearly every machine, if not every yeah. machine going. Mm -hmm. um, I bought it at the NEC. I did get a bit of a deal on it. It cost me £150. Okay. I took it home. I could not get used to the weird plate combination with it, mm -hmm. and the pressure wasn't good enough for me. And it is one of the times, it's a very rare time, I'm not impressed with myself. Yeah. I actually threw it in the bin. I okay. didn't even recycle it or do anything yeah. decent with it. You just saw it enough. I enough. threw it in the bin. Do you know one thing I want to talk about? And, and it may be that I had a dodgy one, I don't know, what? but it wasn't doing the job. And if it doesn't do the job from day one, it's, I've had it. Shouldn't it. Do it. One thing I've noticed in doing the couple of hours today with you is how quiet this machine is. It's an electric yeah. machine, because some electric machines, I mean, you hear them a mile away. It, it, I mean, the thing is, I'm short. Yeah. I'll put my mic near it. And that's with your mic right next yeah. to it? That yeah. will keep running. It will run for a certain amount of time. Okay. And then it will stop automatically. Brilliant. But that's what I love, is it runs without anything in it. But we, you can't hurt yourself. We are getting towards the end of the show. We're going to continue demonstrations. All I will say to you very quickly, just do some housekeeping. If you're looking to get a new machine, if you're struggling with your hand crank machine, maybe you have an A4 machine and you do find when you're winding it, you really are uh, having to give it some. If you're looking for a machine, an electric machine that has got that wide mouth, that will take the large bigs, but equally the thinlet dies as well, any die you have in your stash, this machine will be able to tackle, barring one, and that's the 12 by 12. That is it, and if very few of you will have that 12 by 12, but that's the only die this will not be able to take. Uh, and I've got to tell you, a monthly mega deal. Monthly mega deal, and today is the 17th, is it 17th today? 50% of the stock's gone here. 
and we had an awful lot of stock. And I've got to show you, and 40% of this gold, the pink which we're featuring here, this pink is exclusive to the craft store. You will not be able to get this anywhere else. This was manufactured for us. So if you want to get hold of this, could you see this in your craft room? Ultimately, it looks good, but it works so well. It's a machine that John has tested and tested for two and a half years. Not only that, John bought these for his workshops. I mean, if you're looking for any bigger validation, he's used it himself for two and a half years, and he thought, right, I am going to then uh, buy four for my own workshops as well. We had a lot of questions about plates, and the thing with this is an electronic machine. It's not going to chew through your plates. John's had his plates for two and a half years. He will use it probably more than anyone else on the planet and it looks like finally after two and a half years and doing the show maybe your sea plate i think my sea plate may give up the ghost okay. after this show to well, be perfectly honest that's but absolutely it, fine. it's had its life and i i have got a spare and i did buy a yeah. spare got a message here from uh, jackie uh oh, it is a long one but worth reading so i had an electronic uh die cutting machine and it leaked oil it ended up being an expensive experience it, what they leaked oil have you heard this before electronic die cut machines it's, um, it isn't actually oil, it's leaking. Oh, what's it leaking? It's actually, um, what happens is some of the gears in some of the machines are mm. plastic, not metal. Oh, right. And over time, the little bits of plastic come off the gears. Oh. And they then get compressed, they drop onto your plates and get compressed, uh -huh. and it looks like oil stains. Oh. It's not, it's actually the... It's little bits of plastic. It's actually little bits of plastic well, from the plastic, is plastic well, cogs yeah. ah. um, actually being under pressure condensed. And, and, and it's basically the first warning sign that your machine's on the way out. It, I promise it isn't oil. It is, if, unless it is, and it, it, I've got it wrong, but usually, because I've seen it on manual machines as well, it's yeah. actually the gears being plastic. And we don't have any plastic. No, no it's, it's full metal Brilliant. inside here. Uh, I have opened one. Okay, up. Jackie was saying, because of it. this, I was looking for another die cutting machine that had a wider <laughs> mouth and did some research. Uh, I even spoke to the people at Couture Creations in Australia. Excellent. Really did your research. When I saw a reasonable price, I purchased one for myself and sent one to my sister in uh, Austria as a surprise. Jackie, you're a good sister. Uh, she is now loving paper crafting. Uh, we have shared uh, interest. Inter oh, that's nice. We have shared interest now. We love these machines, and I wish I'd bought one earlier. They are quieter than all the others, and uh, will also take our cuttlebug dies. Uh, thank you to the craft store, and that's Jackie. Jackie, thank you for taking the time to send that message. Yeah, is that nice? You bought one for a sister. It is. Yeah. It will take. And as I say, the, the thing is, Jack, as Jackie said, they will take the cuttlebug dies. It will. It will take the aqua quilt dies. Oh, that's another yeah, one. Yeah. It will take every die ever done. The idea is the way die won't work. This is a mangle. Yeah. Let's be honest. This is a posh mangle. Okay. It's an electronic mangle with metal gearing. I yeah. know because the one that mine that broke at home. Obviously, I pulled the case off it and had a look inside. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just to stress, the only reason it broke is because John <laughs> dropped it. it. Don't if you look. This will last you as long as you don't drop it onto a hard surface. Yeah. Basically, mm. yeah, like the concrete floor in my craft cave when you're okay. moving things around. Right. Um, it's got metal pieces in there, it, and basically, it's two rollers mm -hmm. going in the same direction, and you basically putting a sandwich through that. Yeah. As long as that sandwich will go through. It will cut, it will emboss, it will emboss the flower mould. Yeah. It's all about getting it through and the combination of the plates, yeah. of having the thick base plate, the metal shim, the B plate, the C plate, an extra C plate or a one of the three millimetre collido plates or a spellbinders or tonic raspberry plate mm -hmm. or a three mil plate from Gemini or whatever other machine, mm -hmm. yeah? Um, I would say probably from your Spellbinds Platinum, mm -hmm. it will work. Perfect. If you can get it through, yeah. it will work, it well, will cut. Just having a look here, now this is interesting, because vellum notoriously hard to cut. Diamonds. Yeah, well this is actually as well, I ought to cut a little bit off to the, because um, Paola wanted to know where I got this from. Yeah. That is Ooh. super vellum, this is super parchment. That it feels like a piece of plastic, doesn't it? That's really not your does. normal. I oh, know. No, you've but got this is art. every single. This is the four in the advent pop box. Yeah. These detailed snowflakes, and again, you can actually even see where they're hand drawn, where I go off slightly. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You see how it's done, but they've cut all perfectly, all four of them. Love that. In uh, the vellum. So know? that's what's so good about it. I can cut yeah. this mount board. Yeah, we can but I can also cut vellum 
with a, in the same machine. Ooh. And we also, um, we showed now. in the previous aisle, we had a uh, uh, question in about mylar, being able to cut mylar, and we were able to do that as well. So you showed, we I mean, had very thick mylar. I've got very thick mylar. Basic shape, no problem at yeah. all. Detailed shape, you're always going to struggle on yeah. mylar. Okay. I'd rather be honest, but a basic shape, no problem at all. It's not about the machine, it's about the die. As long as you've got a good machine with a good die, it works. And this it is... It has to be a combination. It really is. All I'll leave you with, because you have run out of time, it is a very good machine. I promise you, John would not be standing here endorsing this machine if he didn't believe in it. He wouldn't have used it for two and a half years. We're now approaching 60% of the pink, and I'm so pleased we've been busy for the pink. It is exclusive. You cannot buy this anywhere else. The pink is made for us. So if you want to go for the pink option, and I know so many people have, enjoy it, and we look forward to hearing your stories there. Thank you for your company. Big thank you to you, Johnny. Thank Absolute you. star. Uh, plenty more. John's going to be back at four. So, coming up next, we've got Pink Frog Crafts, a happy hour with Fiona. Fiona, lucky getting all those happy hours. After that, we've got sewing with Marink Crafts, and then we've got vintage paper crafting with, uh, with a lovely company. In the foothills of Alnul, a lawless event unfolds. The craft store's sixth birthday, an exciting time beholds. Phil Martin and Indigo Blue, Heartfelt Creations, Zuri, and Crafts 2. With six pounds of credit, there'll be plenty to buy. With great one-day specials, the aces are high. With discounts and deals, with prices to amaze, join us for a hoedown for a wild seven days. From fabric to paper to glitter and pencils, pens and stamps, inks and stencils. Join us in August, a craft extravaganza. Happy sixth birthday, the Craft Store's Bonanza. Did you know you can continue watching the Craft Store 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If it's not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember, you will need your router's password at hand, whether you are on a wired or a wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the centre of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type thecraftstore.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. Now you can watch purchase and catch up with your favorite TV shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Very good afternoon to you this Tuesday lunchtime. I've got a very special hour for you now, and it's all about the happy hour deals. Yes, with that uh, quality, quality name that is tried and tested when it comes to your cardstock, the fabulous Pink Frog Crafts. Yes, indeed. And I've got some fantastic bargains. Now, don't forget, 
If it's a happy hour, that means it stays at this price only for the hour, and then at 2 o'clock, it will revert back to its original cost. So, let's have a look at the website so you can shop ahead. You can see all the fantastic cards, the collal glue, the red liner tape, the ice gold card, the different GSMs. You can get ahead, you can shop ahead and take advantage of those savings. Look at that, a lot of them 50% off. Big, big savings. So, uh, like I said, do shop ahead. I've got some weight for you now, two kilograms. Um, this is your beautiful black card that is black to the core and beautiful and smooth. Um, who was I with yesterday and they were using um, the black card? Oh, it was Joe, Joe Channon. Uh, no, no, it wasn't Joe. It was um, Karen, yes. And she was embossing white, wasn't she, on the gold card and embossing um, the lovely stampendous um, gold, the fine detail gold and that the, the was the those lovely embossing powders for 9.99. It looked amazing on the black card, didn't it? Now, I haven't got the original size. Have we got the original size of this, Kirst? But, yeah, they're offcuts, basically, which basically means when Pink Frog have got their giant pieces of card that they're putting through the machines um, to get you your A4, your A3, your A5, your A6, sometimes there are what we call the offcuts. Size bits, strips of card that, well, it's not to any regular size that we know is going to make something spe specific. So rather than waste it, let's let's sell it. Let's sell it off because that is two kilograms. That is a lot. You see everything bad is a lot of weight, isn't it? I'm not saying it is officially the DL size, but that's where I'm going in terms of the look, um, the width, the length, um, probably just a little bit smaller. Um, beautiful and super smooth. And yes, as we said, Black to the core, um, 280 GSM, um, absolutely fabulous, because Pink Frog, where they know their card. You know, I know they do some beautiful dyes and some beautiful stamps, um, but in terms of the mediums, and when I think of Hazel, um, it's the card stock, it's the quality of the card stock, and it's the wonderful folds and what have you that they create for us to create some beautiful, beautiful um, boxes and cards and bags and what have you. And um, 10% is already gone because, you know, I'm thinking of, of the machine there that uh, John was using. Yeah. Uh, what, what's that? The Couture Creations? Uh, the, the, not Couture Creations. The Couture... It is Couture Creations. Yeah. I mean, that would just go through it like butter, wouldn't it? Your, your lovely, lovely die cuts there. You're embossing. Um, you might just want some little bits there with your stamping. I mean, you might not just want a whole, sometimes a whole big piece of black card is a little bit, can be a little bit, oh, I'm a bit lost in the wilderness. It's a bit overpowering. These are lovely bite size, aren't they? 20% already gone because you know that Pink Frog is, equates with quality and two kilograms. And uh, you can just, oh, so many different uses for your journaling, your craft card making, your die cutting, um, bookmarks, yeah, whatever. Uh, but don't forget, come two o'clock. I mean, the original price is £27.49. You're saving £15.50, obviously more than you're spending. So that's way over 50% there. 11 99 750 now, I'm going to, if I go down stand here again at the counter, I'm going to have to turn these top cards over because the reflection off the mirror card is sending me a bit, ooh, it's so bright. Seriously, folks, the, the lights in the studio reflecting off these. It is super sheen, super sheen. I've got my powdery finger on there. Let me just give that a bit of buffage. Now, the only thing here, you can see this is a different size. But again, it's the offcuts and the telltale with this is, can you see that lovely white um, at the top there? But you might you might have that as an insert in a book. That might be relevant, just cut it off with your trimmer. Um, it is obviously, as you can see, white on the back, but that is your deluxe silver mirror card. I mean, seriously, the brightness coming off this was, is just blinding me as I was next, standing next to it. I'm just gonna show you its size in comparison to the black card, okay? So, length for length, it's slightly shorter, because we've taken off the white border, but it's also wider. Does that make sense? Doesn't that look good with the black card and that layering? Oh, that's a lovely, that's gorgeous. I'm liking that. That was just haphazard. That is beautiful. And again, look at these watches. Two kilograms, 270. Ooh, it's got to have a good waff. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, wow. I need the big guns. Where's Yanis when you need him? Uh, go on then. Oh, 
things nearly did fall off the table then, didn't they? That, it's just, it's just absolutely superb quality, honestly. It really, I mean, look at this. Look at that. Sometimes you just need a little bit, don't you? Didn't it look good with the black? I mean, it's super, super shiny. And that, again, that would cut so brilliantly in your couture. And you won't get that horrible, filmy surface sort of off, off the edge because that is absolutely deluxe, beautiful silver mirror card because that is Pink Frog. And they do that exceptionally well. They know their card. 9.99. I know, 50% off for two kilograms of offcuts. I mean, you could just gift half of it. Give some to your friend. Go off five reach. Brilliant. You, you know, you're never going to get through that. Maybe, yeah, you're doing some lovely posh invites. Maybe it's, you know, the front bit of the card or an insert or... I mean, it's fabulous, isn't it? Look at that. Beautiful. Love it. Absolutely love it. We all love a bargain. And because it's the, what they officially call the offcut, got the quality. It's just strange. It's not a designated regular shape as such it is a regular shape it's a lovely rectangle but it's not it's just the offcuts yeah so it's all the quality approaching a quarter of the stock yeah you know you love a bargain nobody wants to pay 19.99 want to pay 9.99 look how good it is with black card yeah is this what you wanted to mention my lovely now nearly 40 percent of that black card gone doesn't it look good get the two together get the two together come here come here with you i'm moving it sorry holes Come here with you. Look at all of this lot. Oh, so you're saving £10 on this. Have a bit of black card. It's like laying bricks. That's what that looks like. It's like laying bricks, everybody. It's like Jenga. They're so huge. Yeah, so you're saving £15.50. Oh, my word. Get some black card to go with it. If you went for both, add them all in your basket. 20, I mean, how, how long would it take you to get through? <laughs> £21.50. 98. That is brilliant. That's the offcuts. Oh, can you see there? I've got little larger ones there. It's the offcuts. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, that's a little bit large, but it's just the offcuts. Just one might be. Got loads of regular ones there. It's just fabulous, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just amazing, isn't it? Anyway, that's the black card. 40% gone there. 11 99 and you're saving £15.52.99750. It's lovely jubbly, isn't it? Oh, Kalal all-purpose glue, Kalal all-purpose glue. Yes, it's what we need, isn't it? It is, because this is super-duper stuff. They're not going to have quality card, Pink Frog. If they haven't got a good old glue, that's going to glue. That's going to do what it says on the pot. And I know these are very popular because this is the litre. And they have their smaller pots, which you can refill up, obviously. Or if you're glue mad, just go for the big, big old tub. So... As you can tell, it's a, it's a wet adhesive, it's solvent based. It, any extra glue that you get on the sides of your products, um, it just rubs off easily and it dries with a lovely solid finish. You can use it on your paper. Let's have a look at this board here, what we can use it on, because you can use it on paper, card, leather, materials, yeah, ceramics, felt, wood, glass, plastics, foam, sequins. Glitter, polystyrene, sponge. That's a good texture to build with, isn't it? We don't think of it a bit old sponge. Lace. Glass, I know. On the wood. Metal. It's all purpose, isn't it? That's what it says on the tub. All purpose. So it's your one-stop shop for your glue, isn't it? And that, look at that price point. £14. Saving. I mean, it's brilliant at twenty nine ninety nine, but when we can have it for fifteen ninety nine, let's have a little bit of that. Let's put that in our basket two two seven nine nine zero. Let me know if you're watching. Let me know what do you love about Pink Frog. Have you bought Pink Frog card or the Kalal glue before? Have you bought any of the Pink Frog uh, products? Let me know your feedback because it's got five star reviews on the website. Let me know if you're watching. Let me know if you're out there. So I don't feel I'll be lonesome here. It's just me and Maddie wandering up and down. Let me know. <laughs> you kept me company this morning. So uh, say hello. Say hello this afternoon on the face cloth or on. you can email me to studio at thecraftstore.com. Let me know if you have used Pink Frog products before and what was the verdict. So I would love to be able to tell the rest of the lovely viewers watching. Now, very useful. Uh, again, a major go-to. It's your red liner tape. Now, these are all six mil, so that probably is the one that's used the most, to be honest, for box construction or 
sticking paper, card making, you get 30 metres on each. And that's important because normally it's 10 metres on a roll. So that's 30 metres. That's 90 metres on the actual each roll. So that is more. Then these are brilliant. You've got your quickie glue pens. Now it comes out blue, the glue. And you just activate it by a little pressing up and down on the nib. Oh, it's already started. Sorry, everybody. Just wipe that away. Uh, but actually, no, you can see it's blue there. Can you see that's blue? That's the tiniest dot. Oh, she's just drawing glue on the lovely. They'll have me. They'll have, they'll just like have, have me for that. Um, comes out of glue, dries, dries lovely and clear. Um, pop the cap on so obviously it doesn't dry out. But what I love about the little cap is, there you go, you see that? It's not going to roll off the table which is what happens isn't it? it just gets a knock yeah it's fantastic you can get precision applications with those quickie glue pens you know if you've got a very intricate die and you're dibby dobbing or you know you, or, or a little bit just peels up and you just want to press it down to, to to stick on your projects or just a little sequin um so it's great for precision however i'm loving these boards by the way um it's also Brilliant for your detail and your writing. You know, if you're trying to create in, you see that middle one, pink frog in the glitter writing, you can use it with, I know, with the pollen. Look at that for the glue. Um, because it, it, it's wet, it's a permanent bond, and then it dries clear, um, and you can, you can, yeah, you can heat emboss, fine glitter, gilding flake, Colouring and stamping, outline stamping, chunky glitter, drawing through the stencil, foils, yeah. Add detail to stamped images and it can be heat embossed. Yeah, so the certain element of a certain stamped image you want to highlight, go in there with your pen, your quickie glue pen. So you've got three of those as well, the Secura quickie glue pen, $14.99. Brilliant, isn't it? Should be $20.99, six pounds saving there. 750340. Now we'll go back to the lovely card. So let me know what you think about the Pink Frog card and uh, what, what was the favourite one you bought. Let me know because that's what I've got some beautiful iced gold card for you now. And I, I, I've got some paper, well, sort of paper and the card. So I've got different GSMs here. So this is 210. GSM. So let me see if I can just get that gold sheen for you. Ooh. Oh. I would get that gold sheen at home because it's very prevalent here in the studio. I'm trying to get it in the right position for you to see the gold. Gold sheen. Yeah. It's beautiful. So it's not it's not exactly the white. It is white, obviously, but over it you've got this beautiful golden pearlescence, just like it's been sun-kissed. And a hundred sheets of that, beautiful. Front and back, front and back, we've got that on the gold, so it doesn't matter. It's not one-sided. Each sheet, and you are getting a hundred sheets, each sheets work out at ten pence. Ooh, I know, ten pence for that lovely wadge 10 pence 9.99 so if you were doing some luxury invites and you're thinking thriftiness they were saying today on the radio that even a you know small weddings are obviously in vogue at the moment so nobody's got any choice have they um but even the smallest can cost you a minimum of six thousand pounds i know just a few guests so I'm just thinking, well, if you're making your own invites, which some people do, and there's this beautiful card anyway, just card making, isn't it? Box making. Um, oh, 210 GSM. So I realise it might need a, a little bit more sturdiness for your box making, but all the same. Box for just a little card as well. It's fine, isn't it? 999 270330. Now, the True Black, let's show you that. It's now, what? 70%? Once it's gone, it's gone. It's not, golly gosh, we're only 50 minutes into the show. Uh, 280 GSM, two kilograms of that true to the core black car. Two kilograms. Once it's gone, it's gone. It's not that one could stop, could go before the clock. I know we always think, oh, 
I'll get it before the clock runs out. But actually, no, I've a, that's 70% already gone. That's going to be gone before the clock, that one. And I think my silver mirror card is following. Well, that's uh, the blacks in the lead. It's 40, approaching 40% now. And again, because it's the offcuts, it's not going to like they're going to deliberately slice up all their beautiful large cards to make the offcuts. It happens when they're making these lovely A4s, A3s, A5, A6. So uh, once it's gone, it's gone. So please don't miss out. Now, we'll stay with the ice gold. That was the card. And now we've got the paper. So identical, front and back, identical with that shimmering sheen of the gold. Yeah. 9.99, 120G SM, so the other one was 210. So, so a lot of lovely invites and stuff. You know, you have the outside, which is your scored structure, isn't it, of your card. And then sometimes inside, they sometimes have the order of service or um, the menu or Catherine and Peter would like to thank you or Peter and Paul would like to thank you for coming today. And, oh, you're wonderful. And yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, so sometimes you have the insert, that, or maybe you just like working with your beautiful, luxurious papers. So that is luxurious, isn't it? I mean, that is beautiful. Gorgeous ice gold in the paper there as well. And 50% off. Oh. Have you used these two? Tell me, what did you use them for if you're watching? So I was asking, that works out at 10 pence a sheet, the card. This works out at 7 pence a sheet, and you're getting 150 so if you went for the two together, that, that, those two pieces there for a beautiful, luxurious invite or card, you know, because you could go on the ice white gold theme for Christmas, 17p. 17p to make one card. Obviously, you're using your stamps and your mediums, but still 17p. And you're saving £30 if you get the two together. Just a thought. Just a thought. That lovely black card would be beautiful with it, wouldn't it? Oh, so lovely. When you get that home, you'll really see that lovely gold. Now, have you used this? Let us know. Email us in. Let me know on the Facebook. And nobody's messaging me. Nobody loves me anymore. You've all got off to have your lunch, haven't you? You've all got off for an afternoon cocktail. That's what's happened, doesn't it, Maddie? <laughs> Maddie's sending me love. They're all, they're all having a lovely cocktail out in the veranda. <laughs> have you got a veranda, Maddie? That word's very underused, the veranda. Does anybody have a veranda? I don't have a veranda. Paula has a veranda. Oh, when, when she was growing up? I'm jealous. I want a veranda. You've got to have a veranda if you're in Spain, haven't you? Ooh. I bet Brig and Dave, I bet they, they'll have a veranda in, in, in uh, Tenerife they're going, aren't they? Tenerife, they'll have a veranda, won't they? I think they call them balconies, don't they? <laughs> What is the difference between a veranda and a balcony? Somebody, John Locke would know. Where is he? John, he will know. He's a man who knows these things. You're going to search for it. Thank you. What is the difference between a veranda and a balcony? It's never occurred to me till this very moment. It's OK, we can, we can rest easy we'll, and then we'll all have a cocktail. Right, let's have some watercolour card now. I, I do. Oh, now, look at this. I'm stroking it straight away. You need quality if you're going to get your watercolour out. And tonight at 9 o'clock, Mr Matthew Palmer is doing exactly that with a craft along. So make sure you're watching, but make sure you've got your card. Um, fabulous. This is superb. So you can, he'll, he'll extol the virtues of why you need the watercolour card. Because obviously, you're going to be chucking a lot of water. This is gr I'm going to show you in a minute how many different uses, even if you're not just watercolouring painting or something. It's great for your spritzing and your oxides as well. But there's a very gentle, I don't know if I'm going to get this right for our holes. Just about to see, it's very slight. It's just like the way it's made, isn't it? You can see this lovely little, it's not a deliberate pattern as such. It's almost negligible, but you can just see it on the card, which I think is a little sign that it's, it's the watercolour card. It's just gorgeous. Uh, do we have the GSM on this? I've left my things down there. Because it's usually a good old thick GSM. Um, but let me introduce you to... 50% off and the fabulous I mean that's that's got a good heft to it that feels a good 300 to me but I don't think it's the maybe do they not put GSMs on watercolor card 280 I wasn't far off was I I wasn't far off I may not know the difference between a veranda and a balcony but uh, I wasn't far off meet my papers now what have we got what can we do with your pink frog watercolor card you can do some watercolor faux bleaching or love that when you dab your tissues on, 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 take the paint out. Um, 
Oh, I love this. Hazel does this. That's their poppy. When you spritz the stamped image embossing folder. Yeah. Oh, I'm liking that with the dye over it as well. Um, we've got the oxide ink stamped and then pulled out. Oh, yes. You can see, so they've taken the color just from the outside image there. Um, mica sprays. Oh, lovely. Yeah. You got them things like eyes inks. Um, ink through the stencil. Doesn't that look lovely? And then I'm loving this, the drip technique. Just watching it drip down, so holding your card and watching that pull down. Then if we go on, we've got the oh wet brush watercolor. So you know the lovely blending, Mr. Palmer teaches that. Um, you've got the jelly plate. Oh, that looks like um, a Monet water lily painting, doesn't it? Doesn't that look like a Monet? Um, then you've got watercolor pens. That's beautiful. I mean, that's when you're really seeing it coming into its own now. Uh, the watercolor pencils, perfect. Torn edges, not fab. Um, you've got the texture pastes, wet ink pickup. Yeah, just anything that's left that's going to create a lovely background. And then card blanks, obviously. Yeah, sounds like an obvious one, but you know, sometimes we don't think about it. Is that all one board there? Yeah, it is. And then. Oh, brushio, 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 brushio. Heat embossing, look at that, beautiful. Uh, crumpled paper effect, we need to do more of that. Doesn't it look good? Die cutting, of course, through the fabulous um, Monday special. And then uh, bubble wrap technique, yeah, cling film technique, love these. Salt technique, I, that, I always forget about that one, don't you? It looks like an underwater jellyfish. No, I haven't seen somebody do that for ages. Next time Hazel comes in, I'm going to ask her. Uh, ink layering and emboss. Isn't that beautiful? Sorry. I'm so sorry, everybody. I just realised I was so busy just looking at it myself. I didn't show it to Holly at all. So sorry. I was so busy gawping at the loveliness. At $9.99, and you are getting 40 sheets. Now, before we move on, stock update. Approaching limited. Oh my giddy, I wasn't surprised. We did say it's going to be gone before the clock. The stock is going to be gone before the clock. 299750, approaching limited, 1199 for that two kilograms of the off curtain. You know it's quality. Yeah, and if you want to join Mr. Matthew Palmer at nine o'clock, even if you haven't got this month's craft along kit, he'll no doubt be doing another one in the future. So he'll tell you how you can get the mini kit. One in October. So join us tonight at nine o'clock. Find out when the October one is happening and you can get the kit at a special price then to join along the craft along in real time and yeah, get some more watercolour card. It'll get you started on your journey. Who was I speaking to this morning? Was it Karen or she was starting a day? Can you remember the lady? She was having a coffee. It might have been Carol. Carol, she was having a coffee and she was starting a day doing a bit of watercolouring. That's how you start off. That's how you start Tuesday, isn't it? Coffee and start a watercolour. Love it. Now you're going to love this. Oh, I've had an email as well. Oh, right. The difference between balcony and veranda. This is important stuff, folks. This is what gets us through the day. A veranda is a covered structure located on the ground level of the house. It is usually attached to two or more sides of the main building. On the other hand, a balcony is an elevated platform affixed to a given room on the upper floor. Well, I didn't know. A veranda is a covered structure located on the ground level of the house. Okay, yes. Going out the front door, to, attached to two more sides of the main building. Uh, but yeah, I suppose we call them large porches, don't we? But a veranda. I don't know why I thought maybe a veranda was another up there, but out on the veranda. Yeah, they do say that like in films and they walk out the front door, don't they? Out, out on the veranda. Yes, okay. I'm happy with that now. I'm happy with that now. Uh, Pauline. Ah, oh, firstly, good afternoon, Fiona. Hello, Pauline. I've been buying pink frog card and dyes for years at the shows. I now buy their glue, the glue bottles and the red liner tape. Absolutely love everything they sell. Pauline, thank you, my darling. That's absolutely brilliant. I've asked you to send in your, uh, your emails and your testimonials. What do you love about Pink Frog? What do you use? What do you buy? Have you used the iced gold, the black card, the quickie pens, the red liner like Pauline? Um, what do you think about the, what project are you making? Are you making, I was talking to uh, Joan this morning and there's uh, Sh uh, Shaz, they, they've been doing their Christmas cards. Joan's already done hers. Shaz is just making them. So um, yeah, this is brilliant for, you, for your card making as well. This is a great stash. 
So email me into studio at thecraftstore.com or let me know on the Facebook. I'd love to hear from you. I'll give you a big shout out. Say hi. Uh, so, oh, you see, strokey, strokey, super smooth, super smooth. If you've got beautiful quality stamps, you want a quality result. And that is only going to happen because of the card and your ink. And obviously, you, you, I've already said you've got your super quality stamps. So I want my quality, I don't want the card then at the final furlong. I've got my ink, got my medium, I've got my lovely stamp, I've spent all that money. I do not want my lacklustre card to ruin the crisp outline of my beautiful stamp. And that's why you need your super smooth. This is 300 GSM and you're getting 120 sheets with the A4 and the A3. So the A4, 80 sheets. And then, oof, look at this. Oh my word. Gonna need a harness to lift this up. You're getting another 40 of the A3. That's a great bundle, isn't it? Because rather than just one or the other, sometimes, you know, lovely abs, he just says, let's just go into, I mean, you can cut that down, of course you can. Then you've got another ATA4. But I, I've got another deal coming up to save you all the, the grief of that um, and keep your guillotine sh and your trimmer sharp. Um, sometimes you just want to start on a bigger platform. Go for it. I love it when I see apps start to create that. Journal pages or a canvas or just gorgeous. It's working out at how much? 14 pence a sheet. That is gorgeous. Let me get my boards out to show you the quality. <laughs> and this time I'll show you rather than... This time I'll show you rather than me just look at shall I go this way but this time let's test the let's test the guns on the right arm right so look at the quality when you use these mediums distress ink with the water distress oxides blended distress oxides with the water oh yeah distress oxide galaxy technique yeah then paint it's lovely it looks photographic doesn't it that's the quality of your super smooth sprays you can I know that's easy to say just sprays but you can see every little circular pigment and dot of the spray, can't you? And then, I love this, brushios! And then Distress Oxides for bleaching. So let's put down one and I'll show you some more. Let's show you some more. Um, with your lovely Super Smooth, you are going to get fantastic gesso results. Look at that for texture paste, that precision. Gilding wax, once you've embossed, beautiful to emboss. Um, stencils, it's going to make your stencils really um, come to life. Um, beautiful watercolour pencils again, the pens, you can still do these, use the watercolour on here. Um, your alcohol markers, really going to make those colours punch, really be punchy and as bright as they look, because that's what other substandard card won't do. And then stamping, lovely, crisp and clear, that's what I want. I don't want my lovely expensive stamps and my fabulous inks that I bought looking substandard on some rubbish card. So I need my pink frog super smooth. And then we've got, again, you can still do the heat embossing, obviously the die cutting. Great with the one day special. Look at that embossing. Look at how pronounced that is. Isn't that amazing? That letterpress. Construction. You can still use it for the construction. The doodling. Distress paper technique and then embossing with a plastic stencil on ink. Yeah, super duper. And you're saving five pounds. Yes, please. 16 pounds 98, four, six, two, six, one, four. Oh, you're lovely today. You're treating me with all your lovely emails. Um, got the same now, but in A5. And I've had another email. Ah, here we go. Uh, Moira, hello Moira. Um, hi everybody. Pink frog cards are good quality, especially the white. Super smooth. We just had that, Moira. We just had that previously. Um, the stamps are wonderfully diverse and fantastic quality. Well, I haven't got any of those today, but I agree. Watching Hazel work with them is a joy to behold. I agree. Whenever I do pink frog, I always say I'm going to try and channel Hazel. Obviously, I don't do a very good job of it, but I always think of Hazel and uh, how fabulous she is with all the colour. There's lots of fabulous people there at Pink Frog. Um, Angela in Great Oakley, she's baking a cake. Oh, she's making me hungry. I love cake. Mmm, cake. She says, I'm keeping you company whilst baking a cake. I wonder what kind of cake you're making, Angela. What's your favourite, Maddie? Huh? Chocolate. What's your favourite, Ben? Chocolate. Cake. What's your favourite cake? 
chocolate. Oh, it was on chocolate. Or, or lemon drizzle. Or lemon drizzle. Ooh, diverse, diverse. Uh, my friend makes the most amazing peanut butter cake. Oh. Anyway, uh, Angela, she's making a cake. Sorry, this is how we got onto this. I'm a fan of Pink Frog! Exclamation mark. I regularly use their smooth cardstock. Smooth. Their unscored card because it's so versatile. Red liner tape. Their scotch tape because it's the best for passing through my die cutting machine. I have some of their dies currently using their penguin dies for Christmas cards. She's doing the Christmas cards. And their rainbow cardstock to name but a few Angela and Great Oakley. Oh, thank you, Angela. This is fantastic. You are keeping me company today while I'm talking to myself. That's lovely. Uh, thank you for that. I'm asking you, why do you love your Pink Frog card or any of their products? Because we've got a happy hour. And don't forget, at 2 o'clock, all these prices are going to revert back to the original price. Ooh, ah, jeopardy. We don't want that. So let's give you some A5 card now. This is the watercolour card. Now, I know this is a favourite of our, talking of our lovely Hazel. She likes this size, doesn't she? This is a nice, we had the lovely A4 but this is a nice bite size. And I know Matthew tends to work on half of that. Would that be A6, officially? Would that? Someone will put me right, but you know what I mean. There's half of that, sort of roughly A6. I know, anyway, rough, maybe not. Maybe not. But anyway, I know he kind of works on roughly sort of half that size when he's doing his lovely watercolours here in the studio. Um, obviously, he works on the larger ones as well, but this is, this is lovely for the cards, isn't it? If you've created a lovely... If you've pulled the water, um, the colour, sorry, from your... Um, alcohol, not alcohol, what we were just talking about on the watercolour card. I know what I mean. I know what I mean. Let me go and have a look here. From your stamps, yes, from your watercolour pens, your watercolour pencils, pulling the water, uh, your wet, 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 wet brush. What was that lovely pop? Is that, yes, if you're pulling the water from your lovely stamped spritz image, that was makes me think of Hazel, that one, because she did a lovely, with the A5 watercolour card, she did a lovely card with those poppy dies, poppy stamps, I should say, which is, um, lovely pink frogs as well one of my favorites and it had a lovely verse with it as well that i'm a bit besotted with um so these yeah and it's a big pile isn't it 12 pounds 40. can you imagine what half the postage would be for this a lot of money but it, you know if you're a freedom club member no you're laughing all the way to the bank uh 12 pounds 49 100 sheets 280 gsm so exactly the same gsm as the lovely a4 beautiful for your stamping your watercoloring a lovely bite size isn't it 747203 and then it can become a beautiful card um i've had another email but i'm going to mention me seven day saver and i've got one more um have we still got any more of that rainbow and that mix mixy pot you've got a you've got a slide haven't you i'll reference that in a moment oh i'm loving these emails so this is a seven day saver and then i'll read my lovely email from jill look at the size of this look at this for a watch giddy my giddy what the postman is Postman, postwoman, she's going to need, she's, the postie, he's going to need a harness, going to need a wheelbarrow to get this down to you. Oh my, what? That's, that's like several bricks, isn't it? Do you know what it reminds me of? One of those giant encyclopedias you can't lift off the shelf in the library or, as a child, yeah. Oh, that big book that you just, uh, it's not, you've not picked it up to read it, you've picked it up to stand on it to reach something. Do you know what I mean? It's one of them. That is huge. Not that I condone standing on books or anything, but... Oh, super smooth. This is our gorgeous quality super smooth, which our Pauline loves. Um, and our lovely... Um, who was the other person? That, they sound here. Yeah. Angela and Greg Oakley. She loves it. So does Moira. Moira, yeah. Especially the white super smooth. She'll be on to this. She'll be on to this, our Moira. £16.98. It's a seven-day saver. So this, you're not playing against the clock. This is 160 sheets for 300 GSM. This is available until Sunday 8 a.m. I mean, I say that. I have seen some day savers sell out. I have seen that happen within the week, um, just to flag that up. But the point of it is, is that you have a week to get that. So I just want to flag that up, especially for our Moira. 617168. I've had another nice email in. I've got another one to flag up. Uh, this is Jill. She says, I do tons of artwork and make many products for which I only use Pink Frog Super Smooth. Thank you, Jill. Very apt that your email just came in now. You can throw anything, any mixed media at it, and it's brilliant. Exclamation, exclamation, exclamation. Equally, it's fabulous with alcohol, alcohol inks and polychromos. What's a polychromo? Jill, what's a polychromo? I haven't got that on my board, have I? Um, I love it, says Jill. Jill, you need to tell me what's a polychromo. I don't know what that is. Where's John? John, what's a polychromo? Somebody tell me. Somebody will tell me what a polychromo is. Um, I've got another deal to show you. I'm sorry I haven't got it on the desk, 
but this is a cracking deal as well. This is our mixed box, and I'll take you through everything you're getting. Can you see that lovely rainbow card at the front there? You are getting approximately 125 of those. You get 160 of the white super smooth. Don't ask me about the sizes, okay, folks? It's just... Oh, they're all A6. There we go. That's settled that one. You're getting 180 of the A6 true black. And then you're getting 140 approximately of the A6 watercolour card. There we go. It says A6 on the screen, Fiona. Just read it. <laughs> I make life really difficult for myself sometimes. £29.97. That is a cracking deal. Did we add up all those numbers yet? 320, 480, 605 approximately. Yeah, give or take one more of that one. One more of that one. So, um, 600, I know it's an odd number, but I'll go with it. £29.97. That is phenomenal. Have you done the maths on that? I realise it's approximately 605 divided by five pence a sheet for the A6. I mean, that's just got to happen. We've just got to have that in our lives. Watercolour white card, the rainbow card, the super smooth, and then the true black. So you've got those great GSMs there, 280 to 300. Um, £29.97. I mean, you could split that up with somebody. Yeah, it's going to take a while to get through that, isn't it? Isn't that brilliant? 045296. Absolutely brilliant. Loving your emails. Keep them coming. What do you love about Pink Frog? Do you use them? Oh, now we started the hour with this. My True Black Offcuts technically sold out, so please check out your baskets there. Lovely, lovely crafters, um, because that has now technically sold out. I know the um, offcuts of the Silver Mirror card is, doing pop is popular as well, um, but just to highlight those. Right, um, ooh, how much left on the clock have we got before we end the show? Just over 20 minutes, not long. But I mentioned about, you know, creating a, um, well, how much would that be to, to cost in postage? Well, save yourself the angst. Become a Freed Club member. You have a limited standard delivery then for the month. And let's find out how you can do that. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Oh, that lovely Leone should be cooking up a, a fury in the kitchen later on with the Spice King. Um, fabulous. Now, again, look, I'm like blind. Can you see the light shining off my face? Oh, that's it. Reflecting, make it look younger. Oh, there we go. Oh. Um, it's the reflection of this lovely off-cut mirror card. Look at these. Approaching 60%. You are getting all of these. Oh, my goodness me. There's a lot of mirror card there, isn't there? Um, sorry I haven't got the dimensions, but you can see the size there. Um, they are off-cuts. The only difference there, you can see that ribbon of white at the top. So you know that is. So when they're cutting their big sheets, it's just the bits that they've got left over. We might as well just sell them at an absolute fabulous price. So you still get the quality. If you're matting and layering, you're die cutting, um, scrapbooking, just brilliant. I mean, it's super quality. Honestly, the shine coming off it is blinding me here in the studio. Um, it's $9.99. I know. Look at that sparkle, sparkles. I know. It's unbelievable, isn't it? 661929, 272 GSM. Even, let's face it, folks, even if you're just thinking, oh, I'll just use the other side for that price point, 50% off. Why would you, though? It is such gorgeous there. Beautiful. Uh, 661929. We have less than 20 minutes to take advantage of that happy hour deal. We've already had a sellout. Yay! The Colour All Peppers Glue. The, I can't remember what the song was made up, but anyway. Uh, this is a whole litre. <laughs> Colour, you need it in your life. Colour, it won't give you strife. Colour, yeah. Well, anyway. Um, 
You can get this for fifteen ninety nine. Now let's have a little look. Solvent based. Extra glue can rub off easily after your projects dries with a solid finish. Use it on your paper, your cardboard, your leather, your wood, ceramics, your felt, your glass, your plastics, and more. Yes, sequins, heat resistant material. I know. Look how that dries because sometimes, you know, when you put glue into material, you see the blobbage, don't you? Through the material. That's not happening there. Foam, sponge. I mean, why you're sticking sponge, I don't know, but I like that idea. Glitter, perfect metal. Glass. I mean, this is why it's all purpose. Carla, you need it in your life. Carla, you do, don't you? And at 15.99, we need to get it in the next 20 minutes. 227990. Few of you already emailed in and said that you get you use that cloud glue all the time. So brilliant. And the other email we had, um, there we go, was using the red liner tape as well. Yeah. So lovely to hear that you're all big fans of the brilliant pink frog as well. So we've got three of these. Now remember there's 30 meters on each of these. This is the six millimeters and it's probably the one that is the biggest go to in terms of your, uh, your card making, box making. And uh, they're, they're saying, they're recommending, this is why I've left it in there, that you leave it in your packaging until it comes into use. Uh, it's quite sticky, quite sticky. Yeah, it's super sticky, isn't it? And then you've got three of your quickie pins. This dries clear, it comes out blue. Um, and look at what the uses are. So, you know, it's wet. It, when it's wet, it's got, you know, it gives you that permanent bond. You've got the fine detailed nib for application and for writing, if you want to do some detailed glitter writing. Um, you can use it with the flocking, your glitter, your gilding flakes, you can heat emboss foil and adding those little bits of pollen that we can get the little bits of moss can be heat embossed yeah detail adding detail to your stamped images isn't that brilliant chunky glitter superb stuff isn't it you know if you've done a lovely stamped image you can just do that fine application 1499 zero. we're coming to the last quarter of an hour of the show so please don't miss out make sure you check out your baskets and thank you for your emails keep them coming what do you love about the pink frog um Tell us, tell us. Um, this is my card, and then I've got the paper to match. Okay, so this is 210 GSM, and let me see if I can get the lovely gold, oh, the gold, the gold reflection. Yeah. Oh, it's lovely. If you think it looks lovely on screen, it's even better in the flesh because you can really see the gold shimmer. It just screams luxury to me. I just, I just love it. I just love it. And then the good news is, because you've got the card, we've also got the paper as well. So if you were doing a lovely, luxurious card with that insert that had a, I don't know, the verse or, or, or the message or whatever details of the events, I don't, I don't know, I go straight to invites. And then obviously the outside image, you know. What, I mean, that is a, how much would you pay for a card to get those made up? There's 17 pence for both of those. That's 10 pence a sheet. They work out as seven pence a sheet. So you think, you know, getting those cards, those invites printed, someone, it costs a fortune, doesn't it? You are getting this, this, all of this beautiful, and it's gold shimmer on both sides there, 100 sheets for 9 99 You're saving 20 pounds. Did we work out what was the biggest saving of the hour? Hmm. Oh, the mix box coming up in a bit. Yeah. Uh, but it's 20 pounds, yeah, two thirds off, 270330. So let's mention the uh, lovely ice gold papers to go with it. Yeah. Oh, the silver mirror card. Oh, a poaching two thirds gone. Don't miss out. We've had the sellout of the lovely um, True Black. So we don't want you to miss out on. The lovely offcuts of the silver mirror card. Yeah, split it with a friend. It's just tremendous quality, superb quality. And this is the ice cold, ice cold, <laughs> ice, ice cold. I've gone to the fridge. Um, the paper, yeah. So maybe you don't want the card, maybe you are looking for the paper, but together they are just the luxury item, aren't they? They just elevate your work to, to a nether realm. Beautiful for invites. You make some lovely gold. Ice gold cards as well for Christmas. Just there's something posh about having the inlay of that paper, isn't there? It's like having an inlay of vellum or yeah, there's something about a doubler in a card, isn't there? Rather than just the one. 
I don't know, it just makes it seem posher or more expensive, more elegant, more indulgent, doesn't it? It's just beautiful. Just desperately trying to show you that gold sheen, but it is so pronounced when you get that at home. And you're getting, a hun you're getting a 150 of these. 150, wowza. That's fantastic, isn't it? Just beautiful. Beautiful. 999-783-209. Now, the watercolour proving very popular. The A4 watercolour. Um, fabulous, because you can do so much with this. Um, you've got such gorgeous quality here. I mean, yeah, 280 GSM. Um, beautiful. Chuck so much at it. Absolutely stunning. So let's have a little look again at the purpose of, well, the uses, I should say, of our lovely lovely a4 watercolor card so you can tear the edges to create that lovely texture there uh, you've got your watercolor pencils i mean that really brings out the brightness there the watercolor pens perfect the wet brush watercolor you see that's when you're applying liberally a lot of water which is why you know that's why the watercolor card is so essential um the lovely gel plate i'm loving the effect of the gel plate on it obviously just to make your card blanks because it's a lovely sturdy card um, you've got wet brush pickup and then washing or wet ink pickup, yeah, again, and then texture paste. Beautiful, really lovely. And then let's go to half the stock's already gone. 50% of my watercolour card is gone. Then we've got the embossing through it and then the inking. I mean, that's fab, isn't it? I love spritzing a stamped image, faux bleaching, watercolour painting, the uh, drip technique, ink through the stencil mica sprays and then oxide ink stamped and pulled so yeah and then last but not least let's have a look at these again embossing look at that all that fine detail stencils crumpled paper technique brush use um inking and embossing salt technique cling film technique and bubble wrap yeah but fab beautiful Salt technique, we want to see that. It's been ages since anybody did that. I think sometimes they think, oh, it's been done to death. But when you haven't seen it for ages, you think, oh, well, let's revisit those uh, those techniques. I haven't seen them for, like, forever. Because um, you forget about them, don't you? Nine ninety nine for 40 of those sheets. Beautiful quality. 515439. Lovely bundle. Lovely big bundle there. And we've had lovely emails in from um, Moira and Jill. And Angela in Great Oakley, I'm dying to know what cake she's made. She made me very hungry. And Pauline, oh, she's been buying Pink Frog card and dyes for years. Absolutely loves everything they sell. So that's why I started the show by talking about the quality of the name Pink Frog, because you associate that name with quality, quality products, and especially the card, and especially super smooth. And this is a great bundle, because you're getting 80 of the A4 super smooth to really maximise maximize your stamps your inks your artwork your pens whatever medium you're using and then you're getting 40 of the a3 which is perhaps the size you don't tend to normally go for maybe give it a go because what's the worst that could happen you could cut it down to a4 two a4 pieces but nice to have that choice isn't it 14 pence you're hard pushed to get a4 paper for your printer at 14 pence a sheet that's working out 14 pence that's brilliant isn't it Amazing. 462614, you're saving five pounds. I'm sure there's loads you can do with this. Indeed, look at all these. Ah, go on. Let's have a little look. There we go. Have a little scan there. With your ink and your water, your oxides blended, your distress oxides with water, distress oxide galaxy technique, and then it goes on. It looks brilliant. I mean, the super smooth, it, that looks like a, a print out of a magazine, doesn't it? The paint, the sprays I love. Because you see every little speckle, don't you? Brushio with the water. And then we have got oxides from the bleaching. I'll take that away. Let's have another look. What have we got here? Gesso, texture paste. Yeah, look at that, clean lines. The depth of that embossing and uh, with the gilding wax. Your stencils. Got some shadowing there with your stencils as well. Thinking of you. Look how sharp those images are. 
You can even do your watercolor with these, you know. We're not trying to be as liberal with our water as we are with our watercolor card. Fabulous with the alcohol markers, really highlights their color. And then, of course, stamping nice, sharp and clear. And it goes on. This is why it's the number one bestseller and the number one go-to for a lot of the fabulous card makers and stampers. Heat embossing. Yeah. Die cutting. Look at that depth on the embossing itself. Letterpress. Uh, box making. Yeah. Doodling. Distress paper techniques. And then embossing with plastic stencil and ink and then did we find out there we go 1698 462 614 did we find out what um what was that lady doing what was the word polychromos what's polychromos maybe paula what's, what's polychromos what's pencil workspace oh, a pencil that is workspace oh, so, so what they, so what what they are asking oh well it's um, super smooth. It's equally fabulous with alcohol, inks, and polychromos. Oh yes, indeed. So, so like um, the, the black space coloring pencils that um, yeah. Groovy have. Yeah, one it, absolutely. Wax yeah, and yeah one that end exactly the same color. thing. Yeah, work space. Yeah. Yeah. So they yeah. have got a very good blend. So you have got to. It's a uh, super smooth. Blending will give you that perfect blend of colors. Super smooth. Yeah, Ooh. super smooth. Polychromos. Thank you, Jill. Now I know. Every day is a, uh, an educational day, and I've also discovered the difference between a bal balcony and a veranda. Um, love it. Love it. Paula had a veranda when she was younger. Um, oh, no, she had a balcony, sorry. Did you have a veranda or a balcony? Sorry? When you were younger, veranda or a balcony? What? That's <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll come back to you. No. <laughs> so in Spain, when you were a young girl, yeah. did you have a balcony that you came out of? Yes, I did, in my bedroom. Oh, and I had the full mountains as well. Oh, and the the, it was the most beautiful, the oh, most beautiful balcony. What a view. I chose to have a balcony. Oh, yeah, chose to have a balcony. You would, <laughs> wouldn't you? You would. Um, where, where, where did we get to? I've lost track. We're going to talk about watercolour card. A5, um, £12.49. Again, all of that brilliant quality. 280 GSM, uh, 747203. Now we have seven minutes and 40 seconds left before the clock stops. Uh, you'll have a couple of minutes just after that, but check out your baskets before. Don't leave it to the wire because I want to make sure that it, the computer doesn't go wah, wah, and, and thinks you want the original price. So £12.49 for those 100 sheets. So lovely bite size. And maybe for those smaller stamping projects as well, you know, you can cut those in half and really make some beautiful cards there. 747203. Our mixed box bundle, yes. Now these are all A6. And you've got the pure black to the core um, card. You've got, uh, which is 300 GSM, you've got 280 watercolor card. You've got your rainbow mirror card as well. And so rainbow, probably about 125. Super smooth, super smooth, 160. True black, 180. And then the watercolor, 140. All total in approximately 605 a six cards i mean i think that's amazing what did we work that out as each five pence a piece of card i mean seriously 29 pounds 97 zero four five two nine six fab and finally our seven day save thank you all well, thank you for the lovely emails did we get any more messages in i haven't read them ah oh, you can read it in my year if you want and i'll just repeat it um Super smooth. This is a seven day saver, but it's pink frog. So we wanted to include it in the hour um, because obviously it changes every Sunday at eight o'clock and you might just miss it. Um, 617168, 16 pounds 98. You're saving five pounds and you're getting 160. Oh my, what? I can feel my back straining as I lift that. Oh, need to work out at the gym. That is brilliant, isn't it? Just what a watch, what a brick of paper. Oh my word, it's like a concrete slab that. There's so much, and it's beautiful, super smooth. 617168. Let's have a look at the website. You can revisit everything we've had. We've already had a sellout. It's all there. All those price reductions are there only for the next six minutes or so. So please don't miss out. It's all there. Take advantage of the quality, the five star reviews. They're from you, they're your testimonials, um, and they're testament to the quality of Pink Frog as a company and in terms of what they produce, yeah. It's blinding me again, I was, although it's a lovely uplift. It's a lovely facelift for me. Um, yes, so this is what I started, well, I started with the black offcuts. That is sold out. 
So we've still got our silver. It's just tremendous. Look at this. So much of the silver off-cut card there. Just brilliant. And approaching 80%. So this is a race. The clock of the stock, the clock of the stock, the clock of the stock. 9.99. And even if you didn't want to, you can just use the underside as well. So that's a lovely um, uh, white card as well. Yeah, to, to, to stamp on and use, even if you're thinking, oh, but I'm not the silver card now, Fiona. Not that that would ever happen. Let's see if I can find Maddie. She's there somewhere. Where are you, Maddie? Uh, 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 uh. Nah. No. I'm useless at this. <laughs> Sorry, I found Ben the other day doing a very strange dance. Sorry. Sorry, darling. At uh, 9.99, again, four more minutes, 6.61. Nine two nine. So only a few more minutes left remaining for the Pink Frog Quality Happy Hour. So um, yeah, don't forget to check out your best. I think that's the only other Happy Hour we have today. So you've got what? Oh, Dreamies. Oh, what time's that at? Seven o'clock. Oh, so there's one more. One more to come. However, yeah. Don't forget, we've got a cracking hour coming up next as well with the lovely Sasha. She's going to answer all your questions because she's the Bosal Queen. Um, so that was a fabulous informative hour earlier as well. So make sure you tune in and watch that. Um, get your call out. Yeah. Call out. You need it in your life. Call out. It won't give you strife. I'll, I'll think of another two sentences to end that song. Probably by the next time you see me, or maybe not. I'll be giving a P45 march off the premises after that. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, 1599 227 uh, Don't forget to check out your baskets and enjoy. But we don't want you to go anywhere because there's so much more still to see. Yes, we've got loads more today on the craft store. So uh, we'll have a little look at the menu and see what the lineup is. Yes, we've got Sasha now. She's sewing with Marin de Crafts and all your essentials. And she's going to explain it all to us. Then we've got Vintage Paper with Cora Create Craft. And then Go Power and Emboss One Day Special Launch. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selective Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, I'm Sarah from White Gecko Craft Lounge. We have a little shop in Dinners Palace, which is between Cardiff and Barry, so right by the seaside, and we were established six years ago. There's three of us that run the business. It's myself, Sarah Jane and Sean, and we have a host of uh, volunteers and community members that help out too. really inspire you to start sewing we'd like to uh, get people crafting and start that sewing process a lot of patterns and kits are perfect for beginners to use it's a real wonderful mindful way to start that journey into sewing so don't miss the white gecko shows Hi, my name's Mel and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family-run business and we've been established for about 16 years now. We're known for our MDF products and our mediums. Make sure you tune in to all our Crafty Devil shows. Go 
Good afternoon. If you're just joining us, well, we have got an hour of essentials for your quilting, your projects, your homewares, and also dressmaking. Well, but before we go into details about what we are going to be seeing, we have got an expert that will give us guidance about everything that we are going to be seeing. Sasha Fancy, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm really excited, always eager to do these shows you with do you. Love this show, don't you? Because I love them, because of course it means that I can learn loads about all these different products and all the the possibilities of these uh, projects as well to do. Yeah, definitely. And um, in the very beginning, when we were talking with Marin about bringing the basil, bringing um, the threads, whatever we bring to you, it's about bringing the essentials. And so it's really important about the education and how to use these things. Because I think sometimes we see them, I mean, a lot of these things, can I just say, they are exclusive. Oh, well, yes, So you wouldn't we do. have seen them yet. But when you do see them, you sometimes think, mm, I'm not sure because I don't know how to use it. You and that's what I'm here for. Either. Well, before we get into details of many of those amazing exclusive project, uh, products, uh, we have to tell you that we have, uh, of course, the vice binding in uh, the Lucky Deep. Now, that means that you are going to get five rolls, but the colors may vary. It could be the five rolls, that, five colors you see here, or be uh, any oil combination. Maybe instead you are going to get the navy in here. So it, we cannot promise you which, which ones, you, which colors you are going to get. However, all of them contain 33 meters. And of course, we, it, it, well, we are approaching limited stock. Now, once they're gone, they're gone. So make sure to check out your baskets. Time and time again, they do sell out. So if you don't want to miss out, well, there is one way is to check out your baskets. Remember, approaching limited stock. And once they're gone, they are gone. Uh, once sorry, nine, Paula, can I just say uh, about the binding? Once they go at this price, we cannot ever bring them back at this price again. So if we do get them back in stock, they are not going to be, but they are not going to be back in stock for quite a long time because we can't source what we really, really need for the quality. So you need to stock on this. You need okay. to... Yeah, get a stock, get it while we have got it on a, in a stock. And remember, it's approaching limited stock. Uh, if you want yours, well, remember, it's bias winding and it's one of the finest ones as well. Really good for all sorts of projects, including dressmaking. 129863 is your item number. Then moving on to now this one <laughs> is thermal, please, I believe. Polytherm. Polytherm. So can you explain what that means? So this one is the most amazing price. I cannot get over that we could bring this price back to you. It sold out twice before when it was on at this price. This is your insulating wadding, basically. So you can use this for lunch boxes to keep things cool course, or to keep things hot. So yeah. you could do um, clothing, you could do ski wear, you could do Ooh. gilets, you could do um, the trousers. Um, I can never remember what ski trousers are called. I, a ski, I have no idea. I mean, I never ski. In, uh, we were looking at researching those, um, you know. Any, ski, but honestly, ski. it's the most versatile wadding for heat or for cool. But the other thing you will find is we are now coming into September and we are going to start doing our Christmas crafts. And this insulates and it protects. So this will protect your dining room table. So you use this for your dinner mats, you use this for table runners, you use this as mats in the kitchen, stops those scorch marks on furniture. And you will find that coming into September, October, you will need this and you will not be able to find it anywhere. Yeah, uh, right. And I love that you're getting two meters as well. So lots of projects as well. That loads. Loads as well. And I also like think 63, 62 inches wide. I mean, it's ma I mean, we could wrap you up and we could have a really lovely Paula sandwich <laughs> with this. We could wrap you up beautifully in this. I mean, I'm not going to try because I will roast, but, you know. I'm <laughs> roasting Paula sandwich, and that's what it is. A, right. a toasted sandwich. <laughs> but we did, I did have a question earlier because I was saying about lap quilts. And so if you are a carer for somebody um, and you take them out, say, in a chair, in a wheelchair, and they need something over their lap just to give them a bit of extra warmth, this is great, but please do not use this for 
quilt making to actually sleep underneath in bed at night because you need to be able to regulate your body temperature so it's quite important that this would just be a little lap quilt if you're somebody that you know goes out in the evening and does a bit of stargazing and just wants something over their lap to keep them warm then this is great but please do not sleep in it and also do not make children's oh, I see. sleeping yeah. bags from it we needed that on saturday ben and ash and myself I know. we were stargazing in the fields and then... i was just jealous over the food Oh. Sorry, it was the food. Ah, oh, Ash is the best cook. Uh, right, of course, 016887 is the item number for the two meter by 62 inches, 20 pounds and 40 pence is your price. Two thirds of the stock has gone. Now, if you wanted to go for one meter of it, we have that one also in the stock. So, of course, the details are here. 583934 is your item number. 10 pounds and 20 pence. I mean, like you were saying, the price is incredibly low. So affordable. Half the stock has gone uh, as well for the meter of the thermal fleece. The thermal fleece. Now, another uh, bozal? Bozal? Bozal. bozal. Uh, this is craft text. Uh, text. Now, this is the scallop basket uh, that we are looking at, and you are getting two of them, uh, brand new today. And now, this is one of those products that Bozal, uh, Bozal uh, does so well, right? That it's just different to anything else. This is what I love about Bozal. So they pre-cut their products that they, um, that they have at the factory, which is great. So it means that um, there's lots of different pattern designers out there that will then um, go to Bozal Bob and say, can you pre-cut everything that I need um, to make this kit so you don't have huge great big pieces and this is one of them so this is a scallop basket and so you've got this amazing scallop shape it's using craftex which is this double-sided fusible it feels very rough there's nothing soft and snuggly about this but i will be showing you how to cut this and how to make your baskets it is so easy and um it's a great product. It's a great, great product. It's, and you can make two baskets out of this. So two baskets as a gift is great. It is for £17.50 yeah, as well. Yeah, it's amazing. Very useful as well around the home as well once it's assembled. Oh, um, they are so good. Could so you do different um, heights as well? Because if you cut two scallops in them. Yes. So I'm just going to oh. show you. Shall I show you now or shall I show you? Oh, yeah, yeah, let's see it. Let's see it. So we were saying earlier about the, these shows are done a little bit differently because we don't actually make a specific thing. It's all about the education of each of item. So I will show you how I would Perfect. tackle this. So you've got this beautiful scalloped edge. And I never know whether it's scalloped or scalloped. So I would say it's scalloped. Scalloped? But, um, I don't know. I'm not the English person here, so... I don't know. English I don't know whether it's scalloped or scalloped. Scallop oh. just sounds like you've scalloped somebody. It sounds a bit vicious. Yeah, <laughs> sounds a little bit. <laughs> it does. So when I get my piece, I would cut out a corner. Right. On each corner. Now, depending on the depth of what you would like your side to be, yeah. is depending on how much Many you cut scallop. away. Yeah. So say you were to cut, um, I don't know, one and a half, you can see straight Absolutely. away that it would be, that. again, it would be slightly deeper. Yeah. Now, if you wanted a firmer basket, you could actually glue the two pieces of this together, so then it's an even more sturdy Third, basket. Yeah. But because I like to make the most, yeah. I would prefer to make two baskets and then maybe take a template of one and, and so exactly with the, oh. yeah you see this one. so i line up i'm just using a biro you don't need any chalk markers or anything with this i'm just using a biro and i'm just using this um i'm just going to take away this edge And then I'm also going to do the same with this one. And so, you know, it, it has this rough feel to it. And the rough feel is the glue that's on there. 
So basically, we if we didn't want to, we didn't wouldn't have to sew. If, if, if. You don't have to sew. You don't have to sew, but I quite like to cover the edges. Right. And I like to do the um, zigzag, close zigzag, satin stitch all the way around, just to make it look really pretty. And when I would do that is when I fused my fabrics before I've put it together. So I'm going to show you this part and then we'll do a little bit of fusing. And like I say to you, you know, the, the thing that I love and have always loved about um, Bozal is the products are so clever. Yeah. And the whole, the glue doesn't melt on the other side still yeah. works for this. So if, if we, don't, we don't have to iron or press our fabric from both bottom and top, exactly. so we can choose later. Look at that, you see, it's great. You, you're learning so much every time yeah. and I absolutely love it. I, like it. I, love it. I love doing shows with you because I learn so much and I <laughs> hope everybody at home as well. So I now take my ruler and I just pop it across side to side just to really have that mark so I know where my folds are going to be. I just like it to all go beautifully. And as I say, you can see that it's quite a stiff, you know, it's very stable in itself, which Craftex itself is great for your bag bottoms and stability. And also it will give it like, a, you know, that rigidity that you need to hold things in there as well. Yes, so, so yeah, exactly. Great for it all around the home as well. So the next thing we're going to do, now my iron is, um, I, it, this is probably one of those projects which is better done with a bigger iron. But I'm going to show you with this um, little one. The other thing to remember is this is this is hot it's going to be hot okay because we're melting a glue and um we also just need to make sure that's all lined up well if i was at home i would be fusing with something on top so i would probably have something underneath just to protect my ironing board even though this side isn't going to melt it's just if any of the glue seeps around the top. So I would have something on the base right. um, to pre protect my ironing board. And I would have a cloth on top, right. again, just to protect because the glue is hot when it melts. And you're going to have a hot iron. I don't like steam, but that's personal okay. preference yeah. to myself. And you're going to do almost a press and hold technique. Right. So we are going to go across the line and we are, I can, I can feel where it is. And you can already see here, look, it's already, right. it's already fusing. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's, it's amazing. Yeah. So it doesn't need to require that much, you know, a strong or a specific iron with a no, lot of... Uh, no, you don't need anything strong or specific, but I just wanted to show you that this top is hot. Right. This is fine. You know, you can still hear that glue on there. Yeah, it hasn't transferred Whereas all the heat. you can't hear the glue as well on the top because the glue's melted. Do you have to test it a little bit, like see if it removes quickly or, or do you just, you know, do you just go I over it? I would always test a little bit depending on the fabrics that you're using. So I, I've just, have I got, yeah. I would always test, always. If for any reason you've got a bit of a pucker, Right. Heat it back up again by pressing your iron and you can pull it back you can, uh, because the glue will remelt. Yeah. Okay. So it acts like an adhesive kind of yeah. reheats us. And but if, if that's the case and we want to put uh, something, so I suppose that the heat would, of the, the iron would be so high that yes. nothing else would be no. as high as that. No, and also once it's all sewn and attached, it, it's not really going to come apart. Yeah. You can do some sewing on there if you wanted to, no problem. I was thinking, for instance, if we use this as a, what do you say in, in English, uh, salvamenteles, um, 
you know, to to to, to basically over a tablecloth so it doesn't the, the heat doesn't damage the um, the tablecloth. Yeah, table protected. That's table it. Thank protector. you. Uh, so um, now, of course, so that um, we, could we use these materials or for it? Like the, the one that you are using? Yes. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, yeah. you could use. You just need to be a little bit aware that the glue does get hot. Okay, the glue does get hot on there, and it can it can seep. Yeah. So it's mm -hmm. not that it seeps as into a liquid. But it, sometimes some, you can yeah, just feel it, it that it's is. moved. Yeah. But the glue isn't going to melt on the other side. You just need to be careful. And so, I mean, with this, this is, you know, this is, I can't hold my hand on it. Yeah. But underneath, the it's glue hasn't fine. melted. It's so that will work. I, I think that would work really nicely as well as a, ta uh, a table protector. Uh, now, of course, if you want yours, a 664, a 664, oh, I like that number. Uh, 17 pounds and 50 pence is your, uh, your price, of course. Uh, now, that is brand new today, but now we are moving on to exclusives to here, the craft store. Now, this looks completely random but it is of course <laughs> there is a tote bag in here as well uh now this is exclusive to the craft store now i'm so Sasha. excited for this. oh i see yeah it. i am so excited for this project so we were the first to bring in the actual felt in the piece okay, okay. so the actual piece of felt that we bought to you a couple of months ago wasn't pre-cut so you could do whatever you wanted with it this is ready pre-cut. All you need to do is weave it and hand tack around the top to yeah. keep it in place or fabric glue it or put it through the machine, completely up to you. So if you're not a machinist, you can still make your own basket just by, don't look at my awful tacking stitches, um, <laughs> just by hand tacking around the top. Yeah. Now you can turn this into a handbag really, really easily or you can take like we've all got loads of these trims at home yeah and so the idea is this is so new that i haven't actually had a chance to finish this yet there's so many possibilities so you could there. put your trim and it's a, such a solid construction as well because it feels it's very sturdy. amazing but you're you're making a really really sturdy bag or sturdy i've got some leather in here somewhere oh. Um, you're making a really sturdy bag or storage and of course this is so yeah. in for storage at the moment yeah. magazines uh, kind of the corner. I also think it's a brilliant uh, you know around the house like for instance uh, shopping bags in there you can have it in the car even you know the stability yeah. that it has they Sometimes. are apps I, ju I just love them I just, yeah, I just think this is the one that I was really excited about so when you get your pack home you are getting, if you've never done any weaving before, it's so good. So, you are getting, and you'll see there's like different colour to each side really. One side's a bit more fluffy, which I like the fluffy side. One side's um, a bit flatter. And so you will see, this is the base. Yeah. Okay. And obviously, this is your base, so it will be going up like so right. okay yeah then we have got the parts that go up the side right and then we have got your actual storage bag however you look at it which is this part oh, here I see yeah so it almost goes together like so. Yeah. And so this would go like here. You would then weave your side pieces ah, up. Right, so one intertwining. Exactly, yeah. it is so easy. And then these weave up through the top, these weave up through the back, and these weave up through the side. And it is so easy because Everything, look, has been pre-cut. Yeah. And you have got your edges okay. are not cut, Perfect. so you're not having to worry here. Once you start weaving your um let me see, once you start weaving your fabrics in, 
like so if i can just show you very yeah. very quickly yeah. so you intertwine like you kind of go in and out in and out yeah and then like that yeah so and then that one will go in there and so you carry around you just carry on you know, there and then the no, next one will be a different, a different just, yeah, slot. That one's going to be a different one, perfect. isn't it? So that one's going to go there, that one's going to go in there, that one's going to go. And so the tighter you get them together, yes. the easier they pull together. And this is where you want your really nice long pins. But you're getting this awesome weaving effect. Perfect. And it takes a little bit of time to keep your tension and to keep it nice and tight. But when it's done, it is just... It is all, I absolutely love it. No, and I have the fluffier side out on mine, so it can wear a little yep, bit. I perfect. quite like that worn. Yeah, lovely. So it has got uh, two different sides as well. 668095 is your item number. And of course, £24.95 is your price for the woven felt tote bag. And remember, this one is an exclusive to the craft store. Now, another talking about another exclusive to the craft store, of course, we have a uh, bozel. Uh, oh, Oh, can I pronounce that? Katahdin. Katahdin. Oh, it's like a mountain range. Yes, I can. Katahdin. Uh, now, they are 12 by 12 pre-cut square, wedding squares. Now, I know for what I would use them, but how, what was the intention behind 12-inch uh, squares? So, I'd asked for some pre-cut pre squares for fat quarters or for people that were doing um, applique blocks, quilt as you go. Um, when we're doing blocks in a quilt, we tend to do them 8 by 8, 10 by 10, 12 by 12. And so it means if you haven't got anywhere to store a huge amount of wadding, of these are actually pre-cut for you. That's a really good it, idea. Honestly, it is such an amazing thing. And they come in a Ziploc yeah. as well. And then you can go to your sewing class, you can go to your workshops, your so soft as well it is so luxury soft and then you can do your 12 by 12 squares you can pop your um, background your yeah. backing and then you can applique your shapes onto the front and then you can quilt as you go so you would applique you would um, zigzag or um, satin stitch around all of those shapes that you've done and then you would do a front and back sashing together which is yes. called quilt as you go which is quite difficult if you haven't actually got your wadding in your shapes cut yeah. correctly everything so having them pre-cut correctly it makes the makes whole it so difference, much easier it? because to do quilt as you go you don't want any wadding overhanging yeah so this means you have got the perfect size and they're just great for classes yeah and i love the idea of uh, of course that because Wadding can be very scary, especially in the larger size. And if you're quilting as you go, this is a fabulous idea. Now, uh, we are 60% of the stock already gone from the Katari. Katari? I always go Katari. 100% uh, cotton, organic cotton, and lofty hand as well. Uh, now, I have got some news. Uh, if you wanted uh, 15 pence or 75 pence is your price. But we have got some news about the uh, buyer's binding. Now, uh, we are now limited stock. Once they're gone, they're gone. And you can see that here, that, of course, uh, you can see it there. Well, kind of. Anyway, makes sense. Let's put it there. Uh, you can see that you are going to get a lucky dip of, uh, of course, a lucky dip of colours. So, but you are going to get five of them, and of course, the colours uh, may vary, but 33 um, meters in each of them. One two nine eight uh, to eight six three is your item number. Limit the stock. Grab yours while we have them in the stock. They always do sell out, so if you want yours, make sure to you can uh, you get them. And as Sasha was saying, this is the last time that it will be in this price that we cannot get they more. They won't be ever this low price ever again. I can guarantee that they will not be this low price. The price is so cheap, and um, this is why they've always gone so well. And even I've ordered them. Haley's ordered them lots of times because we can't even get five rolls of 33 meters on each roll at this costing. So I've got a few colors on the table in front of me. You've got a few colors as well. So yeah. it will be a pick and mix of lots of different colors for you. 
It is. It is a lucky day. You can see, I mean, I love the colors that you are getting, that you can see here, but of course the colors will vary depending on, uh, you know, which your, your lucky day, but it will be five of them. You can see it's one, uh, is it a kind of, uh, it's it one centimeter or how the width, is it half an inch? It's about three quarters of an inch, inch and it goes down to half an inch, I think. Of course, when it falls in. Uh, right, of course, uh, grab yours. Remember, limited stock, 14 pounds and 99 pence. And once they are gone, they are gone. Right, moving on to the, oh, look at this. The um, final exclusive to the craft store uh, is the Chef's Mitt. Uh, now, this is really cool because, again, this is a material that is quite special, isn't it? It's a really special wadding that's inside here so this is a polyester wadding but it's very very dense it's specific specially specifically treated for firemen's uniforms and um, it means that they are protected up to 450 wow. degrees Fahrenheit wow. so actual American firemen wear this inside their outfits so this Uniforms. is kind of almost like, you know, the best uh, it heat is. resistant. It is so heat resistant. So with these chef mitts, um, we did a demo on this morning's 11 o'clock show, so you can always go back and have a look. But you do need, don't think that because you're getting two yeah. in the pack that you can make two. No, no, it's just one. It's just one mitt. Really, really simple to make. Fully washable. So we, so we can put it onto the washing machine. Put it into the washing machine. The only thing that I will say is if you decide to quilt one side, you have to remember that you have then permeated the wadding. Right. So you have put holes into it. Oh. So you then have to be aware that it obviously wouldn't be as heat as it was yeah. before. But it's still a very good protection. So would you recommend not to quilt it? To just no, kind of... you can quilt one side, but I would have ah. that on the outside. Yeah. And then I wouldn't have any quilting on the on inside. The inside. Yeah. And so it... if you are right-handed, you would have it, the quilting on the that side in here. Yes. Which is, yes. And if you are left-handed, the other side. Exactly. Exactly that. Would, would you would you and then uh, make sure that you have a different fabric either side? Like, for instance, I would, because that way it's very obvious. Like, for instance, I would have my side, uh, for instance, red here. So that's the hot side. Yes. And then you maybe a cool blue on the outside. It's, yeah, that's a really, really good idea. So, you know, and again, it is, it's so hot inside here it really is warm inside here it's the most amazing feel to it i can't get across how it actually feels it's like a firm memory foam i'd say yeah. because you can actually leave your fingerprint markings in it and it's really dense but it's soft and you can like this morning show you saw me sew through two layers of this and fabrics and the, the sewing machine had no problem whatsoever um, I would take my stitch length up a little bit but it's such a great idea and um, yeah but it really really is warm in there um, if it would. And of course, the fact that it's heat resistant, like to those high temperatures, uh, makes a lot of sense. Exactly. And especially if you want to do maybe a special gift, and you know when do you want to, them to be oh, safe. Yeah, that's Seventeen pounds. Really lovely is a gift. It would, wouldn't it? Yeah, really lovely. Seventeen pounds and ninety-five pence is your price. Uh, One nine six and nine six eight is your item number. Also, work. I can say I love um, a chef's mitt that is actually proper length because yes, oven. You know exactly. And I always have this issue with when they say oven gloves and they come to here. Yeah. They come to here and I always catch my arm on the trays yeah. because I do so much cooking at home. <laughs> but when I take the trays out, I always catch my arms under the trays yeah, where exactly. it's hot yeah. on the wire racks. Yeah. So yeah, it's a really, really good I length. I love that. Uh, now, of course, uh, we have got the details there, £17.95, and, and that's all the last of the exclusive uh, for the craft store. But we have got more for you now. T we have got the pot holder. Now, is this the same sort of material? Exactly the same. So this would be great because you're actually getting two of these okay. for that price. So you're actually getting a real bargain. You're getting two of these um, for the price that's on screen. And you can see there how beautifully thick but soft it is. It's it not is. 
it doesn't feel rough or hard or it's no, so it's soft. like marshmallow firm marshmallow oh yes it is like a firm marshmallow yeah. i think but so you could actually make your pot holders so these are for to go in your kitchen on the sideboard for your um pots your yeah. hot dishes anything like that to go on but then you could match them to your chef's mitt you yeah. could match your fabrics yeah. and um i was saying earlier the the book that you can actually get as well we will be bringing to you as soon as possible yeah. but you can actually make there's 52 different um patterns in there for different pot holders and uh, i mean this is just one of them that i've done um so it just goes to show you know, i mean you could do any thing. block that is a 10 you by 10 could you any you? block you wanted anything you could again would you would you them. do minimal quilting to protect the uh, the thermal um what i would do it's a really good point so if you were doing your blocks on top i would piece my block yeah then i would place this on top i would put the backing on the back right and then i would sew all the way around very close to the edge and yeah. then do a binding so and then not, not quilting in the middle no yeah. if you do want to do any quilting in the middle to attach your block and all the way through i would do very small amount because you don't okay. need to do very much whatsoever Perfect. Now, uh, thank you so much, Sasha, for that explanation. 890782 is your item number. 999 is your price. Remember, you are getting two of the 10 by 10 heat resistant, extreme heat resistant. Uh, of course, you can see the part holder there. Or it could be for other stuff, of course, not just for the kitchen. Uh, now, you're going to see uh, there you are getting two of them. Now, and remember, it's being 10 inches square means that there is lots of blocks that will be perfect for that. Now, we have also more for you. And and then this is a bolt, uh, a 10 inch bolt of uh, the, is it the craft text um, that we are, yeah, we are. Yeah, this is the craft text in its raw form. So this is how you would get it without it being cut into any shapes. But so it's great for the bottoms of bags. Of course, you yeah. were saying. Dressmaking, because people that make hats, oh, the flowers, yeah, they love this product. Um, if you're somebody that does 3D sculptures, 3D textile art sculptures. They, they can, use a yeah, lot of this for the power form. Or, or the power tags. Yeah. yeah. I also I was thinking this is a really good as well for, um, you know, like all those those boxes that you, well, not boxes, like kind of the, you, you, the scallop ones that you were showing. So you could do that. Also, I have got a question uh, because I think these with the steel ruled eyes would be able to die cut as well. Do you think? Yeah. If you've got a steel one, I would think it's not. Yeah, a the steel ones. Yeah, because yeah. Uh, then I'm kind of thinking that you could die cut as shapes, and then uh, you create like a, um, Christmas decorations as well. Uh, well, this is what we use for Christmas decorations. So we can you can use this for Christmas decorations. Like you say, the steel ones would go through beautifully because I cut this really well with scissors, so it wouldn't be a problem um, to go through. But also for your um, etuis, your sewing boxes, your, um, I'm sure they're called etuis, and then you've got like the folding boxes that sort of all fold down um, as you sort of take the lid off. So all these beautiful little um, boxes that you can do and things like that, I would use craft text for. Oh, yeah, perfect. Uh, right, if you want yours, uh, 499 uh, 415 is your item number. 13 pounds and 95 pence is your price. And there's, uh, I, you know, if you are thinking which product to go for and you're in the side of between the scallops and this one, I think this is even two of them as well. And I kind of just kind of go, can I hide there? Can I hide there? You know, like kind of mean that. Uh, by the way, we have got the binding, of course. Remember, it is a limited stock. And now uh, less than a handful now. So if you want yours, make sure to check out your baskets. It will be selling out soon. Uh, it always does. It is a, an amazing low price, £14.99. You are going to get a lucky tip in terms of colors. Uh, but of course, you are going to get five bias binding that they are the same width, all of them. But they are 33 three meters so an amazing amount of ice binding that you can use for your uh, sim, uh, you know, kind of dress making, but also Mac making and so much more. Once they're gone, they're gone. There is no more uh, unextended. If you want yours, grab it. Check out those baskets details on the screen for this one. One two nine eight six three is your item number. Now I remember somebody sent me a lot of wording uh, <laughs> during, uh, of course, uh, lockdown the last year for, and you you said that there's. 
Well, nothing like this boarding, is it? Sorry, I'm still trimming. Oh, you're I'm, trimming. I'm trimming. Oh, I'm trimming the meters. Scarlet. You are getting two meters, 96 <laughs> inches wide. There is Have nothing like this, honestly. This yeah. is why I sent this yeah. to you. It's so soft. It's so beautiful. This has a really beautifully um, wonderful firm handle to it. And it means that it's quite flat in its actual yeah. feel. So you can use it for wall hangings. You can use it for runners for things like that on your bed. But also for quilts, it's really snuggly underneath. It washes beautifully. It's pre-shrunk, so you don't so have you to don't worry. Have to worry. Yep. It's 80-20, so it's cotton blended. It has very, very limited scrim in there. You can actually see the yeah. needle punch lines yeah. in there where the actual wadding's been put together. And so you don't have to worry about there being any nasties in there yeah. at all. It feels very homogenous as well. Like it has been very well treated as well. And what I love about it is that it feels that it could be, you don't have to even quilt it to be, like you so can just want to rub. It? And it's a massive, I mean, why do we want to have a two meters by 96 inches? Because of all those projects we do. So if you think if you've got quilts and most people sort of do 60 by 50 inch quilt sizes, you want a really good width on there so that you've got some left over for bags, for other projects. But also, the more wadding you buy, the better the price it is for you as well. So, you know, a, a two metre piece at this price is such good value to you. I don't know how we've done it this low. I really yeah. don't. You know, because it is such a named, named brand. Yeah, it it's is. It's Bozal, it's Arcadia, it's 96 inches wide. It's just a beautiful wadding. It's it my is. favorite. And also kind of for, is it a kind of a universal in terms of, uh, so we were talking about different temperatures, like kind of a sleeping, sometimes you, you know, what sort of heat uh, we will get from this? So it would be a winter kind of quilt or it would be all year round? So this would be, for me, this is the, what I would have on the sofa if I get a little bit chilly. Okay. Okay. So like that autumn, spring. Yeah. Okay. In the summer, I would possibly just have this on the bed, nothing else. Okay. Okay. Yeah. In the winter, I would have my duvet yeah. and, and this. As well. I don't like anything on me that's too high a tog. I like to be able to remove layers if uh, I get too yes, hot. Yes, that makes sense. Um, Put the aircon on, Ben, <laughs> before I start removing layers. But no, it, in it's about that. I think it's always best to be able to go in a little bit lighter yeah. than what you might necessarily do. Um, it's great for baby quilts as right. well. You can use this because it's quite fine. Anything, um, Any child over two years, you can put this in a baby quilt. Um, any wadding, to be quite honest, isn't recommended for under a year old anyway. Um, but over two years is absolutely fine for this. And the washing, chuck it in the washing machine, chuck it in the tumble dryer, wait till it's 70, 80% dry, hang it on the washing line and it just plumps up. It's really beautiful. And this will be a um, hereditary quilt. This yeah. will be something you will pass on and pass on because the wadding is such good quality. Um, I, I will say one thing that also, uh, you know, one of the joys of soft crafting, quilting and everything is that how tactile it is, how it enjoy with the beautiful fabrics, with the beautiful things. And sometimes some waddings are like, you know, I don't yes. like to touch it. With this, I cannot keep my hands on it. I'm, I'm like, I'm a like stroke it. You know, I'm like, I'm just like, you know, I'm just kind of. And that's the thing. There are some waddings out there that I see that I think mm, it's really not good. You know, they've yeah. got when they've got lots of brown markings in them or lots of brown flecks, it's because it's got an awful lot of scrim in there. And at Marin, we are very, very aware of climate change we're very aware of our carbon footprint we do everything that we can to keep these things down and this is one of them as well because obviously it hasn't got all those nasties in there it's made really well and it's durable and of course you are getting two meters of it by 96 inches wide i mean 
I know, the only sorry. thing you should have... I could go on for yeah, what about well, wadding for ages. You, you talk, <laughs> keep talking, I'll keep stroking it. I mean, it's just that soft, it is that beautiful. Uh, three, four, eight, five, one, six is your item number. Twenty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence is your price. Now, of course, uh, I need to give you an update about the bias binding. Now, a couple are hanging on by a thread. So if you want your lucky dip of five uh, gorgeous uh, colors, it will be lucky dip of the colors, but you are going to get five of them, 33 meters, and of course, the same width of them. Uh, one, two, nine, eight, six, three is your item number. Now, price-wise, you know, we are not sure that we can bring that price ever again at that lower price, but whatever, what we know is that there is no more unextended delivery. So if you want yours, you know what to do. Check out those baskets and don't miss out. It is a lucky dip in terms of color, so you may get some of the cool ones, some of the pencils, but you are going to get five of them. Uh, and now, it is a technical sellout. If you have it in your baskets and you check out right now, you will get it. Otherwise, you will miss out. You don't want to miss out, do you? No. Check out those baskets. Anyway, I don't know why I'm whispering. It's a secret. It's a secret. Yeah, don't mess out. Anyway, uh, let's talk about the lightweight. Oh, maybe I was whispering because we are going to lightweight. Lightweight. Lightweight, soft. Uh, lightweight, a fusible interfacing. Now, here you are getting the white one, a three meters by 150 centimeters. Uh, what do we use it for, um, Sasha? So, primarily, interfacing has always been for dressmakers to make the fabrics they're working with a bit more stable to be able to work with difficult fabrics give it a bit of stability and actually change the handle of the fabric so it's not so slippy or if they're stretch or you know there's a interfacing there for it but as time's gone on quilters and patchworkers have taken it on for bag making i mean i was using this one last night on one of the shows I was doing for one of the um, storage pots I was making. So again, it's really important to play around with all these different things. Now the white is obviously fusible one side, so it's single-sided fusible. It's great for all those lighter um, fabrics. So it could be your Liberty Lawns, oh, yeah. it could be your Georgettes, it could Ooh. be just the shirt that you're wearing that you just want yeah. to give it a little bit more is it, stability is it for colors as well or for you know cuffs as well would we use them Col colors cuffs um, where your oh, buttons yes. are as well to give it that bit that, of stability yeah. because those are the areas that will wear quite quickly so things like buttonholes as well things like machine embroidery if you're somebody that does machine embroidery and you want to have that stability of that fabric we use um, interfacing there Again, if you're someone that does red work or hand embroidery, you, you like it on the back of a linen. I use this so on the back if, of my linens. If you are doing a, maybe a project, an embroidery project, and you want to add beads and things like that, but you don't want maybe so, some calico, for instance, and yes. you know that it's not going to take that much weight into it, could we put that in yes. the bag? Yeah. And that will give it a little bit it, more. It will just give it a li little bit more, like you say. And I'm doing sashiko at the moment. I'm quite into oh, sashiko. I, I like that. Yeah. But I don't so want to waste calico on the back because how right. the sashiko with the fabric they do it is they just have a normal piece of fabric on the back and then their sashiko on the front. You're right. Um, whereas I've used this on the back. Just as, so you're not wasting that in middle layer, more, basically. Well, because the piece of fabric that they give you to go on the back is actually it's rather lovely. Could be the back of my cushion ah. or the back of what I'm, you know, it, I it think makes it's sense. Waste there. It may that make sense. And now, of course, if you want to go for the white option, seventeen pounds and ninety nine pence. Well, basically, it's one paula one way and two paulas <laughs> the other way. That's how big it is. Uh, one two six uh, two five nine is your item. Oh, I owe, you, I owe Lily a fiver now. It, oh, you <laughs> just said it. I said it. She said, oh, she said. It it'd be measured by Paola and I said no we'll be too busy and she went yeah it'd be measured by Paola's this afternoon somewhere and I purposely didn't say to measure in Paola's oh <laughs> so now we know I, I did it I it's just because it's very easy there. It's just like, well, anyway, we have got the black option here as well. So, uh, now of course, this one is again the same size, three by 150 centimeters. Four to one zero five six is your item number. Now, it's exactly the same product, isn't it? Exactly we the same product, but for your darker 
fabrics. So, for instance, if I was to remake the shirt I'm wearing, uh, so for instance, the color as well, you know, might need a little bit of stabilizing, that would be perfect, perfect in black. So your blues, your navies, anything like that. I would use the black, Perfect. definitely. Uh, £17.99 pence is your prize. Uh, then we have, as well, we have got the grey, so though, the charcoal. It so really is. I have never seen charcoal grey interfacing before. It's amazing. And obviously, this is only 90 centimetres wide, so okay. that's the price difference there. Right. Um, but I've never seen grey before. It's brilliant. And it still is self, like, uh, you know, you heat it in one it's side, still it's fusible. So this is great for those jerseys, jogging oh, suits, that sort of thing. Because sometimes you don't want white because it's too white. You don't want the black it's because it's too dark. Wide. You want something in the middle. I, I, I have a great impression. I have got a dress that I bought last year, and it's one of my favorite dresses. I paid a lot of money, and it's coming off it. Like, the fabric has kind of, it was a very, very thin cotton. Now, if I, it luckily is it's kind of coming undone where I usually wear the belt so that would be covered but I want to protect it could I stabilize it like this and then make sure that it kind of has yes. a lot more rigidity yeah I would definitely no, sort of thing. undo a little bit yeah, more and do put some so interfacing together in. yeah in. would you put the interfacing I mean I'm asking the question because I really need this uh, would you put the interfacing and then sew it yes right so unpick yeah a, you know, not just a couple of inches. Yeah, no, no, no. Like I would have to inches, do the holes, yeah. yeah. And then, I mean, if you can, undo right the way along the front. Yeah. And then iron on, fuse on your interface. Both sides. Both sides. And then sew it in. Right, I need this one. Uh, 361928 is your item number. £14.99 pence is your price. Now, I know that you have got a demo prepared for us. Uh, yep. Is it the, which one is it? So we're going to go back to the scallop basket. Perfect. We have got about 10 minutes left. Okay, that's all right. So as you can see, I'm just cutting and trimming this. Okay. And it's really, really easy to trim all of these it's quite therapeutic actually because i'm normally using a rotary cutter and i'm just going up to the edge to cut these fabrics away okay i, I love you know i love how these projects make starting up with soft crafting with fabrics and you so easy because they give you like kind of an idea where you want to go but i have got a question um to just to make sure if i did a kind of a patchwork design mm -hmm. uh could i also glue it there or would the seams would um make it a little bit more difficult to attach it no nope. No problem whatsoever. So you could do your patchwork design, you would just fuse it on like I'm doing, and then you would just stitch around the outside. So you Perfect. could do squares, you can do whatever design you want to. If you wanted to use all your scraps for this, it's no problem. Um, you can see that I've cut all the way around. Yeah. Been, well, not all the way around, but I've done this side, for example. And then I would give it another fuse, just to make sure that those edges are really nicely fused okay, yeah. and sticking that's when you then move on to the other side and this is when you would fuse your second side when all of this is cut right okay now at that point when this has been fused with fabric so we'll pretend that we've already fused it right. okay when this has all been fused we would go back and take our ruler and we would just fold again, again at those lines and we already have done that as well so it means that we are just reinforcing exactly those we are just reinforcing we're making it remember basically yeah. that that's what we were doing and you're just going to go all the way around and make sure because if it is going to pucker a little bit or if it is going to come away you will then see like here that maybe I need to fuse that a little bit more because I don't want as much of um, a crease in the fabrics. And then to the last side. And obviously you would have, um, your fabric would be on both sides. Don't forget that. The next part you're going to do is you're actually going to do your blanket stitch, okay? Now you do this at this point because I find it easier than when you've actually made the basket, okay? So while it's nice and flat, take your time, go all the way around 
these curves. I would take your zigzag stitch down to maybe, let me have a look what I set it to on here. So on here, I have it preset at um, 2.2 and 0.5 on my machine, but this is a Janome. So have a play around and see what you think you want it to be. If I grab some fabric a sec. So, okay. for example, I've got a piece of craft text here and a piece of fabric. Okay. And it's, it's all about just playing around and seeing what size is best for you. And also, how far off the edge you want so, it to I go. suppose once you cut the scallop off, the corner one, that's a perfect because you will get four scallops basically. That's a perfect tester as well. It is, and this is why I find it really important to test and play with these things. Yeah. Like I'm just going to show you. Right, hold on, my machine's having a moment. Oh. Yeah, is, is, she got, is she being shy, the machine? Ah, there we go. Here we go. We're on a roll now. Oh, I just had a question. I don't know. I mean, it's a completely random. But is a machine feminine or masculine? Um, mine's bunty, so mine's, mine's feminine, I suppose. Hmm. It's, uh, it's in Spanish, we, uh, by the word itself, already automatically has a, it's feminine, so... Just kind of anyway, random thing, thoughts that cross Paula's mind. Random thoughts that pop into your yeah. head. All right, so you are doing. Look at that, but it's so smooth. So this is going through the craft text. Right. So let me just take that up a little bit. I just want to make sure that you can actually see it really, really well. So let's start this side again. So this again is going through the craft text. Okay. It's on the edge, so it's going across the craft text. So I'm quite happy with that size for my zigzag. Right. Because if I wanted it any bigger, right. I could make it bigger or I could make it smaller. I could use a variegated thread. This is personal preference, okay? This is completely up to you. You know, there's nobody out there that's going to knock on your door and say that you use the wrong zigzag stitch. So these scraps, always keep them to have a play around with. Right. So Perfect. I would then take my basket. I'm going to line up towards the edge of the craft text. And I would go over this sort of two or three times just because... I like the effect so, of it being a bit thicker with colour. And will it also make it more robust because we can give it a good, you know, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, because you're, you're protecting those edges. You're protecting the edges, you're not having to worry about them coming away. It's not the best because it's not very tidy because I haven't done it, but as you can see, yeah, you'd perfect. want to go over it two yeah. or three times. So then if I was to go over that again, you're going to be getting such a nice crisp finish. Mm -hmm. But this is what I was saying, you know, don't be afraid of this stuff. This is the reason why I got involved with Basil in the beginning, because I was very aware, I was going into shops seeing this stuff and I was saying, yeah. how do you use this? And they were sort of saying, mm -hmm. well, I don't know, you can make this. And it's like, you know, I want the information, I want the education. You know, and then there was one lady I was speaking to who was using, in our form, um, single-sided fusible and couldn't work out why it wasn't sticking on both sides. Well, because it was single-sided fusible yeah. and they told her that she could fuse it on both sides but sold her the wrong product. Right. So I again, see. it's all about the education, and yeah. if you know what you're looking for, whether you're coming here, whether you're going to a show, whether you're going into a shop, you know the basis. You know that you want to fuse your item on both sides, you want to bind it separately, you want to have a firm bottom to your bag, but you don't want firm sides. So this is where education comes into it. 
and it's yeah. really, really important. So you would carry on going all the way around doing your zigzag stitching. And then when you are all complete, don't worry, I will be um, picking this grey. It's only so you can see it at home. I will do this beautifully in blue for next time. So because you have pre-worn those lines, you are then putting these corners together, yeah. okay? And how I do it is I place my corners together. I pop a pin somewhere in here. I use the same colour thread and then I hand stitch and hand tack these together because it's the best way that I find to be able to do yeah. these corners. And again, you would just keep going around and around and doing each side. But this is why it, they are so easy and they are so beautiful when they are done. And they make such great gifts for people as well. They you know, beautiful. they could have a basket, you could make them a pot holder and an oven mitt. All of the same, you know, if somebody's just moved into a new home, it's beautiful. It is. It, I, I, well, you know, I, I moved about six months ago, <laughs> eight months ago. Do I count? So can I get one? So you want a basket, an oven mitt? Yeah, and yeah, one, the full, the full set. The and full a, set. And a quilt as well. The full and set. Now, we have got just about a minute. So, Sasha, thank you so much uh, for joining us today. Now, of course, the poly fleas are very busy for uh, this, uh, polyform, sorry. Uh, now, of course, this one, you are getting two meters by 62 inches 20 pounds and 40 pounds for it and this one is perfect if you are going to do also i was thinking a uh, picnic blanket or a picnic uh, you know something that you can take also back a tote bag it would be a perfect project for that 016887 is your item number remember to check out your baskets now sasha when are you back i am back September the 11th. Uh, it's somebody who is getting married. <laughs> uh, somebody is getting married. Well, uh, we want to see you before your wedding. So no. from all of us, uh, have a wonderful wedding. Oh, thank Long you. time coming. Uh, Lily yes. as well will be there, right? So yeah, get her by my side. We will share the pictures and check out your baskets as well. Love a good wedding. Uh, vintage paper with uh, Cora Crea craft after the break, then got power and emboss one day special, and then a five spice kitchen. Hello, my name's Stuart, and I'm the managing director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family run business, and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. Kay Fassett is a distinguished artist, designer and author who has used his background in knitwear design to create an expanding range of bold and beautiful fabric prints for the patchwork market. I will be bringing you a wide selection of beautiful fabrics at fantastic prices. This is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line. 
and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. Hello and welcome. Uh, lovely to have your company. My name's Leona and I'm really looking forward to this hour. We have got some absolutely beautiful products on the show. Um, it's honestly, it's really tempting to not just be like, oh, one of these, one of these. They're all absolutely gorgeous. And we've got a lovely guest waiting in the wings. She is going to be on Skype for us. Is she not quite ready yet? Not quite ready yet, but we will be speaking to Coralie in just a few moments' time. Her products are amazing. Please look her up on Instagram uh, because she's got a beautiful, beautiful shop with loads of demonstrations on Instagram. And it is under uh, the Cora Korea Crafts. And Cora Korea um, is basically, obviously her name being short, and Korea is creativity in French, and then it's crafts, of course. Uh, so please do have a look up on Instagram uh, because, yeah, she's got some beautiful, beautiful demonstrations. Demonstrations. Now, it is going to be coming over. The products are coming over from America. So we have got a slight extended delivery. Going to be coming out for, uh, from the 22nd for you. Absolutely 27th, sorry. Um, now, please get ahead of us. Because, on right, my top tips, what you need to look for, the washi tape. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, let's have a look at the web. Because you need this washi. This is absolutely exquisite. Um, the washi sheets, I've never seen anything like them before. They're absolutely phenomenal. The little flowers, the little washi flowers that are on the rolls are beautiful, beautiful. You've got some incredible papers as well, um, some gorgeous, gorgeous stamps. And then we've even got some of the craft boxes. They're really, really beautiful, beautiful. There they are. And look at the stuff you're getting in there. Honestly, they are absolutely gorgeous. Really, really cost effective as well because you're getting some different quality products in this. You know, stuff I haven't seen before. Really, really unusual, unique and the designs are stunning. Um, yeah, have a look. Get ahead of us um, because obviously um, all really, really special. Now, while we wait for the Skype to get sorted, I'm going to take you down the counter. So, first things first, this washi tape. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm sorry I can't open this up, but it is absolutely divine. You have got the most beautiful washi. Can you see that gold foiling on this? This is exquisite. It's so, so pretty. Uh, really beautiful. I mean, look at the bee. Honestly, this this is absolute a must. If you can get more than one, I really, really would. Now, you've got your beautiful big roll of washi tape there, and it is a wide roll of washi. If I show you on the envelope, you'll see just how incredible it looks when it's open. I mean, doesn't that look amazing? That is posh washi, quite frankly. If I turn it the other way, look at that. Oh, man, that is the most beautiful washi tip. You've then got a gorgeous stamp. Now, these are wood-mounted stamps. Um, super detailed, really, really beautiful stamp. And you can see you've got the berry there. You've got the lovely little tag with the fern. I mean, that is so, so elegant and pretty. Now, if you do want this kit, it's only £15.98. pence. Oh, and it's already busy. Uh, 288919. Um, yay, Skype is absolutely working. Phew! Uh, Coralie, it is lovely to have your company. Hello and welcome to the craft store. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm so well. Uh, Coralie, your products are just beautiful. They're so cool. Um, and I've been reading about you and obviously, um, you know, your, your sort of journey going through your brush lettering and then finding paper crafts. Um, I bet you don't know where to stop now, do you? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, I keep finding new ideas and I just love paper crafts. So there's so much, so many possibilities yeah. and uh, I'm really enjoying the journey. Your products are beautiful. Um, the, the washi tape is so special and I love the, the, the washi sheets that you've got. The designs are absolutely exquisite. You've got really good taste. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. And the, do you like wor working with washi as well? Because it gives you that wonderful transparency, doesn't it? Yes, absolutely. I love working with washi. So 
as you saw on the envelope, decorating envelopes, using in my journals or, you know, creating cards. There are just so many possibilities with washi. You can even just cut around a specific shape that you like to use, you know, just a flower yeah. or just the bee. And yeah, there's just so much you can do. So washi tape is probably my favorite of all the, you know, paper craft items. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you've got some, yeah, absolutely beautiful. Thank you ever so much for bringing them here uh, to the craft store. Um, I'll carry on going down the counter. I am going to tell everybody, though, 50% of the stock has already gone with the first item. It's that, it's that washi tape. Honestly, everyone's just gone, oh, my gosh, I need some of that in my life. And that stamp is exquisite, very, very detailed. It's a beautiful little stamp, is this. Um, £15.98, pence, please check your baskets out, 288. 919. Now, next we've got for you, and again, these are lovely, absolutely beautiful, beautiful stamps. So we've got a mixture of all sorts of goodies. I love these because look at the detail on these stamps. These are, again, absolutely exquisite and different. I mean, that dragonfly, I love the kind of, um, it almost looks like your, you know, your symbolism in the back there. Absolutely beautiful, like your geometric pattern in the back. Um, you've got, oh, and the bugs are wonderful, the life of the insects um, there. And then you've got that beautiful kind of collage as well. You've got your script. Um, I really, really like this as well. That bug there is wonderful for the kind of tile. And let me show you these because, um, and please, as I say, have a look on Instagram. Um, because you'll see these actually being made on Instagram, which is lovely. They're like a little ticket book. But how pretty is this? So all your gorgeous images stamped out to make your lovely little ticket book. Honestly, that is so exquisite. Aren't they pretty? And she's done three of these. Say, I love that. What a beautiful idea. And it's different, again, I mean, it might be a mini book, it might be little pieces of ephemera that you're going to rip out and use onto different projects. Um, you might be giving these away to somebody, another crafter, to actually um, to use them on projects. Really, really beautiful. Now, if you want those stamps, they are it's because look at your price. Only for seven stamps, eleven pounds and seventy-five pence. Uh, three seven six seven zero eight is your item number. I'm really sorry, but I need to mention this one. Oh my gosh, it's limited stock already. Okay, less than ten percent. You have to check your basket out. Limited stock. Two eight eight nine one nine. I'm so thrilled with it. I'm so thrilled because when I saw everything, it, honestly, it was I want everything. It, beautiful. Okay. Um, next, now, these are exquisite, and again, different. Um, currently, has really sourced different products for us. Now, what you've got here, can you see, these are like a beautiful washi sticker. So, I won't peel them off, but can you see, that's a separate sticker at the top there. Um, which, and because it's got the washi, you can see underneath it. See what I mean? So, if I move it to the top, so again, you're going to be layering these. These are beautiful so you've got first of all sorry let me just get a little bit of white card so you've got under there you've got your beautiful uh, washi stickers but then you've got and they're kind of your, your transparencies but then you've got your, your it's like a different type of washi so it gives you a different effect so you're getting two sheets here and then i mean look at the designs on these these are exquisite i really like these Look at those, aren't they beautiful? And you're getting two sheets here. When you look at these, you get a lot for your money. Because on one of those sheets, I mean, how many is there? So there's one, two, three, four, 30. So you've got 30 on each sheet. So many beautiful designs. And again, it's how you use them. Like if I show you this, this is so pretty. She makes the most beautiful vintage elements. And just using this just to hold that in place, which it looks gorgeous, but it gives you that really, really different effect. It's really vintage, but but cool. Um, now, if you do want those, only £11.99. A quarter of the stock has gone super busy. 485291 is your item number. Uh, we will be getting back to Coralie uh, shortly. I know she's got a lot of demos lined up, uh, but we are so busy. We do need to give you some of the, the details.
Oh gosh, this is limited stock already. I wonder, oh that is, because Coralie's been on a couple of times, I wonder if you've already bought stuff from her. If you have, I would love to hear from you. Now, these are beautiful. Your decoupage, uh, your background stickers, background stickers. These, these, and I'll just see if I can do it, are a sticker. Look at that. I mean, how cool is that? These are background stickers. I have never seen anything like this, you know. And I've been doing crafting for a fair few years. I've never seen stickers like that. Honestly, they are sensational. And you're getting this beautiful stamp. Just have a look at the detail. I love that she's bringing us wood-mounted stamps. I think that is so gorgeous because he feels so special. Really, really pretty. This is limited stock. No, it isn't. It's gone. Technical sellout um, that has now sold out. Wow, first sellout of the hour. I bet it's not going to be the last. Um, please check your baskets out. Otherwise, if you don't check out, they're not going to be yours. So please check your baskets out. Okay, these. Now, these are absolutely flying out the door. Um, I can't open them up, but apparently it doesn't matter because they're flying anyway. Uh, but, but what you've got on here, so again, these are washy, but they're flowers. So these will just peel off to give you, in fact, if I show you on this envelope, because look at that, because it's that gorgeous washy again, you've got the transparency. You see through them, they look amazing. I mean, I really want these. They are fabulous. Now, you've got your options here. So, you've got the blue, or oh, half the stock has gone here already, eleven ninety nine, or there's the orange. Yeah, I would, if you can, I get both. They're absolutely excellent. And the, the detail of the design is beautiful. You do get a lot on the roll there as well. Um, and for £11.99, pence, honestly, they are absolutely unique and sensational. Um, Nine five four six nine three. We have got a lot of other goodies to show you, uh, but please shop ahead. Please have a look. Please do not miss out because we've already had one sellout. I bet that first item's looking dodgy as well, isn't it? It's just sold out. We've just had two sellouts. Mm -hmm. uh, two sellouts already within the first 11 minutes. So please make sure you check your baskets out. Don't miss out on anything else. Uh, yeah, I knew it would all be very, very busy. Right, we better get back, haven't we? Uh, because lovely Coralie. Um, are you ready to, for a demonstration, Coralie? Yes, I am. Oh, super. Over to you. What would you like to share with us? Right, so you mentioned those little uh, tear-off papers, so I just wanted to show you how, how I made those. Super. So I use different kinds of paper. Uh, you can really, you know, go ahead and, and choose whatever kind of paper you have. Here I have some transparent one and just some plain white paper. Super. And then using the insect stamps that you saw earlier and just adding some ink. And I'm just gonna ink the papers with the stamp. I love the detail so of these. They're, Sorry. They're beautifully detailed, these stamps, Coralie. I, I, they're just really, really different, aren't they? Yes, yes, they are. I really, really like them. Those are, those are very pretty. And they give a really different effect also when you use them on different kinds of paper and different uh, kinds of ink. So that's what I did. And then I simply cut, cut those uh, in smaller pieces to get, you know, something like this. And the, the trick here, if you want to do the tear, the, the little tear, ah, yeah. is to use this this little tool. So you just kind of press it down on here and it gives you a, a little um, indentation oh. and then it's really easy to tear off. Oh, that's cool. So they'll, like, they'll perforate. It's like a little perforation. Yes, exactly. And then I just prepared these little cards. It's, you know, plain cardstock paper. And I added one of these stickers that you saw earlier. So just choosing one here. These are really interesting, Coralie. Um, do they do they tear or can you cut them? Because they, they feel really... I love the, the difference in... You know, one of them's a transparency, but one of them looks more of um, more solid, doesn't it? 
Yes, yes, definitely. You can you can cut through them if you want smaller pieces. But what I like is that they're already kind of small label yeah. pieces. So so the the shape is just perfect for this. And um, I love them because they're brilliant for layering again, aren't they? Yes, definitely. So then I have my little stack of of papers here, uh, which I'll put in here. And I've already perforated uh, through all these papers. And now I just have to um, do the second perforation through through the, the cardstock. Beautiful. I like okay, the trick is to keep it aligned. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure they don't go all over the place. Yeah. Like that. Beautiful. And then I'll just do it from the back. Oh. It's a lovely little gift for another crafter, is this, isn't it? Yes, definitely. So if you like, you know, if you have pen pals or if you like snail mail. Yeah. In general, it's a really good. Yeah. Oh, I just... Um, I'm just going to tell everyone while you're while you're fighting with the paper um, that the stickers are now limited stock as well. Um, if you do want these, it's absolutely flying. Uh, Four eight five two nine one less than ten percent remaining. Remember, I've already had two sellouts. It looks like that's going to be the third. So please uh, don't miss out on those. They are absolutely gorgeous and different. Do you know this is something, um, Coralie? Your your things are really different. I, I think you've managed to. Because the craft industry, we've got so many things that you see, you know, you, you might see again and again, but you've managed to find some really unusual products. They're gorgeous. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's that's kind of my goal to uh, to find the unique, you know, pieces, something different to craft with. That's what I really enjoy. And, mm -hmm. and as you can see, I, I really like the, the vintage style. Yes. Um, so most of my items have this kind of old um, look. So that's definitely what I'm going for. Yeah. And we, I think everybody at home loves them because we've had that many sellouts already. <laughs> <laughs> so the last thing to do is I'm using these little pins um, and putting them through my holes here. Nice. Hopefully I manage, yes. Yay. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then just uh, closing them on the back. Perfect. Oh, that looks and so pretty. I love that idea. Yeah, just as an additional little detail. Um, it's kind of nice. Like that. Let, and yeah. then you have your little, your little notebook with the tear off papers. I love those. They are absolutely gorgeous. And then you can just, you know, tear them off whenever you need to use them. Yeah. What a lovely idea. Thank you so much. And they look even better in real life because I've got them here. Um, I will show them in real life as well. They are adorable. And you can use different inks. You can do all sorts with those. But yeah, for it, so think about giving them to a crafter. Um, as Coralie said, maybe you're, you're sending, um, oh, you know, a pen pal, something different, something special. I uh, really, really like them. And the stamps are just beautiful. Now, if you do want those gorgeous, gorgeous stamps, remember the lovely book stamps. I really like those. I just think they're absolutely exquisite. The detail, they're so different. Only £11.75 for all seven stamps there. That's 376708. Now, that sticker bundle, um, I'm afraid that's sold out as well. <laughs> Gosh, um, only 11 99 you say the prices are so good, but it has gone. I'm so sorry, but that is another sellout. We've got, it's funny actually, because as I go down the counter, it just all, it just all disappears. Um, so next now, favourite, favourite, these are super cool. So these are like um, a transparency sheet, almost like, um, if I can just peel one off gently so you can see. Can you see it coming away from the, the backing? So that's the sticker, um, but it's got that beautiful transparency. I mean, have a look at these designs. So if I picked up one of the papers and slipped one of the papers behind, look how they overlay. Honestly, these are gorgeous. And the designs are ridiculously beautiful. Look at that. I mean, these designs, this one's my favorite. 
That design is superb. Aren't they cool? They're so, so different. I mean, of course, you'll be cutting them down. Um, you know, maybe you'll be die cutting them when you put them on your layer. It's all about that layering, though. It's all about giving you different looks and different textures, which you're absolutely getting here. Look at that. That is exquisite. Again, if I just pull in one of these papers, in fact, if I get just one we write with text on and just pop that underneath, Look how cool they work together. See, these are magnificent. Now, you can tell these are a bit of a favourite favourite as well, can't you? I know, I get a bit excited when it's favourite favourite. But look at that, now half the stock has gone. So, you are getting your beautiful uh, background stickers. How many of them do we get, our oh, lovely Shaw? Well, it felt like I got quite a few there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, ten. I think. I think there's ten there if I've counted that right. And then you're getting a stamp. Now, um, you're going to get one stamp. It is going to be at random with these ones, but they are exquisite. Now, these are big stamps, okay? That is the size of my hand. They are wood mounted. You've got that beautiful, they're nice thick rubber with the, the foam mount there as well. Very detailed. Have a look at the designs. So you've got that incredible frame there. You've got the beautiful florals. I love the little toadstool at the top there. On the other one, we've got the gorgeous stag in there. Isn't that just exquisite? I really like this kit. Again, only £26.99. Very different. Very, very uh, cool. Again, everything's very cool. And it's what you can do with them. I mean, those transparencies are just incredible. Now, £26.99 is your price if you'd like to go those. Now, we have got nine-minute queues. Of course, you can uh, get on the website. That is thecraftstore.com. Or, of course, you can shop by app. Um, which means you won't have to sit um, in the queues. Now, next, these are lovely. Um, so, beautiful vintage uh, book pages. We're all massive fans of these, aren't we? Um, anytime, anytime we get our vintage book pages. These are lovely, though, because look at the designs. They all match. They all go together beautiful. Uh, your wonderful vintage botanical and herb dictionary pages. Now, we have got, uh, within this collection, um, we have got... How many pages have we got? Sorry. So, you're getting 30... 30? 13. 13. Wow, you're getting 30 papers here. Oh, and these are just lovely. I mean, have a look at all of those. Um, I'm going to pop them down and then I can flick to the 30 of these. Look at those. Yeah, they're exquisite, absolutely exquisite. Single-sided, so you're not worrying about messing up uh, the other side. You're not worrying about using them. But yeah, you'll be inking those. You'll be um, you'll be cutting them. You'll be tearing them. They put them at the back, so I wouldn't need to do this. So why did I do that? Oh, I'm. So <laughs> Uh, habit, habit. Uh, but look, look, look at these when they're actually used. I mean, they look completely different, don't they? Just using tiny little bits, um, using your your beautiful stickers, the stamps. How gorgeous do those look? Now, only ten pounds and seventy-five pence for thirty sheets. There, that is two eight nine four one three. Your item number, really beautiful and over half of the stock has gone okay next these have they gone have they gone of course they've gone this were another one of my favorites look stickers again these these you've they've gone sold out you're getting 30 of them if you've got these in your baskets and you haven't checked out, check your basket out now. If you don't check out your basket, you will miss out. These are stickers. I mean, these are, again, one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. You'll get that transparency. So put these over your beautiful pages and you'll see the, the beautiful text behind them. They're amazing. You have to check your baskets out if they're in your basket. I love them. 373991. Okay, lovely Coralie. Everything's selling out. I'm not surprised, but everything's selling out. You've done so well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. That's great to hear. That's great to hear that, <laughs> you know, people enjoy 
seeing the products and that that you know they they would like to try the crafts as well. Oh, definitely. Oh, I want nearly everything on the counter. No, I want everything on the counter. Um. Anyway, uh, what would you like to share with us this time, Coralie? So you just saw these um, kind of little tags uh, where I used the those papers. Um, so I was going to show you how I made those. Oh, beautiful! So I cut a few pieces of um, of the papers, and for the background, I actually used the background stickers that you saw earlier, uh, and just cut through uh, different pieces. What is nice about these paper papers is that you have so many different things on the same page. You have, you know, some kind of dictionary, some kind of ledger. Um, some flowers. So I just cut through them and use different, um, you know, different pieces uh, to put on my tag. So, for example, this one, I'm just going to um, unstick it from the back and just add it here to the top of my tag. Cool. And these papers have actually uh, embossed with a special embossing powder. Uh, I don't know if you've heard of this one. It's ah, the Distress yes. Embossing Glaze. So I don't think I have time to actually show you uh, how I emboss them, but basically you start from this, yeah. and then you get something like this, which is very uh, shiny and has a, you know, kind of a, yeah, kind of a shine to it, yeah. and you can, use different colors. I love the um, color because it's a transparent embossing. You still see the pattern beautifully, but it gives it that gorgeous color as well, doesn't it? Yes, exactly. Oh, yeah. And so I, That's I used another kind of tape for the background and then I just stick my pieces here on the, uh, on the tag. So I just need to find my, Sorry, I'm just looking for my glue stick. Don't worry. Um, you sound exactly like me. I spend my life looking for things, so don't panic whatsoever. I love those with the embossing powder. Do you know that's such a good idea? Because I don't use that embossing powder enough, but they look absolutely gorgeous. Really beautiful. Um, I'm just going to tell everybody the beautiful dictionary pages that Coralie is working with currently um, are now limited stock. So it's another, it's going to be another sellout. You have to be checking out your baskets. This is exactly what Coralie's uh, demonstrating at the moment for us, but they are limited stock, less than 10% remaining. And these, so the papers, just cover them with your beautiful embossing powder. The same holds for embossing powder. How good does that look? What a good idea. Uh, back to Coralie, because I think she might be gluing these all together again oh yes. yes sorry about that I'm, no I'm back. not at all they look so good so i'm just sticking the papers on the tags you can use different sizes depending on whether you want the background to um to show more or if you want the paper to show more in the front then what i did is i just used this little um, edge cutter to make the edges uh, round Beautiful. And it's really super simple. I, you see, I only used th uh, three pieces of. Uh, yeah. And they look so effective as well. They look absolutely beautiful. I really yeah. like them. It's all about the product, isn't it? Your product is so cool and different. It, the results are stunning. Thank you so much. And then I just uh, hole punched. Oh. And um, the last thing I did is actually I, I used the left leftovers of the papers yeah. and I cut um, a little I edge think, for, yeah. the, for the hole. Perfect. So I used this little machine here and if you do that. Gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> Live television. Perfect. <laughs> so you get that. So. Oh, yeah, oh, that I'm looks good. And then I'll just, you know, put this one around the. Yeah. The. Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect finishing touches. 
Um, they're beautiful. Coralie, thank you so much. Um, your Thanks. papers have also sold out, Coralie. Literally nearly everything's gone. <laughs> Um, the, the dictionary papers have now gone as well. My counter is getting shorter and shorter. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah, please check your baskets out. If you have had any of um, Coralie's uh, beautiful products before, I would love photographs from you because uh, obviously it's what you do with them that's always really interesting. Now, the next one. Uh-oh, it's another one that you need. Look at this. Look at this washer. <laughs> This washi tape, and I have opened it a little bit because I wanted you to see that snake. Honestly, you need this in your life. Look at this washi. I have not seen washi like it. We'll start from the top. Look at that. Oh my gosh, is that not the most beautiful washi I've ever seen? And I'm just going to open it a little, little bit because look. Look at that. Honestly, look at that. Oh my gosh, you need this. Yeah, that's the most beautiful washi I've seen in my life. In it, oh my gosh, it's all so you've got all that. So you've got um, the beautiful uh, jellyfish, you've got the incredible foiling on there, you've got that incredible moth, um, you've got the wonderful will, and it's it's a mixture of the the beautiful imagery. It's also got the geometry on there. Um, the it's also got that wonderful um, script on there. Honestly. That is stunning. So, you've got three meters of your washi on that one. You've got this one. I won't open that one as well, but that is gorgeous. Have a look at that. Can you see? You're beautiful. Look at the, the mountains in foil. Isn't that stunning? And the ship on there. Oh, these are so pretty. Um, so, you've got three meters on that one as well. You've then got and this is again one of those gorgeous transparent she she transparency uh, sheets. <laughs> I have to say that carefully. Um, so again, like your washi sheet, and that looks again amazing because when you put things underneath it, you've got that incredible transparency, which is wonderful. It will be sticky. So you peel this off. Like, I'm not doing that very well, am I? But you will. You peel this off, and that's a sticky one as well. I'm not being able to do it, but you do. There you go. There you go. So you've got the lovely sticky there. And actually, see, I've just peeled the carrier sheet off, so you've got the stickers on there. That is absolutely stunning. Stunning, stunning. You've then got, with this kit, the stamps as well. And the stamps are lovely. I mean, look at the detail. Oh, I love these. So you've got the wonderful octopus there. You've also got that gorgeous fish. You've got the anchor. Um, and then, look at the bottom, the wonderful starfish. But the starfish i think that looks amazing because it's a little bit spooky almost isn't it you know that is uh, creatures of the deep on this one now this whole collection only 21 pounds and 49 pence have a look at this that is gorgeous doesn't that look good? And do you know what I love about these? That's absolutely achievable. Get your craft card, stamping on your craft card, then using your beautiful washi sheet that I've just knocked over. On the back, using your washi tape, your stamping. How good does that look? And honestly, look at that. That's so achievable. But it looks exquisite. Really like that kit. Now, £21.49, pence, half the stock has gone absolutely flying along with everything else. No wonder. That washer. Eh? Um, now, 057790, your item number. Now, the boxes. These are cool. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, so, what you've got in here, oh my gosh. For starters, you've got a beautiful set of stamps. They look so cool. So, you've got your wonderful little grizzly bear at the top there. How amazing is he? Um, so, you've got your lovely grizzly strong bear. You've got save the earth. Um, you've got forest. You've got the stag, which is amazing. And then let's go camping. Oh, I love that. That's your set of stamps. Now, look at these. Look at these. Now, I think these are your background papers. Oh, they might be stickers again. I'm not sure. We'll have to ask. They might be stickers. But, but look at them. They are incredible absolutely beautiful just beautiful you've then got your two stamps so with the stamps have a look at these so you've got your beautiful um giraffe there you've also got your your little fox 
Oh, they're gorgeous. And again, these are wood mounted stamps. So lovely quality wood mounted stamps. Oh, and then the washi tape. Have a look at the washi tape. So you've got your gorgeous little, it's like got your, your little critters on it. Let me get it the right way around for you. See, isn't that beautiful? Oh, honestly, this stuff is amazing. Look at this one. It's a shame I can't open this one. It's such a shame, but it just looks amazing because I know it's a bit tricky to see what's on that one. But oh my gosh, oh my gosh. You've then got, look at this little, little pad. Look, we owe your beautiful paper, your evolution papers, which are amazing. You've then got, I love boxes like this because there's all sorts of found goodies in it, isn't there? You know, like you've got your beautiful papers there. You've got your, your wonderful, and again, these are your transparency stickers. So like your washi stickers there, which are just exquisite. Oh, look at them. They're well cool. Absolutely stunning. And then, look, 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 you've got your big sheets of your transparency stickers. There's so many different images, isn't there? Like you've got your, your proper, um, your proper animals, if you will. You've got your mythical creatures. You've then got these really cool, like, um, alternative animals as well. Now, all this does come packaged in the beautiful box, even, and I'm going to show you, because even the, the bag that you get is gorgeous. Look, even the packaging that you get is just exquisite. You will absolutely be using that. It's so pretty. Now, this is your first box of goodies. If you are part of um, our Freedom Club, it means you're getting the whole collection for £32.39. pence. Really good price for these. And they're so cool and so different. Uh, this is your animal-themed vintage craft, uh, which is, yeah, doesn't that look good? It's been laminated, so it's a proper little travel wallet. Well cool. £35.99. Um, and that is full of goodies. You've got so many elements in there. And you've got tools. I mean, you've got all the stamps which will last forever as long as you look after them 158494 now that's your first box uh, the second box that we've got this is lovely the vintage map one now that stamp that is stunning do you know what there's I love vintage map stamps. Vintage map stamps are becoming one of those things that you can't do without you know the ones that you kind of you can't have too many of them that is beautiful, absolutely glorious. It's a good big stamp as well, is that? See, size of my hand. So you've got your vintage map stamp. You've also got, and this is super cute. Look, you've got your little clipboard with loads of beautiful papers on. That are really gorgeous papers as well. Lovely, lovely papers ready for you to work with. You've then got, now again, the washer. Look at the washer. Oh, you can't look at that washi tape. That is exquisite. Beautiful colours on there. So you've got your, your washi, this one. I'm dying to open this up, but I'm so sorry I can't. But oh my gosh, that looks phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Your two stamp sets. And the stamps, I love that one because that's going to be so cool for your backgrounds. Um, and then now that's another good one. That is such a handy stamp to have. So again, you've got all these stamps. You've then got all your beautiful bits of ephemera in this one. So you have got all your lovely little tickets, um, which again are just beautiful. The colour palette is gorgeous. I love the travel, um, the travel theme on this one. Aren't they gorgeous? Just so, so pretty. And these, I wonder, I will have to ask if some of these, because I think these are probably your stickers as well. Oh, they are. Oh, they're them stickers again. Oh, we like those. We li oh, we like those a lot. Oh, you've got all sorts in here. So you've got all these beautiful pieces of ephemera. You've got tons. I won't go through every one individually. And then look at these. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Isn't that just beautiful? And look at these. These are absolutely stickers. I know those two are stickers. Straight away, I can tell. Oh, man, you need... Oh, my gosh, that's beautiful. OK, 32, 39, if you are a Freedom member. If you're a Freedom member, you're not paying for postage. Remember, these are being shipped from America. Um, so, I mean, you're not going to find them here in the UK. I've not seen them here in the UK at any rate. Um, it means you're not having to worry about any extra taxes or anything like that. You know exactly what you're paying. Uh, you're only waiting until the 27th to get all this delivered to your door. That is really, really special. Now, 32, 
two pounds and thirty nine pence. One three eight eight two three is your item number. Right, we'd better get back to Coralie with that beautiful under the water um, kit. Oh, I love this one as well, Coralie. That the stamps in this one are beautiful. Thank you so much. Yes, um, they're very special. Those. Um, I think they're they're quite unique. Um, so as you see here, I've uh, stamped them on this on this card. I'm trying to remake the one uh, that you saw on the screen earlier with the window in the middle. Beautiful. Um, so what I did for the window is I, I actually laminated uh, some of the stickers from this sheet. So it's quite easy if you have a small laminator. I simply put the the stickers inside inside a laminating sheet. Ah, okay. Just press them down like this. I think I put two of, two of those. And then I put this through my laminator, Perfect. which I'm going to do now on the side. Uh -huh. That's such a nice idea because it allows you to use them in completely different ways, doesn't it? Yes, and it makes it super transparent. Um, so that's the, the nice thing about laminating. Okay. So you get the transparency. Yeah. Um, and then what I did for the rest of the card is I used um, some of that foil uh, washi tape. So uh, it's blue green and the foil is silver. That's stunning. So I just uh, took a piece of it. Your washi tape is fabulous. Honestly. Thank you. And the um, the sheets, yeah, some of the sheets in, you know, your beautiful box kits, some of those are adhesive sheets as well, aren't they? Yes, exactly. So the, the two last ones that you showed on the maps uh, yeah. are adhesive and the two other maps that are um, on uh, printed on, on regular paper, they're also um, sticker paper. Ah, wow. So, they're just sensational. So they're most, most sticker because I'm really addicted to stickers <laughs> yeah I um, I like your addiction to stickers because at least we get some really good stickers they're great so I'm just mixing some pieces of washi tape some pieces of um, of the stickers here beautiful and and some of the stamps you see here I don't have to cut it Gorgeous. cut it out they overlay beautifully because you've got that that wonderful transparency they look so good together don't they that looks beautiful already thank you yes i think those items go great together yeah. and um that's why i put them you know together for the kids i think it just uh it's nice to have a touch of color with this yes. and then the more uh, vintage style with the rest of the stickers and the stamps yeah They'll be beautiful for art journal books as well, won't they, these? Yes. So, just cutting the sticker. So ideally, what I did for the first uh, first one you have is that I, um, I cut the window after putting all the stickers on. Right. And that makes it a little bit easier. Yes. Uh, instead of cutting inside here. Of course. And then you'll so have that beautiful kind of topper, won't you, that you've, like the, the bit that you've cut for the window, you'll keep that, won't you, be able to use that again? Yes, exactly. So then I would just put the, the transparent um, uh, transparent piece here. Yeah. Unfortunately, it just got messed up in my uh, laminator, so I'm sorry about that. I won't oh. be able to show you. Oh, but, that's uh, okay. It looks, it looks transparent, just like a, a sheet like this. Yeah. And then you would have, you know, the sticker here in the middle. So that's kind of how it would look like. Maybe I can put it on here. That, you another. know, it looks beautiful with or without it. It's, I think it's one of those designs. It's simple, but so effective. It's a beautiful idea. So if you had something like that from your laminator, yeah, you know, that's, that's yeah. how it would look like. Really transparent and, and then the sticker showing with the all the colors no that's lovely yeah yeah we like that a lot that's beautiful and then obviously here in the back you can do more more of the stamping uh more of the washi 
Beautiful. The stamps are really detailed, but they do stamp beautifully. Yes, so you have to press quite uh, hard on them yeah. so that the whole picture gets um, gets stamped, especially in the middle. Yeah. So sometimes I use my elbow to just <laughs> make, sure, uh -huh. make sure I apply enough pressure throughout. And then, oh, well, there you go. Lovely. See, there's like a little spot here. Oh, yeah, so yeah. you really need to press quite hard uh, on them because of all the details. Yeah, yeah. I suppose if people have got a stamping platform, they'll be fine. Yes, yes, definitely. I always find craft cards a bit diff a bit more difficult as well, isn't it? Craft card can be a hard work. And I suppose, yeah, you'll have the aperture as well, wouldn't you? Okay, I'm trying now with the this one. I love him. I love him because he yes. looks a little bit spooky. But once it's applied on paper like this, it's not, it's not too spooky. Oh, that's ace. Yeah, that's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, they're very, very nice. And this uh, washi is uh, really nice because it tears off really easily. Yeah. So you can, you don't even need to use uh, scissors. And then you can also, you know, use just as much as you need. Yes. I and love add. that washi. The color is beautiful. In fact, both the washes in this kit are magical. Thank you. There we go. And then I could just add a few more of those larger stickers here. Gorgeous. And they'll mix and match, won't they? Because obviously, you know, if people have managed to get the um, the the maps, because um, the matte paper would go beautifully with this as well. You know, there's a lot yes. that will cross over, isn't there? So here I actually have the matte paper. Oh, wow. So you see how the color is really yeah. matched quite well. I adore that I matte paper. A piece here. So that one, is that a sticker, did you say, Coralie? That is a sticker, yes. isn't it? Yes, it's a sticker, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. And you know, in that in that box kit, you've got um, the, is it like a, a massive uh, piece of washi tape? The, the It looks like a matte washi tape as well. Uh which one, the, the very long one? Yeah, it's quite, um, we, uh, we can't open it. So it looks like, um, yeah, it looks like a, a wide, it's a very wide roll and it looks like a mat, but I reckon it's a, a, a tape of, um, it's a washi, it's a roll of yes, washi tape. It's a washi that is very wide. I think it's 10, uh, 10 centimeters wide. Oh, I, um, that is gorgeous. So it, it, it is kind of a similar design to this, if you want to get an idea. Uh, it's a quite dark background with some boats and some um, some old map on the back. So yes, that's a washi. Oh, that's yeah. so cool. Yeah, that fits quite well. Yeah, I love that. I like the layering again. It looks gorgeous. I'd definitely, definitely be using these for my um my art but uh, my art journals. Mm, I yeah. I won't be giving them away. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be kind of the result. And Stunning. then you could also decorate the inside. So here obviously I have some pieces of yes. of the stickers that come back so I could, you know, cover this this yes. part as well and use this as the card. Yeah, no, that's uh, beautiful. Yeah, thank you ever so much, Coralie. That is so exquisite. I'll show the one that's in here in the studio as well, <clears throat> just so everyone can see. Oh, I'm, this is lovely. Such fun. Oh, and look, 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 that washi tape. Look, that's on the inside. The magic one. Look at that. Mm. 
so beautiful. Now, this nautical set, two thirds of the stock has gone. I am not surprised. It's cool. It's cool because you've got so many elements in it. The washi tape is just magical. Um, the stamps are different. You know, they've got that proper, like the mysteries under, under the, in the deep, if you will. You know, the creatures look all a little bit, you know, a little bit spooky. Um, now, £21.49, and pence, a beautiful set there. 057790 is your item number. Um, now, just a quick reminder of those boxes because... Um, as Coralie was just saying, these are your sticker sheets, which is so exciting. So, you've got your stamps, which are just beautiful. Really cool, really different. Some superb designs there. And you've got your grizzly bear. You've got the wonderful uh, deer there. And then, of course, you've got your hot couple going camping um, uh, cocoa, I've decided that is. You've then got loads of beautiful... Okay, one second. Uh, you've then got loads of beautiful ephemera pieces, which are just gorgeous. And you can see, can you see these? I mean, how cool are they to use in your pieces? Really, really beautiful ephemera pieces. And you've got your wonderful little book, which is really sweet. Your evolution book, so loads of paper for you to work on. These are amazing. And I think these are just your printed papers, these ones. But they are just exquisite. Just exquisite. Just look at those. The colour palette, the, the the actual designs, stunning. Absolutely stunning. You've then got, of course, all your different ephemera pieces. So all your different washi um, tape ephemera stickers, if you will. And, of course, with these, it's that detail. You will be cutting them out to you separately. Um, and it's the variation. You've got your real animals. You've got your, you know, those really quirky, cool, um, bizarre images. And then you've got your fantasy animals as well. So you've got a proper mix there. You've then, of course, got your two rolls of washi tape. And they are, again, absolutely stunning. It's a, I'd love to see the birds one because that one is quite tricky to see. Um, and then, of course, two stamps in this. It's a big kit and the stamps are gorgeous. Only for that full kit, 35 Um If you are a Freedom member, it's even better for you uh, because that price drops to £32.39. 158494 is your item number. Now, the mat box... Oh, over 60% of the stock has gone here. Yeah, I'm not surprised at all. You've got that huge, huge stamp, which is just exquisite. The detail on that, lovely stamp. You've got that massive roll of washer, which is just really cool. And that, that is going to be a similar design to that one. And that you get in this, that is amazing. That's a sticker sheet, as is that. Look at those sticker sheets. I mean, they are superb. You've then got your printed papers, which again, it's that color palette, which are just fabulous. Then you've got tons of little ephemera pieces as well here, which do look absolutely stunning. And then of course, you've got your two stamps. You've also got your other roll of washi, and you've even got your mini clipboard, which is so cute. And it's a really lovely little clipboard. Look, look. Oh, it's lovely. For an old star project, that would be absolutely amazing. All of that, £32.39. and pence. Again, that is such a good, a good value for money kit, but the contents are so cool. Uh, 138823. Uh, Coralie, thank you ever so much. I know we've only got four minutes, but we've hardly got any product left anyway. You've had so many sellouts, Coralie. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I just heard you uh, speak about the um, the tape that is uh, in the yes. animal box. The I want to open here. So not, I don't know. Let's see if I can show you. Oh. We can see a little bit. The sunshine's just a bit bright. You've got sunshine where you are. Um, yes. Oh, that's it. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, mother goose. Oh, so it has that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Yeah, we, we've got a little bit of sunshine, but we can see the, the washer. And it's the amount of detail, isn't it, that's on the washer as well. You've got so many different um, designs on one sheet of washer. 
Yes, exactly. And that's also a sticker washi tape, meaning you, you peel off, you know, the back end. So you can very easily cut around, uh, you know, the birds or just a small part of the washi that you want to use and then okay. use it as a stick. So that's one of the good things about this one. Amazing. Thank you so much. I really like that. Um, thank you. I'm, I, I've had such a lovely time. I'm so pleased I got your show. Your products are beautiful and your demonstrations are just lovely. Thank you so much. Do you know when you're back with us next time? I don't know yet, but I'm looking forward to it always. Oh, yeah, me too. Thank you ever so much. Take care and thank you ever so much for inspiring us this afternoon. Thank you. Take care. Um, everybody at home, please check your baskets out. Don't miss out on these kits. We've hardly got anything left. Just to remind you before we lose time. Oh, these have been so busy. I'm not surprised. These are beautiful. You've got big rolls. I'm not sure how much is on each one of these, but you've got big rolls. But there's three meats on each. But look, all of these individual flowers. The colour palette is amazing. And obviously, the layer, absolutely beautiful. The blue, and that was the one that was just used on that envelope. That is just on. Um, that is in the lead. So if you do want to get hold of that, uh, please, please, please check your baskets out. They are divine. And you can see the way, and this is what I love about them. When you actually overlay them, because of the, the you know, the nature of them, that transparency it just means they layer up beautifully um and no fussy cut or anything just just perfect absolutely perfect and don't they work well you know if you got that paper and if you got that other washi oh my gosh everything goes hand in hand um and only 11 pounds 99 pence obviously you have got a choice there you've got the blue or of course you can get both <laughs> or of course you've got that beautiful orange and pink one there nine five four six nine three oh um, that nautical bundle, now limited stock. No wonder. That wash, eh? Oh, my gosh. Um, that is now limited stock. It has been so busy. Thank you, everybody, uh, for your patience, for holding on to those, um, holding on to the phone lines. But I can't wait to see what you do with this lot. I definitely need pictures when you get these delivered. Um, please check your baskets out, and hopefully uh, we'll be seeing Coralie really soon. But in the meantime, please look her up on um, Instagram because she's got loads of ideas, loads of inspiration. Um, so when you get these home, you'll have loads of ways of using in everything as well and loads of ideas uh, which is wonderful and we do think everything is going to sell out <laughs> uh, so after the hour we think everything will go and i'm not surprised it's all absolutely lovely and it's the bags that they come in as well i mean look at some of these lovely little bags that they're all packaged in um anyway uh, yeah check your baskets out and um look coralie up and get inspired but most of all enjoy when you get all these delivered to your door okay don't go anywhere we've got loads coming up here on the craft store uh, see you in about an hour when I'm cooking next go power and emboss it's your one day special we're then going to the spice kitchen so excited and then I'm gonna be on the edge with Dolly Dimples Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. My crafting journey's taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. Flexi order. When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. 
This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Cathy. And I'm Mel, and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand-illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. On our shows, we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the Craft Store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Well, good afternoon. Now, of course, it is four o'clock here at the craft store. If you are just well uh, joining us, welcome. It's great to have your company. But if you have been watching the shows uh, for the one day special, well, you will know that we have been extraordinarily busy because it's not a one day special. Or no, what we launched was actually a monthly mega deal. Now, we uh, as the car paper crafters need, or mixed media artists, or even uh, you know maybe we are quilters, we need a reliable die cutting machine one that does what well, can put through it any a4 die and to celebrate to kind of give you that we have got of course the monthly mega deal the go power and emboss in an exclusive thing Ex incredibly incredibly busy 60 percent of that monthly mega deal already gone now and remember that that pink is an exclusive color to hear the craft tour now i'm not here on my own um we have got the total expert and die cutting. I will say the person that I think that has always explained die cutting the best possible way. And I'm not saying it because he's here, but I'm saying it because I was a viewer before becoming a guest and then a presenter. And I always say, John, you get it. <laughs> Hi, Thank John. you. Hello. I, I don't know what to say to that, really. Uh, well, it's, it's funny because I have watched you, like we were saying, before I even met you in person, I was watching you and I kind of always went like, yes, he gets it. He explained it properly. Uh, but also, what you understand how it, it you were explaining today, for instance, and I was watching the 8 a.m. And, you know, you were on it. You explained exactly why it has been so popular. I mean, the Penguin 60% of the monthly mega deal uh, stock has already gone. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, genu I'm not surprised, but I am. Because yeah. I'm always surprised when yes. people go for it. I'm not because from a personal perspective, having had the machine for over two years, yeah. it being the main AFAR, it being the... This is the only electric die cutting oh, yeah. machine I use. It's the only one I recommend. It's the one I test everything on. So, you know, I know how good this is in myself. And as I've said through many of the shows, this is not a John Nextdoor product. Yes. This it, is not a Crafts 2 yeah, product. No. This is not, you know, in my contract to, to come on here and, and demonstrate this machine. I was asked by the craft store to demonstrate it because you knew that I had it and I used it and I loved yeah. it. And, and as a, you know, die cutting, if I said something sad like, oh, die cutting is my life, I love die cutting. Yeah. I think what you can achieve with it, the effects are beautiful. Yeah. And to me, what really sealed it was the fact that apart from three 12 by 12 dies I've got for the Big Shot Pro, which I know that you've yeah. got, every single die that I own from the tiniest to yeah. the biggest A4 big die will go through this it. and will cut yeah. and will cut in multiple materials. So I, I don't have to go, right, OK, so I'm using that die and I want to cut it in that material. So I'm going to need that machine. Yeah. I'm cut, I want to cut yeah. that and I want to cut that in leather. Oh, well, I'm going to need that machine. I don't. This sits by my side at all times and it's just, it will all go through. Yeah. And if I want a smaller one, I use my Kaleido. Indeed. Now, of course, what do we get in the machine? That's why you probably are asking yourself. Now, in here, of course, we have got the Go Power and Emboss, uh, the machine itself. Now, you have got two choices. Uh, basically, if you want to go for the exclusive pink, which is a 
perfect and um, beautiful uh, baby blush pink. Be quick because once it's gone, it's gone. And of course, that is an exclusive to the craft store. And remember, this stock is uh, should last for a month. Now, less than 24 hours, already 60% of that stock it has already gone. And then you have got the other option, which is to go for the gold, the classic gold in here now it's exactly the same machine it comes exactly with the same accessories which of course we are talking about an electric machine so it's powered so you have got the cable for that uk plug as well and of course you have got the place that you need to use a wafer thin dice now you are getting as well the embossing folders in both of those designs you can see they are classic very useful uh, designs to have and then finally of course we have the gorgeous wafer thin collection there 30 individual dies with numbers, borders, and so much more. Now, of course, the Go Power and Emboss, as John was explaining, will die cut well all these different dies that you may have already, including those uh, still rule dies like the bakes and so many more. The other thing I love about this machine is the way that it kind of, you have got just the buttons in it. But before we go into details of those, because of course, John can explain them much better than I can, let me tell you that you have a 10 pound saving. And also you have got a flexi buy, three interest-free payments of £46.66. And of course, that makes it so much easier. Of course, 880282 is your item number. On the website, the craft store, the company, you will find lots more, including the dice that John has been using for his demos. But of course, John, uh, we love it. We, I love the way that you said it's, it's, you know, it, it takes all the slides because slides are very important. But tell us about how do we start with the Go Power, to go through the basics, right. basically. I, I, what I'm going to do is I want to take you through the basics of the machine, what you'll receive, how it will actually work, how we do the basic die cutting, and, and what when you get it at home. So I'm going to take it to one side. So this is your machine. Now, this is obviously my machine. This has been used heavily for the last two years. Um, so, you know, I want to show you with this that I, I'm not using a brand new one with the best thing and that sort of thing. I want to show you that I'm using a machine that I genuinely believe in. So what you'll get is your machine will come like this. It has in the back a simple power point, yeah, which just plugs in. Really, really simple. UK plug, really easy to do. And all you have to do is to turn it on. And these are really easy press buttons. They're not actual buttons that you click or press. They're almost, if you look, they're infrared almost. They will start straight away, so you've got no problems at all. The other good thing with the power on this, and this is something that I'm really impressed with, is after 20 minutes of not being used, the machine will turn itself off. So, if like me, you forget last thing at night to actually turn your machine off, this will actually turn itself off after 20 minutes. So if it hasn't been used, which I think is a really good safety feature. So your basics of your machine, you've got your opening here, which is actually wider than A4. And this has been designed so that you don't have to worry about fitting your plates in. So this is an A4 piece of card. So you don't have to worry about fitting your plates into it and get them very, very neat to each side and get them perfect. But it also means you've got a very wide flat bed so that putting the plates in and holding them in place is really, really simple. So literally, all you need to know is three buttons, run. Oh, I'll turn it around a little bit here, you'll see a little bit better. You've got run, you've got power on and off, and you've got reverse. And that will simply reverse it, but I'll show you how they all work. And to make it work, you just press the run button. So, I want to take you through the plates you're going to get. And again, these are my plates. So these plates are over two years old. And this is one of the great benefits of the machine. None of these plates have been replaced in two years of heavy use. So you will receive an A plate, which is a base plate, which is a thick plate, which obviously if you're using thicker dies, you would miss out, but I will go through that in another demonstration. You will then receive a C plate, which is a thinner three millimeter plate. You will receive a five millimeter B plate. So you can see there, if I put it the right way around, you'll see C plate and B plate. You will also get your metal shim, and your metal shim has been chamfered at the edges 
so that it doesn't cut you. You can't hurt yourself with it. And you'll also get a very thick, this is a five millimeter, this is one of the thickest embossing mats I've ever come across, embossing mat, which is in a beautiful rubber. And again, if you see how much this, I haven't used this as much, but again, it works really, really well. So you get all of those plates, you get your machine, you get your lead. You'll also get with it 30 thin dies. And the great thing about these is, and this is something that I absolutely love about the machine is, if you look at the dies, these are very, very, if I turn them around the right way, look how fine they are. Some of the detail in here is extremely fine. Now these are dies that are made exclusively for the machine, so they're not available elsewhere. These are only available in the package with the machine, so they're not thrown together. But to me, it says something about the quality of the machine when the dies that they're actually including are so fine. Because let's be honest, the very first thing you're going to do when you get your machine is to take one of these dies they've supplied and cut it. So you've got to have confidence in a machine that it's going to cut something that fine first time. Otherwise, I would open the machine up, put that through, it doesn't cut, and I would put it all back in the box and send it back. So it shows the confidence. But you'll also get two embossing folders in there included. Classic designs you'll use all the time. So the most important thing, I think, is first of all, how are we going to cut with it? How are we going to cut with the machine? So this is the way that I do this. This may not be the manual way, but it's the way I found this to do it is basically put your C plate down. You will then take your piece of card. I'm actually going to make this even harder for myself because I'm going to use a piece of mirror card. So this is the Craft Artist Gloss card. We'll take that little die. So the little one that I've just pulled out, because this can be the first thing you try. I'm going to tape the die down, and I'm going to put it in the corner. Regardless of how old your machine is, whether it's new or anything else, you'll always find tight attention in the corner. So it's always better to think, put it on the sides, our natural instinct is to put a die there. That's probably the silliest place to put it. Put it to the side. We then simply add the B plate on top of that. And then you present it to your machine. And it doesn't matter if your plates are completely out or you don't have to sort of get them like a deck of cards and get them all completely flat because remember, you've got that wider opening. And all you do is take your plates to your machine and basically present them. Slide it in until it stops and then simply press run. And all it will do is, with no help from me, it will grab the plates and it will simply run them through. And if I want to, press reverse while it's working and that will reverse the action and bring the plates out this way, which is really useful because number one, if you've got limited space or limited mobility and you don't want to be grabbing to the other side, then it will bring it back to you. But it also means that your die goes through twice and that's always a good way. So there we go, straight off, take that out. I'm just gonna flick that, which is always my test of a die and card. And you can see there, that is cut, but not only is it cut, can you see the sort of chamfered edge on there? And what you're getting is, it, the pressure is so good in the machine that I don't have to emboss that die. That already looks as if it's been embossed and it looks as if it's curled because the die has done its work. So that's a simple cut using a standard die. I want to show you now, I'm going to use the same card again. This time I'm going to use a larger die. This is one of the John Next Door dies and this is the Advent Pop Box. And this die does three things in one, and it's a really good tell of a machine. Because within this die, there are areas that will cut out, there are areas that will emboss lines to fold, and there are areas that will perforate. And so, what I want is, obviously from a machine, I want it to do all three jobs in one pass. I don't want to have to add anything to it. So again, plates together, present it to your machine, and push it, I'm doing it with one hand, until it hits a wall almost and press run. If it doesn't, just give it a little tap to start it and it will run through perfectly. And the great thing is it doesn't go through at such a high pressure that it 
throws it out of the back halfway across the room, which I've had so many times. So I can just lift it out. And you'll see on here, when I take this out, first of all, cut perfectly. But if I show you the front, you see every line. So there are your emboss lines and there are your perforation lines. So simply, I don't even need a bone folder. That's how the pressure's worked. I can fold those up and these perforations, watch, and they will tie. And if I actually try and tear a piece of the card, you can see it, <laughs> it doesn't want to tear, but the perforations have worked perfectly. So the machine has in one pass cut out it's embossed a line that's good enough to be folded on a mirror card without actually having to use an embossing tool and it's done the perforation lines so we know that it can do that sort of thing with the pressure the next job you'd want to do in your machine is emboss and one of the great things that this has got is standard embossing in a machine in a die cutting machine is you take your embossing folder it with your card in and you place it between two clear plates and run it through that's not how this works because it's been designed so that it will take different depths of folders because every manufacturer makes their folders of a different width and depth so here i'm using a 3d folder this is a beautiful nelly snellen one and to emboss in the machine you don't use two plates you use your rubber embossing mat and your b plate so this is a and I've placed it in the middle so again present to the machine push it to the back press run if it doesn't start pass it through but because if you can see the rubber mat here is stretching to reduce the pressure the machine said it's too much which is exactly what I wanted it to do and watch the lights are flashing on and off to say that it's been rejected and it's reversed it out so it keeps itself on so all I would do is take the B off put the C on and run it back through so the fantastic thing is that no matter if I try and put something through this machine that it doesn't like it will not accept it and break the machine it will simply reject it flash at me to tell me I've been an idiot and that I've done something wrong and then it will return my plates to me and so now because of the mat on a 3D folder, I have the perfect, again, on mirror card, 3D emboss. And if I want to use a thinner folder, so final one, I'm going to use a thinner folder. This is, again, a 3D, this is a standard embossing folder, not a 3D one. This is actually one that's a few years old, so this is a totally different width, but I do exactly the same again place my mat on, I'll try my B, see if it works, put it in, press run, doesn't even want to take that, so take it out, put my C on top, present it, press run, and it will take that, and to release the pressure, it will increase the, it will increase the pressure on here, on this rubber mat and make this rubber mat stretch until it goes through and when this is finished we will have the perfect emboss on a standard sandwich so in the machine we've been able to emboss standard we've been able to emboss 3d and we've been able to die cut multiple different sizes and shapes of dies that's amazing. Thank you, John, for that amazing rundown of the, of course, Go Power and Emboss machine. We are incredibly busy for the machine itself. Remember that it's a monthly mega deal and already six, over 60% of the pink option has already gone. Now, something else incredibly busy, of course, is John Nexord, uh, the Advent Top Box. Of course, you can see it here. And, of course, this bundle comes with the numbers themselves. So you have got both in there here uh, for just 29 
99 pounds and 98 pence. But then, if you're a Freedom member, 26 pounds and 98 pence for both of them. Now, that is a saving of 13 pounds. Now, if you wanted to go for the box on its own, Look at that, £29.99. Not only you are saving £3 and one penny for that one, but also you are getting the numbers in there. And I love that you are getting the ones and the twos. Uh, you are getting doubles of those. So that means that you are right, like you are doing the advent calendar. You need extra ones and extra twos. So it take you less time to do them. Uh, take advantage of that freedom price. Grab it now when you have got that £13 discount. Uh, 027292 now. If you are bring, if you are getting the go power and emboss, you have got that flexibly option to spread the cost into three interest-free payments. So if you are adding uh, the dice in there, you are not going to pay the twenty-six pounds and ninety-eight pence. You can pay one third of that today because you are flexi buying the machine as well. Whatever you put in that box, uh, in that basket, you can flexibly it, including maybe you want to put um, the uh, die, uh, clean dry, dry as well as the eraser. Uh, that could you could you know spread the cost as well of that. I'm just trying to think that once you open that that flexi buy basket into three payments, which is not a common occurrence, that makes sense because then you would be paying three pounds and thirty three pence for them today, and then the same amount next month and so on for three months interest free. Now we have had a question in uh, from Karen uh, that is, does the go power and emboss does it come with instruction booklet? It does. Yes, um, I think it's actually in the box. All oh, right. Um, but you do get, it's like a sort of two page instruction booklet in there. But what we've also done is, I've done the shows on this before. So the two shows that I've done previously are already on YouTube. So if you go onto the John Next Door YouTube channel, you'll actually see on there, you can scan through and you'll find the um, Go Power and Emboss shows, and that takes you step by step through everything. Um, and what I would say is, obviously, you do get the manual, and they will always tell you to follow the manual, and if you guarantee you need to do that, I may do things slightly bit differently that I find works for me. But um, I find it a lot easier to watch the shows, and we'll try and get some of these shows. Probably the show today will get this last show put onto YouTube as well, because this goes through some of the basics of people. But there, there, there's plenty of help and advice out there. <laughs> you got caught! Shall I just open it now and yes. have a look? Yeah, sorry. So, I was told to say, oh, there's a you behind haven't you. Go actually and get mentioned. it. If oh. you get the new, if you get the exclusive pink one, you yeah. get an exclusive box as well. Yeah, I like the box as well. Because this is a new yeah. designed box just for the pink one. This isn't normal. The normal box no, the... Is, is white with gold on it, I think. Uh, let's so see. Uh, you oh, do uh, get, oh, it says limited oh. edition on it. Oh, limited Ooh, edition, yeah. Very posh. Yeah, as I've got the blue, I've got the blue and gold one. This one is uh -oh. for the gold, the classic gold. Uh, you will have this box in here, so you can see that that it is the classic gold. So, in the box, you will get your 12-month limited work guarantee or your warranty, which tells you what is actually covered. Um, and tells you what to do in case of having any problems at all because the machine is being done through the craft store for Couture Creations so it isn't a John Next Door or a Crafts 2 so you need to follow your warranty on here but then you actually get here is your instruction leaflet which takes you through operation, troubleshooting, um, embossing and die cutting, die cutting with the Sizzix brand's die okay. so it tells you that safety warnings, disposal Etc. So perfect. it's all basically covered, and remember, of course, the videos are on YouTube as well, perfect. showing you exactly how to use it. Now, of course, that is so. There you go, Karen. That answers your question. You have got that instruction manual. I will say one thing. I agree completely, John. Uh, that you know, the best thing is to get and test it. Always the is it a rule to always try the thin of the sandwich at the beginning, and then you can increase the work pressure. up. But the, the great thing is, we always say try with a thin sandwich. If it doesn't work, add more shims yeah. or add more of the plates, add the metal shimming or anything like that. The great thing I've found with this is if it is too big, you can't force it through. It oh, will nice. reject it yeah. because most standard die cutting electronic machines have two sensors here. Right. And what happens is when you put your plate through, you click those sensors and that activates it. There are, so I could activate some of the machines okay. by doing that. There are no sensors in here. It works on the run. The sensors are inside where the, um, 
rollers oh, are. Oh, yeah, the rollers are, yeah. So if that sandwich, yeah. if the rollers find that sandwich is too far, they will do what they did earlier, flash all the lights and reverse it back out. Yeah. So if you do find you're using a sandwich that's too thick, the machine will tell you. Yeah, we'll it tell will you. shout at it you. Will, yeah. Yeah. So that you don't have to worry about not straining yeah. it. Yeah. Right, John, we need to talk about the stock uh, because the exclusive pen, we are approaching two thirds. Now, you normally know that here at the craft store uh, at 4 p.m., well, we are the final call of the one day special, but this is not a one day special. This is a monthly mega deal, which means the stocks is meant to last a full month. However, the exclusive pen, this pen, you won't see it anywhere else. We've chosen it here at the craft store. They have chosen these blush paying uh, for exclusive here. It's more kind of discreet, more elegant, and of course, a little touch of girliness as well in there. Now, that is the exclusive one. Very busy for this one. Now, uh, once it's gone, it's gone. It, the stock also, we haven't mentioned it during this hour. The stock is in that warehouse, so you're not having to wait extended delivery or anything else. It's here in the country. It's over there, actually. It's just across the road. Uh, the warehouse where we, the studios are. So if you want yours, uh, do check out your baskets. And, and the gold, also over 40%. And remember, this is the stock that should last the full month, not even 24 hours into it. And of course, 40% has already gone off the gold. Right, may you remember? Remember to check out your baskets. Details remember that you have got a flexi buy to, of course, spread the cost in interest free payments. So you only have to buy to, to spend 46 pounds and 66 pence today. Now we want to see it more in action, of course. So we are letting basically John do a little bit of a master class, three master classes, hopefully. So take it away, John. Okay, so the next question that I get asked most of the time on this machine and most people want to know is how can we use our big styes how can we use our steel rule dies our different brands of dies this was one of the major attractions to me of this machine was that apart from a couple of 12 by 12 dies i've got every die i've bought ever fits through this and when i say that we actually go back to and i'm hoping i haven't lost it this one here this die is 19 years old this die is one of the original dies, very first launch. If you can see, it's actually on wood. Yeah. It's not plastic, it's on wood, it's on a, a basic foam. Um, and I'm very lucky to have borrowed this from Paola. And um, I'm very annoyed that she's got the last show with me because it means she's going to be able to take it back. However, anything from the very first die to originals through to your big dies through to your larger big dies, which struggle with a lot of machines, through to your extra long, through to things like your thinlets dies, which are dies that very few people have got. I've got about six of these, and I haven't been able to use them in years. Your quick cuts dies, which again are a different brand and a different make of die and a different thickness. This is an Anna Griffin die from about five years ago. So this is actually thicker than a normal steel die, than a normal thin die. Things two, dies for your aqua quilt. So aqua quilt dies, your, this is handmade by Haley um, fabric dies, again, thicker or your mixed media. I know Tonic and a few different companies have done a range of mixed media dies, which are thicker and we may, there may be some press cut ones coming at some point. Things like this is a fabric die to make a Christmas stocking. And the machine means that basically, and this is a full A4 size, if you see, if you can get it in there, it will cut one way or another. Um, and the, the range of materials is crazy, but the very first question I always get asked is, how can I cut a... We'll start with the original die. So this is one of the original dies. This is 19 years old. So this was obviously invented for the very, very first machines, which were actually manufactured for schools. And few people remember that these were actually made for schools, these dies. They weren't for the public, they weren't for crafters. We'd never even heard of them. So to enable you to cut one of these dies or a big die, which I'll show you in a second, you need to use your C plate that comes with your machine. I really should keep turning that over so you can actually see. So you use your C-plate and you need either a second C-plate. 
yeah, which I've got here, and this is mine, which is now finally starting to actually get to the end of its life. So I'm going to show you this with a second C plate, but if you don't have a C plate, you need to have simply a three millimeter plate. So this is the um, raspberry plate from the Tonic Tangerine or the Spellbinders um, machines, range of machines, caliber and platinum and things. And you see there, so there is a 19 year old original die cut in gray board through the machine. But let's say I'm going to take one of the big dies now and I'm going to use one of my favorites. Actually, I need to swap that one in. I'm always so, so organized. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a die that I bought a long time ago, but I wasn't able to cut because I didn't have the machine that worked on it. So I'm going to take this one out. So you know for a fact, this is brand new and never used. So this again is a steel rule die. And this time, that's not going to fit on there, is it? I was hoping I got enough card of this left, but we'll cut the first bit. But of course, I don't have another C plate. So if you have the Kaleido, you take the three mil plate from there, or if you have a cuttle bug, or a big shot, or any of the smaller A5 machines, you can still use the three mil plate. And this is one of the great things about the Go Power and Emboss. Normally, through every die cutting machine, your sandwich has to be even. It has to be same top and bottom. With the Go Power, it doesn't. I can marry that in and press run and watch. That will take it and grab it, even though only half of that plate at the top is actually covered and it will cut it just as well so if you've got so if you don't have an a4 second three mil plate this is actually cut off the poor little dash and because i didn't have enough card but it will actually work really really well and what i'll actually do is i'm going to grab now a little bit of 350 gsm card and we'll do two layers of that. So I've got 350 GSM card here. I've got two layers. So I can go with the die in the middle, basically the C plate. I'm just going to put that on top. And this time I'm going to use the raspberry plate just to show that you don't have to go out and buy yourself another C plate. And we run that through. And as long as the sandwich fits, this will cut. So we go through really simple. And there I've got my dash and, and my little bow for him. Well, obviously, I've got two of them because I put... Oh, no, I put three layers of card through, didn't I? Yeah. So he's got a little bit stuck. I've, I've ripped his tail off, but I'll hold him like that and you won't be able to see. So, but you can see there... Yeah, I've got another one in there that's stuck. So I've got my dash and all the pieces. But this is the fantastic thing. If you saw there, it didn't quite cut through the extra of the second layer. So, one of the things that we have in this, and I'm really, yes. This is a brilliant thing about the machine. Included in it is the metal shim. So, what you would do is this will add a millimetre onto it. So, you would put this for cutting this on the bottom. Your die down. My two layers of card again on. Again, I'm using the, the different plate from the different manufacturer guide it in and let it run and in this way I can get the steel rule die to cut really really simply so we come out here and this time there you go with the addition of the metal I've got both cut out absolutely perfect and fallen out and even down to having two of the bones so that's the flexibility of the machine but the great thing is, because of the way the plates work, we can bring in, as I said, other dies. So I have this, which is an old, I do love this one. So here I have a thinner die, but again, it's not a thin die. It's still, it's like the quick cuts dies. So what I would do this time is, I would bring in my base plate. I would bring in my, my larger die. I'm going to be really difficult on this, and I'm going to try it in double-sided glitter card. So I'm going to put that on. 
and actually wider than that, okay? And normally you would marry this together with your C and your B. So, what I would do first is, and as Paola said earlier, what you would do is try the slightest sandwich first. So I'm going to put that through and run it. So this is just the thinlet die, the base plate, the card I want to use, and the B plate. If that doesn't work, it's taken it extremely well, I would then alter the sandwich using the plates that I have. So we'll have a look. It's cut into it, but it's not cut it. So I can take the metal shim, add that in, get the other side of the card. Again, add the B plate and put it in. And this is the great thing. Because of the way the plates are designed, it means regardless of what die that you've got, you're going to be able to cut whatever you've got. So if this doesn't work, there's one more trick we can do, and that's what it really shows the flexibility. So this one, I'm thinking, no, it's, it's still not quite there. So what would we do? Well, it's quite simple then. I would, I'm going to have to we'll pop this back in, OK? I would take that and my C plate. I would then add either my second C plate or my other three mil plate and add that through. And basically, all you are actually doing is altering the sandwich based on the plates you have each time till you find the one that works with the die you've got. And that means that regardless of which manufacturer made your die, you will find a sandwich that will cut it. Um, and this is the benefit of having things like the metal plate included in there. So this time, there we go. Oh, nearly through. So I would just shim it a little bit more. But this is, you know, I, I've, I've, st I've basically tried the hardest card that we have in existence through that. And I'd rather show you what does and doesn't work. So again, I'll put a piece of normal card on because there is a little trick that you're supposed to use with that, which I will show in a second. So we just run that one through, take it. And if it doesn't want to take it, if it's too thick, if it's wrong, it will reject it. Those three lights there will flash and it will reverse itself back out. Um, but again, it's always with any die cutting, making sure your sandwich is right and that the die you are using is right for the card type that you're using. So there we go all cut through. So that's how you would alter it, first of all for a big style or steel rule die, which everybody asks about, but secondly, that's how you would alter and play with your sandwich each time until you find the right sandwich to work for the die that you've bought. Look and that, that cuts perfectly. Look at that. And I have to say, from experiences, uh, th those type of dies are the most challenging dies ever to cut. So uh, that's the thing. Uh, with I the think they power. stopped doing them because yes. they were so difficult to well, cut. Well, I remember I one. was part of the company that manufactured them when they made the transition from that to uh, uh, the wafer thin dies. So I know all about the issues that they, they carried. <laughs> I know. Uh, but this is the thing. Both uh, John and I, we have got a lot of experience with die cutting machines. I, you know, I I remember in 2004, I was, you know, I was teaching die cutting machines because at the time they were not, you know, there was not the proliferation that there are now. Certainly there were not electrics. And certainly there were no A4. And from the, from years that we have known each other, John and I, it, it's the kind of, I trust his opinion when it comes to die cutting, about crafting as well, but generally speaking, but especially with die cutting. He chose, as a customer, to go for the couture creations, go power and emboss. He chose it for a reason. I said it yesterday, a launch show, that of course, the go power, it's, it's one of the machines that he discovered that they could be rely on. He could rely on it because it would take all the sorts of dyes, the, the thicker dyes, the wafer thin dyes, the embossing detail, but also A4, but also without having to hand crank. Now, some of us still love manual machines, and we, but also 
we know their limitations. What? They, they, you need the power. You need your strength. You sometimes don't have it. Also saves you time. And also, John is one of these people that die cuts constantly. So he has put his own personal gut power and boss for two years to the test. He has done it. He still is the one that chooses to bring for his demonstrations. You know, and I will tell you a little bit of it. You know, we all demonstrators bring their own die cutting machine, or not all of them, but most of us, because we rely on them. We don't want to. It's like, it's like you want you are on TV. You want the machine to do the work. That is how John has chosen his and has stuck with him. This is why he is comfortable to not even test any die. Come in and say, yeah, we'll find a way. I love the fact that the plates are interchangeable, that you may be using plates that you may have for other machines as long as they are this right thickness. Remember, this is a powerful machine that delivers every single time. Of course, the sandwich may be thicker or thinner, but that's a part of the joy to understanding, to get the best results. What I love about it is that straight away you are getting two embossing folders and 30 dies. So if you're thinking, like I'm thinking, this would be an amazing Christmas present for my mom, which by the way, my mom is in Spain, so you can, we can post things abroad as well. You can send it, and straight away she will have all the plays, the power, and of course she will have the amazing dies and embossing folders there ready to go for. Now, the blush pink, or well, I call it the blush pink because I, that's how I see this beautiful thing. I'm gonna, li oh, lifting up. It's a little bit of a str str heavy machine. So of course, I'm kind of trying to tilt it and not knocking everything out. But you can see in here the beautiful pink in there that you have. Now that, of course, is an exclusive to uh, uh, the craft store and is this exclusive if you want to be able to find anywhere else now if you want yours of course do check out your baskets once it's gone it's gone so two-thirds of the stock of the monthly mega deal has already gone so if you want yours make sure that you check out your baskets now John Incredibly popular, incredibly versatile, and also, um, you know, it's real. We can rely on this machine. We, we can rely on it. I think that's one of the major differences. This is my machine I've had for two years, over two years. This is my machine that I bought, and I bought it for more than it costs on this show. I also love it that much that I bought four of them. I have one that I keep and travel with, one that I have at home permanently, and three that I keep for workshops. So I've actually got five, haven't I? That's strange. But because I want people, when they're doing workshops with me, I want them to use the equipment that I use, the equipment that I trust, and I think that's important. Um, and one of the things I want to go through, and this is the reason I use it for workshops, is because when you are actually doing this as a job, so when you are die cutting or you are demonstrating as a job, and when you're doing workshops, you're doing different cards and different projects and different techniques every month. And you need to make sure that your equipment is working for everything you could possibly be asked for. So this is one of the things I absolutely love. So these are pieces that I've cut during the shows. So here we've got, so this is a piece cut almost in the center of a satin card. Cut absolutely perfect. Look at the detail on those. So it will cut things like that. This is one of the dies you get in the set. This is cut in a coated 300 GSM of craft card. Here it is cut in a watercolour mixed media card. So the same die. I've got this cut with a big die. This is in mount board. As you can see here, very thick in mount board. This again is in craft card. We've got these numbers cut in grey board. I've got the tag cut again in the mount board. I've got a very thick mylar, and that has cut. I, I, I was watching it this morning, and it's of course, mylar, mylar is of course for the um, open dice, uh, dice, right? Yes, it is. As, as long as it's an open shape, this would work with mylar. So I've got this one cut in mylar. I've got here. This is a thick canvas fabric, very honestly, won't even fray, it's that thick canvas fabric. I cut this with the dies. This is a thin cotton lining fabric, like a really cheap one, so this was cut in there. But we even go down to, this is in vellum or parchment, which is detailed, and this one here is cut 
in acetate. So this one, you can hardly see it. If I put it against the green, can you see? That's cutting acetate. So I needed a machine that was going to cut for whatever I threw at it and whatever material, and so that I could be confident in actual cutting these absolutely perfectly. And one of the things that allows all of these different materials to be cut so well is the plate combination, but it's also this metal shim. The metal shim makes all the difference because, again, it's not sharp. You're not going to hurt yourself. This one, as you can see, has been used and used and used, so it's no problem. And what that means is with certain mixed materials, it means that I can cut them into this. So, for example, if I want to cut vellum, I'm going to use vellum with some fine detail. So I would put the metal shim down, so I'm going A base plate, metal shim, C plate, because I'm using a fine paper. I would then put my two dies down, and again, remembering, you'll always get the best effects on the sides. So we put those down. I put the B plate on top, and I cut it through. And again, it's just a case of taking it to your machine, presenting it. I'm literally, as far as I can go, and press run, and it will grab it itself and run it through. So that's when I'm using a vellum, and a vellum is like a normal paper. So vellum is a standard normal paper, so it has fibres, so if the pressure is right in the machine, it will cut. So see here, I just pop this out, there we go. So this is simple cut with the vellum, and you see there that beautiful snowflake. Okay, cut into the plate. This time I want to cut the same two dies into acetate, which is one of the hardest things to make. And I'm using the Kaleido acetate, in case anyone's sure, unsure what acetate I'm using. So this is a high duty, not, not ridiculously thick, but it's a, um, a heat resistant one. And this time, when it doesn't have any fibres in the medium you're cutting, so it isn't paper-based, you cut onto the metal shim. So I'm going to put exactly the same two dies in exactly the same place, this time on the acetate. So I've got this time a base plate, C plate, then the metal shim, then my B plate on top. And again, I'm just going to take it, present it, and press run. And you'll hear it like it's walking on sugar, like you're standing on sugar crystals. Um, and that is the dye biting into the acetate onto the metal sheet. And I used to have to do this by wasting. The only way I could get this acetate to cut like this was by doing it onto another piece of card. Well, now I don't have to waste the card. But if you see there, there is the finest acetate snowflake I think I have ever seen. Yeah, so that's cut. And this is a job that I know for a fact is an absolute real struggle with most machines. So if we want to cut something like fabric, so I'm going to grab some fabric from my magic box. And again, I'm using a thick canvas because I didn't believe in making it easy by using thin fabric. So I've got two layers of this thick canvas fabric. And again, it has no fibres, so I need to cut into the metal shim. So I'm using exactly the same sandwich to cut fabric as I used for acetate. So A plate, C plate, then my metal shim. I'm going to take a couple of, these are handmade by Haley's fabric dies, because you need a fabric die to cut fabric. Take them on as normal, and again, B plate on top, and it's the same routine again. Present it to the machine. It's got a good base. See, I can actually hold that with one finger because it's held. Present it, press run. If it doesn't take, give it a little tap and it will take it through. And this time, so the exact same sandwich, 
I've changed the dies to fabric dies, but will cut now fabric just as easily and just as well as it cut the vellum and cut the acetate. And this is what impresses me, so it doesn't matter what workshop I was doing. You see there, perfectly cut both layers of that fabric, and it's the thick fabric I've used. Yeah. So exactly the same sandwich, because it seems to have some sort of flexibility in there. And the sort of the last one that I know people would want to know on sort of cutting different materials is we've done cutting mount board, we've done cutting grey board, done things like that, but what about cutting with things like your aqua quilt, or your aqua, aqua quilt, is it? Never remember to get the name right. So what do we do about cutting some of the dies that are designed to cut layers of fabric? So again, this is an A4 one. I'm going to again use the same fabric. I'm just going to trim this down to size. So again, I'm using two layers of the canvas on this Christmas stocking die. So all I do is take out of the sandwich the base plate. So I've got C plate, my large quilting die. And I simply take another C plate or another three millimeter plate in. Yeah. If you are concerned, you can put your metal plate in. And all you do is exactly the same again. You take that, you present that sandwich, and you press run. And it will take that, and if it's not happy, it would reject it out. But what we'll find this time is, just by taking out the base plate and the B, replacing with two Cs, we're able to use some of the quilting dies, which, and to be honest, some of these are a ridiculous price. I was very lucky. I won this one in a tombola because I wouldn't actually have bought it because they were like 80 pounds, I think. But you can see there, now I have both sides of my stocking cut in this canvas. I have both sides of the top and the heel bit. So that has, means we've been able to cut fabric with a quilt die, fabric with fabric dies, acetate and vellum all through in the same machine. Thank you so much, John, for those roundups. There's many masterclass in here. Uh, we have had a lovely emails as well, incredible testimonials, because, of course, the go power on was, well, you have had it, John, for two years, and you yeah. love it. So they have many customers as well. Uh, now, for instance, Dottie, uh, she's saying, having owned a plethora of die cutting machines, I have to think, I have think, uh, I think I have experience to say that this has been the best purchase. The, Daft ones have been given away. The only uh, one worthy of footprint is the wall power and emboss. It's actually a poem, and I'm just misreading it. So I'm sorry about this because it's uh, kind of amazing. I have wasted a lot of my money buying machines that promise the earth, and then find them I'm having to fiff and faff around, wasting paper and card. It's absurd. I just want a machine that does it what it says and doesn't break down midway through. In my opinion, the Go Power is the best. So so try it because you are going to love it too. That's from Donny. Dottie, that's I've really good. I've got to agree with Dottie there. Yeah. All I want as a die cutter is to be able to rely on the tools that I've bought to do the job I bought them for without fitting and faffing yeah. and breaking down halfway through. You're completely right. That's why this is the machine I use. Yeah, indeed. Uh, thank you, Dottie. And we have had another from Manda as well. Hi, Amanda in Norfolk. Lovely part of the world uh, here. I bought a Go Power in February from the craft store and just wanted to say thank you for the demos with the great thin dies. I have got some of these dies for years and never managed to get them to work. Now I can use them in the Go Power alongside my collection of big size and mixed media dies. Thank you, John, for your realistic demos. Trying different ways, just like us at home. Love and crafty hugs, hugs to Paula and yourself and the whole team. Thank you, Manda Brown. Lucky, Thank you. Love, 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 love getting it's crafty lovely. hugs, isn't it? Yeah, I love it? crafty hugs. Yes, and then we have also another message from Debbie. I mean, this is this is a testimonial how much crafters like yourself at home are loving the Go Power. Uh, hi, loving the show. I bought a Go Power about 
18 months ago and I clearly stated in manual that it wouldn't take the big size. So I gave it away to a family member and bought a machine that would. But John is using the big size in the show. Can you please confirm definitely that it takes a big size without doing any damage to the machine or have I updated the machine for taking them now and are all the mo uh, Oh, and I have another model that didn't take them. Right. Um, my machine is about two years, two and a half years old. But originally, when they launched this machine, they because it was made for the Australian market, they weren't particularly aware of the big size. Right. They made it, thankfully, on the standard, because it's exactly the same size plate combination that we do for the Kaleido, which is why your Kaleido plates will fit just as well. And so what they found is, in their original instructions, so I think with mine it came with the original instructions, it didn't tell you how, they weren't sure how. It's with people like myself and other people in the industry who've said, surely it will, and then we worked out how. And that's one of the reasons why you don't get, because I think if it had been planned from the beginning, you would have got two C plates, nice inside the package and they can't change it now but i i will promise you and it is now included in the instructions okay so it is in the instruction manual so it is authorized to do that that yet yeah, you can take so i will take a big sty i'm going to use a couple of layers of um, coordinations i bought every different kind of paper i'd got all the difficult ones so where have we got, let's get something a little bit different. No, okay, we'll have a clock. Okay. So basically all you have to do is, and this is now authorized by Couture Creations, it's not me going off, is the C plate that comes with the machine, you will need another either C plate, a Kaleido three mil plate, a different company's three mil plate to make your big styles work. And all you do is present it and press run and it will take it, but I promise you, in the instructions, um, is it Dorothy, sorry? Uh, sorry, that was Debbie. Debbie, in the instructions, now is included how to cut the big size, so it is authorised and you will not mess your warranty up by using a big sty through there, it is right. But at the time when you first bought it, they, I don't think they were that much aware of it. But that's the big sty, cutting on the coordinations, I should sand it down. But you see, it works perfectly. And if you find your second one doesn't cut as well, use your metal shim. But yes, you are allowed to do it. Thank you so much, John, for that demonstration. I hope that has uh, kind of answered your question, Zavi. Uh, your older model should take them as well as, as long as you follow uh, John's instructions about the two C plates or the raspberry uh, plate. Now, this is, has been the last live hour for the launch of the monthly make deal. Yes, I know it's 4 p.m. and of course, 4 p.m. usually is the last live hour of the one day special. However, this is about the monthly mega deal. The fabulous Go Power and Emboss from Couture Creations with that exclusive blush paint as well as the classic gold. So you can choose whichever of the two options you want to go for. You will have that £10 saving and also you will you can spread the cost in interest-free payments. But over two-thirds of that stock, the massive stock for a monthly mega deal that is here in the country, is here in the warehouse across the road, it's already gone. Two-thirds of the stock of the blush paint. Now the gold is also very popular. It's up to you which one you go for. It's your choice, it's your as well as however you are going to split in the cost or not. Johnny, it has been a pleasure as always. Thank you. It's been muy bien, gracias. Bueno, uh, uh, I was going, you know, I was going to switch in Spanish. Cuando vuelves? Which is when are you next? Um, oh, Friday. Friday. And I can't remember Friday in Spanish. It's oh, terrible. Viernes. No, El viernes. Viernes. Ah, sí. No, no, en viernes. El, nueve, el viernes a las 9, Friday at 9, John will be back. Stay tuned. I love a little bit of Spanish, or a lot, and a lot of spice, of course, in the kitchen and next uh, here at the craft store. And then a brand new one day special, uh, special from Dolly Dimples at 6. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly, and I'm really excited to be working with you guys here at the Craft Store. 
We've been here since the very beginning and hopefully we'll continue to bring you lots of new and exciting soft craft projects. We've got everything from things like our Fabazine, which contains 12 different projects that you can do either in one go or split them up separately. Um, and that's a journey through all types of different soft crafting. And then we've got things that are really specific like our stitchery, which is a journey through all kinds of embroidery as well. So make sure you join me and craft yourself silly here at the craft store. In the foothills of Alnul, a lawless event unfolds. The craft store's sixth birthday, an exciting time beholds. Phil Martin and Indigo Blue, Heartfelt Creations, Zuri, and Crafts 2. With six pounds of credit, there'll be plenty to buy. With great one-day specials, the aces are high. With discounts and deals, with prices to amaze, join us for a hoedown for a wild seven days. From fabric to paper to glitter and pencils, pens and stamps, inks and stencils. Join us in August, a craft extravaganza. Happy sixth birthday, the Craft Store's Bonanza. Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures, and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows. Hello and welcome. I'm very excited about this hour. I'm getting to cook. Now, I must admit, um, I think I've only done one hour uh, with uh, the lovely Sanji in the Spice Kitchen, but oh my gosh, I love everything on this counter. Um, the smells are amazing. The display is beautiful. So if you're thinking about yourself, if you're thinking of a gift, oh my gosh, and there really is something for everybody. You know, there's all different types of um, intensities, if you're thinking spices. There's all different types of, um, of flavours that you can achieve. Whether you're talking Middle Eastern, whether you're talking Indian, whether you're talking African. So there's a real blend. Um, and the spices are quality. Um, all um, hand-grown spices, beautiful. I mean, they are picked for their quality. And you can tell. You can tell from the aromas. Um, I love the, the display as well. They look amazing. Um, now, you have got a lot of choice. Um, I would recommend, if you're going for something, obviously, um, have a look on the website. You can have a real nice product on the website and see all the different blends uh, that are on the website for in each tin because each tin offers you something different and they've got some incredible reviews as well um, I do the 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 one the the baby spice that makes me giggle because uh, that's one that isn't quite as intense uh, but we will be going through all of this of course I must admit I had my eye on the hot chocolate ones as well. Uh, they are vegan. I've got my eye on them. I also rather had my eye on the gin one, which looks rather fabulous as well. So it's not just about your cooking. You can do so much more. Now, let's take you through something that um, that we're going to get. Now, we'll talk about the one in front of me, first of all. Um, when our Sanjay is ready, we will be chatting to him as well. In fact... We've just had notification. Lovely Sanjay is in the building and is ready. Not in this building, it is in his building. Hello there, lovely Sanjay. Hi, Leonie. How are you doing? Oh, I'm so well. I'm very excited about this, Iris Sanjay. I'm getting to cook. I Honestly, I'm so excited. Um, last time I did a show with you, I, I mean, the smell of all these spices, it's absolutely incredible. Tell us a little bit about the company and, and obviously where it all began. Yeah, sure. So 
It's a bit of a funny one because uh, the business actually started as a retirement hobby for my mum uh, back Aww. in 2012. And, um, yeah, it was an amazing journey. It started as a little retirement project for her. She was born in Kenya and then raised in India. And she's an amazing cook, really, really good with spices and food. So we came up with this kind of crazy idea. She'd been retired for a few years and was a bit bored. And I came up with this idea that she'd be able to sell her fresh spices, which she's always been really passionate about, um, actually in one of these traditional Indian spice boxes that are in front of you. And um, that's kind of what we did. So we launched it online. Uh, we started handmaking these blends. My mum's got a 100-year-old spice grinder that's a bit of a family heirloom. Uh -huh. And um, we make all the blends in-house. And uh, we started selling them online. And eight years on, here we are. We've wow. kind of grown and grown and grown. And um, people love our products. And as you see as an add-on also, my mum hand makes these beautiful silk sari gift wraps for the spice boxes. And oh. it just adds something even extra special. So, oh. um, yeah, we've got a – it's a lovely it's a, it's a lovely creative business all around. Mum's amazing crafting ability and food abilities and spice making yeah. abilities. And, um, yeah. I love that. I love it because it's the history, but also because obviously um, your mum must be so proud of where, you know, how it's grown. And, and obviously people must come back time and time again, mustn't they? Once, they? once they've, you know, tasted the quality, because that makes, I mean, obviously using the right spices, it makes all the difference, doesn't it? This, this is a, a deal changer when it comes to cooking, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I mean, the fresher the ingredients you can get, the better, really. And like all ingredients, the, the quality makes all the difference in the end dish. So we make all the blends fresh in-house. My mum's been a massive advocate all of her life about making sure you've got the best quality ingredients and, and spices being a part of that, especially with Indian cooking. Yeah. And we've got an army of customers who love what mm -hmm. we do and um, love our products and, you know, come, you know, buy spices from us every day. So, um, yeah. Yeah, we're very humbled by that. Oh, it's because it's good stuff, that's why. Um, now, we're going to go through, the first tin that we're going to go through with you, Sanjay, is the Middle Eastern and the African spices. I love that your mum has um, such a, 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 a fabulous, um, you know, array of different cultures as well and the different spices. That's amazing. Um, now, talk us through what we're getting in this one um, because these look really interesting. So what we're getting in the Middle Eastern and African spices tin then Sanjay because what makes this special so yeah Middle Eastern and if anyone's been to like a Turkish or Lebanese or even Moroccan cooking this this kind of covers all of those elements so it's really um, championing all those Middle Eastern and Persian spices and for anyone with you know an Ottolenghi cookbook or Sabrina Gayor or any of these amazing Middle Eastern chefs um, they will recognize some of these names but we've got things like za'atar which is a really amazing sesame and herb blend yeah. traditionally used to make pita breads but really good with fish and salads we've got raz el hanout which is your classic moroccan blend to make tagines those kind of ah. deep uh, deeply really rich moroccan stews yeah. um, and if anyone's familiar with those kind of conical pots traditional yes. those, those are the tagine pots that kind of the moroccans love to cook in yeah. um, you've got bahara which is like a tunisian north african blend um, um, we've got some chili peppers from Turkey, Aleppo and Urfa Bibir there. Um, so it's got a whole array of sumac, which is, a, which is actually a berry that's been crushed up. It's kind of what Middle Easterns traditionally used to kind of almost as a lemon replacement um, oh. to add that kind of citrusy tones to food. And sometimes in restaurants, you'll see it sprinkled on hummus and things like that. Oh, yeah. So, um, and fenugreek seeds, they're quite a bitter um, whole spice, but they can be ground down. Um, and again, they add that kind of bitterness element to dishes, which is really, really, uh, really, really key. Um, often used in Indian cooking as well as kind of all the way through that kind of spice, ro spice route through to the Middle East. Um, but yeah, I love this set. It's really creative. Um, again, if you're more of an advanced cook or you know somebody who loves cooking, but maybe has got a lot of Indian spices or other ones. Um, and as you see, we've got this amazing recipe guide. So all of the tins have recipe guides now. Perfect. We've spent a year putting these together. We've had an opportunity with, lot, with you know, with COVID and lockdown to kind of do this uh -huh. as a business. Yeah. And these are some of our family favorites, as you can see. So falafels, again, classic Middle oh, Eastern, man, deep fried chickpeas, hummus. Beautiful. We've done a really interesting Moroccan spiced hazelnuts, pecan nuts here. Um, oh, wow. And yeah, there's another hummus, carrot hummus. So, yeah, lots of varied meat and vegetarian dishes. Um, and hopefully these kind of 12 to 15 recipes gives a bit of inspiration, but there's a lot more recipes that you can yeah. find online with a Middle Eastern cookbook um, or on our recipe section also.
I love it. I love it because you've even got sweet things. I love it because it's it's something that you're going to it's going to educate you. You know, you're going to you're going to grow. Your food is going to grow with this. Now, look at your prices. Twenty four ninety five. You've got such a huge selection of uh, the beautiful spices, uh, the herbs and spices. Again, it does come in the gorgeous tin. I mean, just have a look at this when it um, when it comes to you. Look how beautiful that's going to be packed. All of these are removable. A beautiful way of storing your your um, your spices. Um, beautiful packaging that you're going to keep. And of course, it's resealable. You even get your measuring spoon in these. Absolutely love this. You've if you're thinking of gift ideas for $24.95, amazing, but just for yourself, to keep all your wonderful herbs and spices together. Now, and I like that it's kept in the section. Do you know what I mean? So this is for your, your African and Middle Eastern, so you know what that tin is. Now, this one is 747114. So that's the first one we're talking about today. We've obviously got loads and loads of choice. However, um, the one that we're going to be cooking with is the one just down there. So we're going to talk about that one. Again, check out the website because we've got lots of other choices. I'm passing my chili spice tin. Uh, but we're going to talk about the world spice tin um, and this one has got nine spice blends and uh, barbecue rubs in this one so again um, an absolutely exquisite collection of different herbs and spices and um, would you like to talk us through this one and tell us what we're getting in this one because this again I can there's a, a there's one I recognize immediately but but again there's a really good blend of, um, of different herbs and spices isn't there <laughs> Yeah, so the World Tin is absolutely fantastic. It's got nine core blends in there. And what we've done is taken the nine most popular of all of our spice blends and put them into one set. In this tin, you've got three of the classic Indian blends. So you've got Garam Masala, which is a typical Indian blend used yes. in most curries. You've got Tandoori Masala. Um, if often you've seen that kind of quite deep red Tandoori yes. chicken or Tandoori fish in restaurants, that's kind of that blend that gives it that flavor. And you've also got Sri Lankan curry powder. So that's like traditional curry powder, very much more tradition for Sri Lanka. And again, Sri Lankans love to use coconut mm -hmm. and coconut milk in a lot of the dishes. So it pairs itself really well to that. You've then that. got three of the Middle Eastern blends. Same as in the Middle Eastern sets, so you've got Zatar, Ras El Hanout, and uh, Harissa, which is a chili blend. Beautiful. So certainly if you like it, spicy. And then we've got jerk, which is from Jamaica. We've got Mexican, uh, like a classic Mexican, which we're actually going to use today on our Yay. fish tacos. Yeah. And um, we've also got a um, uh, Mexican jerk and a Chinese blend as well. So um, great, like Chinese five spice to kind of do... Um, you know, those kind of uh, Chinese dishes and stuff. Amazing. Rice. And I love it because you were saying that you, you, you actually blend all of these. You know, that's, that's some work. It's a lot of work, yeah. I mean, you know, what started off as a little hobby, mum doing a few in a kitchen idea. <laughs> uh, we're based in Liverpool. We've now expanded into a bigger factory. I never, ever dreamt of running a food factory. It was never our intention, but <laughs> to be honest, I wouldn't change it for the world. It's absolutely amazing. amazing. It smells incredible in there. Yes. Um, and any even passing people say, oh, my God, this, is, this place is great. Yeah. But you know, we blend everything fresh, all in small batches. And we buy the best quality raw spices. So that world tin, for example, has got maybe 60 different ingredients, raw yeah. spices in it. Wow. And we combine them all um, with recipes that we've refined over the years to create these blends. And, you know, we, we do tweak them over time and yeah. sometimes make slight adjustments, but, um, you know, based on customer feedback. But we've got it. We've got them all these ones to a point where customers love them and, you know, kind of don't want us to change the recipes because they love them so much. Yeah. Oh, um, I love it. Yeah. Um, but again, uh, it comes with, that, comes with that recipe guide, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure the recipe guide. Do you want me, I'm going to let you get ready for uh, the demonstration to teach me how to cook. I'm very excited. Um, while you're getting ready, my love, I'll show you the um, the recipes, because obviously every single tin, you do have um, the recipes that are perfect for the actual um the spices that you're getting in here and again i love it because it, although with these of course you're going to be able to make some match them so like me you know if it, if it is a chicken one obviously you're going to be using um you know alternatives there it's all about learning the the, the different um the different ways of using the beautiful spices because this is it sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming can't it you know you look at all these spices and you just don't know where to spread out 
the beautiful thing about these, they're blended perfectly for you. You've got an incredible starting point with the beautiful recipe book. And then, of course, you've got so much more, um, so many other recipes that you'll be able to find uh, using these gorgeous, gorgeous blends. Oh, it smells amazing. And the price, so affordable, £24.95 for the whole collection. 730133 is your item number. Now, please check out the website. Uh, you'll see all the other blends on there. And it just smells amazing. Uh, we will be going through these in a bit more detail after we've done some cooking, which I'm very excited about. Um, if you've got any questions, email in, uh, because obviously we will, be able, we will be able to help you. And of course, if you've already bought these, if you've had them in the past, we would love to hear from you. Um, and we'd love, of course, uh, to, to see some pictures. Maybe you've already, you know, maybe you've done some Instagram shots. Um, and we'd love to see some of your photographs as well of what you've actually created with some of these beautiful spice blends. Um, if there's anything you want, please do check those baskets out. Now then, I'm ready. I've got my penny on. It is my Christmas penny, but you know. Um, I'll hopefully be able to work the cooker. We're ready with that as well. Right, are you ready, Sanjay? Oh, I'm ready if you're ready. I'm ready! Where are we starting? Great stuff. So... This is a really, really simple recipe. It's one of the classic ones that's from our um, world tin. Um, I absolutely adore Mexican food. Um, it's really quick. It's really simple. It's got a lot of combinations of different flavors. Um, so we're going to make some fish tacos, basically, uh, which are kind of like quickly uh, fried, um, marinated fish. And then it's kind of, with, as with a lot of Mexican food, it's a lot of garnishes and it's got a quick um, sauce on it. And then you can add lots of different condiments. Um, I'm doing fish. Leona, you're vegan, so you're doing tofu right i am indeed yep we've got some and we've got the firm tofu as well which is quite nice because obviously it'll keep its um it'll keep its texture so that's what we've excellent. picked up boom ready excellent okay perfect let's go so firstly we're going to make a quick marinade for the fish okay. and really this is so versatile you know a lot of cooking is based on marinades and kind of sauces and all of that so let's just start in a little uh, bowl if you've got one as well just pour in a little bit of oil so we want about two tablespoons um i'm going to freestyle it but if you want to measure them out that's fine but just a little bit of oil again to stop things burning um because we won't be applying you know we put putting some oil in the pan but again it will stop that fish and that tofu burning okay um, we're then going to add have you got a lime there at all Leonie? Well, already squeeze sanjay look at that oh, oh, yeah. Ben's been on it. you've, you've got on it so yeah just yeah. a bit of lemon juice in there uh, lime juice sorry so um you know maybe one small lime or half a big lime okay um, um i'm guessing you've already got chopped garlic but i'll have to quickly do some so, <laughs> so yeah. maybe uh, look i'm, I'm going to be ahead of you i'm afraid sanjay because oh, ben has sorted it all out for us Amazing. you need That's yourself great. a ben so, <laughs> I do need myself a Ben, yeah. Now I've got a, as I said, I've got a three-year-old, and she's getting there. She's quite, getting quite good at chopping. But is she's that not, Baby not, Spice? <laughs> baby Spice, yeah. Is it my little daughter Zara? So she's obviously one of the rangers is inspired by her. Yeah, um, I love that. But yeah, I have That's... been getting into the kitchen from a young age. Um, um, but garlic's really, really important. Again, some people like it more than others, so feel free. I'm putting a whole garlic clove in. I know some of my family love it more than others. I would have um, put about three so, in there. I'm not going to lie. I love garlic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Next, we're going to put some Mexican in. So, again, you know, this comes straight out of your tin. You can see I've got a little spice spoon here, which has been well utilized. So maybe three teaspoons, um, you know, depending on how much you've gone. Leon, looking at the amount of tofu, I'll probably put two in for the amount of tofu you've got there. Um, okay. But yeah, you know, two to three teaspoons is absolutely fine. As you can smell, the, the spice blend is really, really fresh. Wow, yeah, um, that smells amazing. And the, I know. There is some heat in it as well, so you might want to adjust it based on how hot you want. But it's, it's all about boring. experimentation. So you, you know, start off less, and then over time, you might increase it based on that spice level. <laughs> um, I put more in, obviously. And I get always, it in, Leonie. I get generally it in. make get all my food it. way too spicy, but I love it. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, that's great. You can handle it. And then all we need now is a little bit of salt. So we do put some salt in the blends, but again, being with fish and tofu, you really want to make sure it's flavoured. So I'm just going to put, you know, roughly maybe half a tea, uh, maybe a teaspoon of salt in there. Okay. Um, I've got a grinder here using um, rock salt, but you can use normal table salt as well. Beautiful. Okay, my salt's in there. Great. So I'm trying to get my oil open. I feel I might need a bit more oil. Got it. Yeah, you can... 
put a tiny little bit more oil in. Now, the thing is, is that because the blend is here, that's all you need for the marinade because the Mexican has got so many different spices inside of it. Wow. You know, it's got paprika, it's got your chili, it's got oregano, it's got extra garlic powder in there, and Beautiful. it's got cayenne, which is and cumin seeds. So, you know, there's lots and lots of different spices there. So I'm just going to whisk that up. I've got a little whisk. Um, and you can see all of that kind of coming together and actually yeah. forming really kind of deep red colour. Yeah, that's really nice. It's a beautiful, rich colour, isn't it? Exactly. And if you want to give that a quick smell, Leone, you'll be able to kind of almost smell, smell all of those things coming together yeah. and that Mexican really coming out. That's lovely. And it's so nice because obviously um, you can still smell. I mean, the, the main thing that you can smell is there are the blends. You know, yep. you know, you've got strong things in there. You've got your lime in there, but it's that Mexican blend that, that you can really, that really pops, isn't it? Exactly, exactly that. Now, um, what I reckon we do is should we make the sauce next and then we'll fry the fish? Sure. Let's do that. Great stuff. Great. So I'm just going to grab another ramekin. So, I mean, again, you can be really, really flexible with the sauces. So, you know, there is going to be flavor in the fish, but this is something to balance it out. So, you know, in Mexican food, you typically have, you know, you have your guacamoles and your salsas and your sour creams, which all have different varying flavors. And so, again, this one has got more of a kind of uh, a milky one. So it's using mayonnaise or sour cream. I think I've got some sour cream, which I'm going to blend with mayonnaise, but I know you're vegan, uh, Leonie, so you're just going to use mayonnaise, right? Yeah, I've got vegan mayonnaise. I think you can get um, vegan sour cream, but we didn't pick any up. But you can, yeah, I've got my vegan mayo. We've got everything these Amazing. days, vegans. We're on it. Exactly. Yeah, I know exactly. Uh, what am I doing? How many, uh, what am I doing? Sorry. Um, so you just want to put some, yeah, put some of the mayonnaise, maybe a couple, few tablespoons of mayonnaise okay, um, okay. in there. Yeah, maybe one yeah. more. All right, then. We do love the vegan mayo. It's a lot of mayo. Yeah, but we like <laughs> a lot of mayo. <laughs> Exactly. Mm. Um, and again, you know, you can have it by the side. So once you fry the fish, once you fry the fish and put them in the tacos, people can have as much or little sauce as they want. Yes. Next, we're going to put some some um, uh, some lemon or some lime into this. Ta -da. Oh, is this in the little hot dish? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. And then, um, again, I would probably try and put a bit more garlic in here as well. So have you got any more garlic there? Oh, indeed. Our Ben's put a little Good. bit more garlic in there. Great. So just a little bit more garlic in there. Um, and then we're going to add some spice. So we're going to put some chilli, some cumin and some salt in. Okay, okay. So, how so much Mexicans about absolutely each? love using... Um, so I would put maybe um, half, a, half a teaspoon of cumin just to flavour it up. Uh, okay. The Mexicans absolutely love cumin. And cumin's obviously got this really, really earthy flavour. Um, we're going to use ground cumin uh, because obviously it's going into the sauce. But, you know, even in marinades and Indian food, you, you could even use... Um, ground uh, cumin seeds um, but yeah a bit of ground cumin in there um, I would put like a pinch of salt in this one uh, okay, there might okay. already be some salt in that mayonnaise for you so I wouldn't put too much um, more okay too much more salt in um, okay. I'm going to put up some cumin and now chili flakes so any chili really you don't have to use chili flakes right. you can actually use um, you know chili um, powder right okay um, and Mexicans have so much variety. We've got some amazing crushed chilies in our sets, yes. but you can use any chilies, you know, from your chipotles to your chili powders. I mean, there's such a wide variety in the market these days. Okay. And the sauce is as simple as that, really. So wow. if you want to give it? that a mix, That's amazing. that is literally it. So what you can do now is what I would recommend doing is giving that a bit of a mix and definitely taste it. I mean, like all good chefs and all food, my mum's always taught me, you know, keep tasting as you're going along and adjusting those flavours. Yeah. So you might taste it and feel like, you know, especially because different, people's different palates and people's tastes are different. So you might want it more citrusy. You might want it more salty. You might want it more, you know, even more heat in there. Um, so if you can give it a quick taste. Um, That's lovely. So I'm going to put... No, it's lovely. I'm going to put a bit more chilli in mine I'm and a bit gonna more salt. I'm just going to eat a tub of mayonnaise now. Yeah, that is <laughs> lovely. That makes me happy. It's nice. Again, and, mm -hmm. you know, what you will find is if you leave this for a couple of hours with the cumin, the, the actual spices will infuse a little bit, so they'll oh, be a bit stronger. Um, so that's another idea. So if you are prepping in the morning for, say, an evening dish or a lunchtime dish, then, you know, if you want to get it prepared earlier, then it will infuse. Um, to be honest with you, we're ready to kind of cook now. Um, if you've got your sauce, you've got your marinade. Got my um, marinade. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so what I would do, actually, sorry, we do need to marinate it. So okay. if you grab your um, tofu and then if you mix it and just, you know, mix it with the marinade and pour it all over the tofu. 
Okay. Just make sure that's really, really coated. Superb. Um, and if if you feel that it needs, you need to get your marinade a bit further, would you add more oil in there? Exactly. You can add more oil or you can just double up on all the ingredients as well. Right. Um, but, yeah, no, definitely. Not. There's going to be oil in the pan as well. Um, right. But, yeah, I would add more lemon juice even and, and just increase all of the quantities of all of that, um, all of the recipes. So you will need a bit more lime, a bit more garlic. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, a little bit more oil as well. It smells um, fabulous. Before it even starts cooking, it smells fabulous. It's And when you think about it, marinades, I mean... That is such a simple marinade to make, isn't it? Really, really simple. The other key thing with marination is you do ideally want to leave it. I mean, if yeah. you can leave this for 24 hours, that's fine. Even for a couple of hours. Obviously, we don't have that time because yeah. we're doing it live. But I would 100% be making it in the morning for an evening meal or be prepping the day before. So I do tend to find now I'm using spices a lot, obviously, in the way I've been brought up, that I do tend to kind of make dinner and then actually start potentially at times prepping if i'm making yes. a marinade, prep it the night before yeah um and it's just about getting into that habit of doing it because then yeah. you know come to cooking this evening um it's really really easy because all the stuff's prepped and stuff yeah. so and all um, the spices then if you leave it to actually infuse in that all the spices are, are really <laughs> going to get into whatever you're cooking with whether it be fish meat or your your sort of alternative I think, um, and it's an easy habit to get into. Okay, so what's next? Now we just need a pan, so let's get our, let's get our pans onto the heat, um, and let's get them get them fired up. Sorry for all the banging. Super. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get my my pan on now. In terms of oils, it's always best to use. You've got obviously you can use olive oil. Olive oil's got quite a high burning point, or any vegetable oil. Um, yeah. Try and obviously when you're shallow frying, use use something with a high burning point. Um, so I'm going to use olive oil, but any vegetable oil that you've got. What sort of oil do you are you using today? Any? Just regular vegetable oil. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So normally you can add it in now, or you can wait for the pan to get a little bit hot. Okay. Um, but I'm just going to fire mine up quite quickly. Get some oil in there, a bit of a glug. Um, I mean, you, you again, you with your tofu, you want to again make sure that you don't turn it too much. Right. Um, so let it cook on one side, like we would, would with fish. Uh, make sure it's browned, and then you're going to flip it over. Cool. Um, and there's no real, you can you know you can eat tofu raw, so you don't need to worry about being undercooked or yeah. um, anything like that. But with my fish or with chicken, obviously you need to make sure it's cooked through. I've already lost a few cubes of mine because I ate it while I were cooking, uh, cutting it up. <laughs> 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 Great. Um, what you can do also is you might you can add a tiny, tiny bit of any of your tofu into that oil, and when you start seeing it sizzling, then you know that it's hot to actually add the other stuff in. Mm. Um, another trick that my mum used to teach me, um, uh. or if you know you've got a cumin seed or a mustard seed, so I've got a couple of cumin seeds here, so I'm just going to add that into the oil, and that acts as your test to check that you know everything's going to be really hot. Mm. Um, is this your first time cooking on the show, Leonie? Yes, it is. Well, it is ridiculous. Um, I, I, yeah, it is. But I, I do love cooking at home. It's just generally time, isn't it? But I do love cooking with, with spices and things like that. It, it's one of my favourite things, so this is absolutely perfect. Um, I think it's, it's getting there a little bit. It's starting to bubble. Great. Um, so, yeah, as soon as you think it's hot enough, just get all of that tofu in there, spread it in an even layer, and then we'll let it cook for a few minutes on each side. Super. And honestly, that's it, really. That's, it's as simple as that. Um, so, yeah, whenever you think it's ready. Um, that's mine's bubbling. Mine's getting there as well. It's bubbling. So that's going on. And I would probably get that heat up as high as you can um, mm -hmm. so it really starts to brown. Um, you'd probably struggle to burn that tofu, I would say. You know, it's, it's quite a hardy... Thing, so you can hear mine sizzling as well. I'm quite surprised, actually, Sanjay. I've, I've, got, <laughs> I've got amazing skills at burning water. So <laughs> <laughs> never ever say you'll find it hard to burn something. Oh, but yeah, okay, so just leave that doing its thing. Yeah, leave that doing its thing. And, and as soon as it's, you know, what I would do is for you is just test over how um, cooked it is by seeing how brown it is on the other side. Yeah. And again, you can see with the fish, kind of want to seal it on each side so like three to four minutes on each side and obviously with fish once it's like opaque all the way through um you know it's cooked yeah it doesn't yeah. take a long time you don't want to overcook fish either um but yeah no, the, the world tin especially and a lot of spices it's really really good and it's really good for cooking vegetarian food and vegan food as you know yeah um, to spice up vegetables and spice up cheeses and spice up all of those even meat alternatives yeah um 
And I think, um, yeah, you know, I grew up on a diet of vegetarian food, my mum being vegetarian, who did most of the cooking. So um, it was just amazing to kind of have my eyes opened as a child as to how much, you know, good vegetarian food you can do. Oh, gosh, um, yeah. So, yeah. And I think um, this is a beautiful thing about having incredible spices. You know, what, whatever um, you, you sort of like to cook, whether it be simple veg, whether it be, um, you know, more the meats and things, your spices will absolutely go with everything. And it does, I mean, it makes your food, it makes your food taste good. So therefore you get more confidence in, in your own cooking then, don't you? It makes you feel better. Exactly. So yeah, it's just a matter of confidence really. It's all about trial and error. I think yeah. a lot of people are quite fearful of spices because they don't know how to use them, but they're also worried that it might go wrong. Yeah. But I would generally say as long as you avoid too much salt or too much chili, your dishes are going to be fine. Like yeah. You've got a lot of margin to error. Um, and so it's just about experimenting and it's just about trying. And, um, you know, don't let fear hold you back, basically. Yes. What's the worst that can happen? You have to order a takeaway if it goes horribly wrong. But <laughs> hopefully, if you follow the recipe, you'll be fine. So. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's always, it's fine. And let's face it, you've got 12 recipes. And you've got, I mean, we've used a tiny bit out of that bag. You know, out of each one of these tins, you're getting a lot of servings. You know, we've literally used, I've used about two and a bit teaspoons there. So you are getting... Now, in every tin, Sanjay, you're getting a lot of spices, aren't we? We're getting the, some really good helpings. Yeah, you get a lot. And again, because our spices are blended fresh, there is, you know, a lot you get for your kind of within each bag. Yeah. You don't need a lot. And, um, you know, it's always best to start with a little bit to start with and then obviously build up your levels of heat or flavours as you or your family want them. So, yeah. 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 I'm terribly impatient, you know, when it comes to toffee. I'm really bad. It's like, oh, is it ready yet? I have, I'm terrible at tasting all the way through. I suppose that's a good thing, though, Sanjay, isn't it? You know, having a taste while you're cooking, making sure it's right. By the time I come, do you not do that thing, though, Sanjay, where by the time you actually come to eat, you're full because you've been tasting everything as you go along? <laughs> Uh, often, yeah, I've got a big appetite, but yeah, often. Um, but yeah, I'm a bit of a fiend for uh, chefs' chefs' rights, as they say, like tasting bits as you go along. <laughs> yeah, um, terrible. But yeah, you know, it is important. And you can, as you can see with my fish, like I've black, I've kept the skin on mine because I mean, I like, I prefer the skin. Other people don't. And what I've done is I've cooked skin side down first. Right. So you're getting that heat really a lot through the fish. I've blackened the skin because again, that's the way I like it. And now I'm just quickly checking because I don't want to overcook this fish. And I can see it's already becoming quite flaky. Right. How's your tofu looking? Are you managing to see it browning on, 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 the, on the reverse side now? Well, I've turned it already just to get Great. it um, cooking sort of through. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a lovely thing about tofu, isn't it? You know, it, it, it's, it's not really going to be undercooked, but it could do a little bit longer just to brown off a little bit, I think. But I have got it on high, so hopefully Great. it won't take too long there. No, that's absolutely fantastic. And again, with that charring with even fish or any meats, and that's why people love barbecues, that's adding another layer, <coughs> layer of flavours. Yeah. Um, sorry, I haven't got my extraction on, so it's... Um, um, but yeah, it's adding that extra la layer of flavour. And, uh, you know, it's another amazing layer to all your dishes to have that kind of caramelisation. It smells amazing. It smells so good. It's so nice sort of hovering over the pan, isn't it? And getting all the, the waft of those wonderful aromas. It's gorgeous. I'm so hungry, Sanjay, it's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> now, I think my fish is ready, so I'm going to take my fish off now. Okay. I'll keep this bubbling um, for a little while. Yeah, keep yours going if you need it. I'll turn it a little bit. So, um, so once we've taken the, the fish off, do, what's our next step? Really, the next step is as simple as assembly. Um, really? So let me just quickly... T Really, that's it. So, I mean, you've cooked the main, you've cooked the part part of the dish that's going to be cooked, which is obviously the fish. But with Mexican food, the rest is really all about assembly. Oh, my so we're gosh. Gonna, you, so you can toast tortilla wraps. Yeah. So if you've got tortillas, you can toast those. And then, um, really, it's a matter of putting the fish together with the tortillas by putting the sauce on and then... Um, adding those extra condiments so we you could do loads of stuff with mexican food fresh coriander if you like it yes. you've got shredded cabbage you can add cheese you can add you know extra red onion yeah there's we've, a whole spectrum of things you can do here we've got a little bit of everything with our 
to our tears. We can, um, well, I'm hoping we can stick them in pan for a few more months as well, can't we? I'm sure we can. I think. Is that with your tortilla wraps, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So I'm going to put my heat on. Um, I've got some small tortilla wraps here. Um, so, yeah, you know, you can, can do whatever you like in terms of size. You can buy, um, obviously, these are flour tortillas. And you can buy corn tortillas, which are very, very traditional in Mexico, which I absolutely love the corn ones. Sometimes a bit harder to get in your average supermarket, yeah. but definitely possible. Um, but, yeah, just toast them on either side. You can just warm them up. Um, some people like to microwave them if you're in a bit of a rush, but I prefer to toast them as you are on a pan um, or in a griddle pan. And, um, yeah, you know, it's, they, they, you know, again, it's just that it's going to be extra filling, you know, with the, with the wraps and everything, and that's going to bring it together and hold it. Sometimes Mexican food can be quite messy, but that's the, that's the fun of it. And, um, you know, I certainly don't mind getting my hands dirty and things. Um, and then, yeah, it's just about prepping all of the other... Um, you know the other elements that you might want so um i'll try and move my i'll try and move this over actually and i'm going to show just chop some of the other elements here amazing so if i get my chopping board back on um have you got any other condiments that you've got oh, like shredded yes, cabbage or avocado we've got um we've got a cheeky bit of avocado we've got our onion we've got a little bit of the vegan cheese going on we've also got some gorgeous yummy salsa so we've got everything. This is amazing. This, and this is looking good. It's looking very amazing. And you had your, you already had your minions cut all of yours. Oh, so yeah. I've got some work to do. Yeah, so. I love with them was on it. He's, he's done everything. Yeah. <laughs> good lad. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, there's so many options here. It really depends on your family. Um, I know with my family, like my wife likes certain things, and I've got a obviously three year old who likes certain elements and definitely doesn't like avocado. So the beauty is, yeah. it's really just a matter of cutting all of these different additions and this is a really really good dish to share with with friends um i often cook mexican of all the things i cook i, I think I, I move to mexican food a lot when i've got big groups of people coming yes. around yeah um as you've seen you've just got to marinate the chicken or tofu and that's your kind of big central part of the dish yeah and then everything else is just a matter of you know quickly chopping extra elements it's really filling it's really tasty and people can kind of add the elements that they want yeah. onto... Yeah, it makes um, it quite personal, doesn't it? That's the beautiful thing about it. It's quite, um, you know, it, it's quite fun as well, don't you think? Because you've got... Really fun. It's, it's one of those, because it's kind of, um, it's building it, it's assembling. And, yeah, well, you're, you can all, like, do something a little bit different, so you're experimenting as well. I love things like this. And it's really yeah. filling. And there's so many other things you can put with them as well. Exactly. I mean, it's probably not something Mexican food is not. If, not that I have formal dinner parties, but it's not. It's uh, it's definitely a messy dish, and it's also a fun dish. But yeah. you know, if I've got friends coming around, there's nothing more fun than you know even making pizzas together, or you know making Mexican food, or anything like that. So um, yeah, it's a it's a real it's a real fun thing. And Middle Eastern food also can be quite similar. So you can make absolutely amazing dishes, which are again similar to Mexican. You can have lots of elements, and then people can pick and choose what they like, rather than being served you know a big plate of food. Yeah. Um, I've got some fresh coriander here. I absolutely adore coriander, and luckily all my family do, but I know some people do not like fresh coriander, and uh, it tastes... I think oh. people are genetically dispos dis uh, you know, disposed to it because it's um, they taste it quite soapy, so some people have this weird genetic oh, thing really? where they... I really? Yeah. I love yeah, coriander. A lot of people, lot of people have a weird thing where it tastes, yeah, it tastes soapy, so... How interesting. Yeah, I love coriander. It also makes it look really pretty as well, doesn't it? Like that, that exactly. sort of splash of green always looks amazing. I've got one of my tortillas exactly. ready. The other one's on the pan, so I'll do a couple. So I'm just warming that one up now. My pans are actually warming. And that, cool. I'm, I'm still, gonna... my tofu, I'm still, it's still doing its thing, is my tofu. So it's, um, some of it's browning off now. It can take a little while, con tofu, can't it, to get that, to get that nice crisp to it. But it's getting Exactly, there. yeah, it can, yeah, it can take a little bit of time, but, you know, it's worth, worth the wait. Oh, it's absolutely worth the wait. I tell you what, though, I've obviously tested a little bit. Um, the spices are amazing. They're absolutely amazing. I'm glad I went in with two and a half <laughs> of the Mexican <laughs> spice. Two and a half was a good shout. <laughs> Great. Uh, that that um, little bite is fabulous. <laughs> that kick. Excellent. 
And um, yeah, I mean, I've got all my little elements ready that I want, and along with that sauce, really, once your once your main thing is made, um, and again, you can make it in advance of the evenings. Sometimes I make it in advance of running out of time, and I'll just reheat it in the evening when friends come round. Yeah. Um, but you know, I've got all the elements I want here, so. Let's build some tortillas. <laughs> Just want to play now, don't I? I'm going to pop that one back in the pan so it's nice and soft. And then I think by the time we're doing it, this is definitely going to be ready. You can hear it bubbling away. It sounds ace. Oh, you're going for it. So, okay. See, I'm just tasting my fish. It's absolutely perfect. It's got quite a lot of heat in it, um, but not too much. But what you will also find is, again, my tofu. If you're tasting your tofu or your, or your fish um, on its own, it yeah. should taste maybe more spicy or more flavoursome than maybe you want it. But remember, dumbed down within the taco, with the sauce and all the other elements, it's not going to taste as hot yeah. and it's not going to taste as almost flavoursome because the, well, you have the other flavours combining with it. So I wouldn't over worry, especially if there's a lot of heat in it, it will dumb down once it's combined with everything else. Yeah, yeah. And that's the lovely thing, isn't it? You know, if someone doesn't like too much heat, because you you can sort of lessen it with the, the extra elements that you're putting in, again, it can be quite personal. So it does mean you can have quite a quite a spicy blend in there and it still can be, you know, that, that heat can be knocked back a little bit, can't it? Exactly. Can we build? <laughs> We can build. If you're ready to build, let's build. Ready to build. Okay, how do you do yours? Um, so it's really, really simple. So, I mean, there's no right or wrong way of doing this, to be honest with you. Um, I would probably start with my sauce, personally, because I want to make sure that in my bite, um, I want to taste the sauce. Right. So I'm actually going to start by putting the sauce on the wraps and actually spreading it around because um, I'm a bit of a condiment fiend and I want to make sure that I'm always having that balance of that sour cream or mayonnaise in it. Lovely. I'm going to try and do two, but if I haven't enough sauce, I'm the only one eating. <laughs> and definitely be quite liberal with that sauce as well because it will balance out all the flavours really well. Right. Oh, that sauce is just yummy. <laughs> I love this because that is so achievable. You know, things like this, it, they taste amazing. They taste, um, they taste professional, but they're absolutely achievable. And I think that's a beautiful thing. You know, when you invest in good spices, in good, you know, in good ingredients, you're going to get good results. And it makes you want to cook then, doesn't it? It takes the, you know, sometimes cooking, it's, people think they haven't enough time, they haven't, you know, they haven't enough products and it's going to cost them too much to get everything. But actually it's, it's affordable and it's achievable. And the results you can Ma actually eat and enjoy and share. Massively. I mean, food is such a big part of my growing up and it's the way my mum taught me and obviously she was taught. Um, and I know it is for a lot of people, but, you know, food is such a joy. Um, it's so easy. It's a lot cheaper than buying takeaways all the time. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and again, you and can healthier. achieve just with flavours and, and healthier. Yeah. And, you know, just with, com you know, su there's such simple recipes. All my cooking is quick and simple. All the guys we've put together are pretty simple and quick dishes. They're actually home cooking as opposed to, you know, elaborate affairs that maybe other people teach you. Um, but ours are all family favourites. They're generally very quick to put together. And, you know, it's just, again, about packing flavour into food, not the heat. I know a lot of people, when they hear spices, are thinking, you know, the heat levels of chilli. Um, but it's not about the heat at all. It's all about flavour. Yeah. And with that, there's such a joy. Um, and, uh, you know, it's obviously a joy for me personally, but it's a joy to share that with customers, but also with my own friends and family and, and staff even. Yeah. Um, right, Sanjay, sorry, I'm just yesing then to you because I'm, I'm going for it. So, <laughs> so, um, put me tofu in. I'm sort of putting it to the centre so I can wrap it. That's about right, isn't it? Does look good, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, you, if you've got a quite a big one, you want to put it in the middle and then you want to fold the sides in a little bit and then fold it over so it's kind of like contained all in a little parcel. Gorgeous. I've got smaller wraps, so I'm just going to keep them open. Yeah, um, big but, yeah, up. like you, I've got my fish... Um, 
as if you can see here, I'll move it forward a bit, but I've got my fish in the tacos, on the sauce, and now it's really, really as simple as to kind of make, you know, whatever combination you want. Um, I'm a big fan of red onion. Luckily, this one's not too strong. Sometimes you cut onions raw and they're really strong. Um, also, a lot about Mexican cooking is all about texture. So having, you know, you've got kind of the softness of the wrap and then, yeah. you know, that kind of like dairy element there, the crunchiness of this kind of like cabbage and um, red onion, and then, you know, the herbs and flavors of coriander. Um, and again, you can put an avocado if you like it. So I'll make a slightly different love version here avocado. with, say, avocado on. I love um, avocado. You... I love avocado. It's one of my favourites. And I, I love it with something like this because obviously it gives you the, it's the variation in, um, it's your textures, but also it's that coldness as well, isn't it? You know, the, the physical coolness of the avocado. I love that. And the smoothness because exactly. it's got that beautiful smoothness to it. I love red onion as well. I'm a bit of a red onion fiend. Mm, I love raw onion. Exactly. And I would normally, again, because you want to, but you know, you want it to be kind of the heat, you want to have it the sourness, you want to have all of those different elements that generally you want in food. So I would normally put some extra lemon or lime juice just at the end. Oh, uh, yeah, that So that, again, nice. you have, yeah, so you might want to put that on. But, but we're done. We're done, Leonie. It's as Hurrah. simple as that. Hurrah, that's exciting. So I could put a little bit of cheese on there. We've got some um, some lovely uh, salsa that could go on there as well. Can I, Are we allowed to taste these? Can I? Please do, yeah. Can, taste I, can I roll it up and give it a taste? Put a bit of cheese on there. <laughs> I'm starving as well. So just roll it up. Mm -mm -mm. Don't get really close on me eating. Let me. Fa I'm going to do knife and fork. I'm being... I'm not going to pick it up and try and stick it in my mouth. I'm being a lady. Oh, Lou giggled at the side. I'm not picking it up. I'm, oh, I do want to. Has Sanjay gone for it? Sanjay, I've gone for it. I've absolutely gone it for it. I picked it up and gone for it, but I'm not showing my face, so it's, it's all right. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I've got... <laughs> 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 How's that, Leonie? Do you want to talk, talk, talk us through it? <laughs> it's really good. That's really, really, really good. <laughs> and, um, like you said, the spice, it's not too intense. It's really lovely. Because it's that, um, you know when the spice starts coming through gently, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't hit too yeah. hard. It's just war uh, that warm spice, and that is just delicious. Oh, man. Um, Sanjay, that is absolutely amazing. I love it. I'm going to go and buy all your tins now, so someone else will have to uh, come on and present the show. <laughs> Sanjay, thank you ever so much. I love that. That is beautiful. Are you Brilliant. eating? No, I'm so pleased. Are you eating, yeah, I, Sanjay? I just, I've, just, I've just had a tiny little bit, actually, to be honest. I was going to show you um, what mine looks like. I said I've got tiny, kind of slightly smaller apps than you. But, um, no, super, super tasty. And, um, yeah, I've had a couple of bits, but I don't want to embarrass myself. So I'll, I'll wait till later. There we go. There's a satisfied customer. Mm. Um, check out the website. <laughs> uh, the, the, honestly, these are amazing. That is such a good blend. That is utterly achievable. And that is just delicious. No word for that. That is delicious. Um, oh, my goodness. So hungry. Um, right, you need to check your baskets out. These are absolutely fantastic. Uh, please make sure you're thinking what, what kind of foods you'd love to, to have a go at. Think about um, if you're buying these for a gift. You know, who you're going to be buying these for. Um, can I just put my block of toffee back because I'm not wasting anything. Uh, <laughs> I was going to put it in my mouth, but then I thought, no, Leone, you can only get away with eating with your mouth. Talking with your mouth full for a certain amount of time. That was so exciting. I'm so excited. I cooked on telly and I only burnt one tortilla, ba -ba -bum, which you didn't see. Phew, okay. <clears throat> now, that is gorgeous. <coughs> Sorry, I swallowed a bit down the wrong end. Um, absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait for you to get these home and give it a go. Have a play. Um, because, yeah, the, the, very, the difference, you can tell the difference. You know when you use some spices and it's just too hot so you don't get any other flavours coming through? 
With that, it's that beautiful underlying warmth in your mouth, as opposed to just, oh, um, it's just exquisite. Okay, so knowing the quality, knowing the kind of results that you can achieve, now you need to get the actual uh, tin that suits you. Um, so, your first one, you've got your Indian spice tin. Now, this one has nine fragrant spices. Um, a few, and I love these because some I've definitely heard of, but there's some, it's like, oh, I've not heard of them. That's exciting, and I find it really exciting getting new spices. Now, lovely Sanjay, are you there to talk us through this one as well? Yes, I'd love to. Amazing. Um, so, what have we got in the Indian spice tin, Sanjay? So your Indians, the, I mean, firstly, just to explain, these Indian, these tins themselves are very traditional Indian spice boxes. So these are the spices. These nine Indian spices are the core base of all curries and all Indian food. So in here, and you can see this is the one I've, my mum gave me a long time ago and I've had for many years. Oh. So you've got cumin seeds, mustard seeds, um, you've got turmeric, which is that really yellow, mm. um, obviously a lot of health benefits, but yeah. um, really good for adding that colour. You've got garam masala, which is a spice blend. You've got coriander powder, which again is the seeds of that fresh coriander, but ground up, really citrusy actually. Um, you've then got cardamom, cloves and cinnamon. So with these nine core spices, you can basically make any Indian dish. Um, you will see other spices like fenugreek seeds, as I mentioned earlier yeah. on in the Middle Eastern set. But really, with these nine, you can pretty much cook anything you want. Um, and um, yeah, you know, it's our, it's our quintessentials. It's a set that we sell most of. Obviously, people love making curries. It's then obviously within this traditional Indian spice tin. And you will see, you know, a lot of Indian families do have one of these in India and over here and yeah. all around the world. So they're a kitchen essential. And um, by keeping them stocked up like this, the idea really is that, you know, you, if you want to cook Indian food, you don't have to think, you know, oh, I'm at work, I want to cook a curry tonight. Yeah. Do I have garam masala? Do I have cumin? Do I have all of that? If you keep your Indian spices in your tin and keep them stocked up, you can just go off, buy the ingredients from the shops, and then on your, on your way home, get home, cook a curry, knock it yeah. up, again, follow these recipes, yeah. um, and you're there. Um, you just don't have to ever worry. But what we tend to find, if you don't have one of these or you don't know what spices you have, um, you're yes. going and you're ending up with 10 different jars of cumin at home because yeah. every time you want to cook something and you have an idea um, and you not haven't checked at home, then you have to buy another set. And Sandra, another, you have literally pot. seen my spice cupboard at home. That is literally <laughs> what I've got. Coriander. Oh, there's a few that I've like, you're looking and go, oh, what the? But yeah, you are 100% right. And I love it because you don't have to go out and hunt for these because a lot of your local supermarkets, they're not going to have such an incredible collection. You know, some of these are gonna, then you're not gonna find easily. Or, or you're gonna have to buy huge quantities that are gonna be sat around forever. Um, I love this. I think this is such a lovely idea. And yeah, keeping it in that tin, having this as your Indian spice tin so you know it's there. What a brilliant idea. Um, only 24.95 for all the spices for the beautiful tin that you will keep topped up that you will use again and again and again and it'll look gorgeous on your shelf um seven no it isn't six seven two three one one is your item number now next i do love this one your baby spice kitchen i mean really really cute um title for this one so what makes this one your your baby spice is this slightly not as hot is that is that sort of what the premise of this one sanjay <laughs> Yeah, so we, we came up with this range because I've been weaning my daughter for the last few years, so she's three. Uh, she started cooking with me a couple of years ago. Oh. And over the last year, especially, I've been getting her really involved in the kitchen with me. Um, one thing I realised, even with our own spice blends, is they weren't really suitable for especially very young ones, but even young, you know, young cooks, because there's too much salt, which you want yes. to avoid, but also too much chilli and sometimes sugar. So we stripped them out of all of our classic blends. So this is a, this is really a variation on our world tin. Um, so we've got a Cajun, so we've got our Indian garam masala blend in there with none of those uh, chili salt or sugar in. So we've taken all of those out. And what we found is it's really, I mean, I always knew this because I grew up with a lot of spice from a young age. Yeah. But kids simply are a lot less fussy if flavor is introduced at an earlier age. Yeah. Not only spices, but even lemon and citrus and all the various flavors of food. Yeah. Um, and if kids are given bland food, then often they go off it quite quickly. Yeah. Um, 
So this is a really cool range invented, you know, created for new parents, um, especially when they're weaning young ones. It's also good for young cooks, say from age three, like mine is, all the way up to, say, age 10, 11, yeah. um, where you get, you're kind of getting them in the kitchen and cooking further. And we've actually had a lot of adults who buy it because some adults have obviously got, have got allergies against chili, yeah. but I just simply don't like any heat whatsoever. Yeah. So it's probably wrongly named because it's not really just appealing to babies. It's appealing yeah. to a much wider range than we initially set out to do. Um, but it's been extremely popular, very, very popular over the last year, especially as people have been cooking at home and yeah. baking with little ones. Um, and all of the game, we've put a recipe guide together. Um, it went a bit viral online. We've had a lot of bloggers and new mums and vloggers and stuff use these so all of all of the recipes are actually being contributed from various parents around the uk uh, which has been lovely to work with with different um different people on it and um yeah there's again a lot of inspiration there um That's but you know again the dishes sorry but exactly you know like no, I was just going to say, like, what we cook today, for example, like the Mexican blend in the adult world set has got a bit of heat in it. Yes. So it wouldn't really be suitable. Like the food we've cooked wouldn't really be suitable for my little one. Yeah. But what I would do is I would swap it out for the Mexican blend that's in this set. And then there's no heat in it, just all the same flavor. Amazing. Um, so after we finish the day, I'm going to be making this again, but with the, make, with, the, with the baby spice one and then feeding that to my daughter and oh. me and my wife can enjoy the, uh, the adult version. That's fabulous. What a good idea. Um, I love that you've even thought of that. Only twenty four ninety five. Again, a really good price. I can't believe we've only four minutes left of this show. Oh, I'm so gutted. I wanted to... Anyway, um, the next one, the Middle Eastern. Now, we did talk about this one um, earlier on, so we won't go through that one again in detail because we have gone through it once for you. Um, again, a beautiful blend. You've got so many different herbs and spices. And again, you have got um, those wonderful recipes to inspire and get you using this straight away. So it does mean you, you've got ideas and inspiration immediately. Only £24.95, 747114. Now, the chilli spice tin. Now, the chilli Chili spice tin. Um, now, talk to us about this, Sanjay, because this is really interesting. I know we've only got a few minutes, but it's so interesting because there really is so much choice when it comes to just chili, isn't there? There is, yeah. I mean, there's always, always an element of heat here, but what we've done is we've taken seven chilies from around the world, from Indian chili powder through to paprika from Spain, Kashmiri chili powder from North India, whole chilies, and then um, I sought um, Urfa and Urfa Babir and Aleppo pepper, which are two amazing Turkish chili peppers. Oh, wow. They've all got different flavors. They've got different levels of heat. We've got a chili recipe guide there as well to, again, give some really creative ideas that you can do with it. And um, those whole chilies are perfect for soups and stews. So you can pop them in, boil sort of stews up, and then actually take them out when it's hot enough. Um, but yeah, just, you know, if you like heat and you like chili, this is going to expand your mind with the different variations of things you can do with it, but yeah. also to see the difference in flavors between different chilies from around the world. Yeah. A lot of people just have a chili powder that they've bought from the supermarket, yes. which may be, you know, Indian chili powder. But actually, if you really want to expand your knowledge and expand your flavor profile in your kitchen, this set is great. And yeah. we have so much positive feedback, you know, just taking Earth and Aleppo, the Turkish, they work really nicely with eggs. So yeah. when I make scrambled eggs or poached eggs on a weekend, for example, you know, we're sprinkling lots of that liberally um, over my, my wife's portion. <laughs> and then again, maybe some of the baby spice range on my daughter's. But um, that's yeah, wonderful. Really, really, really versatile range of chilies here. Yeah, I think that is so interesting. Um, please make sure you get that one. That is such a fantastic idea. Four, five, two, three, three, two. We've only got a minute and a half. Um, now, obviously, the world spice tin, absolutely incredible. I mean, this, Sanjay, this has so many different variations. So anyone um, thinking, OK, I don't know where to start, would this be a really good starting point for them? Exactly that. So if you're not sure, but you want lots of flavor in your kitchen, or if you're buying it as a gift for somebody who you know, you know what, they're a good cook, but I don't really know if they like curries or I don't know if they like Middle Eastern cooking. Yeah. The world tin is the one to go for because that's got the whole, you know, a whole variation of cuisine in it from Indian to Mexican to jerk to Jamaican and, 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 and Middle Eastern. And so it's 
There's so many different things you can cook here. Yeah. Um, you know, hundreds of combinations of these spices. It's also simple, as we've done today. So you're yes. just taking that blend, mixing with a few ingredients, and you've got your marinade. You don't have to be getting worrying about too many ingredients. So it's it's a bit of a fast track. Um, and finally, you know, this tin also works as a barbecue rub. Obviously, nice. it's getting a bit cooler and uh, cooler now. So yeah. um, summer sadly is um, it reaching Gone. the end of it. But you know, if you're a keen barbecue or you like, you know, you can use it to, to marinate and grill in your in your domestic oven. Um, you know, they can be really we're good running. at marinating meat and vegetables. Sanjay, we're running out of time. We've got seconds. Everyone, please check your baskets out. Sanjay, thank you. I absolutely adored that. Oh, Do thank you. Do not miss out on pleasure. these. Oh, you hero. Thank you. Check your baskets out. Coming up next, I love this, On the Edge. Dolly Dimples, um, it is your brand new one day special. We've got, got Dreamies, happy hour. And then On the Edge with Dolly. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, I'm Catherine and I'm the guest presenter for Zuri Designs. Zuri Designs are based in America and they bring to us their exceptional quality silicon moulds. Zuri Design moulds are used in all areas of crafting, not just for your clays and your resins, but also their food grade silicon as well, so used for your cake decorating designs. Zuri excel on the detail in their moulds, and the designs range from animals through to fantasy and much further beyond. If you watch the Zuri shows, I will share with you lots of hints and tips. I will show you how to use different mediums, ranging from your clays and your resins through to things like even your hot glue. So make sure you don't miss the Zuri shows. Well, good uh, evening. Yeah, it's here 6 p.m., so it is evening. Of course, welcome if you're just joining us here at the Craft Store. Now, if you are joining us for the first time, well, let me tell you what, it's perfect time to join us because it's 6 p.m., of course. It's a, the launch of a brand new one day special. And of course, the one day special by Dolly Dimples. Now, you have been shopping ahead for this fabulous one day special. And look at that, it's the fabulous cake stand collection. It is fabulous set of five brand new stamps that they are all about cakes all about eating cakes and eating lots of goodies but also whimsical now they are working five for the price of four and you also have a flexi buy and a freedom price and so much more but before we get into details of that because we are going to join uh, well so we're going to say hello to the to 
somebody who you might know, but not as Dolly Dimples and here, uh, or Lou Sims. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Yourself? I'm really well. Now, Good. this is really exciting, Dolly. It is, it is. Charmaine asked if I would uh, actually guest for the ODS tonight, and I was like, oh, yes, but then, you know, nervous as well, because... Yeah. Obviously, it's Charmaine's brand, and she knows knows her stuff really, really well. It does, it is. And, of course, we have got in here a fabulous collection. As I mentioned, 20, well, a brand new collection, 25 stamps individually, and you have got a saving 11, 11 pounds. Now, this is, of course, uh, I love when we have got Dolly Dimples because we have got amazing artwork, amazing original artwork with very, very fine lines, with very lots of possibilities but also hero images in here for instance oh, they are, but you could cut those down, down into different layers as well um, the brilliant to stamp up and decoupage if you like to layer up cut round the outside and you've got a fancy edge on the side of a card but you've got lots and lots of detail but it's it's not complicated to color yeah. If that makes sense. You you look at it, you think, oh, but it's actually not complicated to colour at all. I mean, I love that one. It I is. know you shouldn't have favourites. But. Well, I love it. I love it. <laughs> Eat it, stuff it, bake it, all about cake. And with that boat in here, um, our lover of boats is in the studio, of course, our Leone. Uh, then we have got, of course, we have the a gorgeous... I love that because that's kind of two tiers, but below it. It's just it, kind of amazing. It is also, and also if you um, think about it, you've got three cakes there if you cut them down because yeah. um, the legs if you cut them at an angle and then doodled uh, another shape on top they could be candles they can absolutely gorgeous uh, I don't ever want to be right if eating cake is wrong I don't want everyone to do, uh, do uh, be uh, right uh, now 10% already of the one day special has gone I love also the doves looking either way the two, and, yeah, and I love the fact that you've got two like you were saying one either side um, but you could use those I mean if you put them so where they they you've got the hanging bits and you've got the, their beaks there they could be pulling out you know the ribbon effect they could be sitting by the flowers they are beautiful. And look at the teddy. I love the teddy bears as well. I hear these beautiful flowers in girl, there as well, girls and boys. And of course, we have got the original where we started. Home is where the cake is. Right, of course, if you want to go for the one day special, you have got the details there. Of course, is if you are a Freedom member, you have got even a better price. Now, that means you are getting a bigger discount. So it's a why not deal? Because as you're saving 15 pounds on 39 pence, which means that um, that, of course, on top of that, you are not paying PMP, so it makes sense to be a Freedom member because you are saving more, mon more money that way. Now, you also have got Flexi Freedom, and that, what it means, is that you can spread the cost into interest-free payments of £19.78. Now, for a Freedom members, it works out at £1.58. Hands per stamp. Sorry, I kind of but somehow my hearing has gone today. I, I kind of hear, kind of hear Molly, but a little bit faint. Uh, right now, you you have got there all these images in there. You can see them. But I love that it's all about the home, the babies. It's all the celebrations, isn't it? It is, and it's and it could be you know bring in any other sentiments that you've got from the previous Dolly Dimple sets, and you could change it again. But but I love that one, you know, because you like you say home. Actually, you know, take away the cake sentiments it could, and take away the bottom. It could be actually sitting on a rock. It could be in a forest. You know, you mm. could make them go as far as you wanted them indeed to go. You can. Uh, home is where the cake is. I love that. Indeed, it is. And then, of course, we have got even more in here. Love the little ones in the Polaroids as well. It, isn't that? And that's one of the. That's in the smaller stamp um, that you do get. Um, and that, that's such a clever idea, isn't it? It is indeed. Oh, love that. And this is also could be a head. So if you have got any face stamps, yes. you put it as slanted in as well. I mean, it's such a lovely idea, isn't it, sort of thing? Because you don't actually need a sentiment on that because of the shape of the car blank. I think that one's Jan's. Yeah. And it's such a clever idea. And look at this one. That is just beautiful in here as well. And then, of course, we have these ones as well. Uh, I love that. Now again, I see like a steampunk in here. I know it's kind of a little bit random, mm. but you know, I would put a gears on the back of it as well. Oh, definitely. Yeah, it does have that. Or look. even take, here in the front. Even yeah, take the candle away, like you said, and put yeah. a gear on the top, and yeah. then 
put the candle back exactly. on, it totally changes it. Yes. I, I love also, I have to say that uh, as soon as I see them, I'm kind of thinking, well, alcohol markers. I see watercolour markers. I see all sorts of colouring mediums mm. as well. Uh, literally bring anything to it because I mean that one I think it's alcohol markers but like you say bring your pencils bring your watercolors you know color them in lots paper piece oh, you know yeah. you know stamp onto colored yeah. papers paper piece if you don't want to color because you can still create beautiful effects that way as well I love the border on that that's one of the dyes I think that's lovely it's gorgeous as well and then, I, I love the use way of creating I mean you could paint it blue and you could do a little yeah. swimming pool in well not the swimming pool but you know kind of like a little bit yeah. of a leg in there as well absolutely gorgeous eat it stuff it bake it and there we have it and of course we have got oh look at this when the party in here as well uh, no, so we have got plenty of images focal points uh, sentiments in there and uh, let's have a look at how fine those stamps is sorry I just took it out uh, Marcus but uh, you know what I wanted to show you is I love the fine detail it, it is it's, it's beautiful because if you then like to stamp in um, like a neutral color ink and do your like no lines coloring that fine detail really adds to the effect because you, you you can create that beautifully okay. yeah, but, true. but the detail isn't too fine that you can't emboss yeah. And it um, looks beautiful that gorgeous. way too. Uh, now, of course, if you want to go the brand new one day special, 510206 is your item number. Now, if you wanted to go for individuals, you can. However, all of you, you are seeing the value because remember, you are getting five for the price of four. So you're saving 11 pounds there. If you are not a Freedom member, if you're a Freedom member, 15 pounds and 39 pence. And of course, that is the delivered cost. So, of course, you are not paying PMP, 39 pounds and 56 pence. Remember, you can flexify it the cost in interest-free payments then moving on to another brand new bar beautiful I was gonna say beautiful but you know <laughs> kind of we have got that boaty <laughs> kind of feel to it here this is of course is we are talking about the paper kit 24 sheets in total in here saving three pounds and of course brand new today now Calling this paper is kind of a misnomer, isn't it? It is. There, there is paper and cards exactly. in the kit. So you, you'll get um, the Cream Beautiful Dolly Dimples 300 GSM Cream Card. Um, and you've got oh, an absolute, you know, plethora, that, there's the word that John Lockwood and I were talking about before the show, um, of different images. So you've got plain backing papers, you've got toppers in there, you've got A5 card fronts, A6 card fronts, ribbon strips, sentiments, um, and then on you've got the 120 GSM cream paper, and you've got the beautiful designs, backing paper designs on those. And, you know, you've actually got a card front with the A4 one there, just fold it in half. You oh, know, if yeah. that's what you want to do, just straight away Absolutely. fold it in half. I'm going to show, sorry, we have got here the ones that are the papers ones, so I'm going to show them like this, so I don't destroy the pack shot. Uh, look at this, these are the papers. I love that they are printed in enough white, chalky white cream colour. It is, well it gives you a nice warm base to start from, so yeah. it, it's not quite so stark. Um, and to me that's lovely, I mean I'm, I love that paper. Yeah, you know, there's so much you could do with that, just a quick stencil and a bit of paste, you know, you look at it. But then you've got like the lace designs there, which could easily marry in if you wanted to with the, the beautiful cake with the teddy bear on it. So that, that would work. I mean, that's a lovely subtle one. It is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, now, of course, we have got the weave in there as well. We have got so many different beautiful paper. I love, you know, I love backgrounds like these because you can put a die cut on the top and look stunning. Yeah, you, you can add detail to it or it can be a background. Like you say, die cuts from it and you've got your flowers, your foliage sorted straight away. I mean, you've got your ribbons there that you could actually stamp onto your ribbons and make them, you know, as well, you know, put your so you've got a coloured background to um, put your sentiments on. And then there's um, some different sentiments that, there that you can cut out quite easily mm -hmm. to add to it. I love the circus as well. Oh, I, I do. I, I do love a circus. Yeah. I love that blue one there. Um, oh, use your layering dies if you don't feel confident yeah. cutting it out by hand. There are so many possibilities in here. And now we are moving on to uh, these are three, last three, and the ones that we are seeing now. They are car stocks of toppers as well as blank cars. Remember, you are saving three pounds. Oh, I love these one. <laughs> so beautiful. It's so soft, isn't it? It is, but it's also a great starting point, that one, when you think about it. If you didn't know how to layer up a background, so you can yeah. make a splodgies, and then you're talking about 
bring in your other little stamp elements and add to where there's already that detail as well. It is. Over 10% of the stock has already gone for this. Uh, this has made the design especially for the fabulous cake uh, stamps, brand new, uh, of course, that we are launching as a one day special. So grab them and remember the uh, one day special has got a flexi basket. So, a fle so if you want to flexi buy the one day special, you can add the papers and split the cost into interest free payments. So of course, 11.99, then you pay, uh, you just pay half of it today and half of it next month interest free. Now we also have got the ever popular uh, only edge. Uh, no, sorry, the edge on the edge, not only the edge, on the edge, Paula. Anyway, on the edge, it does. And now, on one, two, three are available, those sets. But of course, we here have got the latest releases from on the edge. So starting four to 12. And of course, you can see the price there, 14 pounds and 99 pounds. Now, in set number four, um, it has got 12 dollars in here. Now, 12 dollars. Um, they are really useful having the edges, isn't it? Because the edges can mix and match and they can do lots of different things. You cut them in different ways, um, back them up in different ways, use two of the contrasting edges to create different borders. So there could be edges around the uh, a card blank. You can, if your die cutting machine um, in a plate is big enough, think about cutting it like for a gatefold. Um, you could bring them in if you're into your bookmaking. You can create beautiful on the edge bits for your books or even pockets. Um, so there is lots of different things you can do with them. You know, layer them up in different ways. I mean, I, I didn't want to interrupt Lou, but I'm going to do it. I was kind of mouthing, I love them. Look at these gorgeous. I was like, you know, it's, the, just like, it's just like, oh, gorgeous. Look at this. Look at that. It is. It's, it's, isn't that beautiful, striking, commanding? And it doesn't Love need this. much more. Even a simple. No. It doesn't even really need a sentiment on the front. You could leave it like that and just put a, a sentiment frame. in. Yeah. Frame this. This is absolutely stunning. Absolutely gloriously beautiful. And of course, there, I love the petals as well in here. There's so many possibilities uh, that you can do as well. Oh, look at this. I mean, I, that I tend to be a clean and simple, but Tracy, this, I adore it. I adore I, it. I think that one is Sir Clips, um, which is one of the other oh, on the edge dies. Sorry. sorry, no, I think it's just the pile got muddled up. But um, but there's still, it's, it's, it doesn't mean because you get one set that you can't mix it with other oh, sets, I if see. that makes sense. Sorry, I'm sorry. Um, the first one I showed was the right one. I assume they were in the right yeah. uh, assumption wrong. I never assume anything. But um, but don't, you know, grab one edge from one set and bring in another edge from another set. And you've, you've then created even more you know, combinations that, that could go on and yeah. on and on and on and on. And on. Uh, right, of course, the set number four, well, that is 24 pounds and 99 pounds. 359675 is your item number. Then we are moving from four to five. The set number five, you can see on the screen, this one contains four dies, but of course, it's the same amount of metal, hence the price uh, as well. You are getting, a f what is this? Four borders, right? Mm. But yes, but you, you've got borders, but actually you can, double them up and then suddenly you've got different um, decorative strips um, you, you know so there's lots of different things that you can actually do with all of the the, the different dies you can just because the edge is there as well, one of the lovely things about actually on the edge, it means you can actually make the edge as deep as you want it or as shallow as you want it. Okay. You've got dies that will cut away different extra parts of it. So, you know, it's all down to you and how big you want to do it. I mean, the board there is just a a very, very, very small fraction of the different yeah. ways you can use them. So you could put it on the top of an A4 card if, if that's what you wanted to do, or, or just do it in you know, a tiny little thin slither. But there is just, I love them, there is just so many different things you can do with them. They are indeed. Uh, there you have it. And I love how the positive and the negative. I'm going to turn it over as well because there are other possibilities for the number six as well. So you can bring in together. Now, of course, that is now set number five. Uh, 607028 is your item number. Now, so number six is the next one in here. And you can see there absolutely. Again, I love the way that you can mix them and match and you have got a plain sort of edge and then the more decorative edge. Yeah. And, um, Charmaine's also designed them that you know that you can cut out small, use one of the decorative edges, and then take the um, an outline die and cut it away to make a just a, a strip in its own right. So if you that's what how you like to do it, 
because they, you can carry on and on and on and on, you could make the strip as long as you wanted it to be, um, or as short yeah, as you want to be. I just, Perfect. Now, of course, if you want to set number six, twenty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence, a one three five three seven seven is your item number. We want to speed up because, of course, we want to join a Lua demo. Uh, now, set number eight, very quickly. I'm going to show them, and of course, you can see that. Oh no, number seven, seven. Sorry, I've been having a mare with the numbers. Well, the animals, the numbers, and everything. Uh, here we have got that one that I was showing early on, the one that I kind of went like, I love this. Look at this. Isn't that just beautiful in here? Uh, you can have it there. And of course, I love the positive and the negative upside down. 598-434 is your item number. And finally, Sir Clips, uh, which is the final die set that we are looking. 11 dies in total, and you can see them here, uh, for £24.99. And and we have got those beautiful solar kind of patterns as well as those kind of those ones that come in like teardrops as well. Uh, I love this one. And this is, of course, the one that Lou was mentioning in that sample that I like so much as well. Uh, £24.99. So uh, 472615 is your item number. Less speed, more haste. You know, it's more, less haste, more, more speed. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> less words. <laughs> Move on. Anyway, uh, moving on to the, of course, the ever popular as well, ring binder, keep, a keepsake ring binder, 18 templates, uh, two ring binders, and fixing posts, and the whole punch, uh, page lie. Uh, Lou, this is an amazing kit. Uh, it sells time and time again with a five pound saving. You're just paying 14 pounds or 99 pence. Nine to five, three, four, five is your item number. Uh, yeah, I went very quickly because I know what you want. You want to not me to fuck around and say or talk about it but of course join Lou for the demonstrations however there is even more uh, for you and of course on the edge number one now that one you can see there here uh, 24 pounds and 99 pence is the price 265133 is your item number and then item number two as well, uh, you can see uh, on the H2, a uh, set of eight dice, 24 pounds and 99 pence. And then on the edge, number um, three in here, we can see that here. Uh, and of course, this is eight dice, two, three, three, two, 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 three. Ooh, this is a complicated number. It appears very simple, but it's actually quite complicated. Uh, now, the one day special, the brand new uh, fabulous cake. Now, that is approaching 20% of the stock, and this is just the first hour. So, better get back to you, Lou. Sorry, I tried to do no, that no, bit you... quickly so we could go back to I, you. I know, and there is, there's lots of beautiful things in there. There is, isn't there? Right, I'm going to use a little bit of absolutely everything because why not? Why not? Now, one of the papers we get in, oh, this is actually card, is we get the two different panel fronts here, and they go together beautifully, so that just yeah. made it easy for me. And all I've done is I've just cut them out, and I want to take, this is going to be my back panel, so I'm just going to move that over there. And I've got one of the stencils, and I believe this is the exotic flowers, and I just want to do a little bit of detail on the bottom. And I'm, I'm not going for crispness of the stencil. I just want to bring in um, a little bit of texture. Yeah. So I'm, I'm using Adorba for speed and also because I'm, it's just a little bit quicker. So okay. we've got that there. And I just want the faintest of backgrounds. And I'm going to use some holographic paper, paper embossing powder on here. And we'll just put that back there before I drop it all everywhere. Do you know, I will have be covered in sparkles now for the rest of the evening. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's well, always like the way, isn't it, sort of, of thing? Like right. It. I heat my heat gun up. I'm so bad at doing that. I always go in straight in. Oh, do you? Yeah, I know you shouldn't, but I'm just... Like, but then I'm dreadful, like, you know, that I'll be heating my heat gun, we could be chatting and then thinking, oh, my hands hurt, you know, uh -huh. feeling a little bit warm. Why is that? Mm -hmm. Right, so this is just adding a really subtle little bit of extra detail because we've got and I've gone for a holographic one because we've got all that stars detail in the background paper I just thought using a holographic embossing powder on top okay. would just you know tie in that little bit of detail okay. so this is when you want your embossing powder you know to really s speed up but we'll get there so it, it's just to create that little extra bit of subtle and the reason I'm only doing half of it will 
fingers crossed, when I do the next bit, you'll understand, you know, why as such. Right, so we've just got that little bit of sparkle done there. Oh, there's just one bit there. Always the way. Let's just file you. So that's, that's just going to be the background on there. And I've got that bit there. Now, what I have done is... We were having this conversation. Let me just move these. I've taken the... Um, this is one of the edges from On the Edge Set 2. And this was the other panel. And all I'm going to do is I just um, want to put a decorative edge down one side. And we'll put that through the machine. And I wanted to show you, you know, right. that they do die cut. Because I'm actually going through this. This is the um, the cream card. Right, yeah. So, and it's 300 GSM. So it's a good weight card. Right, so, and that creates that beautiful decorative edge. So if I just yeah. move my machine out of the way, and we'll put the die okay. back there so I don't lose it. Yeah. Now, what I want to do is I'm, 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 I'm channeling my inner Paula, believe it or not. Ooh. I did say that to you, didn't oh, I? Inner, sort of inner, oh, that's a, di <laughs> that's a very difficult... Yeah, uh, Marcus in my ear goes like, that's a very difficult, um, the very, very dangerous thing to, um, well, to channel uh, well, the oopsie-doopsie spirit. Well, we always have that conversation, don't you, where I, yeah. I, I try and do... Well, I try to be like you, yeah, that, you know, and then I thought, and all the So, I want to do it at a slight ah, angle. Now, I, I could do it, you know, like that, and that yeah. would work just as... Oh, if I pull it up a bit, sorry, you can yeah. see. That would work just as beautifully. Yeah. But I just thought it'd be nice just to slightly offset it. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do is... I'm just going to turn it over and just draw around the back. And then just chop away. Now, I will keep those bits. Those would be the bits that I would stamp. Um, you know, like when you want to do yeah. some paper piecing? Yeah. All those little bits. Hence why I have a tray sitting beside me so I can put them all in safely. Yeah. She says so. Right, let's move you over there. And then what I thought would be really nice is just grab the stamp platform. Oh, stencils going everywhere. I thought it would be really nice because now I'm going to have this going to be sitting there on the top like that. Perfect. Yeah. And I want to have one yeah. of the cake images here. Yeah. So let's just put this here. And I'm going to go for, oh, you know when you have choices here? I'm actually going to go for the fabulous cake number five. But I don't want to stamp the whole of the cake. So even though we've got this cake image, it doesn't actually mean we have to, you know, stamp all of it. You can stamp part of it. Okay. You, yeah. you know, layer it up, multiple stamping. So let's just put that down there and grab an ink pad. Okay. And then we're going to just have this stamped along here. And I'm just going to do one little bit more. I love the way it goes onto the detail down here. I just think that's... Oh, it's isn't so it, cool. Isn't it yeah. silly things that please you? <laughs> yeah. So let's just put that back. Otherwise, I will forget that I've got that. So that is how I just wanted to do that. And I really want to do some really quick colouring. So I'm going to grab an alcohol marker. And what mm. I want to do is... I'm not known for... I'm going to actually colour everything near enough the same. I won't colour all of this because obviously I have got one done. I will just do part of it. Yeah. Um, so for people, you know, who are worried about, you know, their colouring. Now this, I am literally going to colour everything the same. So I could have, for speed, used the chisel part. So we'll just stop there and pretend, we're going to pretend that I have done the rest of it and it looks absolutely superb. Because what I did then was, I, oh, I tried to reach. Mm. I've then taken some of my jelly rolls, and I thought, what oh, would be pins. nice? Yeah. <laughs> I have oh, a few, saying. don't I? Yeah. Um, and what I thought, and that's, I want the well, sparkle. You're secure as a uh, resident I know. expert. I, I, why not? You know, yeah. you just got to do them. So what I thought would be really nice is, so, you know, colour it lightly, and then I can actually now add in some sparkle over the top and layer up using yeah. my sparkle pens. Okay. Now, the slower you go, I know we haven't got the time, the more ink that comes out. Oh, I and see. then, yeah. 
I've got the background of the pink quickly done with the um, alcohol markers, but now I can add that lid. I can use my other pens to create my shading yeah. with, you know, and build it up from there. So from that point, she says putting the pens away before they roll, I have in good traditional fashion carried on and, and, and built the rest of it up. Yeah. And that is um, a, literally the same one colour and then I've just used my jelly rolls to go on the top. I've added some little bits of pearls on there and a few dots of white pen as you do. Right, let's move you to one side okay. and let's make this card up. Now in, in the set you, we were talking about the birds, how beautiful yeah. those little birds are that we get them in you know different sizes. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Um, like Charmaine, don't look about how much glue I'm using. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She like kind of use less is more. Or? Yeah, you know, spread it out. You don't need quite as much yeah. as that. <laughs> yeah. Speed. So, then that's going to be the background there, and then this is my layer here. And what I've done is I've just put a 3D foam pad on the back, and I just want to build that up so it now sits at that oh, angle like that. that and let me just grab all the other little bits I have done as well I couldn't decide what ribbons to use so I'd used a bit of everything oh. now I've stamped out the birds yeah and I've just lightly colored them and this time actually I've used um, my watercolors because I like to use my watercolors and I thought it'd be nice to bring the birds in in a different way yeah. so I've got my ribbon here I'm just gonna grab my scissors and even though I've got this layer. I thought it'd be nice to add a little bit of texture somehow. Right. She says. Yeah, some texture. And I want to add the ah, ribbon on a top. Little bit. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, fabric, so to add that texture. So, yeah. And then I want to add a little bit of the ribbon on top. So I'm going to leave one, and that's going to go there. So I've done that. So yeah. that's going to dangle down there. And then I've done exactly the same down for the bottom right. here. Yeah. Um, and I think I've probably picked up the bluntest scissors I possibly could. And I just want to put another one here. So, if, like I say, if you know, if colouring daunts you, use your ribbons and trims and things like that that you've got. And I'm just letting the ribbon, I'm just letting the ink glue go just slightly before I do the next part. So I've got a party with, and that's going to go on the top there. She says so, it hangs over. And then what I want to do is I just want to take a little bit of the ribbon, and I just want to make it look like that the bird is actually holding the ribbon. Okay. So, and then I can bring the ribbon up. Now, if your glue was a little bit drier, I, sorry, I don't do hot yeah. glue guns. I just don't trust myself. And then I want, I'm going to trim this one down here. Okay. And then we've got the bird here, and I thought rather than have them side by side, I could have them slightly lower down. And then I can have this bird holding the ribbon here, so it ties in that yeah. way. And we've got, looks like they're holding the, the cake ribbon. And then finally I've got the second part, I will stick this all down properly. Okay, a party with no cake is a meeting. Okay. And no we'll cake. then stick that down to go like that. And I just thought that was a nice way, having the panels side yeah. by side, help me pick the colours I actually wanted I to do that. straight a away. A party without, uh, with no cake is a meeting. Absolutely agree. I love this card. I mean, I love how the one day special is just such a focal point. And, and the colours, you can go so whimsical or you know, go classic. Yeah, you can. And you don't, I mean, I haven't even coloured in the base of this because you didn't need to. So like you say, use part of it. It's, you know, take it as far as you want. Like yeah. you say, I mean, that's a fabulously pink, isn't it? Cake. And I've, I've actually surprised myself and used purple. <laughs> Well, pink and purple, a lovely combination. Uh, now, of course, Lou, well, you reset for your next demonstration. Let's have a reminder of what the one day is special. We are a quarter of the stock already gone for the one day special. Let's go through it exactly what the stamps you are getting. Now, you are getting 25 individual stamps now in here. Five sets uh, that work out, uh, five at the uh, price of four. So you are getting all five for, for the price of four. I love how you are 
get him the signature style from Dolly Dimples, that whimsical style that kind of transports you to another world. Look at the lines. Think about coloring them. I think it's just fabulous to decoupage them. Maybe stand them several times, fussy cut them, and then layer them with foam pads in here. And that means that you have got so many possibilities. I love also the size of them. You can see on a stepper card, it will fit really nicely, but also they will fit really well as well onto larger cards. And also elements of it, you can then fussy cut and bring them to another or another card or project. I love that you have got the hero image in here. You can see here there has been stamped up. And I would say this is a significant size because you have got that focal point. Look at the little tiny you could put little crystals in here. You can paint the wood as well. You have got the smaller house as well. So you have got all those different options there. Then, of course, we have the boat one on top of the cake there. And we have, I love this one again because I'm thinking, if you put maybe something else in here, you can paint it blue and create the sea. Very whimsical. But also, I'm thinking these, fussy cutting them several times, and of course, creating maybe something for the home. Uh, but I would think also, like I'm thinking the bathroom. You know when it has got a nautical feel? Uh, yeah, I would put it like this, and maybe some seashells around here as well to create a sort of colors there. And what about the next one? The next one, I love it because it's a little bit different again. You have got like three cakes, as Lou was mentioning. So one, two, and three. And then you can fussy cut the elements. You can put candles in top of here. You can put the flowers and, of course, bring them uh, into other uh, sentiments, I into other uh, cards as well, or other creations. I would fussy cut them and then maybe put add them here as well. So there is so many possibilities. Again, I'm seeing hats, top hats. Yeah, you can see them there as well. And of course, if eating cake is wrong, I don't ever want to be right indeed. And of course, we have the one that Lou was using in the first demonstration. We have got the birds in here looking either side. And of course, we have the bows in there with the gorgeous candle on the top. A party with no cake is a meeting. That is a fabulous, uh, fabulous stamp in there as well. And then we have the fine. Oh, look at this one. I love that. I love this one because, again, we have got the teddy bear in here and we can see the leaf is in there. Again, fussy cut them, bring them in. If you want to replicate the, the pet teddy bear, you have got the individual stamp as well in there. And of course, you have got, then we'll go back to the beginning. Home is where the cake is. Now, I love the different ways. For instance, if you don't know the gender of the baby that somebody's going to have, well, here it is. You have got half and half, half boy, half girl. But then you have got other ones in here as well. Uh, you can see here the mix of colors there. And I oh, love the next one because I get very excited, don't I? I get very excited as a crafter because you come and you see stamps that kind of immediately kind of thinking, oh, I can bring my coloring mediums. I can use my watercolor markers or the brand new watercolor pencils or my pastels. I can bring this for maybe. What about making a recipe book? Like, for instance, our Emily, who is Pepperina a Penny on Instagram, she makes amazing cakes. Or maybe, um, you know, there are other people who make cakes. Uh, she's one of the best that I know. Anyway, uh, but you can make a cake. Oh, Maddie apparently makes with. I haven't been in Gifta. Apparently she's bringing one on Friday. I hope, I hope I'm, you know, she saves one for me, peace for me. Anyway, what I mean is a recipe book. What about a recipe book? And every page it could be like how the recipes for marzipan or recipes for all of those gorgeous elements or fondant or whatever you want to go. I love that. But also, home, new home, maybe somebody who is going back home, maybe somebody who is going, maybe maybe it's traveling as well this could be really good maybe it's got so i love these images now of course if you want to go for this bundle uh, you have got a flexi freedom now what it means well 
Freedom Festival is the little club, fa official family of, of course, the craft store. And f Freedom means that you don't pay PMP. So uh, straight away, you are saving three pounds and 95 pence. But on top of that, as a Freedom member, you have got an additional saving in here. Of course, that means that you don't have an 11 pound saving, but a 15 pounds and 39 saving, which means that your cost of a Freedom membership for a month will be covered because of the three nine pounds, three pounds and ninety five pence plus the four pounds and thirty nine pence of saving that you have got in there. Five one zero two zero six is your item number. But remember that flexi basket. Now you can add other elements into it, and then you can flexi buy them. And of course, the beautiful flexi buy is that you only pay half of it today and half next month, completely interest free. So you are getting all the savings or no PMP if you're a Freedom member. But of course, making a little bit easier to budget for everything you want. So this is why a lot of the times it's good to go for an item with Flexibuy because then you can add other elements as well. And it all will be dispatched at the same day, so not waiting for a month for it. Right, then we have here, of course, the gorgeous papers here, the fabulous K paper kit. So 24 pa pa papers, not just yeah, I was going to say pages, but it's papers. Well, papers and cards because it is a mix of papers and cards in here with a saving of three pounds. Now, we are approaching a quarter of the stock. I, I believe many of them have been designed for a very special designer. And of course, well, they are all very special, aren't they, Dolly and Pulse? But you can see in here that you have got the absolute gorgeous papers in here with the soft the tots in here. Love those details in here. Very elegant, very beautiful watercolors in there. And those are stars with the waters, the kind of reflections in there as well. They have in total 24, and I love that they are printed onto that soft white. That is phenomenal. I love backgrounds like this because you can stamp on them, you can die cut them, you can put die cuts on top, and the cards that means that you can use them as front of cards or pages of journal. Create your own journal with them as well. And now you're saving three pounds. Oh, look at this one. Absolutely phenomenal. Love those kind of wishy washy um, kind of swirls of movement in there. And then those kind of pastel colors in there. So ever elegant are artistic like the designer herself. Uh, 210515 is your item number. 1199 is your price. You're saving three pounds. Now, maybe you are thinking, I want cake. I like cake. I want more cake stamps. Well, we have got them for you. Now we have got returning favorites, and of course we have got all the stock we can get uh, for you. So of course if you want them, please make sure to check out your baskets. Bra, uh, 580505, also this is number six, and I think it's the first time that we have it as an individual. So if you wanted to just go for one, you could do that, and of course add it them to your basket and flexi buy them as well. Uh, we have also uh, number 17, uh, of course we have got there, you can see them, and they're or just make someone happy. And of course, we have them there. 10.99 is your price. 806.588 is your item number for that. And then we also have got a number 11 there. And of course, we have got three stamps there. 10.99 is your price. 499.067 is your item number. And then we have got item number 20 as well. Uh, not just for birthdays. Cake is for life. I agree with that with this beautiful butterflies as well on the site profile 10.99 is your price 488.877 is your item number and then we have got cake number four uh, you can see there as well love the marshmallow to twisting around as well uh, if it has a candle in it the calories don't count I agree and by the way we have can I say we have got the birthday boy in the studio as well so uh, God, uh, well, Mesh, Mesh, I am Mesh, uh, who is his birthday today. Happy birthday, happy 28th birthday, and of course, uh, that, I, yeah, oh, that's, that's the one. 227563 is your item number. This is how happy it makes a cake to birthday boy. So make sure that you grab yours and, of course, check out those baskets. <laughs> right, let's go head back to Lou. <laughs> yeah, you see a sending heart in there. Right. I I went a little bit brighter the last one, and I want to um, be a little bit, um, not subdued, but a little bit more antique -y. Okay. 
you know, I'm not sure if that's the best description in the world. But yeah, well, uh, <laughs> kind of vintage. Yeah, vintage. Yeah, we were, the other day we were ta talking about uh, different, um, like the pronunciations, and as a Spain, we sometimes we pronounce it vintage. 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 Oh, that sounds rather poo. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Right. So I've taken um, the fabulous cake number sixteen, and this is um, the one with the toad still on. And let's just move that out of the way. And I'm just going to quickly grab my die cutting machine. You know when you run out of space. Yeah. And what I want to do now, this is an old set of dies from Charmaine. Um, brought out and in it she had this beautiful set of hearts right. and what I want to do is I just I've stamped the image oh, I like this idea okay and I'm just going to die cut the hearts out and we'll just go quickly back I don't know how you do the reach across thing oh, I find my arms just don't get that yeah. far and I just want that heart and then what I want to do is I want to repeat myself here oh, right. yeah and I'm just going to put that one there because it doesn't take long to actually do. Right. And I will keep the rest of the image, even though um, look, I'm going to be brave and see if I can reach across thing. Oh, I did it. So, and so that's my other one. Right. And then what I want to do is let's put you back so I don't lose you. Is I want to take the largest one that came from that collection, and I just want to oh. move it across. Now, the reason I've done that is I want to layer the hearts up. Yeah. And if I cut the big one first, I wouldn't be able to do the smaller hearts. Right. Or when you see what I'm trying to do, you'll it, it will make sense then. If if yeah, it's one of those things you have to visually see if. if well, I think I know where you are going, going yeah. but maybe I'm just jumping ahead and maybe right. not. Right, yeah. so that's the rest of that image. So let's just move this out of the way and we'll put okay. that down there. Now, so that is all I want is I just want the three hearts from there. Right. And I have stamped up the image again onto right. a background. And I just want to again do some really, really simple colouring. And all I'm going to do, so this is on the um, Dolly Dimples Mixed Media card. Yeah. And I am using my coys and I'm not going to be really fussy with my colouring. Okay. And I know there's probably people cringing going, mm. No, no, but, I'm, no, I'm just interested there is a, there where is a you are method. You know when it. you just go, there is a method yeah. sort of thing. And I don't want to pull out the colour too much. I, I want it to be watery yeah. um, and subtle. And we're just going to bring in a little bit there and we'll just carry on and go all the way down yeah look and this is how i literally colored the one i've actually done at home <laughs> at home i just went like that um and i'm just going to pull out a little bit of the color And we'll do that. And then whilst it's wet, I just want to introduce another colour in there. So this is just like a warmer peach colour, just to knock back a, a little bit of the orange. Yeah. And we'll let, let them do their blending. And then just all I'm going to do is whilst this is wet, I'm just going to add a little bit of the brown. And if this, this was all done here, I would do exactly the same there. And, I, and that is all I did was literally coloured it all, you know, just that yeah. way. And then using the same... So that's it there. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. So it's literally done the same. As you can see, I haven't done anything yeah. remotely exciting with it. And then I've just grounded the cake. But I wanted it to be um, like a sepia colours. I've, I've been sitting here trying to work out what the wording I wanted. And then from there, what I want to do is I want to grab some of the stencils. And this, I, I love this one. I, I use this all the time to doodle through. <laughs> you know, you just go. Yeah. It, it's just a brilliant one. It's like a brilliant mandala. I don't, I want the ink to be really, really subtle. So I'm going to take off yeah. quite a, a bit of it. And I'm not going, yeah. you know, for all of the stencil design. I just want a little bit of it to appear. So I've got it going round the top of yeah. the cake there. So it's really nice and subtle. And then using the entwined circles, I'm going to do a little bit around the edge with this. So I'm just trying to keep the colours tied in and I'm just going to knock off a little bit of the ink as well. And all I want to do is I just want to bring in 
some bits yeah. there. Now, I have to thank my husband for this bit. Oh. I, I, I did my prep sort of thing, and then yeah. we were chatting about something, and I knocked the ink pad. And I was just about to go, no, 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 and throw it in the bin. Right. And he went, have you thought about doing it? And I went, no. <laughs> And I went, oh, thank you. you know, well, sometimes it's funny, isn't it? It's a known crafter will have a very interesting new view that yeah, is actually quite It was, attractive. and I was just like, oh, thank you. So I just want to do a little bit of detail there. Mm -hmm. And then just yeah. a little bit around the edge. And yeah. nothing, you know, I'm not, I'm not going for a blended edge. I just want a little bit of colour to yeah. look. There we go. And then what I did from there, I won't get the die cut machine, was I actually took the larger heart that we took from here and I die cut one from there and one from that right. side there. Yeah. Let's move on. And, oh, she says dropping it a bit. So now it looks yeah. like that. And that is going to be the background for my card. So if I bring my card blank, so that's going to sit there. Now you could leave it easily like that and then these bits here i'm just i inked around the edges really really oh, subtly I see. yes and they're going to fit well this is back lovely in. for this for instance a couple that are moving in together yeah and then of course you have got the hearts of romance in there but then you have in the top as well you can so you could leave it here and then if you did like um, a little bit of twine with a little knot so it's like it's all tying it together but then i thought well no let's do something else you know let's take it just a little bit step further so we've got that bit there and it, let's bring in these hearts here and I won't do color all of them and then what I thought was because you know because it's like a love themed as it were yeah. and I'm going to literally color these with as much care and as attention <laughs> as I did my first ones and so I'm just going to blend there okay and i would and watercolor them out and i'm even just going to go slowly over the window and over the door because i will bring in some other colors and we've got that bit there and i've got that bit down there i'm just going to bring in a bit more color bring in a bit of the brown and I didn't want to do any more yeah. than that because actually I didn't want to over colour and then when everything's layered up you lose the yeah. image behind. So what I did was then so here's one I've got in good, you know, in good blue Peter fashion. Yeah. And I want to grab my embossing. Okay. Yeah. And my, my, I was about to say my nice clean embossing. <laughs> you know, well, you go, it's fairly mm. clean. Well, we'll have I did it actually loved. before. Be well, loved. Yeah, I did actually clean it before a little bit more because on there. Yep. And I just want to put a little bit of embossing. There we go. Yeah. And let's grab. I, I want to get the holographic again right. this time. Yeah. So I'm going to use the back of this just to tip it on for the moment. Okay. And okay. I've got intercoloured embossing powders again. Right. Oh, you know, you go, you go through phases, don't you? Yeah. Well, it's, it's funny because embossing powders is one of those things that it was one of the first things that it has captured many mm. people's imagination for stamping. And then sometimes they're like, oh, well, yeah, I moved on from that. And then you see somebody <laughs> yeah. like yourself or Marion doing them and they're like, oh, yes, I need to get them out. It is, isn't it, sort of thing. And you do and you just go, why? Yeah. And, it, and I was just like, oh, oh, oh. Or you seem to only use them for certain type of cards or, you know, projects. And, and you think, no, 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 get them out all the time. So, so that, like I said, I've just coloured it with all the same colours and I now want to emboss on the top there. So I want this one to be, because it's the larger one, to have a little bit more um, sparkle, stand out, focal. There's me now oh, thinking, I, I feel that. like I've swallowed a thesaurus there, you know, trying to think of as many words to say the same thing. 
Right. I love how the detail, I mean, can we talk about the quality I of those know. lines? Because we have got coloring in, a stamping, then the ink, embossing ink, and of course then we have got the embossing powder, and we still can see those amazing lines perfectly stamped there. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful, isn't it, sort of thing? Yeah. So I've got that one there, and that's going to be the holographic. And I have done the same with the other two, but I wanted these to be clear. Yeah. So I have one that stands out more than the other. So let's grab some glue. Okay. And we'll put this together. And so the cakes, it's just like you were saying, you, the cakes can be bold and bright, or you can take them, you know, into, into whatever your colour, you know, whatever your style. I mean, if I added ribbon to this, this could be a little bit more shabby chic. Yeah. Um, you know, a nice piece of ribbon along there, even behind, and then tie it. Yeah. So we've got that piece there. And I will add these bits here in. Oh, I love where this is going. <laughs> I love it. Because it's, it's, a, it's basically, this is a technique that not every stamp will allow it you to do that. Because this is a technique that requires a whimsical yeah. image. It requires somebody, a stamp that has got clean lines so you can follow. And of course, it makes it look like a beautiful composition. But of course, to break it down, if you have got something that it wasn't quite, you know, the lines, yeah. quite, this wouldn't kind of, you know, no, it wouldn't. And, around. The, and actually, having the image, you know, stands out in its own right. You could just use like I'm doing now. It doesn't actually need much else if you don't yeah. want to add much else to it. Yeah. So then I've got this part here. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to layer yeah. this one on the top. <gasps> I love this. I um, really, really love this. And I, it works so well with these stamps because, again, what I say, the lines are very clean. Yeah. And they're also they're whimsical enough that you can break it down to a different areas and make it all really good. So, and then I've just put some um, 3D foam pads. Oh, and you know, I was going to panic then that they were, weren't actually going to come away, and they yeah. did. And so this one now is going to sit slightly. So these two here, like you say, moving into a new home. So that one's going to sit there slightly raised. And then I've got this one yeah. that's going to go over here and line up there. slightly raised like yeah. that. And then what I've done is I've taken the sentiment. Now, now I'm hoping I haven't lost all the little bits in yeah. sort of thing. And what I thought would be nice is we've got home is where and then inside my card I would have the cake is. Ah. So, um, so when you open up the inside of your card, you've got the rest of the sentiment. Oh, yeah, so you could say cake is where the home is. Yeah, cake is, yeah. Uh. But then you, you, I thought it'd be a nice way that you're leaving it open for someone to wonder what you might have written on the inside. So we've got home is where, and then on the inside, of on, yeah. I would do a heart and put the, the cake is, yeah. and then you could have it... Absolutely. do it that way but I just thought it'd be nice to show you know the difference between the yeah. two different styles you can go bright like I did before or you could go a little bit more vintage a little bit more shabby chicy yeah I love that car so much thank you so much <laughs> uh, Lou, because that is made with the one day special now you could do that technique with all five major images but you will be doing that if you get your one day special which by the way is over a quarter of the stock now that means that, of course that this is the first hour and there should be a 24 hours stock because it is a one day special but a quarter of the stock has already gone that is the image that Lou was using but I love how you can color it in a vintage way vintage way <laughs> like Lou say was saying now this also that stamp on its own is the most popular one now bottom of the screen you have got it says you can see there. The fabulous cake in the set number 16. You are getting six stamps in there for 10.99. Now, if you want to go for individuals, of course you can. At the minute, we still have got the stock of, the, of them individually. However, uh, look at the saving that you are getting. Now, $10.99 is the price of one single stamp. Your saving as a Freedom member is £15.39. Even if you are not a Freedom member, you are paying for four and getting five. If you're a Freedom member, on top of that, you are getting a, a £4.39 saving, plus, of course, you are 
are not paying PMP. So that's a three nap pounds and 95 pence, which means it's a white not deal. Look at that. Not just for cards, not just for art journals, but also, of course, those beautiful creations, those three dimensionals that you can frame them. You can use them for your journals. You can stand this. Imagine making a set of um, stamping onto fabric and then heat setting for uh, somebody who's a baker. So then you can, of course, do paint, paint it, do your uh, maybe baking uh, items as well. And if you know, uh, like you can stamp as well onto ceramic with certain materials as well. So there is all those possibilities for homewares as well. If you are into wood, uh, wood um, burning as well, you, a little bit of pyrography. Pyrography, I think it is called. <laughs> yes. Uh, not gonna say what the director just said, it. Uh, but uh, we have <laughs> through me. Anyway, uh, now of course you can uh, stamp it onto wood, and of course I do a little bit of, uh, you know. Uh, then, of course, you have the, uh, the one that is special, 25 stamps in total. Now, Charmaine has emailed in to say, 